I, I find Fringy, really been reading anything uh, recently? It's interesting. No. Oh. This is super amusing because I'm pretty sure we talked about this like right before I went to sleep. Yeah. Um, you're way, a little quiet, by the way. I don't know if you are I that am. way for anyone else. Oh, you gotta wait. Yeah, him. Give, him, give him like an hour and he'll be back to normal because he's, he's sleeping. Oh. Yet. I don't know if it'll take an hour. I'm fair. That article excited. really took it out of you. I, I got like less than three hours of sleep, so I'm doing great. Um, oh. Hey, don't I, think of it as less than three hours of sleep. Think of it as you got more than two hours of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, more than two hours of sleep. Oh, hey, I'm so, so, so lucky. I'm anyway, I'm, awesome. Splash water in your face. I'm, uh, I, splash I some coffee sleep. in your face. <laughs> Take yeah. the mask off first, though. And then do water it, or else it'll, it'll do his I don't want to splash the coffee in my face. That'll burn. I'm not. I won't True. Like that. that is. And hmm, you'll be awake yeah. as fuck, though. Well, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's awake. why you're so sleepy, is because you have a mask on, and inside it's like a it's like a blanket for your face. It's really comfy. And so you're you're it constantly just being tempted to fall asleep. Is it air conditioned? Uh, no, but you know it doesn't need to be. It's it's that well designed. So. Nice. It is floral scented, from what I understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's 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 neat. Um, but you're distracting me, so. <laughs> I just saw on Twitter a thread um, where a guy gets and says that he hates when people cite FromSoft games uh, when talking about the idea of like difficulty modes. You know, like the whole subject of all games should have an easy mode. Um, he yeah, said that it's in <laughs> so he said that it's insulting to the games to to cite them just like that for those arguments which i find really weird because like i don't know why it would be insulting if this is the topic that's being discussed you know like yeah wait, it's, it's wait so he's like insulted because of the citation of dark souls he's he is annoyed when people cite like dark souls against the idea of putting in an easy mode in video games because he thinks it's an insult to those games like it's what? not the idea being that you've you've misunderstood what made them special, but like let's be real, Dark Souls is special because it's hard. Like at least that's what that's what everyone talks about. Know. They're like, yeah, that's, that's why it's challenge. brought up all the time for this argument. Well, so this discussion. <laughs> we we briefly talked about it last night, before, which is why I find it amusing that this exists. Is um, I think that the Souls games and a lot of difficult games have this sort of meta value where like if you find out that somebody else has beaten the game or accomplished something there's a recognition of like the challenge there and that they did yeah. the same thing that you did and that can be really cool as like a little meta experience um but moreover like it, the, the fundamental answers to this question is like oh you know it's up to the developers it depends on what they want to do with the game easy mode is cool in certain things and other times they don't want to do it that's totally fine. Not all games are for everyone. Um, yep. Correct. And um, then Did I saw that... Do the this isn't meant for you thing. What's that, sorry? This isn't meant for you. Well, yeah, but it's kind of... Like, difficulty is a part of video games, or at least... Well, yeah, they're the only medium games. that you can't... There has like, to be difficulty. Yeah. It you... isn't passively... In, you can't passively engage with most video games. It requires some active level of involvement. Challenge um, is necessary. Even if that challenge is minimal, there has to be some kind of a challenge there. It has to exist in some form, and, or um, else it's not interactive. If it's impossible to fail, I don't see how it could be a game. Yeah, I've, I've thought about that, but I'm not sure where I sit at, whereas, like, what it... Like if it's possible for there to be a video game that you can't fail, I don't, I don't know what. Oh, that do you mean like, like that's there's a cool. series of platforms, but if you miss any of them, you just go back to doing the platform. You don't die. You don't lose any progress necessarily. Well, I guess you still do there. Uh, that well, comes into what is it ha to have a fail state, that's right? Fail state. Yeah, I would say that fail state. If you if you're set back, but um, but I don't know what a game looks like without one. So. Well, the only thing I've heard is regards to difficulty, really, or ar argument wise. Is journalists complaining that they've got too many games? We've got too many games to to review, so we need an easy mode so we can smash through them. Well, I guess and, that's, in which the, case, the that's awkward absolutely part, pathetic. Right? Well, I'd say the super awkward part is that when you play a game on like like if you played Halo on on um like the lowest difficulty, and then you give me a review, I'm not sure that's worth much to me. Like mm. that's not because that's not how I'm going to play the game. But it's not um, about. 
it's not about difficulty or time. It's about being first. Well, that's the only thing it's yeah, about. But, you know, yeah. uh, Angry Joe, he'll wait, you know, whether you like him or, or don't, you know, he'll put his review out two, three weeks, sometimes longer after the game's out, and he'll still get millions of views on it because <laughs> it's the credibility. But these journalists have no credibility. So it's just about being first. So they um, have to moan and complain about difficulty levels because they're too busy writing about orange man bad. It really feels as well as though we'd be in a way better world if more journalists were less concerned with covering everything and more concerned with covering the things that they're passionate about and they know yeah. their shit about. Mm -hmm. And then if everyone split right. up into like, hey, I don't know anything about Metroid. And then, you know, Gary in the office is like, ooh, I love Metroid. I'll do that one then. And it's like, hey, okay, yeah, Gary will do oh, that one. You know? I <laughs> yeah. It was like or hiring people based on their skill sets, like sports, RPGs, action adventure. Being able to complete a game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, ability, yeah. There, well, you could. I mean, you, we guess, but you could look at things like your your trophy levels. You could look at your achievement levels, um, and have that as part of your your CV, your curricular V tie, or your uh, whatever it's called <clears> in uh, <throat> other places. Right. <clears throat> Resume. I guess it's just the, I don't resemble. I, I guess the problem with this whole topic is that I feel like solidly concluding that all games should have easy mode is like we're, we're missing something here, you know? Like Doesn't it make you wonder as well, like, isn't difficulty a little bit relative to the point where whatever easy mode they implement, someone could be like, I need an easy mode compared to this mode. This mode's too well, hard for me even. I guess the the problem is like once you start getting to like invincibility, how far can you go at that point? <laughs> you literally just easier? press play and the game just plays and you're like, ah, thank goodness. I mean, there's there's like, what, the, like this, the, this the games that now implement the, this auto battle feature where you basically just hold down the button and it does I the fighting for you. The, little feature. the game I think plays. The, I think Devil point. May Cry did this. And Man. I think the, the the recent near game that I played, I think that one has an auto battle feature on the easiest mode. A lot of mobile games have that feature. Mm. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, if, if you uh, reach uh, yeah, level you three, pay for you it, can probably. do auto battles. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, cool, thanks. Remember, remember video games? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's already people complaining that they're getting too cinematic now and they're just essentially turning into movies. Mm. Um, you know, if you took all the cutscenes out of um, the, the last transgender of us, uh, then how much of an actual game do you have? It's 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 a lot of backtracking that game. There's a lot this of back and forth. Backtracking, backtracking is still gameplay. I yeah. I would take that over um you know a lot of shit you can get for these days in terms of really really like if we're gonna go bargain barrel bin things like like mobile games can get so much worse where you just mm -hmm. literally like repeating mechanics over and over and over again, but they change the skin because they paid like one artist to just keep you know, churning out different things that look different slightly, but then it's all like, you can skip all of this if you pay more money, and it's just like, is this even a game anymore? I don't know. Well, Nothing I, 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 I saw on mobile games is they just start you on level 5. <laughs> Here, because you download the game, you get like 5 levels. Oh, so everybody does that, so I'm still level 1. Like, who are you fooling? <laughs> no, didn't Final Fantasy 7 start at level 7? Didn't you start at level 7 in Final Fantasy 7? Could be. Could be, which is also weird, I guess. I don't know. I haven't. But I guess in mobile belt specifically, they say like, "Oh, here, here's your reward for downloading the game. Oh, now mm -hmm. you're level five. High five. Well, so, oh, good. You did it. No like... one's ever been level one, two, three, or four in the history <laughs> of this game. <laughs> um, before oh. I was going to say that we get started, it's probably worth us just doing a little blurb about Loki. Everyone's asking about Loki. That's not what this EFAP's about, but I know that it just finished and it's. It's so Shit. good. Okay, let's move on. Well, four of us have <laughs> seen it. Rags has not, so I'll take the opportunity oh, you to. Lucky bastard. Well, I was yeah. gonna say, uh, and I'm sure you guys all agree, it'll take me what, like, ten seconds to cash Rags up with the one episode, the events of the single episode. Oh I yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. considering nothing happened in the episode, yeah. They um, they walk into the spooky house at the gas cloud. There's a man okay. named Kang in there. He basically did all of the stuff that we were told by the cartoon in episode one, and they kill him. And so the multiverse has now been born. Oh. 
Yeah. And it's confirmed that as of killing him, they have now released free will into the world. Mm. There was no, wow. free, there was will no free will before then. Yep. Wow. Well, S that's <laughs> I'm so sorry, that's Sitch. Fucking, that's fucking horrific and disastrous to the MCU, but okay. No. Yeah, and, and, every, and the there's these... That I loved. There's these weird fucking tweets that are like, uh, Loki the show actually leads into Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange 2, as well as several other Marvel properties. Get excited. Wow. No. No. <laughs> no. no. Just like this. <clears throat> Kang the Conqueror will return. If, if, if watching uh, six episodes of this show had actually yielded something, but it didn't, it basically was six episodes to say, go watch something else. By the way, I guess I will talk about we'll talk about all of this in a week and a half's time. That's that's Loki's time, right? Black Widow still hasn't been addressed until the end of this week. Okay, there's just so much to talk about. But I will say mm. they presented a choice. Rags. They're told they can spare him, and everything can continue as it has been. But they will be in control of what events happen. You know what choices are made. Blah blah blah. Or they and can Loki, kill. Of course, would. Loki would turn down that power, of oh, course. Oh, absolutely, turn that down. Yeah, yeah. Um, Loki wouldn't want that. The other option is kill him, and you make the sacred timeline just born a bazillion different threads, and you have millions of different Kangs inside them, and one of them will become evil and try and... Oh, well, they'll all fight each other, is what he says. There'll be an all-out mm -hmm. timeline war, much like the... Why would Episode there be a one. timeline war? There's because... no explanation for any of this. You just have to sort of go with it. Oh, That's uh, because happened. the Kangs all met up. And they got and angry. And they went, well, I like you, the... but I don't like you. Yeah, some of them were evil. Some of the Kangs are bad guys. Yeah. Oh. And so he basically okay. says, if you kill we me, haven't... it'll spawn... Why did he want to kill himself? Well, he see... um, it's so weird because he he's like tired, I guess. Come back. And then he... That yeah, wasn't he's... explained at all as to why he <laughs> wanted to stop. No, I... Yeah, because he reckons yeah. that if you kill him, it'll all release all the evil Kangs, and then one of them will be victorious, and it'll one of the, that one will create the sacred timeline again, and we'll just be back to square one. So he says that that's you get Man, choice A or choice B. Curiosity. Yeah, kill him and have this huge war, and one of the Kangs will just fuck everything up and re restart what we already had, or take over and do what you want with the sacred timeline. And there's like no discussion. About this, Sylvie just is immediately like, "Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him!" It's just like, oh, mm. and um, and <laughs> then uh, and she and Loki have have a mini boss fight because Loki is. You might think Loki advocates for um taking over, right? But no, Loki advocates for the insane position of maybe we should talk about these options. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should discuss and, this. <laughs> and Sylvie yeah. is not having that. Because she's a very frustrating character. <laughs> yeah, she she's not allowed to have a thought in that scene because we have to push the plot along. Mm -hmm. It was like Loki's like, okay, this is might be a bit bigger than us uh, us two, our experience. We might yeah. want to consider if this is real. Uh no, he's a liar. Really cool. <laughs> she's just like, like, What are you doing? I, well, I've seen people on Twitter be like, it's totally a lie with the character. She hates the TVA. It's like this is well beyond the this is beyond everything now. You literally yes. got the keys to the kingdom of reality. And she's like, I'm mad because you were mean to me when I was a kid. And you're like, yeah, that's fine. I, I I know, but like, we've just addressed like space and time being controlled at our fingertips. But that would also mean that he was controlling Sylvie throughout all of her life as well. All her decisions were his. How do they have the free will to defy him? Uh, why would he have the sacred timeline? No, he, 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 said, he said that I built this road for you to come down. Yeah, so he, oh. was, sorry, yeah, he says that they... everything oh, up, and, up until, like, about that scene was planned, and then, yeah. like, halfway through that scene, he's like, oh, now we're, like, we got free will brief, like, I don't know what's gonna happen now. <laughs> yeah. we went oh, wow, That's, how horribly inconvenient. Yeah, it's so cool, we finally get to see a scene in the MCU where characters get to make choices candidly. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They don't have some idiot at like, the drops, end of the timeline like telling them what they can and cannot do. It's Loki, oh. is, uh, Loki it's, has it's... done wonders for my endgame video. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's now it's no longer uh, Tony Stark's terrible idea to save his daughter. No. <laughs> uh, it, it's actually Kang. It's Kang that it's made Kang a terrible up. decision yeah, to yeah. cock up uh, the whole of the, uh, the MCU endgame. Mm. And it's not Cap's decision. To uh, to stay with uh, Carter, uh, no, 
No, that, he that wanted. Was he was actually thinking, I need you to know, come back home and be a hero. But Kang was like, no, you got to get some boost, dude. <laughs> I, uh, I read this to uh, the other guys yesterday to sort of highlight how wrong everything went in Loki. <laughs> and just how it got worse from, got worse from just this point. So I have this bit in the script where I, I basically explain why I'm not going to talk about Loki in this video because it's not, it's, this show sucks. Um, <laughs> I think I think I wrote, this is what I first wrote. If I had to account for everything Loki introduces, I'd have to preface every statement with, if things hadn't gone this way, the Avengers would have been melted by fascist space lizards. Nice, simple. Um, this is what I now have to say. Um, I'd have to preface every statement with, if things hadn't gone this way, the Avengers would have been sent to the end of time by Kang the Conqueror space fascist lizard front organization to be consumed by a purple dragon cloud in order to preserve the sacred timeline from becoming a mess of branches, which will inevitably go to war with one another and destroy the multiverse. So, yeah, really, you should uh, do that the yeah. first couple times, like the first three or four times you should do that just to <laughs> drive the point home and then say, I think you guys get the point. I don't have to say this anymore, but you should do it. A you should do it a couple times. Yeah, I probably will do yeah, it. Maybe cut yourself times. off on the third one. Like, all right. Yeah. And it's completely and gonna... irrelevant that the MCU tried to um, backtrack on Loki by saying, oh, he was actually being controlled uh, by the Mind <laughs> Stone because he wasn't because... Thanos was oh, being yeah. controlled by Kang, uh, by Kang. So it's all great. So nobody was. It's all Kang, Kang, Kang. Was every villain controlled Kang. by every what? Ugh. Kang, yeah. Uh, well, so it's, this is the funny it, thing. It, it, there's no free will mm, up until K that Kang. one scene in this episode. Nothing in the MCU <gasps> has been free will. The Whoa, way it's like devs. Yeah, I know. The the way that they have implied it works is that Kang is just overseeing the trillion trillion options for everyone to do everything ever, and he picks out what he wants. Mm -hmm. He's like, I want this, I want that person to say this, I want that person to do this. It's just like, wow. Cool. Um And you know what's funny? It's like if, if James Gunn comes out with Guardians Three and in interviews and stuff, they're like, Oh, it's such a great movie and it's like, you know when um you know when Star Lord died to save blah blah blah, it's like, uh, did you think about like how this is the first meaningful choice he's ever made in his life in a way? And he's like, what? And they're like, well, because obviously this is after Kang was defeated by Loki and uh, the timelines of all. And you can just see his face drop. <laughs> and like, I like how the movies have become the comic books now. It's just um, this insane tangled web of cause and effect and timeline. And Well, you guys have said that, right? As they're becoming more and more like the comics currently now as well? Well, no, because the, comic, the comics are just all women. We're getting that's, there. That's we're getting they, there. Come on. They, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, we are. We are getting. We're getting there. We are. They just got to kill a few more it guys. Is, it is. Uh, it is more like the comics in as much as all they're doing now is sitting and talking and drinking and talking and eating and talking and standing and talking. Wow. Uh, there's a lot what of all the talking. incredible action scenes. What do you mean? Uh, you mean the one? How how much action was there in this episode? I think it lasted it only right, a about a minute and a half. Tops. And if you think about it, well, the thing is, it's the only way they could have an action scene, and it was contrived as fuck. But they had to because you can't not have an action scene. And the action well, scene that's... ended by Loki saying, "I just want you to be okay." They it's kiss Rex. They kiss. Well, oh, yeah. oh, boy, that's great. He always was the romantic. Um... <laughs> So, oh no no! She kisses him. He doesn't kiss her. She kisses him. Oh, but he's not. He's not pushing back. No, but I, but he's he male's not allowed to initiate a kiss anymore. Otherwise, it's rape. I have a question. Go. My question is, and that we can discuss it at length or not at all, if you'd like. Um, do you think they purposefully released Black Widow before the end of Loki, for fear that the end of Loki and its reveal about free will and all that stuff? would nullify to a degree the events of what happens in Black Widow. I feel like that's way uh, too much all of I, thinking for I them. I feel like it was a very cold calculus for uh, when would be the best time to release these things. I don't know that there's... Yeah, the, they did it with Mandalorian and Rise of Skywalker, like almost the exact same way too, so I just wonder if that's just apparently the way to do it numbers-wise. That's just That's just well, the way to do it. Seems like they try and line things up so that when something ends, there's something new for people to move on to the next thing because the formula is very clearly now not about getting answers or conclusions. It's always about what's next, what's the next thing to cream your pants over. Well, next this is a whole series character. about what's next. Yeah, it's all based I mean, the series. Um, the series is absolutely based. 
And uh, it's funny you say that. I, I put out a tweet saying something similar, and someone responded saying, um, it's just funny how people are pretending as though that hasn't been comic book movies this whole time, baiting the next thing. Mm -hmm. And I no, feel like people no. have been so poisoned now by the current set, they don't remember that stories used to end. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure, you, you can set something up, but that's normally set up in, like, the post credit scene. This is a whole series of setup. And and each film had its own, you know, unique individual story, whether or not you yeah. liked it or not, it's, you know, irrelevant. But it had its own unique story that it told. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier told its own story about Bucky and 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 Steve. Um, Iron Man told its own story about the development of Tony Stark. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's the end credit scenes that had the little bit of a, oh, by the way, I'm Mr. Man and I'm going to meet you in the next film sir yeah, it, it almost felt like um the the movie equivalent of um i make more videos on my channel and you can check them out if you want uh they'll be over <laughs> here but nowadays it's you didn't care about what you just saw you care about this look at the look look at that yeah i got well, i got pewdiepie cameo in my next, next video thing. we're gonna nullify oh, everything that came before it but now it really matters so keep watching yeah and it seems like the bait is the content and the rest of it is just kind of like eh, it's fine just fill the time well i guess that's the problem it feels like especially this phase that it's really about what's next like it wasn't really about one division it's about like dr strange and loki's not really about loki it's about dr strange and Falcon and Winter Soldier is about maybe like Secret Invasion or the next Captain America movie. Thunderbolts, yeah. And Black, yeah, and Black Widow is about Hawkeye and like Yelena becoming a thing. Like that's what these things are. They're not. And then when Doctor Strange comes out, that'll be about something else. We'll soon find out. Yeah, that'll be about be like Ant Man and Midnight Suns or whatever it or is. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We, we wouldn't feel this way if each of these stories was really crafted with a lot of care and they were w written well and they didn't just mm -hmm. take a crap over everything that came beforehand. Um, but as it seems, pretty much everything that's come out after Infinity War, with the exception of Far From Home, has just been unmitigated disaster. Mm -hmm. like, it's, yeah. not, it's not even like Loki came out of this being like, ha, I'm Loki, I'm a fucking villain. I'm a bad guy, you know, I, I, I'm I going to mess up the whole timeline. I'm going to create the multiverse and, and let chaos ensue. It's just that it was a crying fucking yeah. baby. Mm -hmm. The whole series just crying and following Sylvie oh. and crying <clears throat> and telling, trying to tell Sylvie that he's on his period and he loves her and then he's crying. And he cried he a lot, actually, there, yeah. Right? He, he cried cry like three times in this episode. And it's, it's funny because we, we were just yesterday talking about how Natasha doesn't really make any decisions herself in um, Black Widow. She's tossed around the right. plot line by other characters, and Loki's the same thing. Yeah, he, he comes he's, across he's, uh... as extremely... He, he's not like he was two hours ago when he was stabbing people and invading cities and just mm. being a big old dick that you were afraid of, who was super clever. In this show, he is insanely depowered. He is very, mm -hmm. he's just not, I'm not afraid of him. I'm not no, no. concerned for him. I'm not in any way just worried about this character. I, I don't even think that he could be my enemy. The, the uh, first... you, can probably, you can probably kick his head in, actually, Brad. I'm pretty sure you could just kick his head in. The first I, I think... And he would cry. Well, I know I could kill the TVA because I have a gun that shoots bullets. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> They've got glow sticks. Yeah, watch out. Yeah, it's like, we've got batons. It's like, okay, but what if someone breaks the sacred timeline who has, like, a gun? Or a stick that's a little longer than yours? I'd, I want to see the time where they have to correct a caveman and he just fucking wails on them with his, his stick and they just can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we should have Creepy alien, die! Right <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, oh scary painted me. lady with glow stick, you die! <laughs> Picks her up by her foot, drags her through the pole, starts using her as a club to hit everyone else in the TVA. <laughs> Such ball of bullshit. And yeah, that's that's just the current state. We we will talk in depth about the law, but today we have different plans. All right, I'm gonna uh -huh. switch us, switch our gears. Okay, that was a little teaser. That was a. The event, the e fappers will return in the next episode mm. to talk about how bad the MCU is. You guys, you get the jangly keys. Are. 
So, um, stuff, things, things happened in the course of the last week that made me decide to, to collect a whole bunch of things and put y'all on a journey. Now, yeah. um, Metal knows a little bit, and as out of all of us knows the most about what I'm going to do to all of you, um, but Fringy and Rags And completely... I, as a co-host, know the least. <laughs> <laughs> My two co-hosts uh, know the littlest about all of this, because it's I don't know what the fun. hell's going on. Nope. Um, so, we will start with... Real co no. I had to pay, be paid to be here. <laughs> this... <laughs> There is someone who was recommended to us through um, uh, Super Chats a couple of times, actually. And they, were, they popped up in my recommended, I think, or they were in Discord. And I was like, oh, I'll give it a shot. So Hitler? we're going to start. Yes. He started his own YouTube channel. After the multiverse happened, Hitler's just back. He's like, hey, yeah, checking it out. Gonna yeah. do now that I'm, I'm free you know of the I confines of this game. I love Jews. I think they're great. <laughs> uh, I am so gutted that <laughs> Kang made me do that. In my heart of hearts, I love the Jews this entire time. Now I can be free. I, I, I read some history books and I'm like, oh my god, what I'm going fuck? to buy some oceanfront property in Israel. <laughs> I'm a good man. <laughs> I will live amongst them. And then I will become one of them. him with free Palestine on it or some shit. <laughs> He's very anti Palestine. Yeah, I hate the Palestinians. Though. It's going to burn. It's going to burn. It's a Israel, Israel is the land of the Jews, as I have always said, <laughs> as I always wanted to say. It's my mantra. Keeps his Twitter open their, their see if he's getting banned. Um, so. You can call me the Hebrew hammer. <laughs> <laughs> the description will keep getting up updated with links. So links Whoa. to everything we cover today will be in the description. You just have to refresh if you want the current one. First thing we're doing yeah, is checking out cool. a channel called Madvocate. He responded to a High Tops video on Wonder Woman, which we did check out back in the day. I was just oh going to say, we're going we're to have a little look-see. first one so or think? 84? 84. Oh, the really, the really bad one. The really well, they're bad both really one. they're both really bad. Yeah. Fantastic. They're being mad at someone's emotional response to the art they consume. That was sort of our first foray the they into... Consume. Well, it wasn't our first foray, but it it felt very marvelly. Hmm? What, what now? Wonder Woman 84. I think it, it felt, felt marvelly? Yeah, I think so. I, thought, yeah. I don't think so at all. I think it was like just... It felt no, like Patty it, Jenkins I, doesn't know how to write. No, I, I think all the wishes and all that sort of stuff. Nah, the, man, I, I think I, it nah, felt very marvelly. I, I don't... I don't think it felt like anything. I don't even. Though. I'm co I'm confused. Yeah. What uh? What what is it, like? What in Marvel made you? What do you, you see? What are you Marvel. About? Marvel is like a, a multicolored sludge, if you will. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is a. It's like when you go when you go to an ice cream parlor, and they have all of the the tubs right that are open on the other side of the counter, and you're looking at them, and they're just all a big different mix of stuff. And then there's that one, and it's it's got all the different colors, and it's all just it's whatever. That's what Marvel is now. It's a multicolored, uh, it's it's a it's a confectionery multicolored sludgy ice cream color, and it's like bubble gum, watermelon, chocolate chip fudge sundae slash uh, cookie uh, cookies and cream cookie dough Oreos, and it's got sprinkles on it with caramel. And you're just you're like, oh my god, what 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 is this? What oh my god, what what is this? And that's what it felt like to me. Are you saying like Wonder Woman eighty four is like the movie that represents Phase Four of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in a way? Or is... it almost felt like a strange harbinger for it. Hmm. Well, like, you know what um, we're doing? From... Everyone on the planet gets to make a wish, and it's going to yeah, end exactly how we need it to. She she needs a man. She needs a man. She did, uh, which a lot of people criticize Patty Jenkins for, actually. Yeah, because heterosexuality is <laughs> awful. Well, I, I mean, oh, this is, oh, here's the rape thing. Is awful. Here's the thing. <laughs> rape is she, terrible. <laughs> she remembers something that happened in a previous installment, and she tries to get it back, and then everyone hates her for it. So, boom, Harbinger for Marvel, where we just take a dump on everything that came before. Because we learned our lesson. Well, you know That's what? what happens. That's what happens. The whole everybody gets their wishes thing, that does kind of feel like the writing team for Marvel now. It's like everyone just gets to do whatever the fuck they want, okay? As long as you fill some Wait. boxes. 
It was yeah. Diane, Diana's wish. I wish Steve Trevor came back in a different man's body so I could rape him. <laughs> no, no. What, you have what Marvel. What, 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 what a weird wish. Marvel, sure, what Mahler just go. said. <laughs> Mahler said in what, Wonder Woman 84, fuck it, everyone can just do what they want now. Literally, that's how Loki ends. Fuck it, everyone can just do what they want now. Pretty much. <laughs> That's, um, it's it's basically it's like poetry. It oh, rhymes. Yeah, you're right in terms of certainly from the matter because if you're if you're like I want to write a Marvel film where you know an elephant casts spells in the middle of the dark abyss of the underworld, you're just like fuck it, go for it. The multiverse is unlocked. You can do whatever you want. Oh yeah, it used to be. Well, I got to clear it with Kang, but no, 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 no. <laughs> go for it. It's it's your wit. The world is your oyster now. Well, do Wish it, make it happen. Don't let your memes be dreams. Believe to achieve. Speaking Go. of, uh, and you thought that the world was like that, but it wasn't. But now it is. Speaking of clearing things with Kang, imagine he was in charge of the fucking DCU, and, and you have Wonder Woman being like, "I would like to bring him back in a different body to rape him." <laughs> <laughs> Kang is like, you know, that's a really yep. weird fucking choice. That's I don't usually have to deal with these, but okay. He probably went. I'm not going to kink shame. Yeah, you know, it's... Gonna, and, and let's just you know, we know that it's sixty percent of women do fantasize about rape, so okay. 16%. Normally it's the other way around, but in this case, and you know what? We'll let it pass. It worked out in a way, kinda. You know, the, yeah. the, the, they fixed it all up. They were like, "Hey, the truth is beautiful." That was such a. I was really hoping at the end of Wonder Woman though, when she was speaking to him, and she's like looking at him like, "I've just raped you, and you got no idea." Uh, he would just <laughs> turn around and go, and she said, "It's going to be a great year or something." And he just turned around and went, "Yeah, my boyfriend and I are really looking forward to it." And she's just like, "Oh shit." But what, oh, no, what if no. he turned around and he was like, I know. I know what you did. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and he's got a tear in his eye. <laughs> he's got just one tear coming down his face. I know what you did, hero. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah. Think of the newspapers. <laughs> he just walks off. Just, just walks off slowly. Doesn't say a word after that. It would be a tough Thanks. life, right? If he watches all of the, the news reports of how she <laughs> saved the world, he's like, yeah, she did. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he's on, like, Wendy, what's her name, on TV, Wonder Woman Rape Me. <laughs> he's, he's like a little interview morning program. It's like, I have to reveal the truth. She raped me. She couldn't have a boyfriend back because he blew up 50 years ago. <laughs> so she decided to stick him in me. He was inside me, and he was inside of her. <laughs> My horror story. He's got a book for it as well. He's got to be pushing his book. <laughs> Wonder Woman and me, a rape story. The truth behind the wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Logic and plot are quite wonderful. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, so anyway. Oh, okay. The Themyscira saga. I should probably... I'll roll him back. And uh, this video starts straight away, okay? You, you don't, there's no like, woo, you know, there's no like, okay. okay. There's right. no point in Duh. being mad at someone's emotional response to the art they consumed. That's stupid. But I also can't be mad. I ain't mad at all. I'm the opposite of mad. Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> so what we got here, um, why the anger and hostility, dude? I'm always rewriting, editing the video. I, I remember this was on Twitter. I can't remember who it was responding to, though. Yeah. Um, I think he was just shitting on response videos. Oh yeah, do you remember he said, don't say shit like, do I you not do. proofread and redraft to a fellow writer if you want to have people who support your work. That was oh, such I a bad look. That. That's, yeah. a, that's a good meme. We made a good meme oh, out of that. Man. Oh, you were, yeah, just for reference, as if you don't know, he, basically people were like, uh, I think someone said, because like, a word was gotten wrong, or was some delivery was wrong, they were just like, worth redrafting um, a script, you know? And he was like, don't say that to a fellow writer if you want support in future. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, to redraft, you freak. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, damn, okay, aggressive, shit, man. Aggressive, you know. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you, you'll regret that decision in future. It just felt like a, you'll never work in this town again, kid. That sort of thing. Mm. <laughs> That's what that guy said to Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Top is absolutely right, all memeing aside, so right off the bat this is not a rant on his opinions, but rather me questioning his standards and some contradictory statements he makes. How he oh, describes certain board. moments feels mm. cherry-picked, if you will. It seems like he very <laughs> much liked the ideas the and themes. So already, 
Head thing is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I dig it. Yeah. Sometimes the movie presented or intended, and then ignored most of the execution. This response is not going to be in chronological order, because the claim he makes at the end needs to be addressed first. And then I can briefly explore why it's nonsense by using some of the scenes he brings up in his video. There are some things to make clear before getting started. If you think hating on art with an attitude of superiority is easy, tough luck but so is praising it. There's a channel that has almost 2 million subscribers from doing this. Yeah, there was, uh, Hytop has an attitude of like, you know, it's, it's so much harder to be like, nice to art, to praise it. It's like, nah, there's plenty of opportunities uh, people have to just yeah. praise art and do well. <laughs> Maybe he's talking like, especially these days, because everything's shit. <laughs> you know really hard to find stuff you like. <laughs> See, that would maybe be our position, yeah. Like, yeah oh, I know, yeah. maybe that's what he was saying. But um, not like anything. It's like, yeah, because everything's shit. Yeah, what, what was it? Uh, the label was toxic positivity, where it's just like people who get aggressive when you're not positive. They're like, fuck you, this is good. You're like, ooh, oh, damn. Man, sorry. I didn't You're mean wrong, to upset you, sorry. but um, yeah, <laughs> Cinema Wins has got a whole career basically just saying things are good, and his arguments are, um, you know, they're up there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend for a while dude, that it's what you wanted, and see how you feel. Oh do, no, there do, it is. Uh, there it is. Have, have there is our watched, boy. Have you seen that before, Az? Have you seen that argument? Yeah, before? Critical Drinking seems to use that a lot. Yeah, pretend. You know, just pretend for a watch through. Whatever watch through is what you wanted. See how you feel. This is in regards to the Emperor being alive, by the way. <laughs> pretend pretend that you wanted that, that to happen. You, 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 can't you can't pretend. That's not how it works. You don't go, no. yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to like Loki. I mean, I'm going to go pretend to like Loki. This pl no, it's not how it operates. Yeah, that's, that's skipping to the end step. <laughs> it's, it's worth, it's it's worth a like try. What you <laughs> By watching it and then letting the, the, the content that we've watched actually uh, formulate how we feel. Isn't that how stuff Absolutely. Goes? And, uh, but the thing is, when you're defending something like Rise of Skywalker, maybe you pull this out because what else are you going to do? You're like, you know what? Maybe you just change yourself fundamentally. <laughs> then you'll enjoy Rise of Skywalker. Cool. Yeah. Maybe if you just pretended you're a completely different person with different <laughs> thoughts and beliefs, you'd like it. <laughs> Which is the argument. The multiverse. Yeah, Asking especially. Asking people to pretend not to feel the way that they did. <laughs> <laughs> Such uh. an amazing argument. It's what you wanted and see how you feel? <laughs> Negative criticism. I think actually Drinker just edited his video in there to, to, to put that bit in. Oh, I, I I can't remember which one he cited, but like yeah, everybody should be aware that someone made that argument on the internet. It's such an amazing one. You can apply just it to everything it's ever. What you want. Um, someone, just like Lo just, just like Loki, Crazy. just like it. Yeah, of course. This this tweet though. Speaking from experience, it's much easier to hate on art with an attitude of superiority than it is to empathize with art from a place of understanding. Like, uh, what? About <laughs> fun doing the former. You in wouldn't the past. have this argument for Hitler. And and yeah. he ends up with saying, "Criticize from love," as as if like it's up to him whether or not you've done that. He will decide. He'll listen to you and be like, you didn't criticize. For example, all of my hatred for Loki. Do you really think it comes from the fact that I just want to hate stuff? Or do you think maybe it destroys everything I was invested in in the MCU up till now? It's like, yeah. hmm, ding we dong, which one? I don't know. from a point of desperation, as in we're or desperate to save films from <laughs> descending into horrific madness. <laughs> but it could be as awfulness. simple as, as somebody saying, I paid to watch this. Yeah. And I don't, I don't feel as if I got my money's worth. I feel as if I got utterly yeah, ripped I suppose, off. In a way, we've we skipped over another truth, which is like, I'm sorry, if someone really hated the message in something, they just hated it. They just thought, oh, fuck this message. This is terrible. It's like, what, are they not? Like, they, it, it, It's too easy to hate it that way. You should empathize. Well, look, I'm saying this because I know exactly what he's talking about, right? I'm assuming you guys do as well. He's talking about the rape. Um... He, he believes you should empathize with the fact that Patty Jenkins was not trying to portray rape, so stop saying she did, because it's so easy to do that. that well, yeah, that, it, it is easy to happened, look at rape and say that it's rape. Yeah, well, yeah. that's what I'd happened. It's difficult not to. Yeah, well, that's the thing. High Top is an interesting creator. He has some ideas that are yes. just, they just don't survive uh, scrutiny at all. And it's <laughs> not a superiority is... thing, because... It was literally, as soon as the film happened, there were loads of us. There was my, I, I knew them myself, there was Gary, uh, I think there was Drinker, there was loads, I think it was yourself as well, that immediately were just like, she just raped a guy. 
Um, if it's really if, gross. You know, are you fat movies recording? The set of us see she like turns over in her bed and sees and we all go oh no 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 <laughs> <laughs> no and who are you you think of all the things in life that you wouldn't apply this line of reasoning to like mm -hmm. oh i didn't mean to run over that pedestrian please empathize with my intentions please please em yeah please empathize with my intention to just go to the grocery store and well, well, just put pick steve up some and just put steve rogers in the fucking film then cuz that's what she wished for yeah, well, I know that's the thing that's so strange about it is it, we talked about it at length during the movie when we were watching it. What an extremely bizarre creative decision to do this logical roundabout to give her Steve Rogers in a weird quasi form for her to have. What a bizarre creative decision. Of all the things he could have just appeared, but that well, would have been too easy. We've been criticizing One Division because of the fact that she mind controlled a town full of people yeah what is the difference between her uh mind controlling a town full of people and being rightfully criticized for doing it being called a villain and this man having his life taken over and not being in control of his life because steve rogers is now exi uh, is, is now existing in his form and, and doing his life for him i you know it's it's like I, I, when I think about that movie and like that particular plot point, I still find it really bizarre. Like, I can't believe that like a two hundred million dollar big budget, like yeah. massive film, and and like it. How 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 did nobody... how did this get the thumbs up? And remember, she retweeted someone defending her in yeah. a tweet for this. Someone was like, yeah. well, it's clearly a commentary on like '90s movies approaching this subject awkwardly with body swap stuff." And she was like, "Yep, that was it. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, that was it. Uh -huh. yeah, that's what I did it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah well, I, but in the, in the so body swap awkward. stuff, like Freaky Friday, that was mother and daughter. They were aware of each other's body swap. Well, so that's the thing. She not only in big, she just grows. She, the, she's desperate for a defense of her own movie because she doesn't have one. But she's also shitting on all these other movies because she's like uh, trying to bring them down with hers. Even this though she did a, a lot worse. Patty Jenkins was given full freedom, and as soon as this movie released and everyone's reacting to it, I remember there was an article that was like, "Wonder Woman three will not be as crazy as this. We are going to we're going to bring it back down. <laughs> we're not going to be doing this crazy shit again." I guarantee you she won't have as much freedom next time. Well, no. yeah, because, like, I'm pretty sure it's just known that 1984 is considered shit by a lot of people. Like, a lot of people think that movie's shit. It was bizarre it's to more... find out that Alex loved it's it. It's gonna age like cum. Meaning it, High well, Top, by the way. High, high, high Top was like, oh, it was so fucking good. And I was like, really? But for reference, mm. by the way, he thought the Black Widow was kind of meh. The reason why he thought it was good is because it was a creative vision and that's all he cares about. It's like, was there a creative vision here? It doesn't matter if it was like bizarre or awful or like kind of But it does. Amoral. It matters a lot because it impacts the story and it impacts oh, them, well, the the well, moral core of the character. Well, yeah, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, like it's vision. We can talk about because vision when she we're like wasn't working. Seeing Steve, she was seeing the man. We mm -hmm. the we were only seeing Steve for the audience's benefit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I right. was seeing him all the time. She was seeing him. So I, I don't know if I, because for me when I watched it, I thought that the mirror reflection was just I. I thought that she saw the guy, but she knew that it was Steve. Steve. Yes. Yeah. So it's basically. Just I think that's it. Yeah. So because we we got confused on that when we were watching it. We weren't sure what yeah. the movie wanted us to think exactly. Yeah. No, the, the guy was there. That's why she was acting all weird when he was following her around. Yeah. Um, uh, so he it's Steve in the guy's body. So the, the, the guy with the dark hair, because Steve's blonde, let's say. Handsome man. I think he's uh, yeah. called, I think his he's his called name is Handsome Man. Handsome, handsome, guy, so yeah. handsome yeah. man is, is the physical form of this this entity. Yes. So even though we see Steve, it's just purely for our benefit because we're, you know, silly. For, for so silly we can have the actor again. Audience. Instead of just having the actor the, be the character. And then everyone yeah. says, why not just have Steve in the narrative? Why, don't, why, does, why didn't you just have it be Steve? Yeah. Because why didn't he just appear? Why didn't Steve just say, it. one minute I was in the, the, the plane and, and I saw a light and I went to the light and I felt good. And then the next moment I'm in an alleyway and downtown you know san francisco wherever it's being said yeah he, he could literally have apparated anywhere yeah because it's the fucking wish stone 
<laughs> like, it doesn't matter yes. if it's like you don't have to. Oh. I'm pretty sure at that at that point we were like, oh, so it's like a monkey paw thing. Like someone else. Yep, has to be we thought so. so he comes back. But nope, you can just do fucking whatever you want. And and they mention the monkey's paw in the film, but they don't know how the monkey's paw works. No, they oh, don't. Right, no. Right, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's bizarre that they did it this way. It's uh, it's, it's like, a bizarre film. Yes, it's, it's a really a bizarre film. film. Guaranteed to come from hate either. Nitpicks are inconsequential. There's no internal consistency versus emotional resonance debate. It's internal consistency and emotional resonance versus emotional resonance. One is not a counterbalance to the other. Both can and have been achieved many times. Being a fantasy, sci-fi, or comic book movie that had hmm. good intentions with heart, she soul, and sincerity put into it is not a get-out-of-jail-free yeah, no. card. And I think he's completely right. Just because you got heart does not mean you're suddenly, you know, like immune to criticism of plot holes and stuff. Where other projects work really hard to have their heart and to make sense. Just because you were like, I have heart too. It's like, that's cute. You look like a horrible yeah. mutant and you're trying to get into the club. Stop it. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're discussing though. We're discussing the, the, the sense of it. Absolutely, when it comes yeah. to, to Han Hanson Man and Steve, we're discussing the sense of that uh, so, so you know, we we're all we'd say we'd all be happy. I think I can speak with everyone here that if Steve just turned up, Steve just turned up because of the wish. Yeah, that the film just yeah, it, it, it just works so much better. <laughs> There's nothing they yeah. lose. Like I, it, it, yeah. Plenty of like, plots. Can I just express my joy that there's fitting visuals on what he's saying? It's crazy. I'm so yeah, yeah. I'm so happy. It's nice. <laughs> it's really it nice. nice. Get out of jail free card. Plenty have solid plots or established rules and stick to those rules, even fictional ones. Take all of this into account, and that is how I'm currently invested in discussing movie and TV quality. So none of this bullshit about how people who use this method of criticism just don't care. Why are you not a boring objective robot that points out every continuity error? Because I care. Oh. Because I because we don't we don't care about internal consistency and plot pl if you if you care about plot holes you don't care it was lame yeah you're but not if caring you about don't the heart. care about them but if you don't care about them you do care <clears throat> it's very complicated it's just funny I I just find it I just don't think it's impressive to to be like you know what I ignored all of how it was constructed I just I went for what the person was going for it's like yeah that's really easy as far as I'm concerned we try to avoid doing that. Yeah. Um, it's even worse when you when you go out of your way to say this, then make videos that <laughs> are terribly uh, with terrible arguments. Then when I talk to some of my friends, they're like, "Yeah, we just watch the movies and we're fine." I know there's like shit happening, but yeah, but they don't talk about it on the internet to everyone for everyone to see. They're like, yeah, this was fun. That's all right, and then they move on with their life. Like, Melly, sounds like you don't care. I, I really don't. Damn. I could tell you don't care by how much you care. Mm. I yeah. Because I care. Care. <laughs> so what is the statement Mr. Films makes that prompted this response? Roll the clip. Nothing about the plot makes sense. Wait, hold on. That can't <laughs> be right. So that is a clip from his review of Teen Titans, possibly. I can't remember exactly what the show is, that but like, that was Titans oh, let me guess two. that one didn't have. Oh. Vision and heart, so he didn't like it. Well, so that's <laughs> the thing. Because High Top is ripping into it for its uh, nonsensical plotline. It's like, oh, oh, wait. Well, that's not very consistent. Not very nice that's... of him. You know, appreciating what? the heart. Stop it. I guess he yeah. didn't care about that. Did he didn't care about that movie. I think it's a show, right? I don't actually know. It's a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I it's thought season two plot. was pretty good until the uh, <laughs> finale. Finale was terrible. It'd be generous to call this a plot. No, not that one. Ah, here it is. Movies aren't about logic and plot. That's why I almost never talk about those things. They are about oh. emotion. <laughs> Whoa, okay. They're about emotion and feeling. <laughs> As he shows this. That feels redundant, emotion. by the way. Yeah, they're the same thing. Emotion and feeling are the same thing. And well, feeling. No. I guess I guess you could you could separate them out. You could be like discussing emotions and then discussing the mm. the, the uh, event of feeling for yourself. Definitely yeah. related, but if it, it, it feels like you when writing that you'd want to make sure you uh, explain the, Maybe use words that better represent the, the distinction you're making between these two topics because emotional yeah, well, feeling this is this This is classic high talk where he's very Specific and he wants to cover all of his bases and he really wants to make for a solid 
airtight argument. So I can I can appreciate that level of semi redundancy, but clarification all the same. This is um this it's is a short film, one. The Jam Salesman. The Jam uh, Salesman. The horror. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> They are never entirely about the logic. They are never entirely about the plot. Those two things are- I like that he's- <laughs> the, the image is like, uh Used to give you a feeling, to evoke a reaction from you. They are needed to support that reaction, to support the characters. So, don't you feel like he just destroyed his, his entire position by accident there? Oops. Uh-huh. Just said Oopsie. that- We, like, it's not about the plot. The plot is there to support the emotional reaction. Like, hmm. Uh, no. They are not what art is about. No one is saying <laughs> that movies are only about logic and plot. Everyone wants to experience the intended emotional takeaway in movies. Yeah, and, and that's honestly it's just you like a thing you have it. to, I guess, remind people. It's like anybody who's reviewing this shit, it's like, you do get that we're, we're chasing the high. Everyone wants to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, we, we, we enjoy movies, we enjoy them. We're like, let's get another one, a new one. And then it's shit, and you're like, oh. Yeah, yeah, but my brain... Yeah, but I'm not a seven-year-old, and I know when I'm being fooled. And I don't yeah. want to be fooled. I'm, I'm not you, going... Yep. Like, if I'm not sitting my ass in front of David Copperfield, I, I don't want to be fooled. <laughs> All right? I know <laughs> when I'm being tricked. Yeah, there's one... I know I'm being tricked, it's cheap. Work fucking harder. Wait, instead of just being like, but it wasn't rape. You're like, but you showed rape. <laughs> but you, yeah, exactly. You showed the thing. Well, My brain exclusive. cannot reconcile these two things. You th but the, yeah, the, they're not exclusive. You can have both. Absolutely. Well, you... so th that's the, the problem. They, for some reason, believe that if you put logic in, the heart goes out. It's like, um... Right, yeah. so what about Empire Strikes Back? Maybe High Top's hot take is that that film is full of plot holes. <laughs> the silence. Well, just, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> who knows? It's uh, it's got the logic of it. It's got the logic of the film, you know, based around the universe. It's got the emotion uh, I mean, resonating the, through multiple different characters I and like multiple the, different character developments. I feel like the best movies have that. They they give you the huge emotional payoffs, and they worked really hard to have a plot line that um earns them and character motivations and values and all that. But um, for some reason, they're getting dichotomized. Another great if, one, Ghostbusters is another great one, but that's a comedy. People pretend <laughs> as if, I don't know how this happened or where it got started, maybe it's always been a thing, it's probably always been a thing, where people assume that brains don't, we, we, we're, they're just uh, information absorbing machines. Um, we have to see things and hear things and experience things in order to react to them. We have to see stuff and we have to connect dots with what we're shown, either visually or in, in another way. That's how we experience our emotions. Yeah. Yeah, but you just... we do have the suspension of disbelief, which can come into play. Well, as you said about the whole, I don't want to be, well, that, I don't want to try and trick me and stuff. Okay. Um, when we see miniatures, it's like, we're hoping that they're of higher quality enough that we can be tricked. Which is like, ah, oh, that does look kind of real, actually. I can enjoy that. Instead of so we'll be like, it's not rave on Twitter. <laughs> like, yeah, but there's there's the good lie, and yeah. then there's the bad lie. Um, wow. Where the good the the miniatures are the good lie. This isn't really mm. a ship. It's a miniature. You know, we're not trying to fool you, fool you. And then there's the rape scene in Wonder Woman eighty four, where it's just flat out. That's the bad lie. Where we are, we are legitimately and earnestly asserting that the thing you just saw definitely wasn't the thing that you just saw. But we saw it. But we did see it because that's what you showed us. And that's yeah. your fault for showing us that. If you didn't want us to think it was that thing, don't show us that thing. That's your fault. You can't show me an elephant and blame me when I say, oh shit, it's an elephant. And no, it's not a truck. No, it's not. It's a it's parakeet. A, it's a flesh truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone said what's running in the background. It's my fan, okay, but it's really hot in Britain right now, or at least stuffy. Oh my gosh, is it like like oh, some of our rain? It's like, it's it's like the, the rainstorm here. Yeah, right I don't, now. yeah. The the comment wasn't worth the conversion in my head. It's fine. I want. I want is it some rainstorm. mild level of hotness? Of course it is. I'm British. Is it somewhat yes. warm? 
It's, yeah, it's, it's somewhat somewhat uncomfortable. It's less moist today, which is upsetting. I require my moistness. <laughs> less moist? Yeah. The moisture makes the heat worse. Well, if it's really like rainy and moist, I'll I'll take it over um over like this this human it's a different I don't know how to explain it. I am not a weatherman. I I it's, but it's, it's stuffy. It's it's stuffy. It's stuffy, yeah. It's not it doesn't feel like there's a lot of air. Feels like you could eat the air as it moves around you. It's getting so. You feel like there's too much. Like you have, like, like you're you're being suffocated almost by the, by, by the air. It's just there's so much of it. I'm gonna have to like. Like it's thick around your face. Escort the air outside. It's like, come on, get out. Yeah. It's like Wonder Woman's raping me. Yeah, yeah. See, that kind of nails the feeling. Yeah. Just said it yourself. Like it. Plot and logic are used to give you a feeling and support the reaction. So if the plot is contradictive, convoluted, fractures world building, and unethical, then oh. how are people who use their brain supposed the to? He did show the grape. The grape. <laughs> to evoke a oh positive God, reaction. Don't say logic and plot aren't that important. Feelings are, and then say logic and plot are also the foundation for feelings. That makes no sense. What does this remind me of? You're kind of watching movies wrong. <laughs> now let's apply. I should have just a bee recap of my fab. <laughs> <laughs> well, so this is the thing. I get the impression this person probably either watches both Drinker and Efap, or at least has seen both of them in some way, because it is <laughs> yeah, hard to disassociate surprised. Tyrion's vomit from uh, Drinker's videos at this point for me. I've seen it so yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, same. Logic and plot. Those two things are used to give you a feeling, to evoke a reaction from you. They are needed to support that reaction. To the movie and his video. Director Patty Jenkins said this oh, about Diana. She doesn't punch people in the face. That's not the most effective way to stop. Oh god, I remember this. That is... Oh, oh yeah. Just, just so that in strange. isolation. What a quote. Yeah. What a that, quote. Punching someone in the face is not the most effective way to stop something, something from happening. This wow. applies. Yeah. <laughs> so oh. dumb. Good way to stop oh. rape. <laughs> <It's good. Yes. laughs> it's also. Like, I don't know, Gangster. That was on though. Just kind of crazy that, like, a few months later, we see Wonder Woman punching people so hard that their <laughs> brains splatter against the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fine, well, that was his vision. Because that and is fucking works. Vaporizing somebody with their bracelets and shit. It fucking mm. works. So, like, why would you say it doesn't stop? <laughs> it's not the most effective. Uh, thanks for commentary on every... are rarely super strong and rarely engage in combat. You're right. Amazonian Anyone ever seen Spider-Man punch Warrior a person? Race. Because I certainly haven't. Batman doesn't punch yeah. people either. No, Batman sits down and talks to them. <laughs> so, Superman talks comes out. in and he goes, hey, stop it. You stop yeah. it. Let's Cut slap him the wrist. Cut stop that out. It. Yeah. Stop Enough it. of that. Put it down. Yeah, nice, nice effeminately. Yeah, nice effeminately. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Come on. I'm stop doing something that. Stop. That's not super at all. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, typically people will cite other movies where she's punched the shit out of people. It's like, you don't even have to. Look at what she's doing. Do you really think yeah, that this is like, you know what, this is the way to do it. She's not punching anyone, okay? She's not punching yeah, anyone. Yeah, she just destroys the whole car that people are in. <laughs> yeah. The whole truck. She crushes the kids when she uh, rolls with them. <laughs> That's not punching them, that's crushing the kid. In a world where bullets stand on trial. <laughs> it's not a punch. Ooh. It's not a punch. That's Don't count. Not a punch. punch. Not a punch. Not a punch. Not a punch. Yep. Uh, legs. Excessive. Legs. Don't. It's legs, not arms. It's kick. The kick uh, is ooh. not a punch. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, it doesn't... <laughs> it's not a punch. Shut up. <laughs> it's fine when they're evil. She's electrocuting her. Electricity's not a punch. Electricity's not a punch. But also, it's not effective against Diana. She's a uh, a rock. What? Which one is? <laughs> She's a rock, rock type. type or a ground type <laughs> your Pokemon. Yeah. Oh yeah, physical attacks, sir. Yeah, you don't want to. Do, you got to use psychic or water. Exactly. What magic attacks? <laughs> oh shit! Water. She's in water. So water. Oh my goodness so gracious! Wow! Oh She's my in, god! She's in water, electrocuting somebody and getting no blow back herself. Well, this, yes, so. so I guess Diana's not affected by electricity and water. Yeah, she's just that good. I Damn. remember Rudon being like, he would die when when like Mudkip fired water at him. So I don't know. I feel like this this is contradicting Pokemon lore. Yeah, well, another <laughs> way how Wonder Woman eighty four fails. Let's be honest. Yeah. 
That's not how electricity works. I like the idea, though, that one woman's like, I am strangling someone while holding them underwater and getting them electrocuted. As they're being electrocuted. <laughs> but well, thank God I'm not punching myself. them. Yeah, just like, like it's so much better than punching. It's so effective. Oh, God, yeah. you wouldn't want to punch them. That's that's cruelty right there. That's, that's, that's rude. rude. They're not conscious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not how heroes not do it. She's not that kind of person. <laughs> She, I've, you're right. I've um, always Diana has always struck me as really clever and intelligent. She would never just mm. thuggishly punch somebody, okay? And mor morally speaking, you shouldn't just punch people. Electrocute them, okay? That's the way to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rape, rape them. Go and all the way. Them. I agree. Rape <laughs> them <laughs> and electrocute them. <laughs> <No, no. laughs> you know what? Don't punch them. Rape them. <laughs> <laughs> Electrocute them and rape them. Don't punch them. That is the progressive way forward. At the same time, if you can. That's what this. No half the measures. Time. So, a funny tidbit about this particular part, <laughs> right? This is High Top's video where he's basically advocating that she does not punch people and she's like too good for punching people. Southpaw cut that alongside her punching people to death in the Snyder cut, and he uploaded it to Twitter. Mm -hmm. Very funny. We're all like, haha, very funny, good stuff. Uh -huh. uh, he go. got there quote go. tweeted by a lot of people who were pissed at him for making this comparison, including High Top, who was like, I did not make this. He made that. I did not say it. Because people started to think that High Top made a video criticizing the Snyder Cut by comparing it to Patty Jenkins' comments. He was upset that people might assume <laughs> that he was pointing out the... Hmm. Yes, he was upset that people thought that he was pointing out the contradiction. Yeah, that is the that's how furious he was. Uh, it was hilarious because uh, then people, that if you remember, they rolled out an argument that was the movies don't share continuity, even though they absolutely do, or at least um, were supposed. To well, they to the up. point where they said not even like Man of Steel, BVS, Snyder Cut share continuity. They're all separate sort of thing. They exist separate. They can change shit as much as they want because they're not the same movie. Um, and then, of course, the argument came in that she literally electrocutes people and rapes them in her own movie, so <laughs> we don't even need to reference outside of it. She only rapes one person. The other she Batman, rapes Batman, number of rapes, zero. <laughs> Wonder Woman, number of rapes, one. Well, that Justice League meeting would have been awkward, wouldn't it? It's like, what have you guys been up to? <laughs> She's like, well, if you believe Twitter... You know how many bats it takes to give me a hand job. This is Steve. I'm not Steve. I haven't been Steve for fucking oh. two years now, and she continues <laughs> to fucking rape me. Now. And as I've been reminded, <laughs> uh, High Top said Southpaw used this without High Top's permission. You oh, don't need yeah. permission. Don't you need don't. It. You didn't have Patty Jenkins' it's fucking permission to make peer review, so kill yourself. <laughs> In a video game, Rags. In a video game. Oh, yeah. And it's in Minecraft. Jump into lava <laughs> in Minecraft. Somebody, somebody's actually in been Minecraft. very astute. They've said one rape that we know of. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, very true. Um, <laughs> we true. don't know with, how many how times she is. Yeah, yeah, you know? She doesn't even recognize that it is rape, so who knows how many accidental rapes she's committed. You um, kind of look like... Spats, gropes, kisses without... Oh, man, this is a... This is a sex offender right here, the beyond. Um, but yeah, didn't teach if this sort of thing in Hemisphere, I'd never came have to go on the register, wouldn't she? It is a fundamental, though, by the way, that people on, like, Twitter believed this was a good argument, they were like, you can fuck with, like, films any way you want, and the content made by people, but you can't fuck with the content made about the content. That's going too far. Like, you shouldn't be taking... Right. Uh... High Top's perspective on one thing, and c contrasting it in how wrong he is because of evidence in another thing. That's... Fucking rude, <laughs> especially without his permission. Wonder Woman, she's too good for punching, but not for raping. Too good for punching, go not for munching. Also, someone's like, "There's a high top in in chat." I'm pretty sure high top is not in chat. So just check your profile <laughs> if you can. It's not going to be him. You know that what? Top. If you feel like it's high top, maybe go it's for true. It. <laughs> maybe it's <laughs> true. Go fish. Pretend it is high top. Does he have the heart of high top? That's the, the important vision, part. The passion. The morality. Person. And I think that's why so many people <laughs> gravitated towards her first This was movie. a good scene. No, no it's because people are very easily fooled <laughs> by really bad scene. movies. That's why people thought the first one was great. I just want to make sure no, everyone... No, no, it's terrible. The scene, the, the scene, the scene was, that was a good scene. The, I'm afraid. Um, so no man's done the scene. No, it was terrible. We all it hate was it. Awful. I'm sorry, it's yeah. full of... <laughs> 
yeah. problems. No. There's a lot of plot issues. She survives because of plot armor. That was terrible. And I'm not and a fan of that. Um, well, she survives her because of her armor, not plot armor. <laughs> no, she, also... no, she's just not shot anywhere that her shield isn't because of plot armor. And, yeah, and she also, has no business like, surviving that scene also, at all. It makes no sense whatsoever. It's, it's a little bit uh, to be like, oh, I'm gonna go stop the bad guys when it's like, hey, we're not like you know, real human beings. We can't just like yeah. end wars by having plot armor and running across a field and. She's not, not a real human being, though, is she? Also, that's the she's problem. Not, she, she's like, why aren't you guys getting over there and saving the people who were stuck in that village? And they're like, this is no man's land. It's a fucking nightmare. And then yeah. she's like, if you're not going to do it, I will. It's like... Wonder Woman, uh, particularly in the first like, film, is a really naive idiot. Yeah, she's naive, for sure. But I, I did enjoy yeah, that scene. I did think it's a good scene. It's presented as, like, a good point that she made. Like, I'm going to go save the people. As if, like, the people who fought in that war weren't trying to stop it. It's a little it's, um, bit like, ugh. yeah, I, I hear, I hear, what, right, I, I hear what you're saying. Obviously, uh, you know, maybe Putty should have uh, decided to to look at how many people died when they went over the top uh, in World War One, or maybe uh, research the fact that the general's plan was we have more men than they have bullets, which was actually the um, uh, one of the uh, the leading forces in World War One is they would run out of bullets before we'd run out of men, um, but. Uh, just as a, as a as a way to establish her pushing as a hero and her heroic uh nature yeah she's naive she's naive and she doesn't get why they she's can't because right. she doesn't have to um she doesn't have to worry about these things yeah but she's proven right it's not like oh you were naive and wrong it's like oh no look she was right because she did it isn't that awesome? Inexplicably, she did. And it. just you out of curiosity, um, as how do you feel about the fact that she stumbled across Steve? He convinced her that the bad guy is on the German team, and that she'll work with the uh, you know the allies to destroy the Germans and get to him. When oh, but he looks hunky with his top off. Of course, but yeah, if it were, it, it could just as easily have been the reverse. And so when you watch her destroying the young German conscripts, conscripts in the middle of this war, do you not feel at all uncomfortable with the fact that like a superhero is just like, hey, who's the bad guy? And then one guy just goes, uh, them. And she goes, okay, we. And then just <laughs> yeah, 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 there's, a, there's a little bit more context, though, because obviously the Germans come through to Themyscira and they start, you know, shooting at the, the Amazons and Amazons do die. Uh, etc. Uh, so she does have a, a better understanding of had a German their spy their motivation. Crashed. Well, had a German. If they spy were the good guys, would they, they could have landed and say, "Hey, look, we're, you know, oh my goodness, we've come into this, you know, this island of beautiful fucking half naked women. <laughs> yeah, baby. Um, no men, even better. Uh, more choice for us. Uh, and then gone. Hey, look, peace." We're we're searching for a fugitive who's come through. There's a war going on behind there. He's a nasty man. So th there's ways that they they um, could have. So the, issue the is that guys could have done for, it. For more context, so, though, it, she makes the decision based on Ludendorff, not on the Germans attacking them. She actually thinks she's going to release the Germans from the war god's grip if she does this. Um, so everyone, what, everyone, everyone, not just the Germans. Yeah, and, the, and but she's told everyone. that Ludendorff is the problem by Steve. Is it Steve? She just believes. No, no, she I just thought, instantly I thought she, associates him with No, theories. I thought she would just made a, an assumption. Well, I mean, isn't that still a problem? Because like, all, all the Amazons... Yeah, she, oh, she, she way, fucks up. She fucks up because she thinks he's... Uh, Mark. Yeah, but she fucks up. By the up. way, um, I pulled up the scene. The Amazons shoot the Germans first. Or, uh -oh. or like the Germans... Oh, wait, no. They, they've already got their arrows lined up on them. And the Germans then shoot, and then they shoot. Oh yeah, them that. The yeah. I still think that scene is bizarre. So, like it's just, it's well, just it, crazy. Well, it portrays the Germans as like this weird, cartoonishly evil people. Even though this is World War One. This is World War One. Yeah, I think this I think they World forgot this isn't like. Yeah. I would still have problems with it in World War Two, but I think they forgot which World War this was. Yeah, this is, well, because they, this is they like travel a... through a fucking portal into another world, sort yeah. of, like as far as they know, and then they're like, yeah, "There's yeah, women, yeah. kill them." <laughs> like, wait, what? Why? What? What are we doing? Yeah, it's a, that's a bad act. But again, you know, but it, with things like this, you, when it when it comes to stuff like this, you, you you know we know that the Germans were the bad guys. No, we don't. Or, or at least from right, our World perspective War, in, in World, World War, War One. No, I no, I don't agree with that. I think that it's not clear who the oh, good yeah. guys and the bad guys were in World War One. I. I think World War One was way more Franz, complicated. Franz Ferdinand. Well, <laughs> being assassinated. 
Yeah, but that was Austria-Hungary. And yeah, Germany that was the Austrian-Hungary no and the Austrian-Hungary alliance had obviously huge links to the Germans. Yeah, but but it was all like entanglements. Like I don't. The reason why the war happened was because like there were a whole bunch of entanglements between all these different countries that basically spiraled into a massive war, and like all but of them had essentially how World War Two. No, but, yeah, but like with World War, with World War Two, it like started with a false flag operation that that they used to invade Poland, and then they started like systematic. Like it's not World War One was caused by this weird entanglement of alliances, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like World War and World War One was complicated. <laughs> World like, War really, debate. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's, yeah. It's I... just, the whole point is that if 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 like a German spy plane had landed in. Uh, that place, and then Americans came in through a rowboat, the whole story would have been backwards, because Wonder Woman had no reason to believe that, like, well, yeah, she was the told... Germans were any more evil than the Americans or the British. If she was yeah, told a higher I, up in the British I Empire needed is, to be killed. They were our enemies in as much as, from our side's perspective, this was our enemy. But, so from Steve's side... You know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, yeah. he's the one who doesn't show aggression towards them. He's the one who lets them bathe him. Uh, the Germans are the ones that come through, and they are the ones that open fire. But that's so, not her yes, reasoning, we have though. A, we have a, yeah, we have a very loose uh, morality system there, but it's in a very loose way of showing good guy versus um, bad guy. Um, but, you know, I don't think you want to stop in the middle but of the German, uh, no, I'm start like doing discussing the yeah. assassination of Franz Ferdinand. You to, know? to clarify, I'm fine with them pushing back on the Germans after they start shooting, and that's totally fine. Yeah, I mean, sure. What I'm saying yeah. is that she's told the, the current events of the world, and she's like, right, so I need to kill Ludendorff. And to do that, I'm going to smash through many young German conscripts when she could just have easily have been doing the reverse, because the she's that's how naive she is. And it feels really awkward to watch a superpowered being just slaughtering young people. Mm -hmm who have been pushed yeah, into a war they don't even understand. Um, and yeah. she has no idea why she's even really doing it beyond. I'm pretty sure that's the God of War up there. It's like, oh. Especially so because she, what about she thinks Rogers that's God of War in, doing in this. Captain America, the first Avenger. Well, so, Wait, what? So he understands the war fully. Yeah. And also, like, Hydra And he's super-powered, and he's, and he's taking lives of yeah, um, young... Yeah, that's oh, his choice oh. to make. Um, she decided she's got bad information, like s severely, and it's based on the luck of having met an American before a, uh, a German. Also, different sure, factions uh, yeah, are trying to achieve non a, a non -a She met a non-aggressive, or well, he was incapacitated, to be honest with you. Uh, but she she got an incapacitated out, saved him, was just like, oh, he's got a penis. Uh, he he didn't come across as aggressive, and then the Germans came through, and they were aggressive. Yeah, but that's that's kind of the point, right? Is that had it gone the other way around, we'd be watching a movie where triumphant music was playing as Wonder Woman killed a bunch of British but it, conscripts. But it didn't. The that, fact is, it didn't. No. no, but that's the issue. No, it is didn't. Her character. <laughs> the issue is that her character would have done either way. Yeah, because, Boogie's bullet didn't like, happen to fall on anybody. No. <laughs> 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 No, I mean, it's not a problem. If Steve had come through, and if Steve was, uh, I'm not losing anything. This is just this is an interesting debate. This is this is why we have these debates. People. Absolutely, come on. It's not about winning and losing. It's about debating these things. Now, if Steve had come through, and it was, let's say he was conscious and was aggressive towards Diana, and then was knocked out, then it could have easily have changed their perception of when the Germans came through to see how they would react. So they might have not been uh, so willing to, to sort of like go down and, you know, point some arrows or whatnot. But even if there were British that came through, I imagine the Amazons would have reacted exactly the same. It was against man, never mind where the country was. So let's say the British came through. Uh, I still imagine that, the, uh, imagine that the Amazons would have gone down to the beach, bows drawn. Uh, well, no, yeah, we're, what... agreed. We're, yeah. we're saying that so that's, a German plane point. crash... <laughs> crashes she pulls him out and then the british people come through the portal like what the fuck is this and then they all have their war and the german guy is like this mm. is fucking people in britain who are controlling all of this they're making the war happen you gotta yeah. stop yeah them. yeah yeah and then one woman's like right time to kill some british conscripts time to kill some british yeah <laughs> well depending if she she fancied the german guy like she fancied yeah, but um, that's, if that's, he was a, let's, let's say he's a hot german guy yeah it's, he's gonna it's gonna be a yeah a well, stud. Wasn't, uh, wasn't there yeah. also the um the aspect of them sensing aries sensing aries at work 
regardless. Well, she kind but of. But Ares would be behind everything. He I was going to say she behind was behind one side. She was mistaken, of course. Um, mm -hmm. So she could have sensed anything behind any. But I'm pretty sure it's just the description of they plan to, like, you know, win the war, like in a definitive sense, hopefully, which is the the goal of either side, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in her, but her goal was to to stop Ares. Ares from, yeah, she thinks yeah. that war ends when you kill Ares, which, by the way, it does. <laughs> in the movie. Which is yeah, <laughs> we're led the entire movie to believe that this is an absurd, ridiculous piece of nonsense. Because of course it is, and the film says no. That's that's how it works. They they literally have German and uh, I guess British soldiers like hand in hand at the end. Like they got like their arms on their shoulders, sort of thing. Like yeah, we did it. Ares is dead. Guess, no. How do we explain World War Two? <laughs> but you do <laughs> Ares, see, well, some, you, you somehow do see Ares is returned. on both sides because ultimately Ares was in the British government. Yeah, he was. And yeah, and, yeah. and you know, thing. obviously, you know, so yeah. so he, you know, the, everyone was being played. No, yeah, then that, well, that's kind of the point, right? It's just it's really tough to watch her beating the shit out of the German uh, soldiers. When you know that she could just as easily be doing to British people, she has no idea what's happening. This is just a very strong person imposing her will on the world in the middle of a war. Mm. Um, meanwhile, Steve is like he's signed up; he's like official, and he, and a lot of the missions yeah. he's doing are trying to rescue people, rescuing soldiers, stopping Hydra yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay, especially okay, when we fair learn enough. Hydra wants to end like all of the countries; like they want to drop bombs on Moscow, Berlin, London, and yeah, Paris just, and Hydra's its own team, sort of thing. Yeah. But wasn't wasn't the fact that we Diana didn't know she was tricked. This is the whole point. She was tricked by Ares. She believed she knew exactly uh who was the instigator of it all. And so, so when she, she killed him, well, was, the, does she then she realized, the you know, I've done for I've done a fuck up. Well, she doesn't feel bad about it. She keeps doing it. When she fights Ares, she then kills a bunch more Germans. Yeah, yeah she gets, gets enraged and kills each other. Yeah. <laughs> And also, it's, it's not. It, it, she's not tricked by Ares. She just assumes no. that Ares is Ludendorff. She just yeah. jumps to that. Yeah. Even though Incredible David Thewlis is how Ares looks, and she sees a guy who looks just like David Thewlis in Britain, you know, I feel like that's a better connection. Yeah. Didn't even rape him. The fuck. Didn't even rape him. <laughs> Didn't even rape him. <laughs> um. Oh, did she? Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> we know of only one. This God of War is a nice apartment. Yeah, he, he, I I don't know if I don't even know if Az knows, but we don't we don't like Wonder Woman here. I'm afraid the the first yeah, one. It's really uh, really bad. Here. That's really fine. Bad. And we I'm went in. Okay. I actually introduced it as the one that was probably going to be the best that we were going to enjoy. Yeah. Most. Um, I was wrong, quite a bit. I'd forgotten a lot of how the the movie progresses and stuff. Um, but I mean, Steve is like the Steve. Trevor is. I think we agreed he's like the best thing about the movie. Strong point. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. 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 But he's got a he's got a very strong personality and yeah, Chris Pine's a good actor. He's yeah, he has a personality yeah. and Wonder Woman doesn't yeah. really have one. And Gal Gadot's a horrifically bad actress. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but she looks gorgeous. She's got an amazing. Oh, she's gorgeous. fucking smoking. Hey, yeah. she's smoking. This she. Yeah. Oh yeah, she. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but, both, but... And that, and that forgives damn. the multitude of things. Well, I, I guess it gets super awkward, though, because then you have someone like Elizabeth Olsen, who is also very beautiful, but, like, actually talented. So, you know, it's not like... Well, they can both yeah. be psychopaths, luckily. <laughs> well, <laughs> they are, that's... they are. But, we did it. but <laughs> Elizabeth Olsen is, because she's a better actress, she can more convincingly portray... <laughs> more convincingly psychopath. portray a psychopath. You're completely <laughs> correct, yes. Hey, Springy, some people can do it naturally. Yeah. Yeah. Don't have even some, try. Uh, have some respect for the craft of try. psychopathy. Oh, psychopathy. Any, you know. Anyway, let's let us get back to the wondrous world of high back top. Back to high top. Yes. We're we're mm. giving him the Greedo treatment. We've got to <laughs> we got to stay focused here. <laughs> oh, man. I like oh. how she leaves the guy in that alley. <laughs> oh, Ooh. oh no. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're probably hurt. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're, ouch. oh my goodness gracious. This, by the way, I'm assuming it's to just contrast with the whole she's not the kind of person to punch a person. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, you know, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of kicking there. A lot of, yeah, lot lot of, of kicking. kicking. In, lot of if kicking. you punch with a shield, is it really a punch? And if you throw a table I mean, at somebody, does that count as a punch? A kick I don't think is so. just a punch with your foot. Hmm. We'll have to see if what science has to say about that. shield at somebody, does a tree fall over in Brazil? I died. 
These are the questions we can't answer, okay? We're not powerful enough. If Wonder Woman punches a German, does a tree fall in Brazil? <laughs> Find a out tree next falls episode. in Argentina. Does a butterfly get its wings? Dude, imagine being one of these guys, just a normal fucking no. war day, and then you're just like, who the fuck is this cosplayer? Ah, look, she's killing oh everyone. Oh my god, what the? I, don't, I have not been trained for how to react to this. <laughs> Please don't kill me. I don't even know I what you are. I just, know out of my I just wanted to I just, clean dad. I just wanted I didn't to go back. Have my neck I want to go back to my family in <laughs> Hamburg. No. <laughs> I just want to go back to my school and teach geography. That's all I, I want, want to, go to back do. To the my mama is waiting for me. They have like, oh, um, God, it's coming so, over to vape so, me. So, Shit. Like she, she beats them all. They win. They're cheering. Everyone's like, yeah, we did it. There's just one German guy in the corner covered in like the blood of his friends shivering. Like, please, 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 please don't. <laughs> yeah. I just want to go home. I just want to go home now. I love Betty Gerbers. Oh, that guy. Oh, yeah. damn. <laughs> KO. KO. That is definitely a KO. <laughs> People are going to hate this magic wishing rock. But like, dude, did you hate the radioactive spider? The baby no, sent from I the... didn't. No, it, I, I, I normally so they work to us. No, normally, I'd say that we could we could respond to this. But I was going to say that Madvocate uh, does a response to this. It's probably going to be okay. Like... You're right. I f I forget. I hear high tops. This thing. I hear <laughs> I his voice, and my brain wants to just uh, pounce. Absolutely. No, well, add whatever you want to it once he's done it, I guess, because this, this point was so fucking frustrating to listen to. Planet Krypton. These are false equivalencies. The spider bites someone, that person gets super strength, agility, heightened senses, sticky fingers, and the ability to shoot webs out of their wrists, depending on the adaptation. That's it. Then the spider either disappears or dies, and the movies stick to those powers. The baby sent from Krypton? How can that be remotely compared? A distant planet inhabited by a different species yeah, is on the one. brink of destruction, <laughs> and the baby is sent off in a capsule to keep him safe. Well, why would anybody hate that? We don't hate the magic rock because it grants <laughs> wishes sorry. upon touching it. We can buy that with no problem. I don't think anybody has the issue of a fantasy element being that it's a fucking wish-granting rock. It's it's unusual, yeah, but wishes like, have fine. Been part of yeah popular culture and media and fairy tales since time immemorial. I mean, then in and of itself, the wishes aren't the problem. This is why wishes are developed to have rules and limitations and unforeseen side effects and consequences, and they're often used as cautionary tales. Mm -hmm. Wishes, we're fine with wishes. <laughs> wishes are in D&D. &D. We, we get them. It's we like how wishes. they're implemented and how they're executed. I like wishes. I wish Wonder Woman we didn't just... rape anyone. Yeah, you're asking a bit much there, I, Rex, wish, I will say. I wish she didn't rape me. I wish, like it because I its rules are contradictory and it seemingly has no yeah, safeguards. Yeah, it's, 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 the, it's the rule that the, you know, you can understand if it, like, you wish on this rock, you'll get what you want, but something's going to happen. Yeah. There's going to be an exchange uh, to get it. But when he just says, I want to be you, and so the rock becomes him, you're just like, uh, I think the rock understands people's intentions when they make wishes. I think that's fairly I think that's, consistent. Throughout that's going to help the movie. you out quite a bit when you're um you're going to be writing something like this. And I think it's I think that's great. It's gonna it's gonna make things much more straightforward. However, how the fuck do you However, explain Wonder Woman's wish at that point? That's that's the thing. <laughs> that's that's the odd one out. That's the no. That's the thing it's, about it's, it. No, it's not. It's it's the other good woman's wish that makes no sense because she says, "I wish I was like Diana." Not I Wonder mean, Woman. She... she has no concept of Wonder Woman or Diana being Wonder Woman. She says, "I wish I was like." Oh, more and she has like to be Diana. super strong. You're right. Yeah. Well, so this, yeah, this is, is what oh, we're talking yeah. about. True, yeah. So she if you go, been more, she should have just. Yeah, been this like... film's bad. I gave it too much credit for a split second. I got. I watched myself for just a split second. I let my guard down. <laughs> if, um... I assumed that maybe this film wasn't utter shite. If you consider all of the wish results, you get the literal interpretation, and thus whatever bad things come with that. The rocks, the dealer's choice, the rock makes up whatever it wants in terms of what you just said, or the exact interpretation of what the person wanted. Yeah. Like, I wish I had a farm and just, like, cows drop all over you. Like, that's, <laughs> yes. that, that, you're, what a prick, rock. You gave that rock, one really? guy, come on, you know what I meant, you asshole rock. It's like, I wish I had the strength to take out, a mil like, all kinds of guys, and then they just make you the size of a planet, and you're like, what, that... This is um, this is impractical, and you just die <laughs> because it's, it's quick cubed lore. I think that would that would kill you, right? Yeah. At least, or being in space, I suppose that would kill you too. Uh, that as well. To bring back a 
someone from the dead. It has to take over a random living person's body yeah, and you replace see, see, even looking in the mirror, he's but later it mm -hmm. just materialized. Oh, that's what my confusion was. I think that when I first watched the movie, my confusion came from in the mirror. I thought that that was a reflection of his quote unquote true body where so everybody else saw him as everyone saw him as Steve, but he was really that person who was inside the handsome guy inside, but he just became a part of the world and everyone accepted it. That was what my confusion was. Am I, um, mm. am I, am I like an idiot or am I seeing something here that's not possible? Well, the car, the car? Or, the the car? <laughs> so if the car rises up, oh, it up, rose. Oh, so okay. the wall come. Yeah, the yeah. don't ask what replaced the empty space that's now beneath it. Don't think about it. The rocks yeah. came up from the uh, yeah okay thing, and, and there was a car over it at the time, which I think yeah. is a nifty little detail. You However, know, for, someone's trapped up there. For for Help some me. reason, my brain read it as there was a car in the background driving through, and that they accidentally. <laughs> oh, oh, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. No. Dead. It has to take over a random living person's body and replace their soul, but <laughs> later it just materializes things into existence. Someone can just become the rock. It doesn't have to be touched to grant wishes anymore. You can just look at the rock on a screen. Yes, I know there's an explanation for this, but the president says it's just a figure of speech. So Max isn't actually making any sort of physical contact with anyone. Wait, now you don't even have to look at it anymore? When you lack defined rules or change them along the way to fit your plot, your investment and believability takes a hit. Because if anything can just happen out of nowhere, then what are the stakes anymore? <laughs> Yeah, perfectly explained that it's not yeah, about like a wish granting rock. It's about the fact that it makes no fucking sense and we can't grasp yeah. what the hell is at stake if if anything can happen. Well, particularly at the end when we know the <laughs> the way to change everything is just go, oh, I just renounce my wish. Yeah, that's it's that, as easy as that. Everything goes back to normal. <laughs> it's like wait, well, I don't even mm, okay. Ah uh, yes, things, the normal default normal state of this universe. Pedro Pascal still has an Asian child for some reason. Well, an Asian, Asian wife, woman. yeah. But that's never shown. Nothing, <laughs> none of it's explained. None Plot of it's oh. ever pretty, shown I, explained. I think that's a pretty reasonable inference that if your kid <laughs> no, is partially it Asian, it could have been adopted. It could have been, you know, the. But that's the distinction without because they just wanted to. They just wanted to have diversity kid in for some reason. I don't care about having an Asian. I actually like that kid. No, no, but show, at least yeah. show. At least just be consistent and show the fucking wife. Do they, I don't think let, they ever do uh, show the wife, right? Let him right? drop off the kid so we, so we understand. Otherwise, the wife you just left him because of his pursuit of, you know, fame and power. And yeah, I think... And all that stuff, I thought. I'd have to watch it again. I can't remember if there's lines for that about if they broke up because of his obsession with, like, making money and shit. I'm assuming that's just yeah, what... Yeah, but, but, but the kid's still there. The kid still turns up. So he's got to get from A to B somehow. The kid? Yeah, his his son. His son doesn't live. Oh yeah, him, no, of course. He? The wife probably fucking ferried That's, him or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, just 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 have the wife drop him off, and then at least we've got a a, a bar. Wait. So you you said you'd be much happier if the wife dropped him off. If she was Asian. Yeah. Yeah. At least just to be. At least just to give a thread, because it's just a bit jarring. Well, I assume because I know how humans work that if your kid is half Asian, then you had sex with an Asian. Maybe. Assuming you're not Asian, or else he'd be full Asian. But it don't, don't you just think it's weird? No. No. Wait, so <laughs> I, 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 I don't, I, I, I don't know what the weird part is. I'm very lost. Uh, what, what... I just thought we don't have weird. visual confirmation it no, it's that not the wife is Asian. Up. It's, 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 when you're in it right, okay, we, look, we're dealing in this, this weird superhero world uh, that's a pseudo 80s that isn't the 80s at all because it's 84 and half the stuff in it, in it came after 84, but never mind, don't worry okay. about that. Stuff like the video games and all that sort of banana yeah. stuff. Then we have a monkey paw uh, type of crystal, which is giving uh, wishes off, and we don't understand the concept of the wishes because they seem to alternate per person. So there's no benchmark uh, for us to, to 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 establish what the rules of that is. We've got a Steve Trevor walking around in a different man's body as Steve Trevor. And we've got people confused as to whether they can see Steve Trevor or whether they can see Handsome Man. And then we've got this, and then Pedro Pascal's kid just turns up and he's just an Asian kid. It's just like, 
can you just at least show some threads to connect? I I, I, don't I, I guess I, the problem is that like to me this is kind of like baffling because yeah I don't like, get it yeah like I, I I'm <laughs> like if you're like if Pedro Pascal has a kid who's Asian it means that he had sex with an Asian woman do you know that you don't know that well but it wouldn't I, matter you if know he... what I don't <laughs> you're right. you know what I don't know that, but I have an extremely high level of justifiable confidence that that is the case. Yeah, yeah. Well, but, to, you, but we, we to make sure, right? Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just saying it's weird, and it's weird, and it's and it's just should be. I don't. That's how people is work, though. On too many levels for me. I mean, America's a good old melting pot, right? Like, uh, it's not going to be unusual. Yep. I, I don't know. I. I can I can at least understand that you're saying um, there's a there's a moment there where you might assume is the film trying to tell me something uh, that's not it's it's not exactly the same skin color as Pedro Pascal therefore something else may have happened but I mean I don't think it's much confusion to just be like oh it's just an Asian wife or adoption either one well I mean it's yeah. well yeah exactly because like if ever if ever you just see a kid and like they look a little bit different from their parent the two assumptions is the other parent. It's a different race, or alternatively, that they were adopted. It's like neither of all totally like that. That completely scans for me. <laughs> I just, I just think, it's, I think it's weird. I just think it's a weird thing to do without explanation. Um, I mean, I, I don't think you have to explain in a movie that if people from two different races have a kid, the kid will be mixed race. The kid will be mixed. Yeah, yeah. Don't you feel like you wouldn't want it to be that way? Like you wouldn't want them to overtly be like. The reason he's not the same skin color as I is my wife here is. <laughs> no, I, I, just, I just like I like uh, just a bit of continuity. That's all. I like I like a bit of continuity. No breaking how, continuity. Is this, how is this a break in continuity? It's, it's, though? I'm not. I'm not saying it ruins the film. I'm not saying it ruins the film. I'm just I, saying the whole thing's so weird. The film anyway in itself is so inconsistent and weird. Uh, that it just would have been nice to have just to, you know, just have the wife drop in sorry, the ex-wife. Just have the ex-wife or the ex-girlfriend, whichever relationship it was, just dropping them off mm -hmm. or at least some sort of explanation that just makes you go, why is he just why has he got an Asian kid now? He's always I, had I the guess, Asian kid. Yeah. <laughs> or at least well, in this or, or, or why is he whatever. Okay. Well I guess I guess for me it would be the fundamental of like I don't need an explanation for why somebody is like the race that they are. Because usually yeah, it will be I don't need to see the conception in. to fill in the yeah, blanks. I could I'm, understand. I'm not asking for the conception. I'm just asking for some, some logic in the film because the film is so devoid of of logic. I just but want some logical, logical threads to to go through it. But, but why is illogical. it illogical that his his kid looks the way that he does? I don't. <laughs> but you don't know. No, but you, but you, but you see, you no, because you're now you are making the illogical assumption. You're making your assumption. Yes. Not logic. You're making Wait, the what? assumption. You're not. You're not working off what the film has provided for you. Correct. Yes, um, but, the, but the thing is, when say, for example, Max, it's the montage of him talking to Wonder Woman, and then he enters his building. Would you understand if I said I need to see him driving in order to see him get to these two Just places? About to use that example. No, that, that's, that's, I like... think they're complete, completely different things. Completely I different things. I think altogether. they're exactly the same. But well, why? Why do you think uh, that they're meaningfully different? Because, because <laughs> Max is an adult, and we've, it's it's normal to assume that he can drive a car. It's it's it, the and child other bit. Women. All right, I mean, disagree. <laughs> fine, you know, you don't have to. I'm not asking for an agreement here. Well, yeah, I mean, think, you you find Asian I women think hot, it's right? Really fucking silly in a yeah. film that's devoid of logic, that doesn't make a lot of sense any way through the film. That you just keep putting these silly these what I would class as silly little things for. With no explanation given, oh, well, like most, uh, so, well, and, and, it, down and to... it operates on too many levels because you know the woman has to be like Diana, but then she becomes like Wonder Woman, and then it just makes her want to beat up men that hit on her. Um, you know, it's it's all these weird things that just don't make a logical sense. Um, I want all your oil. Oh, I'll take your security guards instead for oil. Now here's a wall that's. It, the things that they're I, asking for don't make any logical sense. Yeah, I mean, I would I would agree with all that, but like, I didn't. To be honest, I didn't even realize that the kid wasn't of the same ethnicity as Pedro Pascal. Like, I didn't. I never I didn't even, even thought about it. Well, because I, I was just yeah. the Asian kid, I had no idea what you were talking about. Well, one of my compliments to the film is actually their relationship. I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I liked it. Yeah, 
I feel like I still this this tells you something. I still remember that he was encouraging the kid to make a wish for themselves, and they made a wish for the dad's life to be better. And he even Pedro Pascal goes, no, 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 like when because he's asking the kid to do what in his heart he wants. I remember finding that quite meaningful that a child would automatically yeah. try and look out for their parent. And it's just like mm, when when you when you, Pedro wanted him to be more selfish. It's it's like I like that payoff quite a bit. Um, I yeah I I didn't really care like what ethnicity that the child is. I was just more concerned about what, uh... Yeah, I just, we know I how human... I just thought it was weird forward. and he got blown up out of real proportion. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway... Alright, back to high top. Moving, moving on. Let's see what he says next. Then what are the stakes anymore? If we can buy the lasso of truth, we can buy this. Oh boy. If the lasso of truth has this... its own problems. Yeah. <laughs> Lasso of Truth in this movie. Actually, you know what? I'll let him. I'll let him say it. This movie is what made me not buy the lasso anymore. It can wrap around lightning bolts. It can catch bullets. It can propel Diana off of air. There's the scene where she lets go of Steve Trevor and lassos a clock tower that's way off in the distance, and then does the same thing with a plane that's miles away. <laughs> then there's the absolute disaster. You wonder if she could lasso the moon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, tell me that she can't. That plane is fucked, by the way. Like, the strongest she are. It's just The fucking... sudden yank of Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah, it just crashes. Master of a climax, which I shall get to later, but this thing has mm. zero limits and it's a problem. Remember when Spider-Man's web couldn't reach the crane and he needed help? Or when he had to run to his destination yeah. because there were no was, buildings? Yeah. Well, yeah, if he had webs of truth, then maybe he would have been able <laughs> to make it. Webs of truth. <laughs> Webs of truth. If only there was a handy airplane. <laughs> if only. And that focus on love, that focus on empathy that defined the first film. <laughs> <laughs> empathy on these poor German conscripts. These yeah. these geography teachers and cobblers who've been put to this terrible situation. <laughs> defines my favorite elements of this one. It isn't very empathetic of Wonder Woman to be completely okay. Oh, 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 while it's on my mind, as I need your opinion. Um, yeah. What do you, at, at the end of Wonder Woman 84, as what's your opinion on the wink at the camera? Uh, what, by um, uh, Linda oh, Carter? No. Yes. Uh, well, I, I assume that she was the woman that they were talking about in the Golden Armor from earlier. Well, she is. Yeah, what do you think about the wink? She is. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought the whole thing was shit. Yes! God damn it! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> They're right. It's just, another, it's just another silly fourth wall breaking for some fucking reason in a stupid film. <laughs> I thought it was great. I don't like Wonder Woman 84 much. I, 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 I like the, I like the, I like the wink. I like the Linda Carter wink. I thought it was great. No, that's okay, right? That was great. She she's not, she's towards not, the camera, not. like, "Hey, it's me. I'm Linda Carter. I was, I'm the old super. I'm the old, old super Wonder Woman." I'm gonna post it's a little. Super yeah, here I am. I'm gonna post I a little don't need Pat feed. a right the camera. The camera to understand little, that little post credits, little post credits, like yeah, older older the recognition of way out the other. Yeah, that was great. The right, Efap's heartless. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> that's the whole yeah. brand. And I've got the chat back. Fuck yeah. <laughs> having a stranger's soul well, sent to be wrong too. That's fine. <laughs> Not today. Having a stranger's or dead boyfriend's soul could take over his body and then have sex with him. The point is, I don't <laughs> care about <laughs> how Steve is <laughs> back. You don't care about how You're just about to get right. Oh, he's playing the... You care about how Steve's back. Yeah, do you remember this bit when he said, you don't care? Tell us what we care about. Yeah. with him. The point is, I don't care about how Steve is back. You don't care about how Steve is back. We care about what him being back <laughs> means. How are Ugh. we supposed to care about the it meaning of being back? It means she's a rapist. Absolutely. Back when the way he's back is really messed up. Until yeah. the wish is renounced, he will always be taking over a random human's body. Every time he's on screen is a reminder of this. Like you said, Don't make The Rock put Steve's soul in the body of some poor schmuck. Just make The Rock bring him back to life. But unfortunately, that's not what the movie shows us. Yeah, even High Top is like, mm. they should have done it the way of yes, bringing Steve back. they it's should like, have. I'm glad High Top has recognized this. Yeah, I'm glad it, we all agree. It's a tiny glimmer of hope that I see in him that will ultimately be squashed by this next sentence. But it's <laughs> nice to see it. It's nice to be reminded of. It, nice to get a little reason that keeps us all going. One more so step, one day further.
not simply ignore something so unsettling that was planned and approved to be in the movie without even addressing it in the narrative. The soul swap takes a toll on those scenes that strive for emotional resonance. Guess what? No What's bad is that the soul swap hurts Steve a whole lot too. It doesn't just hurt Wonder Woman. It hurts Steve. He um, he at least brings it up, I think, right? Doesn't he say? Yeah, it's almost like a... But that almost makes it worse that he recognizes it and acknowledges it. So oh, you don't yeah. have the excuse of he doesn't even know or register it. He really wanted to do a... Cognitive that... dissonance. <laughs> what hurts is neither of them have a moral core. I mean... About the person whose body they're exhibiting. Bearing in mind that she can see it. Because, yeah, isn't the reasoning at the end that you need to give up the wish so that you can have your strength back? Not because... Mm -hmm. It's not got anything to do with not Handsome because... Guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which poor, is... Poor Handsome Guy. But it, but it makes no yeah. sense that her power's being sapped. No, but it is. And so they decide, yeah, you gotta let me go. <laughs> That's what I mean, it's really disappointing. And she's crying her eyes out. And it's like, you just saved someone's life, by the way. I don't even know if you recognize that. It's fine. Mm. It's, it's, we'll move on. It's fine. Nobody but would my have boyfriend's been the parasite. Distracted mm. <laughs> or had this criticism if The Rock just rematerialized his body like it seemed to do with everything else. I care yeah. about the 10 minutes of Steve and Diana flying. Unfortunately, this is another scene that had a rough foundation to set it up. Diana quickly brings up she might have the power to turn things invisible. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. That's okay, I'll just turn the plane invisible. This is the thing. I know. Okay. It's, it's like a... I, I, my... So I right got taught dream. how to make a mug invisible once, and then I lost it or some shit. Yeah, she said she did it once like 10 <laughs> years ago or some shit. It's just like, oh, okay. Which is, like, it. so it goes to show that the writers knew to have her mention that she had some knowledge of this ability beforehand, but they just still did, like, they had enough presence of mind to have her say that. But then they just like, oh, that's enough. <laughs> We've done our job here. We've we've properly explained this. I suppose at least th they took the time to do that with the flight thing. She just did it. This just flight. Mm -hmm. Now, oh, yeah, none of this, things. and I genuinely mean none of this, was ever established or even hinted at. I'm not saying it should be impossible for her to ever use this power, but there is no previous indication she can possibly do this. When you conveniently introduce the ability to use a skill that progresses the plot and just toss in a throwaway line, one that isn't even good. It's just really lazy and contrived. Especially when you consider how many other times was she aware of this power that she could have used it and she just didn't. Mm. Especially if her whole attempt is to try and what stay under the radar, sort of. Like she was destroying cameras and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just turn invisible. <laughs> you can turn yeah. invisible. Just be invisible. The cameras. Woman. Um I was really, Madvocate is in chat. He just said to everyone saying I sound depressed in this video. I had like 50 subs when I made this. <laughs> oh, oh, he did? oh, he's come a long way. He's at 24k now. That's great. Hey, oh, good shit. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. That's great. Excellent work, good. sir. We're all we're we're, we're two video. thirds. It, well, we're half through. <laughs> Glad I didn't comment on that. I would have got a shot on for that as well. Fucking hell. <laughs> you at 50 subs probably sounded depressed. I was like. Oh, this hey, is yeah, Az from Heal vs. Baby Things. Hey, if I yeah, had 50 me subs. talking about Wood of Warcraft. Mm. I still got those on my recommendeds every once in a while. Your old ass World of Warcraft videos. <laughs> <laughs> I have no interest whatsoever in World of Warcraft. I don't know why. I, I have no idea. I guess it's just because it's yours, but I don't get any of your, or as much of your recent stuff for whatever reason. YouTube's like, yeah, but like 12 years ago, he did this thing about world of warcraft <laughs> you want to look at that right i'm like it's yeah. I, is it, uh, he said he said that weird. was a joke read the phone he's like no i thought it was a joke you're fine <laughs> <laughs> it's a good joke 50 years only done it once i don't know it was Ladies. just a coffee cup you gotta be fucking kidding <laughs> she's talking I mean, about hey, right also, then, by the way 50 years i did it once I, yeah. I feel like if you learned you had the ability to make <laughs> objects invisible, you'd be doing that all the yeah, time. Yeah, a little bit more. You'd probably be like, hmm. Just like, oh, sick. This, this is sick. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe yeah, I can I'd do like, the... Damn. Maybe it's I can incredible. Make my table invisible. Let me try this shit out. Hide this could my be useful in the, the future. Cops. Yeah, it's great. They can smell it, those dogs, but they can't see it. <laughs> 
At least this movie got a throwaway line. Other movies don't give you jack shit. Also, turning the hmm. jet invisible completely hides it from the radar? Don't the radio waves bounce off objects and that's how they're detected? Does this mean invisibility doesn't just physically cloak an object, it also removes it from corporeal existence? Oh god, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You're giving it. You're giving it way much more thought in your YouTube video than the professional writers did. I've seen all them. Of their millions. I saw someone in, in a comment section. Could have been one of ours or someone else, but it was saying that like some radars are based on like visibility or something. Um, I don't know enough about radar to be able to counter that, but I was just like, huh. Well, it seemed very counterintuitive to the audience to be like, we're invisible. Radar cannot detect us. It's like that doesn't that doesn't track to the audience as far as I'm feel concerned. Correct. But uh, yeah, this is probably correct. I, like I said, I'd have to look into how radar works. Distance too. If that's the case, then how can they still sit in the jet without being invisible too? The colors explode, heart and soul. But the this colors doesn't explode. Bring <laughs> the colors explode, <laughs> heart and soul. What? This is what, what I mean. Is, it, what is... Do you guys ever think that it would be easy to make a film high top would enjoy? It's like all I gotta do is throw some sappy shit in here every once in a while, and it'll be fine. Colors, yeah. Ooh, colors. <laughs> me any emotion unless I'm intellectually satisfied by how they got here to begin with. The colors, the colors, the colors, 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 colors. It really matters here ain't the stunts or aesthetics or insanity or the showmanship. It's the fact that every single one of these action beats in the movie from start to finish is about saving people. This is a very strange thing to give the movie props for because that can be said for most action scenes in these movies. I feel- Yeah, like, how many- How many fucking MCU or DCU, whatever, superhero movies, do you go, wow, that action scene was all about not helping anybody? Mm. Like, that's pretty rare. Not impossible, but, Man you know. Steel is about him helping people, right? Well, except for that scene in, uh, in Wonder Woman where she killed all those Germans because Steve died. That wasn't about saving anyone. Oh, that was all- She was angry. She- Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny because you're citing the one person that high top of her would be like, that would never happen for Wonder Woman. You know, Wonder Woman would never yeah, no, kill people out yeah. of rage. Yeah. I feel like I had seen this all before. But I know he's referencing these two scenes. Both are ridiculous, and not in a good way. Diana straight up lassos Max with no problem, and then just does nothing and talks to him. What does this remind me of? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> How can you possibly get the drop on Flash? <laughs> yeah. So for reference, one of the things people recommended in Super Chats was uh, Madvocat apparently has a breakdown of the Flash. I, I'm not, I forget which seasons, but he's got a. I think it's like a, it's a bit of a long man on how bad the show is. I've not seen Flash, but man, am I tired of watching people be faster than Flash! Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. Stop it! Wow. <laughs> That's kind of the awkward thing with Flash is usually the, I, I don't know about the show, but in the comics, it's like the big bad is just another Flash, <laughs> like reverse Flash or yeah. Godspeed, because that's what it, Captain Cold is too, but like, yeah. <laughs> Captain Flash Cold is very is, fast. I like Captain Cold as a, as a villain Captain name. Cold, I like, Captain I like Captain Boomerang. There's a lot of captains. A lot of captains, yeah. Uh, they're it's, not it's even in the army. Boomerang. It's just nice to have a ranking system to sort of hierarchy them Cap all. <laughs> Lieutenant mm -hmm. Rape. <laughs> Rape. I'm private first class sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't he just grab the gun though before he stopped and went, there's nowhere to well, go? He, the Flash is notoriously slow, so he can't really do that. <laughs> <laughs> he's, not, he's not bright. Oh, Wait, just oh, like, oh, fine. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> God, this is gonna be so oh, frustrating no. to watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My name is Barry Allen, and I am the fastest man alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> uh, Fucking I want to be caught by the flash. You. But she doesn't. She lets Max command his men to shoot at her and then decides to pull him when she's compromised. But it's only to body slam these guys? 
And then there's the climax. The way the sequence of the climax happens should not allow the saving to happen in that scene. The only reason Diana is able to save Max and get everyone in the world to renounce their wish is because she wrapped the lasso of truth around his ankle. How does this happen if the scene establishes that the wind is too strong to do that? Well, I can explain this. It's a sneaky little snack, and it, it wiggle waggles it? on the floor all the way to his leg, well, okay? I would have gone like further down like a stream, right? She she goes further up the stream, the wind stream, and then she lassos it so it gets pulled maybe towards him. What about if it just connects to him off screen? That would be easier. Well, huh? I mean, there we go, done it. it. Nice guys. Yeah. All right. It. High five. Yeah. All right, check cash. <laughs> yeah. Well, turns out the lasso just independently wrapped itself around him off screen <laughs> after she stopped trying. I don't know if this was <laughs> after she stopped trying. <laughs> is it like an anaconda or something? Dude, the, this, the, the lasso was like, this, if you're not going to do it, I guess I will. <laughs> this lasso really wanted to just go home. Yeah, I just guess it's up to me. Thank was an editing Again. mistake and they left out an entire shot, but this is how the movie is and it's a huge continuity error nonetheless. Watch it again, the lasso is flopping around, Diana Maybe. gives up and takes a seat, and then it tell- Ugh, that fucking- uh, <laughs> this movie. <laughs> teleports to his leg at some point after that and before her speech. Don't tell us one thing and show us another. Also, it's even stranger <laughs> when you see that the lasso is going under the railing, implying there's no way Diana whipped it over to him. Maybe it's- Well, so she, you can, <laughs> it, she went prone and then she whipped it, right? <laughs> yeah, she got low to the ground. Whip. Cool yeah, the, the wind was less strong there. Slithered on over to Max like a snake. Again, how can yeah, it sneaky when snack. this isn't something the lasso can do? I should have turned around, damn it! Yeah, for a lasso, Max truth, not... it's very sneaky. Mm. And if only, yeah, if only he was facing the right way, so he could have been like, ooh, ooh, get away from me, sneaky snack. Don't you dare get to my foot. Do you like, yeah. how, the, how, the, do you like how the armor bends at the wall? I do. I was about to bring it up that they shouldn't have had that. This is supposed to be indestructible mega metal armor, and it's just mm. clearly bending when she presses it against the wall. Why would you do this? Why have her against the corner that makes her outfit do that? Why film? Why? And that is quite the bend. That's gone all yeah. the way up. I noticed it when we watched the movie, but I guess they didn't notice it when they were making the movie or something. I they didn't know. give a fuck. So, well, it, why did she even need the gold armor? Because she renounced her wish and got all her powers back anyway. Yeah, and then so she ends up just breaking it. Protect. The bitch. Like this, the this bitch. thing is incredible. This should be in a museum. She's like, nah. <laughs> Remember, just the only thing it. It, That's you, the you, best part. Some people argue it. it's like it gave it flight. It's like she could fly anyway. Watch the movie. Max not feel the lasso around his leg during her entire speech when it's been established that the lasso is really hot. What the hell is this thing? That is really hot. I'm sure you'd love to call these nitpicks, but they are completely consequential to the story. This is what allows her to save the world. You could call that mm. consequential, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. We as well say save the universe, for, considering what the wishes could have been. It's like, I wish for every planet to explode, fuck it. <laughs> I, seven billion people making wishes? There's a couple of them who'd say, fuck all of this. I want to call yeah. them. Yeah. I'm out, yeah. fuck it all. Billion? If you think what if somebody said, I wish that my grand didn't die of cancer? Yeah, yeah. And you then... need to renounce your wish. Well, well, Bruce Wayne no. was out there, you know, little Bruce Wayne. I wish my parents were, didn't get killed in that alley. Oh. And then they come back, and it's this. It, that's a Rick and Morty joke right there. They come back, and then they talk, <laughs> and it's amazing. And then she forces him to renounce his wish through that stupid magical bullshit. And the the corpses just like they just appear out of like they're sitting on the chair, but then they just go. Bleh, and he's just like. Ah. <laughs> that's what convinced him to be Batman. Like this Wonder Woman person, she's terrible. <laughs> I was hey, they, they, they did it in Zero Hour. His parents. He could see his parents again in Zero Hour when they did it in the comics. Oh. This isn't a legitimate problem, then there would be no issue if the climax to Endgame went like this. Oh! Kang made him do it! I was about to say, this, this, there, are, there are plenty of problems with Endgame, but I think he's highlighting a different one here. A potential different one. I'm gonna pause for copy floops. I don't. I always feel worried that streaming is a lot harsher than when it's in a video. Sometimes, you know. Never know. Inevitable.
And yeah, uh, the meme here is going to be that he's just got the stones anyway. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Hey man, that would be pretty. That, that would be the kind of thing where I think all audiences ever would be like, "What? <laughs> what? What just happened? How, how, how did he get the? And then you get high up being like, "Well, it's about the heart. It's not about the plot." Okay. We understand this is supposed to be an emotional moment with a theme, but when the build-up to it is already this broken from contradicting itself, the supports for the emotional payoff are going to collapse for a lot of us. And it's lazy, a little messed up, and not fulfilling at all when it turns out that the damn magic rock is behind her internal change. I would hey man, apply that to the entire MCU now. Every behind everybody's decisions is Kang. Turns out it was always hashtag something else. Kang did it. Seen her character go on a journey. To do act. this, Kang was probably behind movies in general, just stories. Kang was doing it all. <gasps> Kang made her rape. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. It was Kang. It was just Kang. wished away. So you care about logical progression and internal consistency when it comes to character, but claim that doesn't matter when it comes to plot. I am fully behind a more gradual and rational character change, because otherwise it becomes character assassination. So I completely agree on that note, but to execute this journey and earn the character change, you need a plot that rationally causes this. You said yourself the rock is what caused her character change, which is plot, but if the logic of the plot doesn't matter, if the inconsistent and lackluster rules of the rock don't matter, then just accept that the rock gave her a change of character, I guess? I would yeah, you can make the, back, the argument back to him every time. Mm -hmm. It's like, can you focus on the heart of the story? Why do you have to be all floopy about it? I would much rather have seen her character go on a journey, not have it just wished away. I would much rather have seen Steve and Diana go on a journey to escape the authorities, not just turn the jet invisible with an unestablished power. I would much rather have seen her character go on a journey, not have it just wished away. <laughs> I would much rather have seen Diana go on a journey to the satellite, not just make the length of her lasso limitless, give her the power <laughs> of flight, and swing from lightning bolts and nothing. I would that flight that thing was so fucking weird. Yeah, it's gonna <laughs> pull people out. You just be like, what the f- you can fly? What? what? This yeah. is a prequel! <laughs> like, where was the flight? I'd <laughs> much rather have seen yeah. her character go on a journey, not have it just wished away. I would much rather have seen Diana successfully grab Max's leg with the lasso, not just establish that it's impossible to do it, and then have it teleport to his leg off screen without him noticing for a couple minutes. Movies aren't about logic and plot. What is this fear of criticism about the plot in the first place? I, I assume the main angle they'll have is like, if you focus on the plot, you're missing the point. They often say you're missing the point. Mm. <clears throat> so... No, no, the point was to create a better, stronger Germany. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's just, it is hilarious though, because they'll be so obsessive about this stuff when it's like, you are literally trying to translate to them why you didn't get the same feels. Yeah, I need you to understand why. Film analysis should explore the execution in its entirety, not just the spoon-fed themes and drama. I know High Top says his video is just his emotional response, but then he states, Movies aren't about logic and plot. In the same video. Netflix's Daredevil is my absolute favorite piece of media, specifically season 3. I doubt anyone loves it more than I do, but I absolutely welcome any criticism towards the plot or internal inconsistencies. In fact, I challenge it. That way, if there is mostly an absence of writing problems, I can appreciate and love the show even more for being so careful with its details. If the opposite mm -hmm. is proven, I can still love the show while acknowledging that it isn't as tight as I thought it was. If I see there's a 10-hour critique of my sacred cow i would think huh i wonder what they have to say and no you shouldn't think that you no. should think long man oh, bad get rid of them long man bad <laughs> they're destroying <laughs> everything wow what a loser in cell virgin nerd mm -hmm. <laughs> and actually watch it because i'm not a pussy <laughs> movies aren't just about logic and plot but cause and effect incites emotion. When you thoroughly break down why you had a certain reaction or feeling to a movie, it will always stem back to plot. Everything, including character elements, relies on plot and logic. And when something doesn't make logical sense, that isn't in respect to our world or our choices, it's within the context of the movie. And that is the truth. 
that is the only truth, and truth is all there is. You like that? There's your relevant tie-in theme. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that theme, like, what a horrifically badly established and supported theme. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, thematically, Wonder Woman 84 is a mess as well. I mean, a lot of them are thematically as well. They usually have a mess of just, just fucking at odds with every event. And then it's oftentimes a message you'll be like, huh? Why would... No. Like, truth is all there is, and truth is beautiful. You're like, truth is not always beautiful, my dude. No. <laughs> that's why we call, that's why we call it the ugly truth. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Say that to a starving kid in Africa. Your truth's beautiful. Oh, here we oh. go. Oof. This should have remained in the drafts, my Earth dude. Off. Rape is subjective. We got it. Rape is subjective. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's subjective. And so there it is. That sounds, that sounds like someone... to hold up in court, sunshine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was about to say that sounds like something someone in court would say when they're about to be convicted of rape. <laughs> Did yeah. you, rape can you please consider where right my heart before was? they're found guilty of rape? rape they say rape is subjective. I just pretend it wasn't rape and think about it again. Consider where my heart was. That's all I yeah. want. Let's uh, let's do this uh, trial again, and this time maybe imagine it wasn't rape and see how you feel. Exactly. Oh, that was the next argument. Yeah. And so yeah, so that video was made by Madvocate. There's a link yeah. in the description to his channel as well as that good video. Stuff. Um, good stuff. Good. Yeah, it was really I, good. I think it's it's well edited, well scripted, pl plenty of interesting points. I'm totally fine with the the tone of delivery. By the way, I know a lot of people were like, ah, oh, it's been monotone. It's like, yeah, well, I mean. These are all styles, like um, YMS is probably the most well-known, most popular person who delivers a lot of things in the sort of same tone. I don't know if this is uh, something that he's maintained or not, but um, yeah, worth checking out, I think. Give it okay. give it the old shot. I think he, he might still be in chat, I'm not 100% sure, but um, I enjoyed it, and it's fun to see other people doing responses to that particular video, because that's probably High Top's worst video. I'm not sure if there isn't, mm. if there's one that beats that's it. That one is pretty I'm bad. I'm disappointed about the uh, lack of Asian boy talk, but apart from that, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, how did High Top move past that issue? It's amazing. Um, because it made him feel great. Made him all gooey inside. So, gross. At least he didn't make the Asian boy gooey inside. Now that we've gotten our intro sorted. Um, I can I can ask a question, right? So we're about to we're going to go down a different path now. That was like section A of this EFAP. Okay, mm. welcome to section B. Ugh. Did um, do you feel we 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 kind of did or did not steal that video and use it for entertainment on our own stream? Um, I feel like we added enough to it. I feel like we used it as a great discussion starter, and we. Uh, used it to talk about all kinds of things, and we agreed with his point, got him some exposure. We hopefully helped him out get more views and stuff, and, and uh, we showed how much well. we appreciate the arguments he made. Uh, some people we got already a lot know. of discussion. About it. Some people in chat already know exactly where I'll be going with this, but we're on a journey. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, <laughs> everyone knows things, but me. Everybody so, knows me. um, yeah. yeah. So my my argument would be it's a it's a spotlight for a creator to try and send people their way. I've done my best to try and with you guys show what their uh, strengths are, um, and then why we we found it engaging as well as trying to pinpoint actually things that they they did well as well as boost off of points in terms of being like you know that's a good point expand and then um. Few tangents here and there. Our coverage of the video was an hour and a half, I think. Wow, it's a sixteen-minute video, so yeah. total coverage. You think basically yeah. theft? If someone was going to have a ratio, I feel like we would have satisfied the ratio. That would be my guess. Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. And so we're going to go on a little bit of a different journey now. Um, if I feel really this is going to be really hard to segue because this is a completely different mode that we're going to be on now instead of the one we were just on. That is it for that section. Okay, so. You guys may have heard, there's a little controversy in relation to covering other content creators' content. There can be. Different different eras of time, be. and different... For the most part, I, th I like to think we've kind of grown out of that as years have gone on. Oh. Does it feel like it I used wish, to be? Like, I wish you were right, Rex. Like a... I know it happens, but I feel like it used to be more commonplace that that would be a thing well, that people would we... take an issue with. 
Why don't we start nearer to where that that sort of came to a head? We're gonna we're just gonna play a minute of. So I, I don't know whether to explain the, the actual like context of this thing happening or just show the video first. Um, basically, like, so anyone know? Um, so many people know where I'm going with this, but we're doing this for people who have no context, okay? So anyone who jumps to the payoff, it's like chill out, we'll be fine. So anybody here heard of a, a <laughs> channel called Jax Films? Yes. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, that sounds familiar. Have... I'm not overly familiar. I just know. Well, I know. I know the name. Yeah. Chunks about this because of the fact that this thing happened. But he um he has a series called uh, Your Grammar Sucks. It's like I think I think it's songs he makes. Cons conscri the lyrics are made from bad comments online, meaning like bad mistakes in spelling or grammar. Um, yeah. Okay. Usually pretty fun. So fun. We're, and play a little <laughs> bit of of this one, fun. so you guys get an idea of what kind of video it is. Your grammar sucks number 99. That's almost a hundred. No, really. That's almost a hundred. Better make it good. I've read your comments for four years now. Been trying to make it better, but I never knew how. Guess it's time to end this. I'm almost done. I've read all your comments, every single one. And it's a damn shame. Gotta end the game. And the only one to blame is me. It's so lame. Gotta finish, better go out strong. So here it is, the last YGS song. There's never not, 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 stop being a rude. That ugly play guitar, I play better than you. There's never not, 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 you've gotta be kidding me. Take it off, spar as the agony. So we're respectful, laughing like a Paco. Just goes as to show you there are angles. So you get the idea. Presumably. Yeah, I get the idea. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Yeah, I think yeah, it's I, one of those okay. it, it, It's pretty right. neat, it and there's fun. some... There's some a commonality I think with a lot of them is people will spell rapping as raping, and so it makes for very <laughs> <laughs> lots of really funny uh, examples of just and yeah. So the, and the way it would work is the you'd see these and then where, wherever you are on the internet, if you spot one of these, you'd send them to him, okay. and then you compile them and make a song. Pretty mm -hmm. neat. And, yeah, that's uh, a good idea. I like it. Yeah, just just yeah. some fun. Yeah. And again, if if anyone who's listening is interested in actually finding these videos, is your grammar sucks, and it's by Jack's Films. Now, once upon a time. In I forget when this all happened, but do you guys know of a channel called I think it was Jigs Reacts? No. Yeah. Or, or, yep, yeah. I do remember. I do. Yeah. You'll you'll know what's about to happen next then. So basically, uh good old Jinx it would would watch videos and react to them. Nice nice idea for a channel. We kind of do that, uh, with different things. We've been here known and there. to do that here and there. We've yeah, been known, just... known to dabble. And um know? but there are there, of course, someone out there would have made the argument at some point, well, hey, hypothetically, what if you just sort of smile and whatever? Like, would, do you think that's that's ethical? And you'd probably be like, what do you mean just smile? Uh, Why would anyone do that? Like, we, we, you'd obviously comment. You'd say what you think, you'd blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, you'd critique or you'd elaborate or you'd offer some level of insight or commentary, you know? Yeah, just, yeah, there's so many options you have. That's why we pause yeah. so much. And, well, yeah, I mean, so this is the thing, it's a part of it, EFAP's inception, it's not just that we always want to hear all the arguments, but it's also that I would like to transform it into new content, something you can't get just by watching their video, of course, that's yeah. part of the idea. Um, so Jinx got really popular really quickly at one point, and uh, people were not getting happy, uh, happy about it, and he reacted to this very video. And uh, this... Okay. Oh no. Ooh. That was like, oh. really quiet. Uh -oh. Oh, no. Which means... Oh, my. God. Oh wait, hang on. Du, 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 du. It's doing a tism. Oh, I'm scared. It's alright. I'm missing one link, but I can get it in a sack. You guys don't Mom. panic, okay? It's gonna be I would right. not do that. I try not. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hyperventilating. <laughs> oh my God. I'm trying, I'm trying I don't even know what the plan is, but it's falling video. apart. You know what's funny about I this? I shit myself. I want to show all of this, and I kind of intend to because it's so good for. The point he's making, but I don't actually know if we'll be okay to show all of it. Really, I don't think there like, won't be a problem with copyright. Just <laughs> you guys can decide. The point: the, this video is called. It's by Jack's Films, and it's called "Reacting to an Awful React Channel." <laughs> so you you oh. now you haven't seen Jinx yet, Rags, but you will. I've never seen Jinx. He made his video reacting to that video we just saw, and now Jack's Films hey. is making a video reacting to him reacting to his video. Hey guys, it's me, Jack. Oh, Today we're gonna react to a really cool YouTuber named Jinx. Here we go. Really going nuts over this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi. 
Your grammar sucks number the 99. Bend the already. It's like window into window. That's yeah. almost 100. Yeah. No, it's just really. A and grinning That's thing almost 100. Fun. Yeah. I guess I already know what's happening now. I've read your comments for four years now. Been trying to make it better. I'm almost done. All your comments, every single one. And it's a damn shame, gotta end the game. And the only one to blame is me. It's so lame. Go out strong, so here it is. So, <laughs> with, I, I, yeah. with okay. just this, I think I'm just starting to understand the point <laughs> that that might be getting across here. It's it's amazing already because I it's yeah. just like oh, okay. Ah, I but see. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna try oh. and push us through a lot of this just so you can understand the magnitude. Okay. Okay. Oh, a little nodding. That's a lot of nothing here. I feel the need to talk over this. <laughs> yeah, you I always hate it. You're, you're, you're like, this is this is unacceptable. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> say something. Yeah. Do something. Like I want to like poke his, you to make like sure you're team. still okay. <laughs> you're alive. <laughs> You know, he's, so like he just teeters over and he falls over. He's kind of he's kind of vibing. That's something, right? He's too tired from setting up his new apartment. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to unload all the furniture yet. He's just Wait, had a long he... day. He'll do it later. Yeah. He just put the mattress on the floor for tonight. He's just got a crash. Do a little, little reaction video. Do a little <laughs> reaction video. <laughs> a little bit of reaction before bed, you know? No, I could believe that he has the energy to upload a reaction video like this before he goes to bed. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. man. He's, you yeah. know, he's grinding. He's getting them videos out. Yeah, he's working hard. He's, he's really working hard for the money. <laughs> working man. There you go. He's laughing. He's reacting. I hit BDs. Say soft. I hate this. He's touching his. He's touching his mouth now. It's what is is baffling, and you could at least. Pause to be like, what's working about this? What's making you laugh? Why are you laughing? Tell what's me. What's making yeah. me laugh is how Grin? he's reacting. He's he's mocking the react the, the reaction yeah. that was made to his content. <laughs> That's it, so it, weird. Because it, just think, think move. about me. It's, just think it's, about me while I'm streaming, and I'm not saying something for like three minutes. I'm like, Shit, I need to say something. Like I can't just I can't just sit here and play the game and say nothing. Like I don't want to come across as a freeloader, cheapskate, no talent <laughs> loser. I gotta yeah. I gotta do something here. Which is bizarre because I'm playing the game currently, and people can see the game still, and that's like content I'm creating. But I'm not saying anything, and people can see my face. I'm just like I'm dual streaming. This is content. This is content. Oh, this content. It's funny. I, I, I am just saying, crackers are food, and this is content. I just get amused infinitely that he's maintaining that smile, looking at it's, him. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's <laughs> keeping a straight face. Oh. I'm just swallow. <laughs> he's breaking. <laughs> Well, it's, it's actually hard to maintain a face like that for, know. you know, yeah. 10 minutes yeah. or whatever, yeah. I like the yeah. Well, why not? This uh, this other guy, this Jinx guy's doing it. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, maybe. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, Jinx is a pro, though. This is Jack oh, Spence yeah, too, yeah, you're right. He's had mm -hmm. lots of practice, maybe. I don't hard know. I don't know if he out. normally does this, but... Hey, but you pick our grooves. My heart skipped a beat. And do you know how to write music sheet? If you dislike this video, I dislike you. And the one person that disliked this lit. video was screw. You went to raps once. That's it was just a dog. Uh, raps okay. once. <laughs> that is so cleaver. By the way, the the font on what he's reading, are these like super old or it's definitely old YouTube this like it, comment. Yeah, the the font mm. of the way that I it, you know, sort of it. spelled out. So and the names four. below the comments. Mm -hmm. And that's the, uh, the, yeah. For reference, this video was made in 2015. This was 14 more sedans ago. And so the, <laughs> the your grammar sucks one was probably made in my guess is probably early 2015. I don't know. So then and then comments would be coming from all over the place. 
as well as mm-hmm. older YouTube. I could, I could also imagine there's like some coming from like a what's this website called Wayback Machine or something where you can find like archives web archive websites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And as maybe there's like, oh, wait, there was like a funny comment that's not there anymore. I'm just going to check that. And maybe they send something like this. We already contributed more than this Jinx guy. I fucking hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Bieber. So bad I had you. I like the way he masturbutes. Masturbute. Masturbute. What is a word? He said a word. He said a word. Well, see, and that's the thing. You could at least talk about it, but he's just going, ha. Uh, uh, like, ha. Uh, it's like me asking how old these comments were has been more than he's done. Yeah. <laughs> more trans. That was just me just <laughs> asking a natural question, I feel like. Oh, these look old. Like that that person has had theoretically a years and years to learn how to spell masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if you can do it by now. So I'm I'm impressed at the ability to speak incorrectly. Yeah, uh, which might sound very unusual, mm-hmm. but it's often more it, it's often easier to speak properly and correctly yeah, you because fight you're so that. used to it. Yeah, yeah it's your, difficult your brain, to purposefully. It. Yeah, your yeah, yeah. your where your brain will try and make it correct because you speak so naturally and you've done it for so long in your life. Yeah, there's got to be I'm a just, lot of practice that yeah. goes into purposefully misspeaking all of these words without your brain automatically making it the right word, like it yeah. quote unquote should be. Isn't that this text somewhere that has like the the first and last letter are the correct ones, and the other ones are scrambled? Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, you and can you can read still the, understand them. You can read the whole text without any. Yeah, your brain, your brain will take over. Yeah, and yeah. it will start to formulate the word. I got, I gotta say though, delving into a bit of DSP law now. Oh, uh, okay. I know deep law. I just every time I just see Jinx's face, I piss myself because Almighty oh, no. Tevin. When he was when he used to restream DSP, restream? he would always, he would yeah he used to restream DSP, and he would get um, uh-huh. the Jinx face like a Jinx face <laughs> like this, and he just put it on his screen to look like he was reacting <laughs> to uh, no. To DSP. Well, I mean, <laughs> it'll get the job Holy done. Shit. I was gonna say um I I would play it all. We'll get to I think the song itself is about five minutes, so you can imagine oh what you just saw. You see it again, and then we'll see this. Yeah, I, I get I get the gist. Ah, oh, Jinx is he's he's been hard reacting to this. He's getting tired. <laughs> yeah. It's like man, I wish I had a real bed in my flat. <laughs> Raping paper. <laughs> oh no. Oh, so much rape. There's a lot of raping going on there. This is the best song ever breathed. We got a noise out of him. Oh god. Oh. And he's still got that smile too, Jack. Nice. Looks like he wants to. Th- yeah, no, Jack's doing alright. He's trying. <laughs> I will say he likes his V-necks. I've noticed. There's a. I mm. see a trend here. He likes. It. He doesn't mm. like them. They are. They give him the the snug hold that he prefers. <clears throat> I feel just a little little room in front. Mmm. So now it's time for wow, Jinx's Conjure. commentary. <laughs> yeah, like he. That feels like an obligatory. Oh yeah, that's right. I should do something here. Ah, yeah. <laughs> he I'm recording. Fuck. Can, actually. Well, yeah. are you ready for oceans of insight, Rags? Uh, I am um, because well here's the thing oh oh no he's doing the thing or his modem's on the floor I guess he just moved in it's fine but you've got the... it looks like pa- like black black bags like he's just murdered somebody we've got some <laughs> disinfectant and shit and he's oh halfway through wrapping the body but or raping the body I'm not too sure which one's grantedly correct now um mm-hmm. but uh you know I, it kind of looks like maybe you thought oh shit I better stop wrapping this dead body and. Do a quick reaction. Do a quick yeah, schedule. schedule. For like it it feels yeah. weird seeing a sink <laughs> behind a vlogging video, but you know, it's a style. It does feel alive. This, maybe this is a. Maybe he's in a studio. You know, it's kind of all in one. I yeah. Can get behind that, from people. Yeah. Some people like Live that. Free. You know, I. Yeah, absolutely. It's for some people, not for everyone else. 
Um, but I think that he was quiet during the whole thing, didn't do much because he was gathering his thoughts. He was charging his spirit bomb. Absolutely, so, yeah. We're going to get a, a face load of his insight. It's going to be great. I'm ready. I'm ready. Put oh. that insight all over me. Uh, okay. Um, the... <sighs> any, any moment now. Four years and counting. That, oh. oh, he's been Sentence. doing this for four years. And uh -huh. people are still on his channel, like, <laughs> fucking up the grammar. So, first of all, they're sent what? to him, right? Yeah. Secondly, pointing out that people have shitty grammar is not going to stop them, the people from having shitty grammar in general. Like, even on his channel, it's yeah. not going to happen. The video. I've been That's commenting on Mauler's channel for four years now. I really should clean up my grammar. <laughs> <laughs> Maxfilm said to send, take a screenshot and send it to me, and he wasn't even listening. <laughs> what do you think he'd be listening really, really well if you weren't adding to it or interacting with it in any way? Yeah, you'd but, think. But he's but... wondering, could he cut the arms off the person in the room behind him or the legs first? <laughs> That's he's, what he's... His mind is in other places. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's just like thinking, which would I get blood splash on the wall? I'm gonna have Should to be recording it. this. Maybe. Yeah. This is just something for another time. I got some Lenore instead of bleach, so I'm a bit pissed off right now, you know, so... <laughs> like, it's been so long, like, no lie. If people were, like, what am I looking for? If people were on the my page and I was doing what he does, the grammar songs, and people were still fucking up fucking Jack comments... <laughs> Well, let me put it like it's this. Like, uh, I, I don't know, you say like a lot, but you rarely compare two things. He's also, just, he didn't edit this. He's just, he's not cutting out any of his huge gaps oh, of no, nothing. Heart. This is like, this is just soul food right and, here. It's just, these by the way, this you don't, I don't think you have to, but at the same time, man, you just took his whole video. Maybe like, <laughs> clean up your half of the video, you know? Just put a little... <laughs> yeah, at least try to, you know... Present yourself like you did yeah. something. This page, and he just kept calling me out on my grammar and all his songs. I would not, like, dude, I would start proofreading before I comment on his shit. Because obviously he's watching, and you just keep getting called out as a. Dumb so, what's funny is the honestly, next level take would be <laughs> wouldn't you start generating funny things wrong on purpose to get him to put them in the video almost? Yep. That is the more likely result of this happening. Mm -hmm. But no, he's like, yeah, hey, if you watch this channel, your grandma should improve because you wouldn't want to post something bad that ends up in a video, would you? Maybe it's depressing. Like, but I wonder if Jax thinks that it's depressing that he'll never run out of this style of content. No, yeah. <laughs> so sad. What? <laughs> Stop. Please. <laughs> Please. Stop. Stop. So, you know, after somebody calls you a dumbass like a hundred times, it's, 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 nice, nine, it's nine. probably true that you're a dumbass. <laughs> such a quote. Damn. Wow. <laughs> this, I was right. And this is, I mean, this is pretty insightful. If someone calls you a dumbass oh, no, it goes on the sheet. Uh -oh. 500 <laughs> times, you're you did it. You done probably did it. a dumbass. That is a Bilbo quote right there. A billboat. <laughs> bill yeah. Oh shit! Four years and this shit is still going. Man, you really in. don't have anything um, to say. Do you? It's, it was amazing. His main commentary so far is: it's been four years and there are still people who are wrong on the internet with grammar and spelling. You're like, yes, that. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. How about? That? Oh, excuse me. That it was funny Your as excuse. hell though. <laughs> Dude, he really like saved all of those comments. That is Whoa. freaking insane. Yeah, that's what happens when you make actual oh, content. I'm like, I'm, yeah. I don't know how many subscribers he's got, but he's probably got millions. And I'm just like, dude, I know he gets like thousands of comments on each video, and he really finds you. He was literally sent them. <laughs> uh, he said it in his video. You weren't listening. You should have been yep. listening. You weren't saying We're anything. Doing anything. We're doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. Body back there, for God's sake. Leave the man alone. I assume that it doesn't know whether to boil the head or to fucking rape it. I, it's, it's all over the place. Poor guy. Gives your shit and then talk shit about you on your video, and people just continue to talk without proper gra grammar. Like, <laughs> like people you. continue to talk without proper grammar. <laughs> 
<laughs> Gabra. Gabra. Just, if you're on his videos, just talk type properly. God damn. Oh shit. Like, if you're on my How page, many subs? I'm gonna get this guy to do a motivational speech <laughs> from a local church. I'm so inspired by this man. It's too, too deep for me. I, I don't understand. Anyone can have oh. a new audience. How do you keep it's... the smile without just fucking laughing or giving up at this point? Or this, this guy? <laughs> like, wow. Get to the craft, Mahler. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jack is a talented man, you know? Uh, yeah. Talking with slur, you misspelling words. I'm not going to go <laughs> He on, looked in a direction. don't give a shit. If I can understand what you're trying to say, I really don't care. Like, you know. Thank you. <laughs> What does this wow. have to do with anything? <laughs> I don't care what your grammar. I don't even know what he's saying. <laughs> I disagree. I I advocate for high standards in speech. Oh, that that. I think you should you constantly strive to improve. Yeah. You know, be like that, like, cause I I don't really trip because like I know when I'm texting or writing comments, I don't really be paying attention to everything. I don't really be paying right attention. attention. I can tell, and, Jinx. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you're you you are low effort throughout your whole life. That's just the, the, oh, the this mode. shocks me. Oh wait, can I do it? No. No. Oh. Oh. It's gonna this do my like, DSP uh, now. This like, shocks me. Shock me. Now this shocks me. You're writing comments. Wrong. You know, this is an English class, so I know when I'm on YouTube, I just be I just English class I never ended. In my head and then hit send and just. You know, forget about it. Well, no, usually when I type a comment, I'll, what the I'll fuck proofread is he it. Doing? Like, I'll read it. Imagine yeah. thinking to yourself, uh, it's okay if they watch my whole video, if they've got like a, you know, an extensive review of some kind, if they really want to, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is it. He's talking about how, you know, sometimes it's all right to just be shit with grammar. Yeah. Sometimes. Here and there. You know? How many um, views did this Jinx video get, by the way? I think this was the one. So we'll actually, once we finish this one, we'll get into um, okay. the matter of all of this. Ooh. Again, but if it tell what I'm trying to say, then I'll just no, move on to I'm going to go but... and have a pee. Oh, yeah, so. It was dope, though. It was a dope-ass rap. <laughs> like, that's pretty wasn't funny all, as shit. wasn't all rap. Really funny. It was a dope-ass rap. Um, mm. Dope-ass rape. Yeah. No. Rock I think w. this may be my last video today, man. I'm kind of tired. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this wore him out. This wore him out. It was a tough one. Uh, in fairness. Yeah. I got some stuff to do. But anyway, yeah. I think we're at about 900. He's got to react to this empty room. Now? Hold on one second. Oh, yeah, so he's, at, he's at 940. Think of putting a K on the end of whenever he uses those numbers. That's where he's at, Jinx, at this point. 940,000 subscribers. Holy Fuck, how? Exactly, Rex. Well, we're almost there. Uh, Give me a second. We are at 943 subscribers and over 200k views. So, like I said, man, when we hit like 980 or 990 subscribers, I'll send out a... I'll put out a Q&A video. Let all you guys ask your questions. I'll say... Like, I don't know about you guys. I am desperate to find out more about this man. He's so interesting. I mean, there must be more... <laughs> there must be more. <laughs> I don't know why it would I, mm. video, and then I'll do the Q and A video. So I think that's gonna be pretty fun. I know, I know some of y'all are saying like do a long ass reaction video, but no, it's like it's, you, yeah, these really take out video. of you. Yeah, yeah, it tires you out. This wears you down, man. The the daily grind. This is what <sighs> they're talking about when they when they when they talk about that grind. And then there's the nine to five. Yeah. Got to make that page. Got to pay the rent. You know. We're Which reacting to a reaction a of a reaction. There, so I can see you don't have to work. Does that, that mean we're, we're doing like triple the grind he's doing then, right? But I uh, guess so. Easily. So whatever he compliments himself is doing, we're doing even more. Yeah, like thanks, a Jinx. Barista, uh, baristo, baristos is are male baristas called baristas or like a baristus, a baristo? Do not know. I don't know either. I think they're. I, think, I don't know. That are like super long, extremely long. It takes forever to upload, like hours. Oh so no! Like, Poor like, fucking kind of soul. Because I still, you know, like when I'm when I'm on a computer uploading, that's basically my free time. And you know, like so, my free time oh. I only get out as many. Fucking incredible! Oh. Absolutely incredible! Oh. Listening wow. to this. Wow. Fucking amazing. Because I can't. Oh. So I don't want to. And like when I'm uploading to YouTube, I can't. 
Like, while it's coming out of my iMovie, I can't do anything in iMovie. So I wouldn't be able to be making videos. So I'd just be basically a sitting duck waiting to upload this one video. And then on YouTube, that shit will take even longer than the iMovie. So it's just... But it's like... Oh, but that's night. bullshit. Because anyone who's ever uploaded to YouTube is like, okay, if you're making a really long project that's high... Um, you know, high definition, 60 frames per second, and editing is that yeah, that'll take a long time. But this shit, like this is what 720 max, maybe 30 FPS. Maybe he's and on like a really okay. shit laptop, which I don't understand because he's got fucking million subscribers, hundreds of thousands of views for every video, yeah. and he's pumping them out three per day because it's yeah, easy man, as fuck. If it's your job, then you'd think you'd want to invest a little bit into your job and stuff. It's well, literally tax deductible. If you buy a new laptop that you use for your yeah. job, you can put that on your taxes. That's a work expense, man. What what did I miss? I miss I feel as if I miss he's, he's, he's now talking about how difficult it is to do his job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining no. all the time and effort it takes for Jack's films to take <laughs> oh, all the comments. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how it works. Everyone, take every image. Save it, not mix them up by accident. So he probably titles them a certain way, like one, two, three, four, five, etc. Mm -hmm. Put them in the timeline, yeah. individual each one, mm -hmm. put them in the spot. And like that alone isn't difficult, but however, for the amount that there is, the tedium of having to do that, the stuff people don't appreciate when they watch oh, yeah, videos, it's a lot of the time, time consuming. Yeah, that, that takes a lot of time. I thought you were talking about Jinx's. Jinx's <laughs> work is hard. Hey, well, he sat down. This is one take. This is It took his videos 11 minutes and 46 seconds. It took him mm. 11 minutes and 46 seconds to make mm -hmm. this video. It's yeah. a lot of time. And the, uh, then he put, yeah, then he just yeah, put it into the uh, editing software and just uh, rendered it. I'm so, I'm I don't so. even think, no, I don't even think he had to render it. Well, so. No. Because he just, re this is just, he's going to just upload the file. I'm not familiar YouTube. with iMovie, but he, he was saying that it went from iMovie to YouTube directly. Yeah, like there's probably integration or something I, I like guess, that. I guess, yeah, maybe it's in the software yeah. itself or something. Yeah, I don't know. I've yeah, never used it's it. like, um, yeah, it's a direct upload. You just record it and then boom, post to YouTube and your account is linked so it knows where to post it. Yeah. You don't edit it. It doesn't have to change file formats or <laughs> render. Like, it doesn't start in a Vegas format or anything like that for size constraints. So what you, 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 you do have to render it still, though. You, you still have you I know, don't, there's, there's effort I there, don't, potentially. I don't even think so. Certainly not these days. That. He might have. You know, he might have created more work than he needed because he's, you know. <laughs> I think this was all one take. I think that's true, but who knows if he actually... It came in. A, I don't want to fucking spec. He's a really, really bad YouTuber. <laughs> like one of the worst is the point. Very bad. Yeah. Um, live stream. I don't know about that one. I would, but it like it's not like I got like ten thousand subscribers. It'll be I like played the Jack. Look at him. He's twitching like a, like a dog's nose. Wait, sorry. What did you say then? I missed that. Subscribers. Jack. Maybe. Jack's face is twitching like a dog's nose. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey. He's almost made it. Like. It's not like I got like 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> It'll be like three of us sitting here talking to each other. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to uh, go with a Q&A video. So, everybody... Because he's, he's at 1.6 million subs, uh, Jinx, at this point. Oh, wow. Just some questions to ask. If anybody want to know some facts about me, just ask. I'm, I guarantee you I'm going to answer. Where did you end up dumping like the body? 95% of the questions. <laughs> Need to know. So if you get a little too personal, I'm just going to look Detective at you. Detective like, Flanagan from Detroit, really. please. <laughs> you know, but yeah, whatever. Um, <sighs> Yo, Jinx, that was a dope-ass video, man. That was just hella tight. <laughs> I really like the part where you played my video in its entirety and then didn't really react to it, just kind of sat there. <laughs> I also like the part where you added virtually no insight. You just kind of rambled on for about five minutes and missed the point entirely. Pretty brilliant how you played the entire video in your channel. It's like it's a one-stop shop. Why bother going to my channel to watch that video when you can just watch that and your reaction? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start reacting to your videos, but I'll just show your videos in their entirety. That way it's like a one-stop shop. People don't even have to go to your channel. They can just go to mine for your videos and then my reaction. Sound good? God bless. <laughs> yeah, pretty much yeah. the point yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so um this became quite a problem. He wasn't the only channel. There was loads of people just doing this where they I remember. they barely react, they play the whole video and then they go, Yeah, bye.
So it's like you, you, yeah. you're just stealing the video. That's all you've done. And for some we reason, get it this works. With shows a lot too. People just react to TV shows and they'll say basically nothing, and they'll get yeah. a gajillion dollars for it. Yes, there are there are plenty of examples of that as well. And and so of course, um, it's really disappointing from an audience standpoint. It's like, guys, what are you doing? Why are you subscribed to these people? Why are you just watching the videos they they're watching? Why are you watching them watch it when they don't even react? I don't know. I don't I don't yeah. even see what the appeal is, but. Uh, after Jack did this and iDubs did a video on Jinx, it he got slaughtered. Um, like oh, Content Cop? Yeah, yeah, Content Cop. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I need to watch that. I don't think I've seen that. When was that? Uh, uh, five years ago. Yeah, it's an old, oldie but a goodie. Um, and so Jinx himself, he's still doing this, I think. He's getting like two to three thousand per yeah, video. Yeah, his channel got yeah. killed. Uh -huh. Absolutely oh, yeah. killed. I think he switched up his content. I don't know what he's doing now. Um, he has to do content now? <laughs> well, <laughs> Jinx, Jinx, well he, Jinx his reacts? videos are about 15 oh, seconds long each now. Um, sometimes going up to as much as 30 seconds by the looks well, of it. His, his newest it video is called Have You Ever Loved Anime and Tattoos? That's 25 seconds uh, long. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's <laughs> sufficient time. To... <laughs> so... Yeah, uh, it didn't work out, and it got killed as a genre, which I love, by the way. Fuck that genre. It's not even a genre. You're just yeah. stealing shit. Like, Fuck you. A discussion about anime and tattoos. You got 25 <laughs> seconds. Go. Well, I mean, I'm sure he nailed it. He's so insightful. How could you expect him to talk about anime uh, and tattoos for longer than 25 like seconds? Stand your soul. Turn to Jesus Christ. He'll save you. He is a great redeemer. Something, something, something. I sub Q&A. And there was me thinking. Bye. That's where it died, and we were done. No more of this shit. However, oh the, the, oh. it was it was one of those dormant evils. It just went away for a bit. New. And it's trying to make its way back. Now, I think... Curse I've you, been Kate. done with this website. YouTube, nine seconds long. <laughs> uh, bo bo but yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's it's fun to see uh, Jack have the smile throughout the whole thing, and then just, it's hard cuts to him just shitting all over Jinx. It's like, ah, there's yeah. the payoff, because we we're all thinking it, you know? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so there's... Uh, you guys may be aware. Again, we're getting close to the realms of, of the present now, and you'll know these names as I say them. You remember Pokimane, right? Mm -hmm. that, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've only been familiar with her. I've never seen her content or anything. She, I just yeah, know she's... Like a streamer, Twitch. yes, Twitch streamer. Um, she's possible. Is she the most popular female streamer on the platform now? She's at there, some right? point. I don't know if I it's think so. Still. Yeah. I... Um, so we'll get a little bit of a of a look see of she got into a controversy. I want to say a couple months ago, maybe half a year at this point. I really can't remember. Time is a complicated beast. Um, and she got criticized for a lot oh, of things. God. The main one, the main one was um, she was copyright striking people for uh. Making compilations of his streams, I think was was that. I don't want to. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Get I remember this that. wrong, yeah, yeah. but we're gonna watch. No, I think I'm pretty sure. Well, so... didn't she? Um, she struck PewDiePie, didn't she? Did she? Fucking hell. Yeah, she struck PewDiePie uh, Pie for uh, either reacting to a right, yeah, 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 to a bit in her video or something, and uh, that got a massive. Don't go against the nine-year-old army for fuck's sake. <laughs> They no, will slaughter you. 19, sorry, 19 years old army now, yes. <laughs> oh, also, I will and, warn uh, you, she got, uh, Ifab could get in some trouble for criticizing Pokemon. This is, she's quite a, she's beloved. Oh, no. She's Dude, absolutely beloved. Like shit. <laughs> but, but anyway, so for those who are confused, this is um, a channel called Diesel Patches. He's done a video about uh, her around about the time, and I've just got, we've got a little five second, five minute chunk, sorry, uh, that gives you an idea of, why I'm bringing this up, and uh, we can talk a bit about oh, the pieces. Quickly, so with that in mind, let's start the first oh. section. So this is a video specifically about Pokemane. And... I guess I should see this. Can, can you just wait a couple, of, like a minute, I have to go to the toilet. Ew. You know what, that sounds like a good uh, opportunity for me to also go, and I'll be back in a little bit. Oh. Yeah, well, he, I figure while he's gone, I'll go too. All right. Because we got to stop anyway. This is my window. Or I could wait. We could tag team it. I'll so go. anyway, back. how you doing, Fringy? <laughs> isn't, that, isn't this an interesting journey into the world of not making content at all? <laughs> well, I remember the, the Jinx stuff. I remember when that was, because that was like 2014, 2015. I remember that. Like, there yeah. was a whole... 
the guy at everything did a video on like all of the sort of react channels and how it was just the same thing sitting there watching not saying anything and occasionally going <laughs> and then more silence and then oh yeah, that because was, that was uh that was pretty funny anyway like and subscribe i'll see you next time because the the happy good place it spawned from was that people do enjoy it when, say for example, you, you found a joke really funny in a movie or whatever. Like, I think those people liked watching us laugh at Mulan, the original, like all the jokes in it. They were like, oh, it's actually fun to watch them um, be told a joke and laugh at the joke. You know, it's rare that that happens on EFAP at all. And it's just, it was nice to see. And it's just like, yeah, um, unfortunately, it's been like, I don't even know how to put it. Like, it's been, it's been... Factory, fact, what's wrong? What are we looking for? Like, um, factory made in that they know they have to drop a laugh in X amount of time and then just cover everything, and that should probably mm -hmm. win you out. It's like the yeah, easiest way fun. to do it. Um, which is just yeah. a, a huge perversion of what people were actually looking for. But the thing is, you know, audience members that are just oh, yeah, surfing through the internet, they they might not even be able to tell the difference. They're just like, ah, oh, yeah, I like this, um. Your grandma sucks video. I'll watch this random guy react to it, and then he goes, huh. "That was funny." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, cause if you're looking for that reaction, then I guess you got it. Plus the content itself, and the reality is that the the traffic through to the original thing is minimal. Very like, tiny. That's that's the reality. You're not. You're not. Yeah, it's it's just, it's not helping. Um. In fact, it's actively detrimental to the YouTuber in question. It certainly yeah. can be. Yeah. So, so the next chapter here, and it all makes sense, is um, Diesel Patches covering Pokimane's the criticisms of her content. Mm -hmm. Pookie Minstrel Cramps' content is very similar to Sniper Wolf's and Azuland's. All three of them are aware that because they are attractive enough, they don't really need to try. I mean, holy shit, I put more effort into my content than they do. And I only use iMovie as my editing software. Oh my <gasps> god. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't heard again. iMovie as a thing in ages, if ever. And I hear it twice, back to back? <laughs> I never oh heard about iMovie before. I still don't wow. know what iMovie is. I don't know if it's a like browser-based or some program. Apple. Yeah, I, I yeah, just, Apple's a oh, of on. course, iMovie. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah I just, Movie Maker. just goggled it. It's a I see. Movie Maker, yeah. <laughs> Much like commentators, she will use other content to make her own content, but the problem is she doesn't add anything new to the other content. Uh -oh. It's just essentially her looking cute in front of the camera. I tuned into one of her streams, and the first 20 minutes is just her trying to adjust the quality of the live stream. I really like the other camera, and I don't know why it keeps overheating go boom. Stop! Uh, I still feel like it's really, really Oh, and sharp. also a playlist as well. Yeah, so they'll have non-copyright song playlists in the background. That also oh. really helps out, obviously, with the ambience of the, the stream itself. People can just listen to music mm. when you're not doing anything. Mm. Streaming as a beast is, is complicated. We're, we're going to talk all about that yeah. as soon as we get through a bit more of this. And then out of nowhere, it just ends after she gives up. I just don't see how <laughs> fiddling with the camera for 20 minutes is considered content. Her reaction videos, I shit you not, are just as bad. Actually, now that I think about it, her fiddling with a camera provides more entertainment than her sexy kawaii reactions. Because at least I'm not f***ing <laughs> cringing. Alright, let's take a look at this video. Let's get into it. <laughs> huh? Imagine filming a Fortnite season reaction video and the police comes into your house. I don't get the joke. Is this like a common thing in her videos? The police interrupt her or something? <laughs> I went back to her old videos and I didn't see anything related to that. Or maybe the police actually did come so and she The police came into why. your house and you just... Well, because well, I think or... the immediate assumption is it was staged, but then why? Yeah. I think maybe she's just not bright. I don't, I, I'm, I'm with the commentator, it's like, why? What? Yeah, the, okay. the police just come into your house? Did they have a warrant? They can't come into your house without a warrant. Was it a SWAT Did thing? they have a warrant for you to investigate? Are no, you under no, she didn't say the SWAT thing. Yeah, and, and you'd think, like, why wouldn't you just cut it? And it's like, imagine doing that when you're trying to record a reaction. It's like, I feel like oh. the stream's over and you have legal things to deal with if the police yeah. have came into your house. Like, are there, if they came in your house, they're there, they're there to arrest you or investigate the premises for illegal activity that have 
They have been, they've been given a warrant by a judge. But I, okay. Wait a minute, how long is this video? Oh, now it makes sense. Got to eat up that time <laughs> somehow. So cute. Not going to lie. Catman has grown on me. Okay, pop off, queen. Flex it. Oh, I really like hot dog man cuz I'm kind of hungry. Wait, are they going to let oh. us do stuff like this? No. There's no way they would show this for this long without <laughs> letting us do it, right? I haven't laughed yet, and I don't see how this wow. is transformed. I see this is your first day in video games. This is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming that's cut to include her commentary. That is her commentary. That's not, you know, the parts where she's just watching it and stuff. So she's like, mm, I guess it's better than Jinx. <laughs> she's expressing herself. She's or saying something. Jinx, more words more. anyway. More different words, I should say, as well. Yeah. Mm. Content? I don't know, maybe the video picks up later on. Uh Oh my god, give me a battle pass you can design? New Trekkies. I like that. The freaking Thor vibes. I know he's like Aquaman and Thor isn't like watery, but you see it, right? The only thing I see is a sh video. I have see no it, idea right? how people watch this. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You know, I'm very entertained right now. This is this is good content right here. It's just her making cute noises and telling you exactly what's happening in the video. The only opinions that she gives out are what she thinks of the new skins. Who gives a shit? I know other people make- There's gonna be someone out there who is desperate to know what Pokemon thinks of the new skins, I will say mm -hmm. that. Yeah. yeah, but all she'll say is it's cute. People. She's it's not cute. gonna talk about like the actual design philosophy or anything like <laughs> no. that. It would just be because that's, that's like a oh. specific skill that you would have to- uh... You can't get me to shut up about design philosophy on skins. Some of them bug me to no end. <laughs> I've heard your yeah. comment, you just say, it's so cute. No, like okay. <laughs> no, no, oh, no. No. Oops, no, 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 no. I play a lot of Apex Legends. Okay, I like that game. <laughs> Don't give them a single dollar, people. That company's a fucking halfway scam. But the game itself is good. Play a lot of Apex Legends. And there's a character named Bangalore, and she's supposed to yeah. be like a veteran soldier. And constantly on her fucking skins, this veteran soldier has big old like smoke grenades or flashbangs or big ass pouches on her right shoulder, where she damn well knows she has to keep shouldering rifles in order to be effective in combat. And it bugs the fuck out of me. And I well, don't know why people do it. I don't know why people do it. But the people who design these skins, they don't give a shit. And it bugs me. And if I was in charge, things would be different. There'd be some changes <laughs> around here. Oh, no. I mean, I would say, like, the broader issue with... Because this, this is a whole conversation, right? Skins being, like, the death of art styles. Like, it's... There is no attempt anymore to make them consistent with the world. It's just crazy, it's just colorful. Stuff. Just stuff. Well, it's th stuff. Think. Look, colorful. Jelly man. Cat. Think. Stuff. Colors. Yeah, and I mean that's probably the reason why Fortnite was so successful. Is it's like this amalgamation of pop culture. Just everything mm. gets thrown in all at once, but there is no consistent style. Yeah, least, like, like a character the, the, in Apex Legends, Lifeline, and she's supposed to be a combat medic, but there's like no skins of hers that would lead you to believe that she is a combat medic. She goes into battle with a tank top on, and like, <laughs> I don't, what about you as a combat medic? Right, like, like, push back on societal norms, okay. Called, they have a skin called First Responder for her, but there's nothing in any way related to medicine or emergency <laughs> medical services. <laughs> She's dressed in like leather and there's spikes on it and she has a bandana and the colors aren't even like EMS colors and it doesn't make any fucking sense because they just say, oh, just here, here's the thing. We'll just call it first responder. Fuck it. Why don't they just, they could have had a, even something like a Florence Nightingale skin for her. That would have still made more sense. Mm. They have like demon skins for her and devil skins and stuff like that, but there's no skins. She's a combat medic, so you'd think that she'd have a little bit of armor, maybe, and she'd have, like, a big, you know, a cross or something on a helmet, that she would look like, like, an actual combat medic, but, like, none of her skins are, and no one gives a shit, and I, I, I feel like I'm alone on this little island in this big sea of apathy, <laughs> and I'm the only person who cares about these things that I feel, as a designer, you should be concerned of. Like, we, we got this character who has this definitive role and backstory. Maybe some of her, like, skins could have something to do with that backstory or could in some way explain what her role is or be useful. It was like, nah, fuck it. 
Rags. Who, who owns Respawn? Yeah. Exactly. But Respawn makes all the creative decisions. It's it's Respawn's fault. Who, mean, who owns it's Respawn? Not EA's fault. <laughs> it's not. I mean, no, it's not EA's fault. It's Respawn's fault. They're the ones doing it. Well, could it go literally down to the artist, or is it going to be down to? I mean, they're the ones who are doing it. I mean, somebody wanted and that I, first responder thing to look that way, right? Or the the person who did the skin. Yeah. Well, whoever's to blame. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> do do better, as Falcon would say. <laughs> do better. You need to this do better. Yeah. Content, but they even though I've just comedy. said moments ago that I have no clue how to do it myself. Or what it is. Being naive. No, fuck off it's with this attitude that everything is the publisher's fault. Fucking stop. Quit it. Stop letting developers off the hook all and the time, constantly for everything because, ooh, the publishers, is, Electronic Arts. I don't care. Though, the developers are making the game. They're creating the skins. Well, They're doing basically everything. Here's the, here's the super awkward part. For Respawn, apparently they have a lot of autonomy within EA, unlike DICE or other studios like bioware they actually have a lot of autonomy over their projects so mm. they chose to release titanfall 2 between battlefield 1 and call of duty that was their choice oh that's the dumbest um, thing to ever it was a terrible decision that has no kind clue of what was going through their head when they yeah. did that uh, it's a similarly, great game titanfall 2 is a great I love game titanfall 2. I love imagine that making game. that game with all the care in craftsmanship and <sighs> design that you did and then some asshole says all right what we're gonna do now that the game's done we're gonna release this between this year's battlefield game and this year's call of duty oh, game i know <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> they're coming out within what three weeks of each other was it there were two yeah. weeks apart and fucking hell that's so in the fucking stupid yeah, so weird. I, really I never bad. i never played titanfall 2 up until like i don't think like a year ago or so Probably because people kept recommending it to me. It was like, yeah, I'll check it right. out. And then I played the single player. It's like, man, this is fucking great. Masterpiece. Yeah. I, I wish I would, would have had that when it came out, when there was a player base. And now because now when I went, I went online for multiplayer like once and I got fucking annihilated because I had no idea what was happening. It's like, I, there's no way I'm going to... Well, curve. That... Whoa, I mean, yeah, there's... Uh, on this subject, though, I go ahead and only... actually finish, finish your point. Yeah, because the, the only players at that time, that was before it came to Steam. Like, I, I got it for like a couple of bucks on, on EA Origin, I think was, yeah. was it was called. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's like, oh, that's great. Then I went multiplayer, and obviously all the people who have been playing this for like, years and years probably were playing online, and I was just like getting fucking crushed. I got bodied. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to learn this, so I'm just going to stop. But yeah, no, the game is great. So yeah, I wish that it's a really I great known game. about this but when it came um, out. It's it's a great game that was sort of seriously hurt in terms of its sales, and probably means that there'll never be a Titanfall three because of a bad decision yeah. by the developers. <laughs> and and this is like, you know, we all like to talk about how much EA sucks, and EA sucks. They're a shit company, but like, it's not EA's fault, for instance, that BioWare spent five years in pre-production on Anthem. That wasn't EA's fault. It wasn't EA's decision to write, I'm sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. That wasn't an EA mandate. <laughs> like, it's not... At some point, like... There no, are well, BioWare was it. falling apart, though. It was losing... It was yeah, losing no, all I, the big no people, was. and uh, Jesus Christ. That Anthem, Anthem is the biggest disaster of modern fucking gaming it's got to be I five years like for coming up with nothing i feel like halo the master chief collection probably still has the mm. title of, like the what about cyberpunk ever. well at least cyberpunk at least uh, yeah. hey, that's based off halo games that were made and were good yeah but um oh, well, i guess when we're talking about like the worst launches ever i'm thinking yeah like, like an yeah, original cyberpunk. at least an original like you know yeah it was because it, it was came really out bad. first for the consoles and then it eventually made its way to Steam. That's right. But on consoles, it wasn't playable in multiplayer yeah, for about it. five months. It yeah, was, yeah. It does yeah. have it stiff was, competition, it, though. Yeah. We got was, Fallout 70 shit, Cyberpunk 2077. There is, there is some. I yeah, there is some competition. It. It's definitely up with one of them. Let's say top five. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I, I yeah, for me, when it comes to video game failures, it, it's cyberpunk is continually just comes to mind so much. Um, Phenomenal that that launch. It's crazy. What a it's job. Kind of crazy. Well, 
kind of destroyed City Project Red's reputation, which was like kind of the the main thing that they had going for them. Um, um Theo just mentioned Dark Souls PC port launch was absolutely abominable, uh, unplayable without the mod to fix it. But am I correct in mm. saying the DS, DS fix came out the same day? The guy was like a legend getting it done. Yeah, like the same, like very shortly after. Like it was super quick. And this is the thing: the game was so known to be broken that it's like, oh, if I get it, it's like, yeah, make sure you get DS fix. It's like almost <laughs> to the point where people wouldn't tell you because they'd assume you know. It's like you get DS fix. Everyone just got to do it. <clears throat> Someone's reminding me, No Man's Sky. That was the devs. Oh, uh, no yeah. one's scam. Well, well, they, they came through, right? They did. Yeah. They actually did. It's yeah, well, no, 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 no. They came through after they uh, scammed millions of people out of their money. Then, once they got those millions of people's money and they and they all left the fucking game, then they built themselves a game off their money. So now it's just a, you know, it's a, it's got a, a a much more compact audience. But there was a there's a millions of people that got scammed out of their cash from that game. They they had no further incentive to spend another year and a half developing an update for that game. They already got the money, but they did. I feel like that's worth. It's got to be worth something that they actually yeah. created. They eventually gave the game away that they promised that they would. To me, what it says is that they, they bit off more than they could chew. They wanted to give I people X, so they, they didn't anticipate how much time it would take. I Which, think um, that's what happened. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's one of the, the places where we got to be like, when do we actually give some form of forgiveness? And with that one, uh, apparently they're still working on it too. So, um, I think they've been on it for years at this point. They keep updating it for yeah, like, as well. If, if we're saying there's no way to redeem what they did, I should be like, oh. I mean, I think that's kind of lame, because I think like what they did was exactly the model of what we should hope people would do when they make that mistake, you know? Well, if you screw it up, I'd rather encourage people to stay with the game and, and, and fix it. Hey, out of curiosity, um, as have you seen the Internet Historian yeah. video about this? No, I haven't. Uh, I would fully recommend it. Really entertaining. He goes from before... He basically starts with Hello Games' inception, then their designs and ideas when they were funded, all the way to the horrible launch, and then many years after, up till now, and where they're at. It's, it honestly might change your mind on, like, Hello Games in general. Was, uh, I found but it really moving. Don't, don't release the game in a state that you've got it when you know you're lying to an audience. Um, well, so the the prevailing theory at this point is that they really did think that they would have the features prepared by the time the release date hit, but they they didn't. No. And they released it. Yeah, that's the mistake and they made. And, and then he went on camera and he was talking about, yes, you'll be able to get your multiplayer and da-da-da, so... I don't know. I, I, I don't have a lot of sympathy for these companies oh, yeah. which take the money and, and retroactively fix their game. I understand and then why. Say, hey, you'd... look, we, we fixed it. I understand why you'd feel that way. The, the problem is just that uh, the, there's like so many choices. They made a lot of mistakes along the way of like thinking that they could do it in time, and then they try to expand timelines, and it ended really badly. But uh, they've got, from what I understand, the game right now is like fantastic. Um, I've not played it myself, obviously, but like people who are still with it are like, this is the game we were promised, sort of thing. And I just, I think it's admirable that they just kept working for as long as it was needed uh, to make the game that they promised people. Um, and of course, you could get refunds for No Man's Sky on day one, as far as I knew. It's like uh, historically I, one of the, can, the most I refunded games, refund. probably. Um, no, but but I guess what I'm I'm just saying is like uh, I feel like they've done the best they can if the starting point is that they promised X and Y was delivered. Um, much better than a lot of companies probably would have done, which is to be like, yeah, we're, we're done. We'll take the money and just uh, dissolve the company and make a new one or something. Um, I really recommend the video. It might change your mind. Might not. Mm. Mm. No. Nah. What do you mean no? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, no, but I, 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 this guy purposely misled people. He purposely misled people, uh, and so he sold the shit out of that game to try and get people to buy it. He knew he was putting out uh, a subpar uh, product, and he knew that millions of people that bought it would drop out of the game because it wasn't what they uh, intended at all. So then to retroactively make the game with the additional money that they've got for a much smaller uh, player base, and then go, hey guys, we fixed it. No, you fixed off the back of millions of people who are no longer going to touch your game. That's what you did. 
So I don't care if the audience say I've got a bad take on this one. Fuck him. Is that on fuck, the people? Fuck no. Hello Games. But they didn't come back after it was fixed? Yeah, no, it's not on them at all. They 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 don't have to have they don't have to come back to a game that wasn't made. Uh, you know, however many years it is now, well, four years to, or so. But if if you if you, for instance, were sold on a game and it turned out that it was a scam or whatever it was, um, it, it wasn't what you were promised. And then you learn a year later, two years later, hey, that game that that you bought and um, you, you were sold on, we actually made it like it was. And, it, and it's everything that we promised and that's that's done. And if the player doesn't come and try it out at that point, I do feel like that's on it's them. Not, they don't have to. It's not up to the is... player. It's up to the company to deliver what they said they were going to deliver. No, 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 no. no. I'm the, saying the player could the... be off playing World of Warcraft now. They could be off playing Cyberpunk now. They could be off playing whatever they want now. They could be off video games. They could be they could. investing their money in, in markets and all this kind of stuff. It's not up to that person to, to retroactively go back and say, I wonder how that game's um, doing now, that's, uh, that, that was shit actually... on launch. That's that's true, but alternatively, they kind of can't complain anymore if they're not gonna like if if, if you bought it and then they're like, all right, it's fixed now, uh, check it out, and you're like, no, I'm never gonna like touch it again. Fuck you. It's like, well, then I sure hope that you don't ever talk about like how bad the game is again at this point, especially if it was for no. Free, it, it, we're talking about the game. That's why we're talking. That's why I'm answering about the game. Well, because so what I'm saying is like. Game. I agree that the player doesn't really, you know, if they're like, nah, fuck it, I, I'm not interested anymore, that's cool. But, like, if they fixed it, and the game is there for you to play now, and they didn't charge you extra for it, and you already have it, I, I'm i not sure. If, I, you probably should have refunded it in the first place. At that yeah, point. I'm curious why you well, did that. Well, if you could, because I couldn't get a refund. I got it off oh, Amazon, well, and I couldn't get a refund. Yeah, yeah, really? I couldn't get a refund. Yeah, on that I couldn't get a refund on it. It cost me fifty quid. I will say because like Amazon, um, actually, when when I was building this PC, um, they sent me a faulty hard drive, and uh, I was like, "And you send me one that works? This is all corrupted and broken and stuff." And they were like, "Okay, yeah, we can as long as you send back the one you have." And I was like, "Okay." And they t they told me to go to a particular location, and I gave it to a clerk who was like, I was told to give it to another. I gave them details and I'm like this is giving it back. Then Amazon through emails were like, we've not received it, so you can't have the replacement. And I was like, yes, I can. I've given it back. It didn't work anyway. You're giving me a spare one. And they were like, okay. <laughs> and they sent one. And so the point there is that Amazon actually operate at a loss overall with those transactions, but it's ultimately a gain because it keeps customers coming back. It's a... They, they miss... So, for example, that would be noted on the account as they've given me a free hard drive, when I probably have two now, as far as I know. I don't. But... It's worth it because I'm a customer who keeps paying as well as I would spread that Amazon are actually really good for the refunds. I think if you made enough noise, they would absolutely. Well, yeah, have... they are, but I I contacted uh, Amazon for this and they said they couldn't take it back because it was uh, video game software. So I'm surprised, honestly. I would have thought they would. Uh... I guess because it is, it, it's not a physical thing that you could send. It's a, it's a, a digital thing. They can't, they can't like mm. get it back. Maybe that's the no. I, I bought the I bought the the physical game. Oh, that's so, I, so strange. I bought the disc in the box, but they said they couldn't have it back because it is it's been opened and put into the console, so they couldn't accept it back. But that's I'm not saying that's alone. That's Amazon. Did you pre-order No Man's Sky? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. No, I think I bought uh, it on release day. Or the oh, I pretty yeah, well bought it the day before so it arrived on release day or some shit. One of the other. I, I guess know. um I guess like to maybe wrap a bow on it, like what what are the developers' options after having already screwed up? What what do they do? Well, that's up to the developer because we've seen different we've seen different things because yes, uh Hello Games continued on uh, no man's scam, but I don't care about that. Well, and so now we've, I, um, but I'm we've also seen on uh, Anthem that they've just given up on Anthem. Well, so I uh, guess I guess what I'm asking is like, for you, what can they do? Is there anything that they can do to fix it? Well, if it, uh, it, well, it depends on the game. Like Fallout seventy six, no, because uh, that was a what about No Man's disaster. Sky? What about that game? No, no, I'm not. I'm not going to touch that game again. 
Yeah, um, but what, what should they do? What, like Fringy's what, question. That's what I'm asking. What 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 should they do that would make you happy? Do you, like, do you think it's too late? Well, for not, them? Uh, maybe maybe not lie to you in the first place. I after they made the mistake, what do they do? But, but, but you're saying what? Uh, how how can I get your trust back after I've completely lost your trust? Yeah, I'm. What, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, what, well what, you what, are what a you corporation. You are a company. And my first dealing with Hello Games is to be scammed by you, so you can fuck off. No, okay, I, I, uh, I, so I understand. So, so do, in, in my respect, uh, Hello Games can just piss off. Tr right, yeah, but if we transpose this to um, release from that fucking company, let's say somebody stole something, they were caught, and they went to prison for the allotted time that they stole the thing. Is it like fuck them sort of thing? It doesn't matter if they serve the time. It doesn't matter if they come back out and they're a good citizen. They already stole. This is, but this is personal to me. This is not a generalized uh, yeah, yeah, criminality. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm which curious. Is completely different. I want to draw a line between the developers who ditch the game and the developers who work their ass off for years trying to make the game the one they promised, and they do it all without charging extra. They keep adding the content mm. on. I think we should we should have a different category for those two instead of saying fuck them all. If if you get what I mean. I think it's a personal. I think it's a personal opinion. There's some people are going to say fuck them. There's some people are going to say give them a try. There's some people that are going to be on the bridge about it. I think it's complete personal decision as to how you want to deal with these companies. Uh, they had a lot of backing from Sony, and yeah, it came out like a piece of garbage. Fallout 76, uh, Bethesda game, it should have come out in, in you know, uh, so much better state than it did it. That was, another, that was an absolute joke. CD Projekt Red with Cyberpunk 2077, and I'm a, I was a, in CD Projekt Red with Trust Guy. And that came out an absolute mitigated disaster. Anthem with the backing of EA, an absolute mitigated disaster. But can they, is there yeah. any pathway to redemption for like the No Man's Sky devs, for CD Projekt Red, for Bethesda? Is it just done over, no going well, it back? It depends on how you, how you are trying to, to sell the game. Let's, uh, take the, let's keep using the No Man's Sky example. Then, okay, well, the, we'll he, he went on TV and he lied. Well, so no, but 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 the fundamental thing is after. Yes, this is after that. that. Yes, yeah, so after, after no, this. No, happens. right. No, I, I've told you we're going in circles. I've told you, I have bought a com. I bought a game from a company. The company I fucked me over. Back. It's the first dealing that I've had with this company, and as far as I'm concerned, you have uh, broken my trust in you as a company. So why would I bother trusting you again? Because I don't they care have any a product going for further. You. I don't care you saying well. We're gonna we're gonna work on it behind the scenes, even though I fucked you over to get your money. No, it, it's worked I'm, on. It's it's been done. It's not a hypothetical at that point. Yeah, that's why people see like, it as proof. They have I'm not proof. interested. I've told you, I'm not interested in dealing with that company anymore because they fucked me over. But so there's nothing that they could do. Nothing that they can do for me. They might do something for you. They might do something for Rags, Mola, but nothing they can do for me because from my personal dealings with them and that's what matters to me it's your yeah, decision um, how you handle it out of curiosity, and to me it works on a company by company basis on how they actually uh sell their product or how they sell the product that's going to be uh released i don't have to say oh well kratz guys you know over the course oh, of the years you yes. took that money which you scammed off people and you made a great game kudos let's build you a sign across the street uh, from you to say uh, how wonderful you are for doing I, so. I, I, I don't think it's just the fact that they made a great game, it's that they didn't have any reason to do it. They had the money, they didn't have any stake in yeah, actually like it's proof doing it. But they of, did. Their, um, of their integrity, I would say. And out of curiosity, if they'd given you a refund if, day if their one. integrity wouldn't have released that game in that state. Yeah, people make well, mistakes. People, yeah. So, right. so, 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 so what I'm I look the, for is I'm the redemption the part, getting, right? I'm the bad guy for getting scammed. No, I, I don't. I don't believe okay. we've ever said right. that. No, we, we, we can leave it. At, we can leave it at that because apparently I'm the bad guy because no, I, I gave money I to a company for a that. video game that was broken on release because they were promising uh, plenty of aspects which were never delivered upon. Not yes, even conceived. we know. We, we heard. Yes, I, we know. Exactly. We're, we're aware of this. So I think no, you're right I have aware said of to you quite clearly done i think you're right Not to be absolutely company. furious at them and i think everyone was that was like a huge deal the internet was going yeah, nuts it was a big over deal. It. and they they deal. earned all of it but that's the thing about this uh this internet historian video that shocked everyone it's called the engoodening of uh, no man's sky he goes through that whole event and he's very much candid about how everyone hated it he goes through all the coverage and he's like and then 
I think the story goes that they went silent, and so that just pissed everyone off even more. It's like, where the fuck mm -hmm. is the content? What are you doing? Turns out all they were doing was working. They were just working every single day, and then they started releasing patches. And, and the way he explains it is patch one comes out, and everyone's like, fuck you. Like, oh, patch one. Good for you. Patch two comes out, and they're like, yeah, carry on making patches, sure. Patch 7000 comes out, and they're like, okay, you guys are still going years and years on, and you've received nothing but vitriol from everybody and the game is actually coming like they had a checklist i think uh the dev team of every single thing they promised and they made sure that they would tick every single box before they would ever stop working on the game and i don't know i like redemption stories quite a bit and i, I honestly thought after watching that video that i was like you know the people in that in that studio i think they really made a huge mistake and they're doing everything they can to come back so i was gonna say if they had given you a refund day one the actual devs personally and then they made the game they promised within the next two years would would that would you feel differently about them? Or would you feel the same? Sorry, say that last bit again. If they gave you a refund on day one personally, like they emailed you and said we're sorry, the game released out of like it's it's fucked, and uh, two years down the line they say you still got the game, you can still play it, you don't have to pay for it. This is our apology. What would you say then? Um, I uh, would probably check it out. Okay. Hmm. And that's exactly but that's exactly what Square did with Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh, well, when that so, came that's, out in that's... 2010, that was an absolute disaster. It was a, a, a joke. Um, completely broken. Um, the combat system was, a, was an absolute nightmare. It, you know, it was absolutely reviled by people. Uh, and within a couple of... I don't know, I think it's a couple of weeks of that coming out, we got an email from the, like, the head of Square saying, look, we're really sorry. We know that this game is absolutely not how it should be. This is not to the standard of uh, what we believe it should be at all. We're going to be uh, working on uh, the game to, to try and fix it, yada, yada, yada. We're suspending the um, subscription fee with immediate effect uh, on the game. Uh, and then they, a few weeks later, he re released another one. And then they... Uh, uh, you know, he's another, basically another apology email about uh, we're not, you know, we're working on it, yada, yada, yada. But we realized that we're not going to do it with this team. So we're going to get rid of the team. And we're going to bring a new team in. Uh, then they bring uh, Yoshi P in to the company. They try and get him to to fix the game with what they've got. He attempts to. He does some little bits and bobs. And then he says, I can't, I can't fix this game with what I got. I need a new engine. I need this. I need that. And Square uh, gave it to him. And then when the game re-released, uh, anyone who had uh, purchased Final Fantasy X, uh, sorry, Final Fantasy XIV, do you beg your pardon, uh, just got the game for free. Uh, just got the game uh, for free. You could just immediately log on to the game uh, with 30 days game time or something. And uh, I think they gave a couple of, they gave some like additional rewards as well for uh, for purchasing the original. Uh, and going back, you also got access for the original to the... They want... Did they uh, I think you could, yeah. I think they were offering refunds for them. Because uh, I was about uh, to say, in 2010, I just didn't say one. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Okay, it's just because like, if they didn't offer refunds, then it sounds like it's actually almost identical to No Man's Sky, just that they were more public about having screwed up. And it seems like it was more on Amazon than Hello Games in that sense. Well, yeah, because I've said that. I, said, I, said I, I would agree with you as well. Like, fuck Hello Games if they actually like stopped anyone in any way, shape, or form from getting the mm -hmm. refund. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, but from what I knew, No Man's Sky like set records for refunds. And the, the thing, the thing like systems had to change to get refunds go. in place for No Man's Sky, I think with different stores. But your cyberpunk's overtaken that one. Well, yeah, I think that that, that happened that's again. That's the recent example, oh, yeah. 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 Um, so I mean, if that's if that's the difference, I can I can respect that. If they it, like, it's like they've stolen money from you and and they haven't given it back ever, and so um, you'd hold that against them. Um, it might not even be up to them if, depending on how Amazon handles that sort of thing, it literally could be just that they don't have control over that. Yeah, um, they might have had a customer support thing. You maybe could have contacted. Regardless, I I would just. All I wanted to say was I would like to draw a line between the devs who give up and run off and the devs who just keep working on the game at no actual personal gain anymore. Like they're not gaining any more money 
they're just trying to make the game for the people that they promised, which I don't know. I just I it gives I me think a we sense should reward the good. Yeah, because we're gonna want them to do that in future rather than run off, right? Out of the two choices. Well, I mean, I don't want to start going in a secular argument, but I really just don't give a fuck what Hello Games do from here on in. I don't care about well, the company. But it, but it would be that, like, it's preferable that if the two options are fix it or don't, that... It, yeah, that preferable, that sure. Thing. I yeah. mean, that's always... that Logic dictates that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thanks. But we've seen, <laughs> we've seen what's happened with uh, Anthem. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm that, not 100% that, familiar that, with that, that. And that's a cash and grab. That's a cash Anthem, grab right now. They, uh, they said that they were going to retool it into like Anthem 2.0, and then they spent a few months and they're like, nah, we give up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just going to stay as it. is. And I can imagine them in a, within a year probably just saying we're going to close down the Anthem servers. Yeah, they, 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 they did not commit like uh, Hello Games did. Certainly not, because I'm not familiar with the, uh, the Anthem story at all like the, the meta story a, i mean it's not a story that ea would tell you oh it's it is a sad story um <laughs> but they've yeah. all gone now from bioware they've they've all gone the whole lot of them all the anthem people have basically yeah they don't think there's think there might be like one or two left but the, did they get fired no, or did they no, like, leave no they, they the... left at their own accord to other places oh, i mean like a lot of them probably Ooh, moved i don't know what place to, would uh... want them Mass Effect, right, and Dragon uh, Age. Those are like the two big projects now. Um, well, <laughs> they better do something special than, to get Mass Effect fans back after uh, Andromeda. Yeah, I think they know that at this point, though. So I think they should be lucky speak. they exist. Wow. And uh, I'm very yeah. concerned about Dragon Age Four. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Um, someone said, "At Molly, you're not entitled to forgiveness, even if you fix it afterwards." I don't think I ever made a comment about any of that. That's not entitlement. I didn't say anything about I, that. I, I was, I'm I was... fine with how people feel on this. I'm just giving the way that I particularly feel. Yeah. You can hate me for it. You can like me for it. You can be indifferent to it. It's all the same. But this is the way that I feel about this particular instant. You know, I, I didn't actually mention anything about forgiveness. I, I was talking about um, people trying to redeem their mistakes. Uh, I find the concept super interesting. Because a lot of the no, time... I understand where you're coming from. I understand what you're trying to say and where do you draw the line? Because obviously, if you're just completely apathetic to it all, then what's the point even trying? Uh, but, uh, you know, to me, there's a there's a great sense of morality which should go alongside in the first place. Um, yeah, no, and, um, I completely... Like, when you watch those interviews, it, it is frustrating because they are talking about features they don't even have. Um, mm -hmm. And they have to be so head in the clouds to think that they'll be able to get it all in by the time they reach the release date. But uh, that's the thing. The... the a lot of the um, the video tries to present that they really did just uh, get caught up in all of it. Because they were a tiny dev team, right? They got caught up by... I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Like 15 people, and then it was like the most anticipated game. Of like... all time, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's the hole was... that he just decided to dig. Yeah. Oh, sure, but I mean, I can see that as being something that totally got out of control for him. Like, imagine <laughs> just like, you, you're like a little team of 15 people, and all of a sudden your game is like more anticipated than like The Witcher 3. It's like, dude, that's uh, <clears throat> oh, tough. Yeah, apparently, there was a flood at one point as well that wiped a lot of their data and during the um oh, development <laughs> cycle. This is the thing. Um, people keep recommending the video. I'm only going to butcher what the video's points are. It's, it's pretty. It's like a hour and a half or something. He he went out of his way to really find out everything he could, uh, internet historian, because. Um, up to that point, I fucking, I hated Hello Games. <laughs> I was like, fuck them, mm -hmm. they're like one of the worst dev teams in history. Then I was like, oh, okay, alright, hmm, interesting. Um, so anyway, to go back to this video, it was covering Pokemane, <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, I already read oh, when right, we lost it, play. Pokemane? Pokemane. <laughs> what? what? I saw what people in chat saying, like, oh, Metal is not saying anything. It's like, yeah, it's nothing, no matter to triple quadruple all the points. <laughs> I was like, I need to say the things again all, everyone already said. So. Say the words. Who gives um, a yum. shit? I know other people make this type of content, but they at least add comedy to it. There are two reasons why people watch gaming videos. The first reason being the player is very skillful, which automatically counts as entertainment, and Pookie Menstrual Cramps isn't really skillful at this game. Well... Dude, how come? And the second reason is for comedic purposes. Unfortunately- It's a weird set of two things you get out of why you would watch someone play games, comedic or that they're skilled. I'd be like, this is a shit ton more than that, right? Yeah. 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 There are, there are, I, 
bring it up again, play Apex Legends a lot. How If I had a dollar for every time I killed someone with TTV in their name, and they have no viewers, one, two, there are oh, tons right. of people who are extremely skilled at that game, and mm -hmm. all they do is stare at the screen, and they don't offer any input or commentary or insight, and they just stare blank-faced at the screen and play, and nobody gives a fuck about watching them. If someone said, name the two reasons people watch people play games, I'd be like, two? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the two main reasons, if I was going to have to categorize them, um, I would say uh, in-game reasons and out-of-game reasons. Yeah, I guess you could In-game reasons that being the skill and the stuff that happens in the game, then there's the the streamer themselves, and that's the divining line. Is it the game or is it the person? And then you get to like, you follow them because they are funny, as in they tell jokes and they have insightful commentary that's also kind of funny. Or someone like, uh, what's his name? Fucking DSP or um, Wings, where you're like, the funny isn't, they're not intending it, but it's funny <laughs> as fuck. Like, it's. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. They are a spectacle. There are so many categories for this, but you know. Non self aware type of comedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they don't know. That's what makes it so comedic. Like, I don't know, DSP maybe having another, um, what's what's he like to call them? Crowd fund fundraisers? Is that it? Fundraisers? Uh, saying oh. that he, I need fifteen hundred dollars, otherwise I can't pay my mortgage by the end of the week. Oh. And then getting nine hundred dollars, and then turning up to the next stream saying, "Hey, look, guys, somebody." Out of nowhere, just sent me an Xbox One X, an Xbox <laughs> Series X. Oh, is, isn't totally he the guy as well who's like, "I will stop streaming if you don't donate." It's like, oh, <laughs> no, that's, yeah. that's that wigs? Uh, what's he called? No, uh, something God, um, low tier God, low tier God, God. yeah, low tier. Uh, oh no, 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 it's not. It's um, what's his name? Um, wings, Wings of Redemption. That's the one. Oh, yeah, yeah, Wings that's of funny. Redemption. Okay. It's uh, fucking when, hilarious. When redemption was... <laughs> yes, he... <laughs> DSP's the one who tells off his audience for not for not taking. That's my it. life. My life is just waking up being fat and getting kicked. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what... Whenever I hear his name, Wings of Redemption, my brain cannot help but think of chicken wings. <laughs> chicken wings of redemption. Uh, that is <laughs> like when when you say normally when you hear wings, you think ah yes, the, the avian pinions, Rags, right? But you're totally correct. I also think of chicken wings. <laughs> I think of but with him, yeah, I think of chicken wings that have been like fried and doused in yeah. sauces. I don't think of majestic. Why are you making me hungry? You know, <laughs> like the wings of an albatross or an eagle as it soars high above the, you know, like a, a majestic, you know, avian pinions. It's, it's not a majestic ave, ave. It's, a, uh, it's a dinky little ave. Yeah, ave it's here. like ave I went to a gas world. station and bought some wings. <laughs> It's one of those chungus birds that have really tiny wings but still kind of fly. And you're like, no. Like a cartoon bird? Yeah, yeah. Like it would be like a Pixar film. Or an emu. Yeah. You know, they got them little dinky wings too. It's Somebody cute. jet wrote Kentucky Fried Redemption. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taste some Kentucky Fried Redemption this Saturday. <laughs> Pokimane doesn't suck enough for us to laugh about how bad she is, and she's also just straight up unfunny. The only entertainment I receive from a Pokimane video is from the comment section. It really is hilarious how desperate some people can be. She looks like someone, but I can't quite put my finger on who. I'm f Teehee, I'm so quirky. Ooh, my pants. Uh, uh. Ooh, it's giving me Game of Thrones vibes. That's what it is. Literally, that no one from the show. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, what, if, if we can get that image back. Thrones vibes. That's she reckons that gives her Game of Thrones vibes. Oh, no, it doesn't. Does she just see armor? And in her mind, she's like, oh, armor. What? Oh, Game of Thrones has armor. Or it used to. Has armor. That's like Game of Thrones. I know Game of Thrones. <laughs> it does feel that way. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing. I don't watch enough of her content to be the conclusive on this, but every one of us hates it. when you I have, just hate women. When you, yes. But when you, when you also have the person who's like, oh, I fucking love Star Wars. The... Ah, uh, the ships and the ah oh, man, <laughs> lasers and the stormtrooper guys. Pew, pew. Not even that. Dark just Vader. like all of the like the Nazi guys versus like the cool sort of you know the monks. And you're just yeah, sitting there the like, what? What? Are... The, yeah. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? They go, ah, oh, oh, Wrath of Khan. Kirk, definitely. Yeah. I've, I've read all of them. I've read, I read all the newspapers. <laughs> 
<laughs> I really like the new one, uh, Rise of Skywalker. That's what it was called, right? And you're like, oh god, yeah, that's <laughs> Mandalorian. That's 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 really cool. Yeah, oh. Mandalorians are cool. Yeah, they're they're really cool. Wait, uh, they wouldn't call them Mandalorians. No, no, that could be the one Mandalorian. name they know. The Boba Fett. And, and they end up overcompensating, the and they say oh, Mandalorian the like ten times in the sentence. Oh, like, I know Mandalorians. Yeah, Mandalorians like... are really cool. I like Mandalorians a lot. Or, or it would be even worse than that. Like the man, they don't believe Mandalorians. Or it's kind of like when you call Samus Metroid. You know, like, <laughs> just like. Or oh, we that's call Link Zelda. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. or, or you call Master Chief Halo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I had a friend's mom who would do that when I was young. <laughs> oh, is that oh, you're Mr. Playing, Halo? You're playing John Mr. Halo. Halo. Mr. Halo. <laughs> Halo. I, lo I loved it when Mandalorian and Luke met. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. When, Bo when Boba Fett and Luke met. I yeah. like when Boba Fett met Luke and gave him Baby Yoda. They would, they would, they would say Boba Fett like ten times. They know that one. They know that one. It's the cool one. Oh, Boba Fett tied him up all right. I remember mm -hmm. Boba Fett with his grappling hook. She knows Game of Thrones. Okay. <laughs> Literally, no one from the show looks like that. It just seems like a poor <laughs> attempt to be trying to convince your fan base or into nerdy shit. You know, because I'm not like the other girls. What if I got into a game and because I'm a cat, I just meowed? Mm, it probably wouldn't be funny. <laughs> this, the, my my <laughs> reaction would be the initial one. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd be like, I hope you're not on my fucking team so I don't have to listen to that bullshit for 15 minutes. There are people who love this content. Listening to girls go, meow. That's like, oof. Top tier Twitch. This is, the distra this is the downfall of civilization. In Pokemon <laughs> is its harbinger. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't entertain me. It how much should make a month? Million? Oh god, yeah, she's... Yeah. Dude, I don't know how long it would be before she's probably gonna be a billionaire. The amount of fucking money she rakes in is insane. And, mm -hmm. uh, that's the thing, maybe someone's confused in the context here, they're like, why are you going after this, this, this so much? It's like, it's gonna become clearer sooner, but remember, this is primo, top-tier content on an entire platform of creators. This. Like, what? How? I'm gonna have to see. Okay, who okay. Hand, of course, the <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the devil's advocate thing again. Oh um, no! So what? Uh, thanks. Appreciate. It. <laughs> no, but it's, if you were getting a million dollars a month for just doing that, and you didn't oh, have to I, exert yourself, you had to just stay within that. Oh, I'd be tempted. Oh, I'd yeah. be tempted. <laughs> I get. I get what you Ooh, mean. I was more so criticizing the audience, I guess, rather than her at that point. But if you'd think you have enough dignity. To want to be Play, like, you know, what, maybe I should the game. Is that what you're saying? Um, <laughs> a, a million dollar paycheck might get rid of a lot of well, things. That's, that is a very tempting <laughs> hate, proposition. Hate, still hate the player a little bit, but yeah, hate the game a little. Like you're like, guys, the mm. fuck are you doing? Like enough. Stop this whole like. I need to listen to women meow. Yeah, I'm more <laughs> upset at all of you for encouraging <laughs> this bullshit. <laughs> I mean, she basically she she's she ba probably knows that they're just tuning in because she's like semi cute, you know. Oh, well, so, I mean, uh, they're not they're not the, tuning in to hear about her um, <laughs> her opinions on, on sociopolitics or some shit, you know. It's her opinions so she, on anything. Yeah, if she just plays up on that, I just play, you know, not dumb but kind of ditzy. She was like, "What can I do this rake stream? Money." I, I'll oh, make well, I was, cat noises. That'll that'll take up fifteen say, minutes. Like, <laughs> I was about to say, with reference to that clip, it's like there are like thousands of people who masturbated to that. And like, <laughs> that's <laughs> oh my like, goodness that's, gracious. Well, it's just true. Well, like, it is true. As, as I said, this is she probably knows that, and she's like, well, yeah. well that be. she requires that. She would, I guess she would hope for it at this point. Oh, of course, thing. yeah. If someone's sitting around masturbating to you making animal noises, <laughs> then like you've got them in the palm of your hand. They're yeah, you yours. can do anything at that point. Those are your, those are your, your pay pigs, man. Those are your cash hey, look, cows. Chat, I know, those chat, are your currency parakeets. Look, chat. I know you're uncomfortable, but like you got to accept the truth. This is, like, <laughs> <laughs> but, but this, is, this is the world that we live in. Like, yeah. <laughs> Uncle Free is scaring me. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> a, million, a million sheets is a lot of money to say no to. You know? this is like, if yeah, Hitler was least, still around, he'd be, be like, how do I harness it? this? He'd want to know, because you well, could take over the whole world. Wanna, well, I guess as long as you put that money, you could find a way to like do some super cool charitable causes with that. Like, you're taking money and putting it into a 
that that could be that could be worthwhile right for the million a month imagine that was your life you have to meow all the time you get to feed the the you and know you get to feed the all the cats yeah. of the world yeah Mm -hmm. <laughs> he yells at All me. The... I just want to talk like a normal person. You could probably me. statistically <laughs> lower down, like for every meow, she saves a life in Africa or some shit. That's but... if she does charitable causes, does she? Charity begins at home. Surely she does. Like I, I would give would, her the benefit of the would... doubt that she does. Yeah, right? I, I I'd assume she does. Assume, I, I, yeah, I would assume. Yeah, I would imagine yeah. so. Yeah, and probably raises quite a lot for charity. Even Absolutely, if it's only yeah. for optics, even like worst case scenario for that, it's still a good thing. Yeah, yeah, still yeah. raises money, so... Absolutely. Yeah. Enjoy this type of content, are the only ones who get off on it. Because I can't see people laughing at some girl making cat noises, I can't see people jerking off to it. So I have to assume that's why she's doing this. It's a good <laughs> that's, that's, That was on a description of our society, it's like, I can't see people laughing, but yeah, having a wag, yeah. Yeah, cool. Masturbating, absolutely. Yeah. Her cute uwu persona she has going on. She wants uwu? to appear all cute and innocent in front of the camera, and if you attack her for acting this way, people are like, "Oh." Do you well, think she she's meows when she shits? Yes. <laughs> With the. Do you think she uses a litter box? <laughs> she probably gets. She probably does. <laughs> she takes oh, eats a lot of meat. She just takes yeah. monsters. Humans, really imagine just human-sized poops in a litter box. That'd probably make you a lot of money too, though, if that got streamed. <laughs> Pooping on guests, stream, yeah. Guests, yeah. guests come like, in oh, and they're like, you. man, <laughs> Pokemon, I don't know what you're feeding that damn cat, but you need to calm, <laughs> you need to calm down, okay? I, I mean, do you have I've a cat? I've never seen that thing around. All I do is <laughs> see its monster size turns it leaves in the litter box. Every time. Hey, right. It's always a tit in there. It's Fine. always she just, just a mess. <laughs> Herself. Yeah, no, this is definitely a fake ass persona. She portrays herself as a cute bubbly girl so no one can talk shit about her content because she's just so innocent. Well, not really. Pokimane is a massive hypocrite. A YouTuber named Bo Blacks made a video talking about the Twitter drama between Keemstar and Pokimane. It involved Keemstar insulting one of her fans or whatever. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that Pokimane wants people to think she's drama free, so she did the rational thing and issued a copyright claim on Bo Blacks' video, which is a real shitty thing to do, but but what really bugs me about this situation is that she had this to say. Edit videos and actually put effort into it and make it more entertaining for the viewer. Like if you do a, oh, a bunch of- Yeah, there wasn't a single meow in that video. I mean, <laughs> I work for it. So like, as he said, kind of inoffensive up to this moment where she's like, hey, if you're gonna make a video, put effort in there, okay? Edit it, make it in entertaining otherwise i'm gonna come for you <laughs> you're like oh my god oh, this, what is the, the this is the come for me flipping here isn't it feel it, it feels like wait a minute because if you only knew her as the meow girl and then you see this you're like hang on getting getting a little hmm fortnite streamers you react to something it and you time like to find put it together clips and trendy clips and then like edit it and... well i'm so sorry that it takes you a lot of time to steal other people's content i'm so sorry wow. oh my god God, no. And put it together. I'm so sorry that it takes you so much time to go to the top clips on Fortnite and then just right click and save all of them as and then just like put them all into Premiere and then just like. Which, by the way, is going to well, be. Why would she even be bothered anyway? You know? Well, because uh, she's trying to. I think she's trying to defend herself from having copyright strike him, so she needs any argument she can grab. No, um, no, no. No, I mean, uh, why would you even bother copyright striking his video? What's the point? Oh, well, I'm not sure if you it, aren't. You just... Get on with your streaming and make your millions. Who gives a shit what some, you know? As um, Diesel Page just said, one of the ones she took down was one that was like trying to get her roped into how she's been fucking around with different things in different ways and it made her look bad. I think that's why she tried to take that one down and it cascaded, obviously. And then you guys would have heard about this in some way, shape, or form because it was pretty big at the time. Like she became a little bit notorious for having done a lot of this shit. Um, we're almost at the end of, of the, the sequence for this video, though. Export it. I'm so sorry. Majority Wasn't of her that, content sorry, are lazy. Was that the video? What What was the end of that one where she started like reading off certain things that made that guy uncomfortable? Do you remember what? Um, she found remember? his, I think, Instagram. She started showing pictures of him, IRL, with oh. whoever and stuff. And yeah, this is the thing. She oh, got okay. in serious trouble because she had no idea how to deal with controversy of any kind, and she started making huge mistakes. Um, but the main thing I wanted to highlight was she just said, "If you're gonna make content, like, you what, fucking." <laughs> 
If if you want to make content, you got to react to it. Um, you got to put effort in. You got to engage. You know, that, that's that's the that's the trick to it. And save all of them as, and then just like put them all into Premiere, and then just like export it. I'm so sorry. It's just the Majority person who just eats content. cereal while looking at videos. Well, mm. our lazy reaction videos it's with zero fucking effort. Okay, that was epic. That's what I should say at the end of this video. Oh man, and eating while you're doing it as well. <laughs> Aww. I don't know if you caught what just happened there. She was trying to like make a joke at the beginning while eating about a video that's about to be like, these are people who have yeah. died this year. <laughs> it's like, uh, Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, wow. Watch, 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 watch her realize it's funny. should say at the end of this video. Aww. I didn't know he was going to hit me with the fumes. What? Wait, I thought she you were going to say that's epic at the end. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what you just saw there was a glimpse of what she typically does, which is a l what a lot of streamers will do. Uh, I say typically, I don't want to be harsh here, but the fact that you do it at all is bad. Eating food and just watching someone else's content on your stream to entertain your viewers. It's like, hmm. And this happened very gradually. It was like you have streamers reacting, kind of like how we do to a lot of videos. And then, well, you know, if you stream all day, you need to eat at some point, right? And what should you do when yeah. you're eating and you've got nothing to entertain the people in chat? It's like, well, play a video, right? Like, As hmm. opposed to just stopping the stream for like 10 minutes. Well, there's lots of different things you can do. And I think a lot of people started doing it and they're just like, this is fine, right? This, I think this is fine. And so it started to get a lot more controversial. That was uh, Diesel Patches, by the way. The video is called Why I Don't Like Pokemon, if you want to see the rest of it. There will be a, all the links to this will be in the description eventually. I've got it all set. I will sort it out. I was just trying to keep track of the timeline for the stream now. So, this <laughs> Pokemon is another, has. Oh, uh, God. So, this is another <laughs> example of somebody uh, covering why people were angry at Pokemon. And I feel like. That other one was like an intro, this one is, is more hammering on the point, and we have a cameo in this video from someone making an argument that is gonna piss you all right off. Hopefully. <laughs> it's, it's amusing. Okay. Uh, so this channel is uh, Andre, I think. Let me have a look An here. Andre Turbea? Turbea? Yeah. And Turbea? Honestly, I don't know how to pronounce that. This is the only video I've seen of his, because I was looking into this for this reason. Um, his animation's really cool. Uh, check this out. I like the art. Uh that while she was complaining over people making videos on her that she thought weren't transformative enough. Over on Twitch, her live content consists of a lot of just watching videos, giving mild reactions, and just sitting there, oftentimes eating or not even looking at the screen. And this seems to have sparked a huge debate over what's considered transformative on YouTube versus on Twitch. This is the most frustrating thing, because I'm a f react Andy myself. So this is, if like you don't his, know, I like his purple car. <laughs> it's, 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 it's him. It's this is one. a man named Hassan Piker. <laughs> and he, oh. no, okay. he, because his brain is Chank just uses. minuscule, decided to actually give his opinion on this fucking topic, and he really shouldn't have. Um, he's <laughs> really stupid, and so he does a lot of things without realizing that like where the wrong is. There's so many fucking topics we can talk about in regards to that. But this one's important because he is like many streamers, where he sees everybody reacting to people's content on streams while eating, and he's like, "Yeah, I'll do it too." And then it came up as a problem, so he's going to get defensive naturally. If you you committed to several acts for a while, and someone goes, "That's wrong," you'd be like, well, "I wouldn't have done it if it was wrong, so it can't be wrong." So let's listen to his argument for why it's totally fine to let someone else's video play in full while you do whatever you want. React Andy myself. Like, I get so mad at this when YouTubers literally f sit around, okay? And they make one f video, they make one f video a month and get like Patreon money. And then they cash out with like a six figure check. And then they turn around and f on streamers who literally f go live for six to eight hours every day oh, like Christ. what the fuck are you saying to clarify so his argument is youtubers do like make one uploaded per month what? and rake in all the money oh. meanwhile streamers have to work their ass off every day but some of them do such doesn't make some like... definitely do some definitely what? don't so Hassan like, is a, Hassan, absolutely he's a super one he, percenter he has a he at least has seven figures and it wouldn't surprise me if it was eight yeah, like, that's... yeah. This is uh, this is Chank Yuga's cousin, uh, nephew, isn't it? Yes. Yes, and he uh, he yeah. he really spun off, and he's like one of the most popular political <laughs> like commentators on the internet. <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> Why well, yeah, this yeah, after, after his great take on that day in September. Yes. Uh... Well, 
fucking I flawless. During the election, it, it, well, mm. yeah, there was. I remember during the election, like while well, that was happening, you had two hundred thousand viewers. Two hundred thousand people screen. watching this man, and yeah, he just said, you know, fucking YouTubers complaining when they only have to do the one video per month while streamers do streams every day. Not to me despite he, the fact he, he probably thinks if it's like a twenty minute video, that's <laughs> twenty minutes of work. Like th well, that's that's probably his mindset. Yeah. It's, um, it's amazing. He's like, like, let me steal your shit, okay? I work longer than yeah. you. That literally has <laughs> nothing to do with anything. It's it's like, what the fuck are you arguing here? That working because you work and working harder, and the quality of that work are three independent things. Exactly, and it doesn't give you the right just because if if I go, if it turned out it was true, I do work harder than Gerald over here. It's like I can steal your stuff now, Gerald. And he's just like, no, <laughs> like, no. <I> just, yeah. <laughs> fucking insane, and it, it it blows my mind that. Like, he even thought that this was an argument, but I guess it's just like, who said it? And you're like, oh, okay. I get, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, 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 uh, video itself has a counter. That's nuts, dude. Of course there's gonna be dead space in between, you stupid. This shit genuinely tilts me, dude. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. Because, by the way, I'm one of those channels that uploads once a month. Twice, tops. Sure, that's two days of content in a 30-day month. But you know what I do the rest of- But just to animate this, it took yeah. more yep. effort than oh, all yeah. of the shit that stand yep. that's just sitting in front of a screen just doing nothing is well, eating a salad. Hassan things. just said, of course there's gonna be dead air, you stupid fuck. It's like, Hassan, who are you <laughs> talking to? Like, Dead air is in between your ears. Oh. Himself, <laughs> I think he's talking oh. to himself. Uh, but, uh. It's amazing. It counters no one's argument. It's like, did anyone say, yeah, you know what, no, he's 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 own There's no dead air on a stream. He's like, oh, well, that's where you're wrong, buddy. It's like, there's nothing to do with anything. <laughs> All my air is dead, I'll have you now. <laughs> 28 days, I put in hundreds of hours of work to make one of these videos. And here's the downside to that. I could be working on a video for two weeks straight. I put it up on YouTube, and guess what? If it's demonetized, that's two weeks of full-time work that goes completely unpaid. And I'm not talking hypothetically here either. My last two videos were demonetized for, and I quote, discussions of modern acts of terror, events resulting in catastrophic loss of life. What the fuck, YouTube? <laughs> even have to stand yeah, yeah. eating the thing. their own words. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, no. Or social issues. And I mean, all I did was talk about Shane Dawson and Dr. Disrespect. As far as I know, neither of them have anything to do with terrorism or catastrophic <laughs> events. And by the way, appealing the decision not only doesn't solve it most of the time, but it also may prompt a manual age gating, considerably <laughs> limiting the discovery of your video. You know, just to- I like his little duck character. Is like, fuck you. I like the Yeah, I like you. the purple duck. Mm -hmm. Ducks are yeah. Kick you in the nuts while you're down. Cause Purple why the hell not? Them. Twitch streamers may well spend hours every day live streaming, but while I'm working my ass off for free, crossing my fingers not to piss off the chimps with the red button that can make my video <laughs> vanish off of everybody's feed, these dudes get a steady income from subscription revenue and donations on a daily basis. Seems to me like that's a pretty good deal. Now that's. I yeah. like it. His animation is great. <clears throat> that's a really good video, and I, I like the mm -hmm. style. Hope I hope he's doing well. And it's so frustrating mm. to be like. To have Hassad Piker fill in his face with food, talking I down know. to you about the work you don't do. You're like, fuck yeah. off. Where's my content, bitch? I need my <laughs> I need content some... for Twitch, bitch. I need something to watch during lunch while I get $100,000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know who I am? I'm Hassan Piker, bitch. Don't you know who I bitch. am? <laughs> do you know who my uncle is? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and just the... You could, you could expect someone to be a little bit... You know, defensive on the subject if they've done it, they like, they try and explain the reasoning. But he was like angry at the idea that he'd done anything wrong. Ugh. Yeah, man, he's beyond reproach. He's got the he got the spirit of righteousness well, in he, him, man. I mean, he's, he's not he's not a good gnome fuck after all. <laughs> good gnome. Oh, and you so guys don't know. The <laughs> and so now I'm gonna bring it back. There's a guy called uh, Heel vs Babyface who does subnautica oh, streams no. every once in a while. Oh no! I was gonna say this uh, is this I hate is that guy. We need to know all these things because it's <laughs> it's a really funny sort of coincidence that all this shit happened the way that it did. So, uh, oh my god! Kind of, kind of. It is to me, and you'll see why in a Sub moment. Naughty cock. But this is nice. sometimes I I hang around with with Az while he's doing his little underwater tisms, and uh, we were having a little conversation. Point. For reference, this was was this a week and a half ago, uh, uh, Sunday, the Sunday before the last yeah, Sunday, yeah. right? Yeah, I think so. Um, 
yeah there was there was a yeah god that was a that was a moment in time about just reactions oh, no, this in was the general just gone dude oh okay uh, there you go this is what i mean Co that's even more coincidental then mm. um <laughs> then uh i was gonna say pewdiepie idubs uh went and did a content cop on jinx yep. didn't he <gasps> Uh, oh, yeah, man, a couple of people uh, just slaughtered him. Uh, uh, killed him, man. Just killed him. <laughs> Didn't stand a chance. Y yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Police, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to report a murder because <laughs> Jinx just got killed in 4K. Uh, yeah, he his channel was done after that. After that, because uh... yeah, he used to be really like he was getting millions of views, I think, and then uh, it slapped down to like I think thousands. Literally, that I'm not looking down. That is fucked. That is so fucked. They got big eyes. Yeah, he ball. literally went down to <laughs> like thousands from from millions. That is that is a heck of a um, way to fall. Yeah, and it just it was just pissing everyone off because it's like you're just stealing other people's content. And that brings us to what you mentioned, uh, Pokemon, and a lot of streamers are doing that on Twitch now, and it really fucking annoys me. Well, um, um, it's sort of. Whoa, what does that mean? It's sort of. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, it, it, it just fucks with the the, the faces if you do the camera thing. No problem. Oh, sorry. Oh, right. I was gonna do an so, inception uh, of an inception. <laughs> it's all good. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, the way that the reaction, the 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 streamer reaction, uh, uh started to evolve. Uh, was when they couldn't get away with doing what they were doing with that when the corporations were hitting them you know and it, and it was being upheld as non-transformative content so that they were just getting done uh they then turned to youtubers and they started nicking uh youtuber content and uh reacting inverted commas to that and that just involved exactly what i was doing before sat there eating a bowl of fucking cereal you yeah, know that's wh ridiculous. while you're while you're watching somebody's uh youtube video where space. all your streamer <laughs> viewers are not watching it therefore that that video is not getting any bump whatsoever in actual fact it's doing it more damage than good and then every so often you're just going hmm <laughs> and you call mm. and you're calling that a, a reaction and um yeah i i think uh, i think you youtubers have every right to um to fucking strike those fucking streams but there's no but the only problem is there's just no there's no win for them well yeah because the streams are really big and then you'll get loads of conversations about whether or not that's fair and trying to publicly try and take them down and stuff is so much of a mess yeah yeah so it's it just becomes an absolute mess while the uh, the streamer just uh goes scot-free um and yeah, so that, that's the clip I wanted to show there to, to also move us out of the conversation to uh, there's not much you can do about this because mm. if you're a smaller YouTuber and you say, hey, um, I don't know, wh whoever, obviously like Pokimane, I have to copyright strike you because you just stole my video and then her channel actually has significant damage as a result of that. It's like, that looks awful for you. And it's mm -hmm. like, wow, she was like promoting your video. She was saying it was good. She was enjoying it. And you come in here trying to trying to what? Like get money off her? Like that's that's fucked up, and it's just like I, don't, I feel like <laughs> so, so a lot of the time they feel trapped. They're just like I guess I just have to accept that this is the way it is, and that people could just watch my stuff, and they won't even watch my video. They will watch it through someone else. And um, one of the things that set me on this recently was I'm assuming you guys are aware of it. So at least some people, uh, JCS, the channel, the the criminal psychology channel. Oh, love yeah, it! Yeah, a lot yeah, of people. Was it, was it you that turned me onto that channel, Mola? Uh, Possibly, I recommend everybody see it. Basically, oh, <laughs> so, I've watched it all. I've watched it yeah, all now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm onto this is monsters. And so, uh, I think Hassan, you know, the, the, uh, Pokemon, plenty of plenty of people, they found an op like a, like an opportunity there to it, it fills content for days just watching that channel on your stream while you play games, because JCS does all the work, and then you go, wow, crazy <laughs> that that happened that way. Wow. Mm. Um, and some are better than others, of course. Wait, you'll, so you'll... people are watching it. are watching these videos on stream. Yeah, uh, they just watch. They let them play, and then they do their thing. And the viewers are entertained, of course. And the viewers are like, "Oh, this is a fucking this is a good video. Keep playing it." Uh, to the point where they're what like, a we dis don't... "What a disservice to that content." Yeah, 
<laughs> what a fucking disservice. A lot of work I was, to get that info. I watched like probably five of them in a row and I was glued to my seat. I was like, I want to watch the next one. This is great. I want to see all the things. I want to see what's happening. Which, um... Because it's really insightful. It's fucking great. We're almost to present time now. So, we're gonna, we're gonna watch a minute of this video first, and this is the thing... What are you I... talking about, the MCU? <laughs> yeah, this is, you know what, this is the, the reaction cinematic universe we've been going through. This is the whole yeah, story. You, way, folks, if you haven't checked out JCS, you need to check out JCS. It's, Absolutely. It's a rabbit hole oh, yeah? that you really love to fall into. Yep. Fascinating, uh, in-depth look into why people do what they do, and with crime, and how they react to stressful situations and stuff. But, I'm gonna play mm. a bit of this video, you guys will recognize the creator. And I'll just—I'm just curious what you'll oh say goodness. when we watch a bit of it. You would so have seen this. You would have seen this before, more than likely. But if you haven't, it you know, should still be fun. Eight thousand eight hundred Blue Lick Road Ooh. is a three-bedroom house that you can go on a three D virtual tour of right now if you're interested in purchasing it. And it's. Uh, you know, they say you don't really know someone until you've, uh, oh, held no. hands all oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, no, there should be a curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like they have to share the... Oh, well, they, I guess they don't. There's another one there, but, uh... <laughs> what if... What if, that like, that was, this was the, this is the master bathroom, they just assumed it's for couples, so we're gonna put two toilets in there. Of course, that's just, that's just intuitive. And, I like so the... they can kiss while... Mm. Only the one toilet is the master of the toilet paper. <laughs> the other one has to request. <laughs> yes. I have the plunger. I don't need but notice notice what's doubly weird is that there's all of those rolls of toilet paper, but there's, there's not toilet paper on the roll in the middle no, one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, but there's two rolls. Is that two rolls or or is that a roll of kitchen paper? Oh, those? Oh no, it's not a roll for the wall. They just set the toilet paper oh, on that bar. So they do share one. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. That's how you know you're truly in love. Yeah. That's true love. This this picture, this picture is true love. You just have, it's like, oh, I should go to the toilet quick. It's like, yeah, 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 I'll come with. Like, okay. How many toilets are there? Two. How many rolls are there? One. That's true love. Yeah. <laughs> taking a dump. Yeah, this digital property video, viewing is one of those things where the longer you stare at the image, the more hilarious. bizarre things you notice. So today I'm going to take you on a sightseeing tour of the oddities of 8800 Blue Lick Road. If we start at the entrance, you're greeted by a Minions brand doormat stairs. that really no Look at the <laughs> random, the, the blue stairs on the white. Wow, that's interesting. Oh, home is it feels so yeah. Jay that, that there's Slow a down. Minions thing on the floor. He's like, gotta talk about this. The Minions. <laughs> so notice there's there's double coat hangers on the left and the right. They have that many coats. That's yeah, a lot yeah. of coats. A lot of people work here, I guess. This That's isn't even your. Yeah. Well, so. And uh, what's the main living area? The, the dryer, like the little. God, those stairs are fucking filthy. <laughs> <laughs> and you think they wouldn't be because there's a there's a little carpet vacuum thingy. Well, Rex. right there. Right by the door. I'm almost excited by the fact that you have not seen this video, apparently, because this house... Yeah. I've never seen this. This, yeah. this house no, is so You'll want to go up the stairs where you'll find yourself in a semi-open plan. Oh, we're not going to come to a room kitchen. with dildos, are we? What? No, nothing that breaches TOS in any way. Okay. Nothing at all. That's you know what? I don't think they've so uh, cleaned up. Because... Yeah, it's very dirty. And <laughs> also, these couches are just, like, obligation couches. They're not, like, they're <laughs> facing anything. No, There's not a TV. There's not, yeah, like the, oh, that, like the first time I ever got a place, I got obligation furniture because you just, you just have furniture yeah, in the you place that you yeah. live, right? And then I never used it because I would be either on my bed or at my PC or something like that. There would be just chairs I would never, ever sit in and tables that I would never, <laughs> ever use. And I'm like, oh, well, now I know I don't need them. Not good space, oh. this house. Yeah, oh, there's a wait lot for of space. It. Wait for oh, wait for it. After the previous huge. occupants moved out, there's quite a lot of mess. And the styrofoam. There's styrofoam packaging, oh! cat litter, <laughs> and four ornamental Santa figures. What? Five. Look at all those CDs. <laughs> four ornamental Santa figures. Oh, look at all that. There's like, there's a VHS oh, player cool. and another VHS player, and it's just an this amalgamation of, of just. It's just and, machinery. This uh, looks like a movie set where they just needed props for, and they just put it mm -hmm. around. If you include Santa of the Lamp, <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah. Are there? The wait, are there the wait, 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 wait. Is that more toilet paper on the left-hand table? <laughs> yes, it is. No, those are know. lint no. rollers. Yes. Yeah, those are the things that. Get, like, oh, they're so you. goddamn lazy <laughs> that instead of actually cleaning, they've bought a trio 
<laughs> that they just use of lint rollers that they just roll over the couches and everything for I guess the animal hair. They don't yeah. even like actually clean. No. Get the surface beautifully hair separated sometimes. Orange by the back of these cupboards. First thing you might notice is that these people subsist entirely on a diet of pure Whoa! monster energy. That's nice. a lot of monster energy. A lot of monster. They're they're not even in the fridge. Oh, I'm not even gonna fucking <laughs> wait till we get to the fridge. But they didn't even put these in the fridge, and I'm gonna guess and assume it's because there's not any room inside of the refrigerator. I don't think it's probably inside of the fridge. if they have one. Yeah. If they have, I, surely, I think that's it on the right hand side, <laughs> next to that too, yeah. lonely ice water hanging on the wall, um, <laughs> which probably gets a lot of use in this household. And the desk but, chair. Yeah, why is there no, no, like, 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 to the cheap, um, uh, to the, cheap uh, the, the, let me see, the, yeah, see, so this you table might here, right? So this is a, <laughs> that, that tablecloth with the coffee and stuff on it. I think that's just like a plastic cover you'd use for parties and things. Yeah. It's a temporary one. It's not a real tablecloth. Yeah. They just left it here because of course. Oh, and look at the mon look at the empty monster cardboard box on the left hand side, the purple one that they just haven't thrown out yet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They just put it there and oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. fine. Gonna, that's gonna, it it's cute there. Might might delete it tomorrow. is handy you can think of all that maybe that's where they maybe that's where they put all their empty cans and they take all the cans out at once boom damn so these people subsist entirely on a diet of pure monster let me just take a look this is gonna look take forever so, so this so look <laughs> at see so the black office chair right okay. there see the black <laughs> office chair notice that there is another chair behind it mm -hmm. yeah facing mm -hmm. Facing an unused desk where it's just pushed all the way underneath the, the desk. This just well and look at that. You got playing the, cards here as well. And, See the yeah. packs? and notice the location of how you have this workspace, which I don't think is really workspace because the computer monitor is not turned toward the chair. <laughs> I think it's just become storage for whatever the main wherever the main computer is. <laughs> but this are, is those desktops are filthy. Well, this is right next to the range, the stove is right there and i don't like the, how the microwave is right above the stove because that encourages you to reach over the stove and lean kind of forwards a bit and if the stove is hot while you're doing that that could you might accidentally hurt yourself if you're trying to get to the feels weird you know. to have um a floating microwave i've, I've never seen that really i always Wait, one two there's three oh. deck of playing cards you never seen a float? I had one at Munich when I was living in Munich. You never oh, invited yeah, me to Munich. I've never seen him. What? Well, you never invited me to Munich at Mel. How would I know? I'm pretty sure I did, but you were like, <laughs> no, you stanky. I mean, you just think, think a little bit. Three random decks of playing cards are interesting that they have three. One of them's open. Like they, one of them is open. I assume the cards are scattered willy nilly across the establishment. <laughs> you gotta find the them all. <laughs> yeah, it's 52 pickup at hard mode. <laughs> With that's Wally, really but with God. Waldo, sorry. They, yeah, they, 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 they pulled the last monster from it. And they just chuck the cardboard over next to the monitor they don't use. <clears> it <throat> can go over there. But that's all good. Fantastic. Oh, there's another fucking monster as well. One, two, three, four, five. Damn. Yeah, there's, there's the five. No, the six. Well, six including the empty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know they burn through those if that's oh, how much yeah. they buy at one. Oh, yeah. They buy them in bulk because they know they burn in through monster. Energy. Shocking enough, just on that kitchen table that if you drank Whoa. it, you'd descend. Oh, there's one, two, <laughs> three, four, five. No, 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 no. This is the same table. It, it's just different view. Okay. Yeah. We get to see the range now where you have the, the plastic that just laid on top of the um on top of the stove. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Knives. <laughs> yeah. Um interesting. Well, you know what? You but You've accidentally proven a lot of the points I was hoping to make, so thank you for this, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, um, also notice that this one chair, for whatever reason, is not pulled up into the table. This one is facing opposite of the table, which makes me wonder, were they trying to get to a bulb? There's table there. There's another table, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, which means that if you want to sit at that table, you're blocking the, you know, the, tra the traversal between the two tables. Instead of just pushing them together, maybe they're different heights. But why would but why would you do that? Why would you get two tables that are two completely different heights if you're just going to put them next to each other and make two islands? It doesn't make sense, smaller. It doesn't make sense. Fringy, it, does, right. it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Help. Why would you do that? 
This house um, doesn't make any sense. Well, so some people are wondering, like, why would you take photos of your house this way? It's like, so pretty sure there was a, um, a like a some kind of scam going on here. Like, it could have been laundering, mm -hmm. could have been like piracy, piracy of of different items and then reselling them and stuff. And it got raided, and this was more so done for like, I don't know, oh, okay. law they, reasons. They were raiding, oh, what? stealing monster. Um, could be like gold sellers and shit like that. You end up in a room at one point that is filled with DVDs. It's just all, like, boxes and boxes of to be sold. Like, so, like, a whole box of maybe one movie, and it's just ready to be sold. Yeah. And I th I, the idea, I think, is that they were getting it from, from dubious sources. Maybe. Really like yeah. that movie. You know, um, if, this was an old, if this was an older 70s house, at least here in America, housing, construction, and architecture sort of changes and trends as time goes on. If you, a house that was made in the 50s or in the 70s will look different. Uh, houses in the 70s will be a lot more... Uh, a lot of smaller cell kind of like rooms and then as time goes on like in modern days you have a lot of more open spaces when it comes to living rooms and kitchens and how they're often connected whereas they were generally closed off a lot when it came to the 70s so it wouldn't surprise me here if this was at least in this place whatever country this is in if the same trend was going on you see this 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 wall here and that's actually a curtain that you pull mm -hmm. it wouldn't surprise me if originally this was a wall uh, that separated a devoted kitchen area to a living room that was then remodeled where that wall was removed. And then they just put up the blinders where that used to be. And there was another wall here that would separate the kitchen area um, after the window from the rest of the living space. But so this is a video that I think I've already gotten proof now that if we were to go through the whole thing, we would be doing it for hours on oh, end. Not? Yeah, not. That's a lot, I'm afraid, I'm afraid not. <laughs> but it's all going to become. Well, this is the thing. Uh, this is on Jay's channel. It's called the most bizarre house you've ever seen. Oh. Just go yeah, check it out whenever you want. Really good um, video. Super. Yeah, it's really fun. funny. I was going to say we can return to it if you wish, Ranks. But I'm afraid we're on a different path. We're on a we're on a dark side of path. I to think this. I know where this is going to go now. Yeah, I don't know most people going, probably been able to guess where this is going. If if you have Twitter, if you do oh, not. Oh, oh. Yeah. I know what happens. The owners of this house found this video and they wanted to copyright strike <laughs> no, Jay. No, no. <laughs> stealing their content. Don't worry. You'll, you, I mean, I would have thought you'd have a better guess considering all the theming of today's. Well. <laughs> Oh, is someone covering Jay's video? So, we're, we're, we're looking at someone you may recognize called Moist <laughs> Critical. Critical is a huge yeah, uh, creator, and I'm pretty sure everybody in chat knows a Critical and loves the shit out of him. He's uh, very entertaining. Yeah, everyone a bunch of videos, everyone so. loves a bit of Critical. He's fun. Now, um, you, just saw us covering, you just saw us covering one minute of Jay's video. Um... And of course, who knows what we missed? You know, many who knows what interesting things are lurking around every <laughs> corner of this domicile. Who knows what, what details that we might have missed? You should There's watch a reason this for video. everything. It's, it's funny. This, yeah, obviously, this house is crazy. <laughs> you could watch Jay's video. You could even just go and find whatever the link. I think the link would be in his description of how to actually do it yourself. And you can because you can just go around the house yourself, sort of thing. Um, yeah, if it's still up, it could also be that it's been sold now and you can't see it anymore. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Um, so, I have to unlock its secrets. so if you can, we're gonna not talk for if we can. <laughs> four four minutes. We are instead oh, going to watch. Four we're gonna watch Critical commentate as he watches Jay's video. Rooms here. Mm -hmm. so let's All right. See what this one okay. has in store for us. Well, this room is the second kitchen. Wait. On balance, we're we've all the been there. The rooms here. So let's see what this one has in store for us. Well, this room is the second kitchen. As you do. Oh, but you know what? I'm starting to think the people who live here have, uh, have kind of a thing for boxes. Oh, and there's two more doors over there, so I guess it's oh, the last room yet. Now, pretty much everything about this kitchen is like 5 out of 10 strange. Like, the room as a whole is bizarre, but there's not many things I want to point out to you specifically. Although there I've been watching Superhuman for a long time. The hole in it. How hard is that to get right? And this cupboard, which on two separate occasions someone decided to repaint up halfway through. I blame soda <laughs> toilet person. Let's see where the doors leading off this room go, and we'll start with this one over here. Now, uh, this one is, uh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna say it. That is a larger quantity of boxes than the conventional amount to stack up against your fire exit. This room is hmm. the office. It's, uh, Oh, just a quick pause. I know I know where I'm supposed to, but whatever program he's using, I noticed that when Jay put his cursor on the side of the box, the cursor shifted its alignment to be on that side of the box. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Uh, 
A little bit messy. A little bit. There are two bags attached to the ceiling, one of which has had losers written on it in town, <laughs> and on the pair of them there is a sign that says, why can't we all just get along? This is a beautiful room, though, undeniably. The decor this is where the homeowners really had their best ideas, I think. Hanging off the ceiling for some reason. The laboratory. This is a very big house that anyone would Drop shipping at. din? You're pretty close, actually. And look what's through the other door. It's a hallway that must lead to the final prime northwest. House. Ooh, it's a 2017 topless calendar. Hang on, no, that's a whole stack of 2017 topless calendars, <laughs> which must mean, unless someone really likes 2017 topless calendars, these are for retail. They're selling these. And you know what? I can only say good luck with that. Considering that toplessness and calendars are things that you can get for free on your computer now, forget 2020. I imagine these would have been pretty hard to shift in 2017, which to be fair is probably why you still have them. If we progress past the topless calendars through the hallway to the final room, we will find... Hang on, is that two more doors? Hang on, is that a staircase? So this is the storage area where things are stored. What kind of things are being stored here, you might ask? Well, the photos are good for a dollar. Yeah. Crates of what the Gospels meant by Gary Wills. A box of 50 <laughs> Farmville sheep and five Did cows. Watch your video? <laughs> Skin. It's unclear what this is, but don't destroy it, please. I have a few questions about these boxes. Yeah, it's the best house. <laughs> I'm not sure I want them answered. We have a box of The Simpsons brand carpets, intuitively labeled pirates. And then it's for just anything else that doesn't quite fit into any of those categories. But I know what you're wondering. You're interested in purchasing this house and you need to know Thanks how prime much slender. storage space there actually is. Well, let's start where we started already. The first thing you might notice is there's two bathrooms coming off this room, which is great. More places to poop. Always welcome. This urinal has a carpet on it too. <gasps> that is bizarre. Let's venture into Ew. the first storage room, shall we? In this room, we'll find, you know, boxes. Uh, Thanks for Prime Love Shack. Right now. But we'll also find Kyle. Kyle is a box lifter, uh, and next to Kyle is a dark abyss of boxes that Kyle was unable to save. You failed us, Kyle. We trusted you, and you let us down. Thanks now, next to some paradox. Kyle is the door to the next storage room. Let's go through that. Shall you we? haven't seen yeah, shit from uh, this house yet. We're only just beginning. Uh, I'll let the whole thing ride. I've seen this, uh, this is before. A storage room. And looked so into if it. We uh, head on back through Kyle's room. We can get to the next storage room. That's definitely a staircase. This is what it looks like when you activate 100% of your brain. That's the last thing I expected when I clicked the button to enter this room. Truly, it is a state of shock that I find myself in. Ignore that other staircase. We didn't, we didn't just pass that. Shut up. Looks like these people have a lot of stuff. Just gonna put that out there. I think they might have a few things in their home. You know what, though? We've held off long enough. Let's venture back to Kyle and ascend the staircase. Okay, here we go. Oh, look, more boxes in a place you would not usually expect to find boxes. How refreshing. I'm going to stop there, because I mm -hmm. think you get the point. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Yeah. You had to... You had to stop Rags from talking about this video, yeah. okay? <laughs> um, really not. So many times. So, so many times. Opportunities to speak that we just. Yeah. When, when I saw this for the first time, I just got an overwhelming sense of this isn't cool. This is not cool. Yeah. You're, um, I, find actually, I find it actually weird because normally he talks a lot when he when he's watching those videos. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually confused that he's like not saying anything. Well, you know what he does say? Because basically, That's this goes on to until. He was prime subs. That's what he's saying. <laughs> Well, you know what? Let, before we continue, I'm going to fast forward you past okay, okay. him watching the whole video up to um, he finishes the video and then he says, what is the name of this house? Where is it? And he finds it. And then he says, oh, what was the story behind this house? And he eventually finds it. And he tells his audience what it was. And then this is right after that. Boy. God, such a fucking cool house. <laughs> Out of, of like, oh. from oh. nowhere. Desk, which is, I assume, from it doesn't Did it just reset you guys? It just kept um, it never, never moved really for me. Yeah, yeah it just stayed moved. where it was. Oh, hang on. Twitch Twitch videos are weird with the. Uh, with yeah, there's two together. bars I could I could use here as well. Yeah. Maybe you want to use the let's, the yellow one, I guess. Let's hope this works. Watch the other one. Look at that. And at all. I love the zebra chair though. That's that's <laughs> great. Again, I keep trying to move it. It's not happening. Work with me. Yeah, it just keeps resetting on me. Hang on, let me see if I can just... I'll reset the video itself, see what happens. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> A rich kid wants to keep a pizza boy. Oh In no. Bastard. Oh no. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, it's, it's literally ignoring me now. Um, uh, if, wait, where do we want to go? Like to the end? Sort of, like, like, I'll, I'll post it if you if you guys want to try and get to that timestamp. See if you can. Five, five, five oh, six, ten. ten. Yeah, uh, five. If you go through the Twitch line, well, see, it doesn't do anything on the watch together I, one. I'm at five oh six oh two. I got it to five oh five fifty. I, yeah, I got uh, yeah. five oh five. Five oh five fifty. That's well, it was now it's back at zero. Five yeah, oh five oh nine. Keeps resetting. All right. Well, I'm afraid we can't play it, but we basically it just ends. He doesn't. Let, here we go. Let's. There we are. Is it playing for you guys? I'm still yes. back at zero. Yeah. Right, oh, now it's back to zero. It was at five oh six something for me, and okay. then it just went back. Yeah. yeah. It's, like I said, it's Let fine. me drive. It doesn't give Jay credit at all or anything. No. Um. And that's the thing. If I'd say bare minimum, you go. Hey, this was from this person, and I'll link the thing. Like, you could yeah. at least do that. Um, yeah, yeah. And so Jay obviously found out about this, and then tweeted, like, don't know how, what I'm supposed to do about this? How am I supposed to respond? Like, what, what, I mean, it's kind of lame. And a lot of people responded to Jay, like, appreciate the exposure. Hmm. Well, there was none. There wasn't. Well, here, let me go look at my analytics to see just what that exposure yeah, did for me. No, well, especially I mean, because nothing. especially when you when you play the video, I don't know. Could you even see? I mean, you, I guess you could see the title, but it's, no one's gonna look at that. No one's yeah, gonna look at not, the title. You're not listening to him like a lot of people do. You're not even. Yeah. You're gonna have no clue. Well, this video actually, the reason Critical's watching it is because it, it hit the algorithm relatively recently for Jay. It's an older video. I say older. It's older than when it became uh, recommended, yeah. I guess. And um, uh, so Jay so ch old, checked. Didn't sell a 2017 topless calendar in it checked the time yes. and date against when this this day happened and he said that there was 400 views for the video of the day so it's just like you could probably account that maybe a few from critical stream decided i want to see this video myself maybe 400 views is nothing not well his video is doing really well anyway so it, to me i'm just like i'm not even sure how much you could attribute that that came from yeah, the that's stream. Really, yeah. but what you do hear from that whole selection that I'm not showing the whole thing of because my god it's it's really hard for us on EFAP to not talk for more than a minute even so you know, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> yeah. understand that what you did hear was thanks for Prime Northwest Slender Love Shack Paradox Slater Gifted by Dax Fibbit uh, Sensible and Delirious these are all the people mm -hmm. he thanks while watching Jay's video for giving him money and it's like that doesn't seem quite right does it Thank Jay for giving him money. Yeah, Jay's entertaining your audience, and you're not doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, this doesn't seem... Hmm. And well, so, I've, got a, I've got a story about that, Mola, you know, that we said was in order. I don't know if you want to go for it. Go through that one again. Well, I mean, uh, um, so uh, I was, you know, I've been in a similar position with this because uh, of when I used to move my World of Warcraft content. And um, Asmund Gold used to watch World of Warcraft videos on his channel, on his stream channel. Uh, and it was just at the time where he was getting big. So he would have, at that time, at that moment in time, between like 10 to 15,000 people probably watching him when he, when he would watch these videos. Now, I want to say up front, before anyone says anything, uh, Asmund Gold, if you, if you said to him, hey, uh, Zach, can you not play my videos on your channel? He would say fine. He'd be, you know, absolutely fine with that. Uh, I was okay with him watching the videos because uh, I thought, you know, yeah, maybe it would get me, you know, a few extra views or or whatnot. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't care one way or another anyway. And um, you do not get a single bump from those from from it being watched on a huge channel at all, because the people who are consuming that video are consuming it on the channel itself. That they're watching and so the person that gets the bump is actually the, the streamer of that yeah um now i got a, an email from somebody who <laughs> probably didn't like me much uh i'm gonna guess uh who was mad that uh asmund gold looked at uh one of my videos uh, well he did a few but let, this specific one and uh and was saying i don't know why asmund gold uh watched you, you you shit type of business uh you should be grateful that you've got you you've got your video out there and i i looked at the analyticals you don't get a thing you don't you don't get a single solitary uh bump on it uh in all fairness from gold 
he would actually sometimes if i was streaming on twitch because i used to stream on twitch at the time and and uh he would kind of like rotate when he finished raiding people you know and he raided me a couple of times so i've got to give him credit for that but um he would give you credit and tell people to go and watch the video but regardless of doing that you don't you, you don't get anything from it uh, so you could have somebody of the size of, you know, Moist or, or, or Zach or whatever, uh, and you will not see a pop because of that, that video. Uh, it goes purely to the channel that it's being watched on, which is the, the stream. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that's the, that's the unfortunate point. Cause what do you do? You know, you, you are stuck as a YouTuber. What do you do? Because as a YouTuber, you can't do anything with the people on Twitch. Um, and if you're a YouTuber and you react to the people on Twitch, then the Twitch people can <laughs> copyright strike, claim copyright strike. They've got all sorts of tools uh, to mess with your content. So it's it's so lopsided on this uh, as regards to uh, watching uh, somebody else's content on something like a stream uh, Twitch stream platform. And I want to make it clear because some people are like, you know, fuck critical. It's like, so this is a totally, I think, normal thing that he's just slipped into doing without quite realizing what's happening. When you watch or react to quick videos, like someone sends you a 10 second funny video, like a meme thing, mm. you react to it on stream, eh, seems pretty fine. 15 seconds? Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 that seems fine. A minute? You're like, yeah. I mean, I guess it depends on the video at that point. And then when it's like, They've they've gotten to a point now, and this is the thing that <laughs> this was the thing that really set me off, kind of, because I just know about it. In his recommended, when he's looking at Jay's video, is a, a JCS video. I was like, ah, oh, he's probably done that too. He's probably watched all of JCS's videos while barely commenting on them, and it's just been a source of content for a whole week of streaming. We don't have to do fuck all except play a video game. You cycle all those subs in, and you entertain them with JCS's content like that. Mm -hmm. That is not cool and um i think the stream is a perfect like if you spoke to critical about this he'd probably be like yeah you know what that's you're probably right i should i should probably promote the videos i should probably uh you know there's better practice yeah. i don't expect him to react like hassan where he's like yeah well youtubers should work harder it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think critical like yeah youtube would say that i'm pretty confident he wouldn't say that to you <laughs> yeah um but something that bugged me was, as this video plays, there's a point where Jay mentions that there's, like, pornography at one point in, in, the, in the house. Jay doesn't show any of it for YouTube TOS, but uh, Critical gets a little bit paranoid, and so he starts putting up his, his cover for it. And it's the most effort he does throughout all of it is to protect his own channel from a TOS breach. Mm -hmm. um, and to me, I'm just like, man, like, if we're just being completely honest here, you are just taking someone else's stuff to entertain your audience because you're... Like, you might be tired. This is right before he ends his streams. He's probably low energy. He's just like, yeah, I'll put some Yeah, on. yeah. And if you remember, he's, he even kind of says it. He wanted to show his audience this house, but he doesn't want to do it himself. Which, by the way, was a way better source of content. You going through the house yourself and commenting on everything. Instead... Mm, we, could, we could do a whole stream on that. Absolutely, itself. we could, just, yeah. I just had Rex talk. He found, like, 17,000 things. <laughs> absolutely. What a seconds. house. It's, it's great. You, um, you'll enjoy watching that. And so this is the thing, this is the way the brain went. It was like, I need a video that goes through the house, also preferably one that has, like, amusing commentary, and skips to the best parts of the house, so I can just play it all, and then I can talk about the fact that, yeah, it was like a drug or a piracy ring thing that got busted. And it, it, it it's just like, um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to be too harsh to anybody, but, like, I'm really not liking this trend, and I feel like it's just taking us all the way back to Jinx. I thought we got over this shit. Yeah. They um, probably and, don't even realize what they're doing. I think, it, as he just said, a lot just of these, like, oh, I'm just going to do this a little bit, and then a little bit, it's like, oh, I'm just going to do this a whole day. It's like, oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, and a lot of these creators are, um, they're known for many things, not just they reacted to this particular thing, and therefore I think it's a lot yeah. harder for viewers to see that as a, like, Jinx is literally just reacting, while these people are like, they're entertaining personalities, they've done all kinds of stuff, and now they're just sort of drifting into this a little bit. And so I think the audience is like, what? Like, th this is fine. This is just them. They're promoting the video, blah, blah, blah. And um, I'm just hoping that this is the beginning of pushing the fuck back on this and that more creators actually start realizing, like, yeah, we probably shouldn't do this, actually. Because, as Az said in that little stream clip we played, um, they would be doing this with, like, movies and TV, but they can't because of copyright. But they can mm. when it's a YouTuber, because how bad would Jay look if he tried to do any kind of strike on Critical right now? It would look terrible. Yeah. You'd be like, you're an asshole. You're a piece of shit. You couldn't even like talk to yeah, him. Yeah, you're kind of in a kind of in a 
position where you can't really do anything. Doing anything would be detrimental in, a, in whatever way. It's not a good place to be in. It's kind of kind of crappy. Yep, and uh, and so just it's going to keep going on, I guess. And it's just something that I've I've spoken to Fring about this on his streams before as well. It's just something I'm noticing more and more, and I've seriously got a bug in my brain about how Jinx is coming back, and we got to stop him. Mm, yeah. And that's it. I mean, has he learned his lesson? Is he starting to oh, really? Well, Jinx. Be... I meant Jinx as a genre, I guess. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Because right. Jinx, the guy, he's not doing this shit anymore. He'd never be able to pull uh. it off. But if you're a huge creator who's already popular, and they're like, you need to watch this going through this house video made by some guy, you could just watch it. It's so good. Um, and then you can just reap the rewards. And that's uh, it's frustrating, of course. And streamers should work fucking harder than this. I feel like we do a lot more effort than just playing videos and then go, all right, catch us next week, guys. And, um... It's like, Molly, you should communicate Kate to Critical. I don't think I could get a message to Critical whatsoever, but, I mean, if... It, if we're raising some form of an awareness about this, hopefully more and more fans will start being like, hey, maybe maybe say who made this as step one. Yeah. And that's yeah, it'd be, I mean, it would be good. I mean, <laughs> it'd be good if they actually had a some sort of interactable link on the actual screen at all times as well. Uh, and try and your courage, encourage your audience to watch along or some just something that is going to at least uh, give the creator of that content uh, some sort of viewage. Because um, I, I, <laughs> I got a feeling it was probably watched with ad block on and everything, you know? So, you know, <laughs> poor Jay, he's, he's, getting not, he's getting absolutely Nothing, diddly yeah. shit out of it all. It's uh, really harsh. And, yeah. and to complain is to only uh, turn yourself into a pariah to a degree. Yeah, you, it, it's only gonna it's only gonna work against you. Charlie's not gonna get any um, flack from it at all. It's just gonna it's just gonna reflect badly on uh, Jay, and that's not how it should be because it's that's well, the irony of it. Unfortunately, there are streamers I like who do this, and their rationale is everyone mm -hmm. else is doing it. Uh, some yeah, Jack the Ripper murdered hookers. So <laughs> I could have been hookers. <laughs> Is, yeah, it's no, just a real shame. And I don't know why you wouldn't be more excited to be like, this video is fucking excellent. Everyone should support this channel that made this video. Get more content out of this channel. Good stuff. Mm. <laughs> Instead of being like, ah, it's mine. It's mine. Has Jay tried reaching out to him? I have no idea. I just, um, I saw it happen, and then I was like, in conjunction with everything else, we can probably have a little, little fun little uh, run through history here. And, um... Yeah, to make something. I don't, I don't think Charlie's malicious. I just no, think I don't think it's, so. Um, I I just think it's uh, you know, it's become too comfortable that they just don't even think of the repercussions that it that it's having. They, you know, I bet a lot of them think, well, I'm watching it, so they'll probably get a good kick from this. And and the reality is, no, that's that is not how it works at all. Yeah, um, they're, they're probably like better I watch it than not watch it for them, right? Like, it only can help. So, oh. uh, yeah, no. Uh, and you miss an opportunity to help other great channels grow as well. I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, and, mm. and, and, and yeah, again, I think most of the paper traders, if you want to call them that, they're not, I don't, I don't know that they've been exposed to any of these arguments. I think they might literally just be like, I'm just watching some YouTube videos. What's the big deal? Yeah, you guys watch YouTube videos. Everyone watches YouTube videos. I mean, that's just what I'm doing. Well, hence the the comparison yeah. to EFAB. Like in terms of transformative show, I feel like we're on the other end of the scale. It's like almost oh, ridiculous yeah, with EFAB. Definitely. People forget oh, what the yeah. video was even about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. We were watching a video. Yeah. And you know, to me, this it's uh, that really is a, about using the video as a vehicle for discussion, and therefore the content itself may have been impossible without the video, but the content itself isn't in any way specifically just the video. Um, but in these ones, it's really hard to argue that when 90% of his commentary was thanking subscribers as the video was going on. Yeah, it, I mean, it it's weird, though, because Moist Critical, Charlie, whatever you want to call him, um, he's, uh, you know, he's funny. Yeah. He's got a lot. He's got a lot when he does his content, and he's got a very dry, you know, kind of way of doing it. So I walked in today and suddenly there's a big cum bucket all over my kitchen and I didn't realize why there were six dildos. You know, he's kind of got this very sort of dry way of putting these things. And uh, yeah, I'm just amazed that, I, I, yeah, sure, it might be the end of his stream, whatever, but there was, come on, you know, 
He could have made that video. He could have put it on mute. He could have just had it go through. He could have yeah. put his own com his own commentary on top of that uh, and made it, you know, funny, entertaining, engaging. But I think it was rags that uh, don't want to take away from someone else. Uh, he, he, why didn't he just use the video as uh, as inspiration to do a tour himself? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, Jay was almost um, echoed out by Rags because Rags is like, "I've noticed something. I've noticed something." And that's the thing: you've completely transformed it at that point. It's barely Jay's video, but at the same time, I would link Jay's video and say, "This is made by Jay. Go see it if you want to see the full one." Why not? Yeah. And so that about does it. Unless anyone else wants to talk about this in any other way, that's that was the adventure for the oh, day. Uh... Oh, that was our adventure! Wow, what an adventure! I, it's 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 fun. I didn't. I wasn't even aware that it was so happening suddenly. again. As I, I mean, I basically stream almost every day, and I, I mean, I don't really pay attention to all the other streamers, so I didn't even notice that that's a thing. Well, you can start doing it. If you like, want. I was. I do, I won't. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I lost my train of thought. Fuck. Uh, you didn't know it was happening. You said? Uh, yeah, it wasn't even where it's happening, because mostly I'm just streaming myself and then don't really watch any other streamers. Maybe a monk sometimes, when he's streaming, when I'm awake or something. Uh, yeah, I think I, just this whole eating and watching something on stream, I think I ate on all my streams, like, twice maybe. And I was just like, oh, I was, what, I was about to stream now, but my food is underway. Well, I have a quick bite while I'm streaming. But then I don't watch a video, I just talk to chat. Like, just, so, uh, what's up? Just, then well, the conversation just gets going. Like, interesting <laughs> that I, I feel like there's a little bit of just like, this is, I should have known that this is where we'd end up, because it's a, quite a culture now that there are many people who stream as much as between 8 and 11 hours a day, and that is their job. Mm -hmm. So, of course, it would be ridiculous to assume... They will constantly be bombastic and insightful. There have to be times, as Hassan very intelligently pointed out, where there will be dead air, because <laughs> nobody knew this beforehand. Oh, yeah. So it's like, what do you do with that dead air? And everybody has different decisions on how exactly to deal with it. And I think that putting non-copyright music up louder at the time, I could, I could see someone be like, yeah, it's fine, right? Yeah, yeah I guess so. Someone's like, I'm going to put this, um, I'm only going to be gone for a minute, so I'm going to put up this funny video of a guy trying mm -hmm. to climb a fence or something. Like, yeah, okay. And then one day, someone's like, I gotta go for about 10 minutes. I'll, um, I'll pop this video on of them, Jay exploring the house. And then they do, and then they come back and turn it off, and they're like, yeah, it's pretty funny, isn't it? And then they move on with their lives. Like, damn. <laughs> mm. Mm. And I think they see it as like, you're watching me do my day. So it is all m me, still. And it's like, yeah, but if you literally are, there's no separation between them having watched the video on the channel and then just watching it there. It's just like, eh. Don't know about that. I, it's, yeah. I I do think there is a cynical side that there is. They know this is content that they, they can get away with because they know it's bad. Some of them, yeah. Some of them know it's bad. It'll be bad optics for um for the YouTuber to try and go go after them on this, and the YouTuber probably ain't going to get anywhere with Twitch. <laughs> People remind me. Yeah, one of the times you ate was the Movie Bob Challenge medal. It's like, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> but you know, if, if they they would really want to have a music video up there, can't do that. Mm -hmm. A TV series up there, can't do that. Yep. Uh, a movie up there, can't do that. So what? So they're coming for the content they know that they can, they can go for. And there's um, some incredibly talented YouTubers out there that well, you know, um... put out crazy videos and, and interesting videos that they can just grab and use all day. Speaking of um, Internet Historian earlier, he's actually told many of these streamers himself that you can stream the video in full and not even really react to it. I don't mind. That's totally fine. And in cases like that, I, I think that's totally fair. But when you have people who are desperately trying to jumpstart their careers on YouTube and you're yeah, like, yeah. this is mine now, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, but, oh. No, if really I, hard if, on I, use a, if I use a video on stream or we use a stream on the Friday Night Tights, we'll always give credit to who... You know, to who that video is for, and yeah, there's and, no reason not to, like, right? The, 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 yeah, exactly. I mean, the Kyle Dunnigan stuff. We've actually reached out and asked permission to to play those, you know, those things in full uh, on the channel. But even if it's just you, there's a funny video and it's got like a 15 minute, 15 second, like real funny clip in it, I still say, hey, you know, go check out the video. It's you know this channel, yada yada yada. So you still try and push them towards uh, the actual video itself if you can. Um, 
even if it's just a little clip that you're trying to show off, just a few second giggle. And it yeah. helps a lot with music too. Um, with music, it is like, oh, you played a 10, 15, 30 second clip of a music thing as an intro or an outro or something like that. I want that music. And that will be totally independent of, like, I want just the music, so I'm going to go look for it. People will look for that music, and they'll mm. track it down, I'll hunt it down so they can have it themselves. So I think there's much more of a conversion rate if uh, for music clips instead of just playing in the background. Oh, you know, if you would check the channel out, you know, there it is, even though you've already gotten the whole video. Well, that was... um kind of why we started with Jinx and Jack's Film's response. I Honestly, I know it's harsh. You could have played Jack's Film's response after we finished that critical coverage. Could have been like, you just sat there and you barely commented on the thing. Mm. Um, and then you just talked about some other stuff for ages at the end. It's just like, I guess from now on I'll just play your stream and react to it so I'm a one-stop shop instead of which is how it's going to result people will be like I'll just watch this stream all day they watch really good YouTube videos and so I almost get my fill of YouTube and Twitch at the same time mm -hmm. yeah there's a it. difference between fair usage transformative content and doing nothing yeah um I, I got a feeling if uh if you did get hold of Charlie he'd just go fair comment you know I think so too, and and this is the thing. It's it's not really about him, more so about this this growing um, attitude. It's, it, loads of streamers are doing it, and it's got to stop. It's gonna pop at some point, um, and it's just like it was weird to see it about someone I'm so familiar with. Like, because I was just it, it was like, what if it happened to you? I'd be like, I don't know. If someone watched one of my videos in full on their stream while they went to go and get food, and they're just getting loads of subscribers, people say this is pretty cool or whatever, and just enjoy it, then they come back and then they start playing a game again. I'd be like, wow, I do not know how to react to that. Yeah. Mm. I to be, do you wanna honestly, when you put the uh the Charlie clip up, I actually thought he was gonna be really funny. No, I I thought I, I thought you were bringing up it as an under. example of how to really transform that content. Yeah, it, it was and so, and so I was like, yeah, he was painting the picture. Yeah. I did. I did paint the picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then when he just stood, sat there, I was just like, "Oh no!" And then we just like, "Thanks, the sub." Thanks for sub. Saturn Thanks five. For, Thanks for gift. That's yeah. like, oh no, this is what this is what it's going to be, isn't it? It's just going to be thanking subs and not saying. But yeah, yeah I thought of... you were setting us up for a good for a good reaction. Yeah, that's the, well. I mean. <laughs> in a way that's what was helpful about the format we actually run it's like hopefully we've been doing that throughout the whole point is that we we can't stop talking about the stuff we're playing you know we're like we got something to say about everything and so it transforms it immediately uh, the people in chat mm. presumably are here to hear our perspective on these subjects they're not here because they're like i desperately want to see critical react to jay's video i hope they show it <laughs> it's like that would be weird um or any of the stuff so far um Mola, no one's going to play your videos for a quick break. Well, if they went to sleep and played <laughs> all of my channel, I'd be like, damn. Yeah, yeah. Or if they needed yeah. to take a really long drive for the adjoin, adjoin, <laughs> yeah. adjoin, oh my god, I cannot get the word out, adjacent city, and then come back. Yeah, I'm going to get eight hours kipping, and I'm just going to put on Mola's, uh The Force Awakens yeah. videos, parts one, two, and three. <laughs> Uh, and then I'll react to it when I wake up in the morning. And the and only commentary is the notifications. I think I've outpaced him intellectually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but well that's that's a that's a hyper meme. Only some of you guys will get that one. I popped that in the uh, Dalmatians EFAP movies. So. Oh, did you? I did. <laughs> Method streaming a game for twelve hours with EFAP in the background. Do it. <laughs> you could. You could. Okay, I'm, um, I'm, I'm... And at the end, oh, that was funny. All right, listen, thanks, listen to myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. Anything else you guys want to talk about before we will jump into the super chat portion of this stream? Uh, uh, I, th I think, I think, I think I'm okay. I think there might be so the internet makes it like difficult when it comes to what we have traditionally considered to be the rules regarding like people's work intellectual property and copyright it used to be very clear because like memes didn't exist and streams mm -hmm. where people reacted to videos didn't exist it was always clear it's like oh this is like the film the film is owned by x company or like this is a book the book is owned by x person but now that it's like the internet 
and it's just people making things and a yeah, lot of what people are making put stuff out there yeah um just in a day or in a week and because it's just individuals doing stuff there's a lot of like mashing together of existing things and that can create some really cool stuff that absolutely could which absolutely should be considered its own thing its own new thing not strictly original but original enough that it's not a substitute for what came before but then you get into the blurry areas like having a playlist of music that you put on your stream mm. um or reacting to videos but how much did you say how much didn't you say or you know clips of things or like mashing together of footage from movies and things like that and then it gets really complicated <clears throat> and i don't know that we've resolved that issue yet and i'm not sure what the resolution is to that problem because we kind of can't have the system that we had before in terms of copyright because that would like destroy a lot of what the internet is but like this surely is not what we want where mm. people will watch a whole thing and be like, ha, ah, funny meme. All right, and then next video, and then that's and then that's allowed. I don't like that. Nope. But I don't know what the resolution will be. Yeah, I, I'm very unclear on where this ends up, but um, it seems to only be happening more and more. Because, of course, I think when we started this, uh, Rags, you were saying, like, we're, we're done with that era, it's dead sort of thing, the whole almost stealing commentary, <laughs> the stealing content well, of people. Well, it was... You would... This was really maybe it was who knows why maybe it was just how I saw things. No, I think you, you I think it's fair. So much it was perspective, once, but I do feel like it. I I guess I thought that we were past this to a degree, but I think maybe we were in the this this huge uptick and this this renaissance, if you will, of of streaming. Uh, no, renaissance implies like positivity and things. This just this this res this surge of streaming as a thing maybe that has created this new wave of it um but i, think, I, I, I think don't the know the dmca stuff that's recently happened uh is a contributing factor yeah like twitch streamers were doing a lot more in terms of <laughs> i don't want to say stealing is such a harsh word but i mean kind of a lot more um official content but now it's been clamped down significantly and it's like oh they're going to youtube now when I think it was a matter of they didn't even realize necessarily that was an obvious option until now. And they're like, well, nobody's complaining, let's do it. But I'm complaining. Yeah, yeah I'm they... Complaining now. A lot of, maybe a lot of them don't even think to think about it. I, I mean, think especially so. If you're, if, you're, if you're a Pokemon or something, and you can just do anything, and you're going to be showered with positivity and money and affection and admiration, then there's no pressure on you to change or but to think, yeah. be aware of what you do. But the issue is that you have to push back, otherwise it becomes accepted, and then it's over. Yeah, you know, it only gets worse and worse, to um, the point where one day well, someone's like, I'm not going to be here for the whole day, I am going to play seven videos, <laughs> and it'll end the well, stream yeah, automatically. I feel, like the, uh, I feel like the clear example is, people used to pay for music. They used to pay a lot for music. Um, nobody really does that anymore. There's a reason for that. And it was a slow transition to that. Um... And then again, I guess the music industry did try to push back. Maybe that was inevitable, but I don't know. It's um, it's too hard it's just... to catch. It's too hard to stop. It's just well, not yeah, that's, feasible I think that's right the... now to be able to stop it. I think that's the thing, though, is if there's enough like social pressure of, oh, this is bad, don't do that, then it will... Yeah. That puts pressure on people that is beyond commercial. That's what killed Jinx. Um, uh, enough people will, like, yeah, stop basically. it. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe... you... Yeah. Sorry, come on, go. You oh, look at like Pokemon, she needs the actually, help, yeah. you know, she needs the fucking... I don't think if uh, she was put into a position to truly entertain, um, that she could be truly entertaining, in as much as I think, yeah, sure, she'll goof around and do uh, cat noises and probably roll around on the floor and meow and, you know, pull some funny faces and say some shit, but I don't think that she could sort of, like, hold that up for a too long a time. Uh, she needs something. She needs a crutch. She needs something to to work off. The and, audience uh, is the crutch. That's the thing. Yeah, well, yeah, she yeah, yeah. Plays, the, yeah, true. She plays to a huge segment of the population 
And I, I wonder, I wonder what percentage of Pokimane viewers and fans would admit that. Well, it's going to get real awkward though, because you know that we're heading towards the age of like digital, you know, personalities or like digital content creators. Um, and once that, and like procedurally generated and stuff like that, tailor made to suit people's interests, that's going to put these people out of business probably. Cause like, maybe, um... well, I wonder because I feel like a lot of like this industry, especially what was the Bella Delphine or whatever, like her whole <laughs> shit was trying to look like an anime character. But imagine, yeah, but she she's got more brains than fucking Pokemon uh, in a little well, finger I mean, than Pokemon. A, has. She's a savvy businesswoman. Yeah, for sure, she's, but, yeah, but, exactly. But I guess that's what I'm saying is like, what happens when we get hyper realistic, computer generated Bella Delphines that you can have like programmed by a computer to do exactly what you're there for and then that's i always feel like the inevitable result is we're all hooked up to machines like vi headsets just marinating in our own sweat and feces just like totally zonked out on procedurally generated content that is perfectly tailored to our needs that scares oh, I'm the hell out I'm too long, <laughs> yeah. so, that's, you know that's you're saying all the right things to me right yeah <laughs> This is one of those, like many problems, this is one of those bottom-up kinds of problems where mm. we see it with media all the time. This stuff exists and perpetuates and succeeds and makes all of its money because people have incredibly low standards and they will clap at anything. And these 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 videos, these this, this MCU stuff, the Disney stuff, it exists because of that. Um, if people were discerning about stories and characters and writing, this stuff would be much, much smaller than it is um and i feel like when you talk about like pokemon from what i've seen and that kind of content creator who just doesn't really have a talent or does that sort of thing well her talent is that she won the genetic lottery yeah it, 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 it there's there's so many people who will flock to that and adore it and love it and will throw money at that sort of thing and that's the problem people there are so there are people who work there asses off and who are incredibly talented and who slave away at making just masterwork content and they will never make anything like what Pokimane makes and well, she makes cat noises at that point <laughs> you gotta separate the money no. part it's all for the love of the craft and I, I guess at least like the knowledge that what you're creating has some sort of creative or artistic value that will presumably endure for a lot longer or at the very least, be more meaningful to people. Right, yeah. Make dog noises. I I always do. I all the noises I make are dog noises. Mm -hmm. I can't yeah, not make wow. dog noises. That's all I make every day, nonstop. I go into people's houses and I try to figure out, but but why 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 is this cabinet open and this one isn't? How how come this chair is turned this way? Why have you done that? Have you done it? Like we did it with Jared's room. Every little thing had a reason. <laughs> every little thing. The the marks on the wall. The, the there's the, 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 no plastic cover for the light switches that's everything there's a story behind everything oh, yes. i'm like sherlock holmes but a dog Go and i'm Go looking Holmes. around and I'm like oh well, what brought us here what got us to this point why we were still here just to suffer is that what you're saying just to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was fun. i feel like it wraps it I up wash my hands um, yeah an unfortunate thing that's happening, and it's probably being done with the best intentions for the most part. Unfortunately, you end up people, like I said, Hassan is, is apparently <laughs> thinks he's in the clear morally because YouTubers don't work <laughs> hard enough. <laughs> but him, don't work so hard enough only... for him. That's, that's the thing, though. I don't understand this one. Maybe you can help me out. Someone said, the <laughs> only reason we understand rags is because Mahler has the bone of scone. Hmm. Bone Ooh. of scone? What? Is that a reference? I'd... I don't know. I do you like do you like scones gonna... a lot? I like scones. Yeah. Uh, fresh cream or potted cream? Um, probably fresh. Mm, I'm a clotted cream man. So scones are like uh, like a like a cookie biscuit kind of thing, right? Yeah. Kind of. um... I mean, for Americans, you could translate it that way. But like yeah, like a bagel. Maybe or a no, a softer, more, more um, like any like a donut. Y yeah, more donut. Oh, what is it like cornbread? 
Probably not. No. No. <laughs> no, you don't think so? <laughs> um, it's have you had cornbread just because? Well, yeah, the... I, I have actually. I have had cornbread. Yeah. Okay. So I like I really like cornbread. No. Yeah, it's, it's not. good. Yeah. I, I, I like it. I think it's yeah, um, it's, it's different, and I yeah, I like uh, like a bit of cornbread. Um. Okay. So it's it's more bready than cookie like. It's not like made with batter. It's. It's like it's baked. more. It's kind of like cake. Think of it like more like a cupcake base, but a little bit more sturdy, substantial. Yeah. Okay. Oh, like a um, like oh, what's that thing my sister makes? Um, it would be weird if you know. Uh, but but uh, <laughs> she makes this like um, this. It's like this thick, rich bread kind of stuff. Um, I I, ugh, I forget. It, it's fine. But mm. I I would. Someone said it's halfway between a cookie and a muffin. All right. Yeah, muffin. Muffin's a little bit there. Frank, have you've never been to a coffee shop before, so that would be independent on whether or not I've had a scone. <laughs> um, have you had something like um, an Eccles cake or something like that, or uh, what's a what's a good one to use? Um, Eccles cake. Um, th those look kind of. So I'm looking at an Eccles cake, and I think I could see what it would feel like. Almost I, like a mini, like a like a, because I could see it's uh, flaky a bit, like like a pastry sort of thing. I, I, it was bad, bad idea. Um, I meant something like a a flatbread would be too heavy. Imagine oh, a, like okay. so like flat, a very very light fluffy pancake. Like a yeah between like a, um a, a flapjack and a cookie. Kind of like a so mid when you. When you bite into it, does it crunch or swish? Oh, no, it crumble. It crumbles. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. because of the, uh, like the, the butter, the uh, margarine, whatever you're using in it. No. Uh, it will... All right. Mm. Is it is it is it dry, but not too dry? It should like be it will flake and crumble, but it... No, no, a good one should be moist. Okay, so it, it will be... So if you cut it, with like a knife, it wouldn't just like crack and. No, 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 no. You could get a good cut. Okay, I gotcha. Right. Someone said just eat a scone rags. Well, here, let me pull the one I've got out of my pocket right now and munch <laughs> it because I just I got a pile of. I don't wow, live in that house. I don't live in the J house where I just will probably <laughs> through, through sheer statistical inevitability have a scone somewhere in that house. I did have a scone a couple of days ago. I did have a scone yeah. a couple All right. of days ago. Now. What do you? So yeah, I'm looking at these pictures of scones, and I think I, because a lot of them look like some of the breads and things that I've had, so I I, I like it. They're like a really, um, like a really weedy. Um, yeah, we, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. A weedy sort of biscuit. I think I know. I think I've yeah. I'm almost sure uh, I have had these. In there, some sultanas in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the word yeah, sultanas. No. So like this here is like what the, like a scone bread would be like. Mm. I want to give it. <laughs> no. Like that where it's where it's Can firm, but it'll you know it, it's it's soft at the same time. Oh, little crummy, but it you could you know clean cut it. Yeah. Make it into. It's I've almost, had I've had stuff like that. It's very very good. I'm a it's almost I'm a lover like a of bread. A couple of days ago. Where the fuck is Chewbacca? Yes. Where or who? Uh, my mission is to find him. He's around you somewhere, that old piece of shit. Oh, uh, now you've pl started playing video games. I'm playing video games. Oh. Excellent. Oh well, I was gonna say, um, we're gonna. So, uh, I've, what I've got to say is, do you prefer pumpernickel or rye? I don't know what pumpernickel is. That's right. Carry on. All right. So, so uh, rags, muffins or cupcakes? Easily muffins. No contest. Nickel, easily yeah. muffins. Muffins are usually bigger than cupcakes, so they got that going. Though I, that is true. Um, I just think I think that generally uh, I've found muffins to be a lot more. I like the consistencies a lot better and the flavors better, and I like the sort of the makeup of the the bread. They're less. They tend to be less sugary and more bready. Um, <sighs> So there you go. Uh, but I need to uh, don't wash my hands. Actually, they get dry and it's, it's interesting that you they, they they get dry. <laughs> the, the first uh, 
I'm like that scum thing business. No one. Okay, sorry. I, I, I mean, do you want us to draw attention to the bad joke, or do you want us to move past it, Mel? That's your decision to make. I want you, know? you to laugh at my incredible joke. <laughs> <laughs> and no, it's too late now. I don't. You can pretend like time traveled real fast. I, I don't know. Don't want your pity laughs. No, well, we're, we're in a TVA here, so time doesn't have. Yeah. Yeah. So we can laugh at the joke whenever you want us to. Especially now, we got free will. Pretty neat. Yeah. Kan got bored, so he allowed the world to fall into chaos to eventually come back to being with him in control. Uh, drumsticks. Drumsticks are better than wings. I really like the way that they, for, they oh, forgot who Loki is, so he can introduce himself next season, and they'll be like, okay. They were really proud of themselves to give Loki everything he wanted in that finale, and he's like, no, that is not what I want anymore. Like, ah. Oh. Yeah. I'm. I just want myself as a female. He wants to give a big old kiss. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> I said it had the same energy as um, Ray and Kylo kissing. And someone left a comment saying, how the fuck can you compare these two? Um, one of them went through loads of shit together. And I legitimately have no idea which one they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like, was it Loki and Sylvie that went through a load of shit? Or was it Kylo and Ray? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, as far as I can tell, neither of them did. Yeah, fucking thing. neither of them. <laughs> we be hanging out together for like two days. Yeah. At and most. So passionately declaring that one of those pairings have been through so much. I'm just like, well, what have you been watching? <laughs> they walked. They walked and talked, and then they sat and talked, and then they walked and talked, and then they sat and talked. It was incredible. They went through so much. I cried. Maybe. I angry cried all the Angry Joe gave Loki season 1 a 10 out of 10. That does <laughs> Oh. But he gave he gave episodes not ten out of ten, so it doesn't make sense. Yeah, you're right. Stop he gave some of them a nine, so it's well, average out. If mm. if it averaged out to nine point five plus, would that would that be rounded to a ten? I feel like you should never round up with scores, you know. Like, he does his points. He does his point. Whatever. Just got a point. A nine point two. <laughs> well, you know what? He liked it, and is that so wrong? Yes. What now? Mm. You don't <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For liking a terribly, terribly put together piece of shit. I mean, that's the thing, man. Those people seem to love it, and that means we're just going to keep getting more, which is. Well, yeah, um, I mean, I did say that in my video today. I was just having a fucking clue why people are saying, I love but, watching you know, Loki do his thing. So cool. Apparently his ratings were 10, 9, 10, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, so Wait, well, it sucks that yeah. Tony died before Kang was removed of his throne because he never got to make an actual choice. Um, all the characters yeah. in the MCU yeah. now get to. It'd be crazy. Mm. I did a cap when he stayed behind with... Um, yeah. right. well, well, he's... Remember, he's not confirmed dead. So he might be able to make a choice. Because they don't know uh, what they're doing with him yet. I, yeah, so, he didn't make the choice when he went back in time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's too old to, to be Cap now, though. I wonder if there's any, like, existential crises happening. Like, people being like, wait, something feels different. Like, I'm free to do whatever I want. <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess it wouldn't from their own POV. They would feel as though the decisions they all made were absolutely in line with who they are and stuff. Why would the decisions they make create a branch instead of just being what happened, though? Um, is, is that one of the, the ways that um, people theorize how, like, multiple universes is created whenever there's a choice being made at Splinters? Uh, I guess. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm. Well, we gotta wonder, like, what that means in terms of this show, or, you know, this universe. Well, it was one of the things when, you know, when they showed the sacred timeline splitting off into big things, I was like, that is not how it would look. But by the end of the episode, it, it was like a bazillion fucking splinters yeah. on all kinds. I was like, that's better. That's how it would look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, closer to it, yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start reading our Super Chats, and um, if anybody would like to take the opportunity to jump out to do whatever they may or may not need to do, uh, I guess now is the time. Is everyone alright? I'll, I'll chill a little bit. A little mm. bit more. 
Mm. Oh, I'm good. I'm gonna play some gams, so I might as well do it with chat. Sweet. Sweet. Chat. That's uh, illegal. So the first one is rags. Please evict rocket fuel onto my ham hams. Ooh. Um, I don't know, cause rocket fuel. I feel like it would. So. I I worry what that would do if you wanted to like cook your ham hams later, and if it's even would be like safe to eat, or in, in the smell. And I kid, it can't be healthy. And I don't have too much rocket fuel on me. Wink, wink. So maybe it's like I'm a not exactly an art project. Sure. It doesn't. Maybe, but. Rocket fuel must be really expensive. That's the thing. Surely, like a, a lower grade, like a, like maybe like a 30, 20 percent ethanol mixed with unleaded would be a lot more. First off, accessible, and definitely cheaper depending where you are in the country. Almost certainly cheaper than rocket fuel. I imagine if you're in California or something and the gas prices are really high, rocket fuel is probably going to be, you know, pretty high too. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if they go hand in hand or not. Is there a rocket fuel? Rocket fuel. Uh, watch the Mitchells no. versus the Machines. Not really a recommendation for refat movies. I just really recommend watching it. It's some great rat. Any of you guys uh, seen that or what? seen which now? Mitchells versus the Machines. No, mm. no, I have no. not seen that. I do not know what that is. Mm. I only watch bad content these days, right? So if it's any good, I can't watch it. That's, yeah. I, I don't think I can take good content anymore. It's good. I couldn't have seen that. For yes, stories of the possible. Day. I found Chubby Baka. Did it. People don't want me to watch good content. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. I've tried, I've tried. And it's like, this is this is a good show. And they're just like, can you, can you just start getting mad and shouting at stuff again, please? <laughs> it's like, what do you mean this is good? This is unsubscribed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we liked you when you did the mad thing. Oh, okay. I only watch CW uh, Disney Plus these days. Moodle, probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> only the At best content for me. Like, hey guys, you gotta start watching Superman. Yeah, we're not gonna watch your video if you like it. <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> Madvocate sub count to the moon. Um, I doubt we could get him to the moon, but it would be neat for uh, for a bunch of people more to check out the channel. It seemed like he was doing some good work. A, um, it's, it's what we've done it a couple of times at this point in EFA. We like to be like, hey, this channel's doing some stuff that kind of fits a lot of what we try to recommend video essays do. So I guess we should probably be like, hey, this one's kind of a neat one instead of constantly saying avoid this one because it's got poopy in its ear or whatever else. Fucking so many of the bounty hunters just want to throw bombs. I just want to. Can you guys just please just build things? Uh, high rags. No. Oh. Denied. No, no lie to you. <laughs> well. Do you prefer breads to cakes? Yeah, generally I do. I don't normally. So, icing wise, there's two kinds. <laughs> of what the fuck icing? just happened? <laughs> so I'm. <laughs> So, there, so you have the icing that's more like whipped cream. That's that see that's uh, that tastes a lot less sugary, and I prefer that over. I guess the older he has no idea. They're in the um, they're they're in like the bags, and you squirt them out, and they can get they they harden up a bit, and they taste super sugary. I don't like those at all. The less is better. I don't this don't like it. But the whipped Whoa, cream hey, style Ryan, icing, you yeah. are gonna love butterfly cakes. Oh, ooh, let yeah. me Google those. Those do sound. Those, you know, they should call them flutter buys because that's what they do. But we'll leave that for later. Yeah. Butterfly cakes. Uh, um, yeah, you can try that because that sounds like it's gonna hit that criteria. We got it's a traditional British butterfly cake. Oh, right. it does. I can see why they, I see why it's called that. So they are. Yeah. Mm. Um. They are. Oh, They're is rather it rather tasty? Okay. Um. Perfect for wedding and maybe showers. That's fair enough. Two things I hate. Um, <laughs> I got lost for it. I was like, perfect for showers. I was just like, really? <laughs> perfect. I have a, you, I've got a cabinet in my bathroom that's just full of butterfly <laughs> cakes from my showers. Perfect for the occasion. I like when it gets soggy. Oh, yeah. Is it the style or what it's made out of? 
Well, it's the it's the it's the what it's made out of because it's uh, it's like a nice traditional kind of like cake cupcake, uh, but the top's cut out and instead yeah, of having like a thick um, oh icing, oh I actually, see they put, they put cream and uh, like jam I've and a little that. bit of cream in there so it's nice and light it's mm. nice and light uh -huh. nice yeah. and fluffy doesn't not... look bad looks a bit looks a bit sugary for me but it, not bad I would definitely have one I like it. I like I'll, the look. I like out of the two, look. I'd definitely give it one. Yeah. I'd give it 10 out of 10 if it were a TV show. <laughs> Angry Joe just beat you. <laughs> oh. Are talking about the fondant? Maybe. I don't know the name of it. I just know that it's that, that softer, less sugary tasting frosting icing that's more like whipped cream. It's much softer. Um, yeah. Oh, God. They're going to make me search through all of the prisoner things to find Chewy or, or whoever I'm finding. That's fine. I'm up for the challenge. What if Chewy was in the other transfer? Set Chewy free. I will. Has anyone seen the Bohemian Rhapsody movie? If so, thoughts? If not, I highly recommend it. Um, I have. <laughs> I thought it was <laughs> I thought it was neat, um, but all I remember from it, unfortunately, or whatever you could say about this, is that uh, it won an, an Oscar for editing, and its editing is horrendous in many places. Um, YMS did a video on heard. something about this. Like, yeah, there's I remember a scene seeing that. where they all talk crap. in some area, and like the amount of cuts and like discontinuity is, is insane for a movie that's just about people fucking talking to each other. And it's something to do with how many reshoots the film went through, and how many changes they made uh, during and after and stuff. But I remember having fun with it. I don't know that I'd call it good or bad. I really, I just, uh, I kind of watched it without thinking about whether or not. Um, it's it's tough with like, I guess biographical films because I feel like I, it should be on me to go and find out a little bit more about uh, how much, what in the story is even true or not. But then also trying to appreciate it as a story anyway. And sometimes I'm just like, well, oh, just tell me about this person, about stuff I didn't know. And I remember seeing that a lot of people felt like it was, um, it was very uh, cleaned up in terms of actual history. And so a lot of people took issue with that. Um, I didn't see the Elton John one. That came out at a similar time. I forget what it's called. Rocket Man, I think. Rocket Man. Not the, with um, Rocket Fuel. Tudgerton, Tudgerton, Tudgerton. Todger, Todger, Edgerton. Yeah. Edgerton, Tudgerton, Tudgerton. Isn't him? Yeah. He's a good actor. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's um. Aaron what? Edgerton, thank you. Yes. Todger Edgerton. <laughs> Todger Edgerton. It's got to be it. Alja Edgington, the third. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, so what would you say is the best of the Marvel Disney Plus shows now that they're done for now? Tough since they all suck. Falcon and Winter Soldier. I would say Falcon and the Winter Soldier. With, it has one good character. With the asterisk that... That I hate it. I hate it's it. terrible. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I feel like I it, hate it. it, it damages the MCU the least, I guess. Loki's easily the worst one. I don't even know. Yeah. And then. Oh, Loki's falling. Yeah. And then one division. Lo Loki, like, there's no way Loki can't piss you off once you've had the conversation about what it means it, that it did in that show. I just don't know how anyone, because at least with some of the other shows, it's like, well, if you're not a fan of Wanda, or if you're not a fan of blah blah blah. Well, no, I think a lot of people don't even. They're like, oh, how cool that there wasn't free will and now there is, or something like that. And you'd be like, oh man. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> just think about what you've said for just one second. Yeah. Um, I, I used to appreciate the decisions characters were making, n not because that was something Kang thought was cool, but because I thought that was the meaningful choice they decided upon with their histories and stuff, and I know for a fucking fact that the people who made it thought that that's how it worked, and I feel like if they're out of the MCU, they're just gonna be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> if that's if that's what you're saying, then yeah, fine, fuck you. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah, WandaVision was was really bad, the finale especially, but uh, I feel like Loki took the cake, and so in reverse, again, I think Falcon and Soldier is garbage, but I think I said this on um, on the real BBC, uh, I liked Zemo in it, for the most part, and I really like Walker. Mm. Walker and Zemo are the only two good characters I've seen on um, screen so far. From Disney Plus? Yeah. <laughs> four, four. yeah. No, it's the alligator. The alligator. Oh yeah, and and, and Richard E. Grant I Loki. Alligator I did like. Loki and old Loki. Oh, oh Richard E. Yeah. Grant Loki was was magnificent at the end. I, I liked him a lot. Beautiful. And it, to be honest with you, it's like you know what, you guys should probably hang on to him. <laughs> he'll he'll actually well, convince me to enjoy great, something. Five minutes of screen time and uh, just destroyed everyone in that fucking show by a country mile.
Yeah, as you said, he had a better arc in his, like, five minutes than our main character did for the entire season. Mm. Yeah. Shouldn't How be sad happening. Is that? But, yeah, that's where we are. It, it was, it, it's clearly an accident. Like, when they oh, make yeah. these characters that turn out to be great, they just... It's almost like uh, you throw enough darts at that dartboard, eventually, you'll hit a good score. Well, yeah, there well, were plenty of people on Twitter hated uh, Walker, and they were like, so annoying that Walker, like, turned out to be a good guy in the end. He's a bad person, and he shouldn't have... They were like, they were annoyed that he was portrayed as a person who would try and save the people in the truck. But he didn't do anything bad, ever. Yeah. No. He's, he's clearly <laughs> a good person. He's clearly a good person. Well, uh, didn't we have that concern when we were watching it? We were like, please don't make him do something horrible. Please, 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 please. Like, because the writers yeah. could totally have done that, and it wouldn't have made sense, but they, yeah. And then they thought killing a terrorist was a bad thing. Well, we were worried about Walker throughout the season, because we could tell from the moment he arrived, we were like, oh, he's going to be evil. Quote, unquote, evil. So they're gonna Especially contrive. when he screamed, you know who I am, it's like, ah. Oh. Look, he's Even vain. when he did good, they would have a camera angle, like, from a from a bottom, yeah. looking up, to give him, like, an evil... Yeah, yeah and they'd play, they'd play like, uh, spooky music. Or, yeah, it's just like, but no, what he's done is fine. <laughs> That's not wrong. He's asking for help. He's asking to, uh, you know, for you two to come along and join with him. He wants to communicate, you know, Communicate your information together once, and they're just like, "No, we don't want to see that." There's you blood on the shield, as Cap no, never got blood on his shield. Out. Yeah, they never animated uh, blood on the shield. Before. Uh, it is incredible oh, that there were, did. there were literally well, people did. who would post that. They'd be like, "This is how you can tell the, dif the difference." Cap never got blood on his shield. It's like, shut the fuck. Uh, up. Cap killed so many people. <laughs> Have you guys forgotten? <laughs> <laughs> He was a, he's a super soldier. What do you think his job is? Is to kill people he and break their people stuff? Up. Yeah. He's well, an I mean, army like, man. Yep. His guns aren't for show. <laughs> no. But yeah. Was the, um, I thought he was the best. I mean, Zemo, if he had more time, probably would have been the best, but Walker was the best. best the less time, the better with Zemo. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, he was worried about him. Um, <laughs> we were terrified. The, the giving him the win on killing the uh, the remaining flag smashers was really satisfying, though. I'm not gonna lie. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Lloyd the chauffeur was it? Yeah, his his, his little Alfred <laughs> sorted out the bomb. <laughs> well, he was kind of like the anti Batman, wasn't he? I suppose. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is the thing. If they said we're actually gonna do a spin-off Zemo show now, I'd be like, oh no, please, please, oh, I don't oh, need. To... <laughs> what are you gonna do to him? They said we're going to do a, a Zemo spin-off show, and the uh, the Russo brothers are going to be writing it. I'll be like, yes. Oh yeah, okay. I I don't well. Well, I give them a shot uh, more so than the yeah. fucking people who wrote. Uh... Oh yeah, I'll take them over the fucking sure. I no guess talent just loser hacks. Game, game, right. the rest just stuff, remember. Yeah. yeah. And Winter Soldier. Well, I mean, <laughs> as well, the Winter Soldier, kind of okay. Infinity War. <laughs> He's got out unscathed. I think we should probably never see Zemo again. Yes, that's, that's how I feel. I don't want to see him again. I just want to leave him alone. Uh, but I feel like where is he? He's, he's at the raft now, right? He should be returned yeah. to Germany to the German prison. No, I don't no, want him on the raft. Oh, he's on the raft. He's on the raft now. I know he should be returned to the German prison. Yeah. Well, you know what, Rags? The Wakandans feel they have the the duty to decide where uh, he yeah. should go. We're a Wakandans. Because remember, we, we the can Dora Milaje have whatever. jurisdiction yeah. wherever they find themselves. Which is yeah. entirely that opposite. That isn't and politically fucked. Yeah, to whatever. the... It's rather fascistic, isn't it? it was, it's, yes, Queen's like, Slay. It's the okay fucking, when we do it. Yeah. The point that the show was trying to make with Walker and, and um, American like intervention, and then they have the Wakandans just go, we decide what happens globally. It's like, oh. <laughs> okay. I can't imagine black women. They fucking do morons they want and it's saying that it's awesome. Remember the the Twitter account was like such a fucking mm -hmm. cool moment. Even like I even mean, lefties on Twitter were like, okay, uh, this is a bit awkward actually because <laughs> <laughs> probably shouldn't have ran in there and tried to assassinate America's hero. Probably not a good and idea. Yet. <laughs> and yet, yeah, yeah. Well, they oh, had their I own saw ideas. the uh, I watched the Red Letter Media um, review of Black Widow. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, it was it. great. I thought it was absolutely great. Um, I've never known some two people who hated a movie <laughs> so much to just be so nice about it. It's really cool. Yeah, I just got the vibe that they were like, "Yeah, I guess this is a movie." You could say that. <laughs>
I'm and glad then the people kind of recognize that hey, crap. Can, um, can everyone uh, dislike this video, please? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying <laughs> to make <laughs> dislike video that we've ever had. So they said people can sure say that the, they did it because they hate women. <laughs> That's probably it. Yeah. I just hate bad movies. It's at 39% right now. Brilliant. Yeah, and, and a lot of people who've, you know, knock out the joke will be like, Whoa, what did they say? Jeez. Yeah. It's 12k to 19k downvotes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It shows how many people got to the end though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because I actually took a photograph when I was about two minutes from the freaking end of the, of the video. And I was just like, holy shit, what's going on with this ratio? And put it up on Instagram. Uh, I was like, this is a really fair video, you know? They're just taking a piss out of it and just doing it in a funny way. And then, um, I, like, 30 seconds later, I'm just like, if you uh. got this far, can you just dislike the video, please? <laughs> we just really want to make this the most disliked video we've ever had. So, okay. I better pull that post down. Quick. I know I was offended. Black Widow is my favorite women. <laughs> favorite wo women of all time. She's my favorite <laughs> women of all time. <laughs> uh, scenario. You have to watch the worst movie of the selected franchise I choose. Star Wars or Terminator two times a month with your undivided attention. Which one do you reluctantly choose? Oh, Probably Terminator. Yeah. I can't yeah. watch Star Wars. So would it be oh, like so Rise of Skywalker versus would it be Dark Rise Fate? Of Skywalker versus yeah, I guess um, so. Is Dark Fate worse than Genesis? Genesis? Oh, it's that's a tough one. It's always it's a tough one. It's, I, You're a <gasps> forgotten relic from a deleted timeline. Right, they hold are up, both. Let me the coin. Heads, heads uh, for Genesis. It is. It's tails. So Dark Fate. So Dark Fate versus the Rise of Skywalker. I like for the Rise of Skywalker. It's not even a question. But uh, <laughs> uh, so Rise of Skywalker versus um, Dark Fate. To be fair, I don't fucking want to watch any of the sequels. I'm not even sure um, which one I derive the most entertainment out of. It could be Rise of Skywalker. That movie's fucking stupid. Think, like, funny I stupid. I seen Dark Fate. I but seen I think Ry I'd still go with Rise of Skywalker. Wow. I mean, I, I, I'm i not sure which one I would go for. Right? Eh. Which, yeah. If, um, we're, if we're doing it alone, at that point, it's which one's shorter, yeah. Yeah, well, I feel I feel like my brain just wouldn't give a shit about Dark Fate, and it would just, you know, start singing to itself after about <laughs> ten minutes. Well, they but said that the requirement is your undivided attention. Well, I mean, you can... Dark Fate is one hundred twenty-eight minutes. Rise of Skywalker is one forty-two. Ah. Uh. Why so long? Stop it! <laughs> They've got some stories to tell. Okay. Can we be 90 minutes again, please, and fuck off? I'll take an hour and 10 minutes. Nice. Yeah, let's do that. 70, quick 70. Yeah. Get your Ten point minutes. across, we'll be done real quick. Five, five nice. minutes. Uh, what is that? Is 70 the minimum for a uh, film? What's the minimum? There is a minimum. I don't actually know. Um, it's got to be close to that. Yeah. I think it's like uh, maybe 80 or 75 or 80. Well, let's see. Feature length film. I know that, like, with books, they have generally a page count. So, um, a modern feature is typically between 80, um, but apparently the Screen Actors Guild says minimum length has to be 80 minutes, but the AFI oh, yeah. and the say if it's 40 minutes or longer, it's a feature film. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh! Because oh. I, believe, I believe the first feature film was Ned Kelly. So uh, that's 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 kind of neat. Hmm. Yeah, the story. Yeah, the story of the Keller Gang from 1906 was the first Ooh. dramatic length uh, feature length film that was made over here for a budget of one thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's um, quite low. 1906, though. Well, it made twenty five thousand pounds. So Ooh. Yeah, uh, Ooh. I know that's uh that's that's that's, that's neat. Return, this whole man. moving pictures thing. It's gonna be big. Man, There's light. There's light there. the, I think that that film was only made like 25 years after Ned Kelly was executed. Jeez. Ozzy, wasn't it Ned Kelly, Ozzy? Ned Kelly, yeah, he was a uh, bush In ranger who wore helmet. the... That's right, yeah, the helmet uh, that was like bulletproof. Um, I saw yeah. the Orlando Bloom film, and that's how I know that. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, he is a uh, he is like a sort of almost like a national icon, which is interesting considering that he was a criminal. But yeah, he, he got that. Uh, he definitely got that Robin Hood um, sort of thing going for him. Big, there you go. Big Trouble Little China is only 99 minutes long, and that film's fucking ace. Well, I think, think Naked Gun's probably like 90 minutes, and Naked Gun's like well, freaking yeah, hilarious. You, you see that with a lot of things. Like there are a lot of movies that are shorter than you would expect, um, especially yeah. a lot of older films. That elusive quality of pacing can make you feel uh, a certain amount of time can end up being a lot longer or shorter. Hmm. I'll just settle for good films right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll give me. Yeah. Because uh, that you pacing, and then you want to look at Black Widow, and holy shit. Shut up, you uh, loved it. That um, film was put in the blender, and then it was given to the editor, and the editor just literally put it as they took it out of the blender. Speaking of which, Black Widow Tism's Wen and Hi Ragu. Hello! That'll be Saturday. We're gonna do a full breakdown. We're gonna go through the whole movie, and I think um, last I spoke to Mel about Black Widow, you are ready to pounce on that film, aren't you? I I I am. I have like notes and everything. I have screenshots. That's I'm, I'm prepared. It took me four hours to get through this movie. <laughs> PowerPoint presentations. <laughs> it is quite the film, um, and it's shocking how much is wrong with it. And I honestly think that most people, when they saw it, were just like, "Oh, it's it, whatever." It's it's, it's action, it's, it's blah, blah, blah. And it's yeah. just like, but if you listen to what they say, this plot line, man, woo -hoo. And we're gonna go right through it all. It's gonna be wonderful. Uh, Rag, I've been watching your videos from a few years ago, and I'll say I'm really glad that people like Anita Sarkeesian seem to have disappeared. Big ew. Oh, there's plenty of people to take her place. They're like fucking vermin. I think it was weeds. <laughs> you, you pull them out and it's like... Well, I'm pretty sure that uh, Jonathan McIntosh is found greater success post feminist frequency yeah mm -hmm. his uh At least he's doing it culture. honestly we covered one of his well, videos early on it wasn't it was a shitty video but you know yeah it was well oh fuck i can't remember yeah, it was really through gandalf and, and it, was theory TLJ, or it was tlj it was the the women's oh, stuff yeah. and the tlj is about men learning to accept you know like <laughs> control from women or something like that <laughs> yeah learning how to have the balls cut off Le learning how to be wrong what it's about. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Uh, us men were just like, what? Being wrong? What? What's that about? We're um, here to teach you. Thank you. We need to stop the Kang on Kang violence. I mean, yeah, Kang is responsible <laughs> for all violence. Yep, everything. Man, there's, there's a lot of things people would want to say to Kang, but it, <laughs> like this, a lot of questions. <laughs> See, this is the thing. They don't even take advantage of their opportunities they create. The fucking dialogue in all of that last episode of Loki was shit. You're dealing with literally, like, the god of the fucking universe who decides everything related to the place you live in, and they're just like... Kill him. <laughs> like, it's like, okay. Well, yeah. them to, is, that's the... Yeah. Well, I just mean, like, wouldn't you, out of curiosity, just be like... Fucking, how does any of this work? How do you manage to control the timelines? Like, physically, how do, how do you, you do that? Well, and Loki kind of... But the other Loki was just like, stab. Yeah, Sylvie was obsessed with just killing yeah. him. He was like, okay. You know, was, you know, that was just stupid. We're going to talk all about that the following week. <laughs> like, yeah. We'll get there. Uh, imagine that you have four balls over the Wingus of course. Do you shum <laughs> twice as hard, or do you take it twice as long to finish shumming? Wow. I don't think... Mm. So, Wait, yeah, the amount flip. of testicles you have probably doesn't have anything to do with your sexual stamina. Mm. Um, it'll probably affect how much you ejaculate, I would imagine. If I, I assume that would be how it works. Um, but I'm not certain. Well, it, it does come from the testicles. <laughs> so... And yeah, the prostate right. and the vas deferens tubes and all that sort of stuff. Out of curiosity, Rex, you would know the answer to this question. I get what it would mean to shum for twice as long, but what does it mean to shum twice as hard? Is that a matter of? Uh, in terms of like psi, hmm. for you know, like, we're trying like hydraulic pressure, that kind of thing. Of course, yeah. Is the, the the sheer force at which it exits the body? I assume would be Ow. what they mean by that. Well, yeah. In that case, I I would be investing yeah, in the answer. Yeah, pretty extreme. Pretty extreme stuff. Hmm. 
there are a few who would tell you about it. I would prefer a long shum. That's yeah. I wouldn't want to, you know, yeah. enjoy it. Um, if I had to double length or double intensity, I think I'd double length. Enjoy it, you know. Duration, maybe. Yeah, that sort of thing. Enjoy your swang. A bit of shumming. See, the music is on, game, but you told me it's off. You lied to me. Why would you do this? It's still on. It's still on. Stop it. All right. And we know where C-3PO is now, so this will be good. It was nice of Rick and Morty to follow you guys' stream up of one of the worst episodes yet. Yeah! yeah. That was, that yeah. was sweet. We, that we was super was awkward. Spent the stream no, explaining why Rick and Morty is well written, and why a lot of the episodes are just fantastic, and then they drop what we consider to be the worst episode ever. Worst episode. <laughs> Categorically. Well, I guess, I, guess I know what I- Guess I'll know what I watch tomorrow before I stream. Yeah, you already Wait, have your opinion. Episode 3 is one of the worst ever? What's that, sir? I think it was- You're saying episode 3 was one of the worst ever? No, 4. Was a good one? Episode, episode- So, 2 was great, uh, like amazing, 3 was really great, and 4 is like the worst episode by a pretty considerable degree. I don't oh, even man. think it's up to debate. Like, it's bad. It's outright bad, which Rick and Morty isn't. Really bad. It really fucks with the characters, too. Um, yeah, like, Rick was just downright acting out of character. Oh boy. Man, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Well, you yeah. know, there's this not like there's no joke to laugh at in the episode. You'll at least probably be amused by some of the stuff. There was some stuff that I, mm. I even remember. I don't want to say it so you have some fun left, but yeah, yeah. it was probably the worst one. That was some not, fun yeah. stuff. Like, um, mm. There was some cringe. I don't mind spoiling the cringe. Um, so, the part of the family is, obviously it's the, the crazy uncle, grandpa man, and then sort of naive boy, and then older daughter, and then mum. And the daughter and the mum in this episode, for some reason, they were relegated over to, doesn't it suck how women are, like, taken advantage of in society? And that's, like, the joke. And their entire involvement in the episode is they suggest a solution to something, and someone then suggests the exact same solution as a guy. And then they're like, wow, that's not fair. And the one's like, yeah, welcome to the world of men taking women's ideas. And then at the end of the episode, they're like, it's the men aren't even good at solving the problem when they have the information. We'll have to do it ourselves. Literally just that. Yeah. Oh, they, it's they, absolute they cringe. They literally say, let's Nancy Reagan this bitch. I oh, don't she even was know the that one means. behind <laughs> well, Ronald Reagan's <laughs> success. And okay. Well, I think that's the implication, which again, I find amusing because she did the just say no thing. What, man, brilliant minds, just say no. How <laughs> helpful. No. Yeah. It's I'm some... pretty sure Dave Chappelle had a joke about that. Just say no, what's so hard about that? It's like... <laughs> Wait, this C-3PO was a fucking decoy. Oh Bamboo is all- Oh my god, but that- We- we- remember? The Rick and Morty, <laughs> the, the good episode, decoys. I do decoys. remember. Oh shit. Um... Yeah, so, um, I, we were all expecting there to be another joke on top of it. Like, they will start with... A common saying like, "Oh yeah, men steal women's ideas," but then that was it. It was like, oh. "Yeah," which Rick and Morty rarely just does something that simple. Yeah, you could cite the the retarded conversation, right? That's that seems yeah. to have both perspectives in it, and then it ends, and so it's just like you can make of it what you will. Um, but this wasn't that at all. It was fucking like I said, just cringy. Uh, not to mention the fact that Summer's idea fucks everything up. But she yeah, care. but they never, they don't call her on that. <laughs> yeah. Whereas, again, it could have been funnier if she kept saying that it was her idea, and as soon as it went wrong, they're like, this was your idea, Summer, what are we gonna do to fix it? Mm -hmm. How are you gonna fix this for us? Yeah, she, literally a line is, after her idea is taken by a man, she says, today you become a woman, because of that. Yeah. Like, and oh, that's the no. end of the scene. That's the end of the scene. It's not- it's so- it's, I would call it downright fucking unusual as hell to get that from Rick and Morty. They'd usually make fun of that, not do it. Do you think- Well, it, you know who um, one of the writers of Loki is? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the thing, right? Yeah, We're, I was about to say, maybe that's the link here of, oh, wow. When you- the when you- Infection sets in. His comments on the like, videos, uh, highlights and stuff, where people say, like, please don't let this guy write this again. Like, whoever did this, get yeah. them off the show. They, Most they... people are just saying this sucked. Like, whoever wrote this, like, time out, get him the hell out of here. Oh, boy. Well, it was the first episode he wrote, so he is one of the new writers. Jeez. Imagine oh, being shit. that, though, Sorry. the first one who wrote the bad episode. Oh. Like, that's, uh... 
Yeah. Well, I'm sure he thinks. I wonder it. how he got. Oh the wait, job. didn't didn't he shit on it in post or something? He did, yeah, but I don't care if he shit on it. You wrote it. No, of course. I, I just, <laughs> it's this just that's just funny. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they you know, know what suck. Yeah. Yeah, because um, you know, if we're speaking a little bit more brass tacks, like the fucking the majority of the episode is toilet humor. It's like this poops mm -hmm. is coming and ass, and you're just like, all right. Yeah. Uh, come. You know, you can make all that stuff funny and everything, but it's just like it's really common denominator stuff. And Rick and Morty usually tries to have a couple of layers to their Rick jokes. Rick and Morty doesn't really do that. Yeah. Fucking so music. I think I'm gonna head out now because it's getting late, and I uh, ah, I see work and stuff. Because fuck me. Alright. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. Alright, we'll catch you around, Mr. Metal. There's links for you in the, in the description as well. Uh, yeah, you recently. If you want to hit me. D yes. You recently passed 4,000 followers, right? Yesterday, Ooh. actually. Yes, yes. Very exciting. You're gonna, uh, you're gonna drink alcohol for this occasion? I'm, <laughs> I'm, you, you, I'm gonna, gonna gather all y'all, yours around. And then we're gonna have some some good old Dranklages. I don't know when yet because the, <laughs> we have like all this EFAP stuff happening on the weekends now. Oh yeah, stocked mm -hmm. right So up. it might be a little bit as you're invited as well if you want to. I can pop your mm -hmm. message. So it's basically we play games and get drunk. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm, I like both of those things. Those things I are know, right? pleasant. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, I, yeah. I like those things. Those things are good. Yeah, I give them a I, thumbs I, up. I, yeah, I can pop you a message, tell you when it is, and if you have time, you can come around and get fucked up. It's great. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, I guess I'll be ranting about Rick and Morty tomorrow then, if anyone's interested. And yeah, if you like YouTube more than, than the Twitch, uh, the, 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 there's the Archive channel. I think you linked that too, if I saw that right. Yeah, yeah, see, it's all in there, because Mahler is the best. So there Aww. you go. Uh, yeah. That, that, that's about it. I'm tired, so I'm gonna leave you to that. Do the chatting of the supers and go get your bonus $500 reduce or not. It's gone. You had your chance. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, anyway. Uh, no. I'll, I'll hey, you why am I using the, the other image? Why did they change their image? <laughs> I'll catch you all around. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you, dude. Bye. 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 Hey. Um, fuck, Mary kill, BJ Blaskowitz, Sinua, and a really nice guy that looks and sounds exactly like the elusive man. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna marry Sinua. Wait. I'm gonna marry Sinua? elusive man. Is, wait, <laughs> is, who is Sinua? Is that the chick or is she called something else? Sinua is the name of the, uh, Hellblade protagonist. Okay, yeah, so marry her. Dude, dude she's one? fucked in the head! Um, yeah, but... I feel like we can work through those problems, you know. <laughs> and like, <laughs> yeah. I would, um, I would fuck her. Um, I've, I'd kill BJ because he's died before. Um, so died get, before. Well, that's over, not a reason. He'd probably get over it <laughs> and marry the elusive man guy because I bet he's got all kinds of connections Money. and. All kinds of different things that he could do, and he's super powerful and influential. Take in his, his own act way. on the road. And if I die, he could bring me back to life. Oh, yeah. Damn. Just like Evanescence. You could bring BJ back to life. There you go. Boom. We just uh, full. We just tied that up in a neat little bow. I say so. It was nice of. Uh, oh, wait, I read that. Lions shouldn't be called king of beasts when a grizzly bear could win easily. Lions shouldn't be called. Well, if king you drop a humpback beast. whale on anything, it'll die. <laughs> <laughs> um. It's a. Like, I've just never really thought about it. Is uh, a lion versus the average bear, I'm assuming, does the bear just win well, easily? Well, not the average bear. You, grizzly bears. A grizzly bear. Oh, right, right. I think right. a lion will probably kill a black bear, but I think um, a grizzly bear will but, absolutely kill a lion. But it will a tiger, because tigers are a lot bigger. I feel like a tiger versus a grizzly bear is actually grizzly a bear close wins. matchup. Are you I think, sure? I think the grizzly bear easily has it, in fact. I feel like the big thing that works in the tiger's favor is the tiger can probably run faster than the grizzly bear. Well, if it's a fight, like, that's not going to matter. Well, that's what I'm saying. If the fight ever gets too bad, the, 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 um, the tiger can retreat with more ease than the bear can. I don't so know the if... bear would win. 
Well, no, because you could tire the bear out and then attack the bear when it's tired. That bear's going to be fucked. I don't know if I don't. Which think one has the more endurance? Not gonna chase. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm I don't know sure, if the grizzly I... bear will chase. Um, I know I, grizzly I, I, bears I... are fast. I do know that they're fast, like a human can't outrun them. But I feel like a tiger could. Um, but tigers like are tiger... like like felines are normally sprinters themselves. They're not endurance runners. Maybe. Yeah. Um. I guess I'm just wondering bizly, if like a bizly bear, a, a <laughs> grizzly bear is, they're like 600 pounds. Yeah, that's like true. Like they're fucking big and strong. And while yeah, and the if... tiger is extremely ferocious, I just think the sheer mass and durability of a grizzly bear is just that's too much true. for a tiger to handle. But hang. I mean, I feel like a tiger's got the element of like better stealth if it could sneak up and land the first hit, if it can get a really I guess that would be my would qualifier. To... If it can get a really good hit in at first, then it will win. And if it doesn't, then I'm not sure. I... Maybe, but I don't think that a tiger... So, I think we talked about it earlier, the... the how... Is it even possible or how likely is it that one of these animals gets in a killing hit? Like, how would a tiger actually kill the grizzly bear? Well, tigers... Grizzlies are so... Throat. Yeah, but a, a grizzly bear is a big throat i i very a, a tiger is also a big throat i guess that's like i feel like you're <laughs> underselling how big tigers are i could be taught Apparently, either way on this i'm just waiting for the arguments <laughs> apparently tigers can mm. run between 49 to 65 kilometers per hour which is actually slower than a lion uh and how fast is a grizzly bear 56 I... kilometers per hour so they're actually evenly matched and, and running, huh? There you go. But a tiger can potentially get a little bit faster. I, yeah, I, feel, I, I, I guess I I'm feel the bear has got it. Had an strength, mm. strength and durability of a, of a bear. Tigers are really big. Like I feel like they I need to keep addressing they're, that. They're, they're, they're big. Like Siberian tigers are huge. They're the biggest of the, all the cats. I, I think that the the bear's got so much durability to it. Why do we assume that a tiger doesn't have durability? I, it has some, but I just yeah, think the like, grizzly bear. Like out. the weight of a Siberian ti Siberian tiger is between 180 to 306 kilograms. Yeah, How they're much both did you really say big. Grizzly bear is? Let me check. Well, uh, so someone said chat bears are pretty huge too. Yeah, but that, that's like self-evident. That's why I'm trying to push back on it. Like, in terms of the tiger, we all know bears are really big. People will assume that tigers are really small, though. But they're of 700 yeah. pounds. Yeah, so the average adult male weighs as much as a tiger. And I, I think the build of the bear, the build of bear, if you will, is the the it's going to be just, it's going to be more durable and tanky. Why would you say that when we've just now discovered that they weigh as much <laughs> as each other? Well, I, I I think that in the the way that it's structured in terms of its like it, the the way that it's built. Okay, so I've I've cited to you what they weigh, and you're not giving me anything. You're just saying that they yeah, have. Yeah, so, I said the way built. that they're the, built in terms. Like, think of it this way: so a tiger is a, a like an ambush predator, and it's a lot more in, in terms of its agility, whereas a bear isn't going to hunt in the same way. So it, I think it has a defensive aspect to it in terms of a, a tiger has to go out and get its prey. So that will determine its body structure and its build type. Yeah. Whereas a bear doesn't have to do that. So it won't have the same thing. So it's going to have more of a, like it's, it's stockier in terms of its build and its anatomy and its body shape is going to be more just, I, I guess, um, more stout. I... I would agree, but to that end, does that not mean that the tiger has certain advantages? I would say in a one-on-one, -on -one, I'd say that's a disadvantage. So, I've just looked it up as well, that on average, a grizzly bear is... Anyone in chat know how to get to C-3PO? Because I am lost. The sure Wildlife Federation to... says upwards of 700 pounds. Um, so it says adult males weigh on average between 180 and 360 kilograms. That is the average. And the average weight of a Siberian tiger is 180 to 306. 
So they are roughly the same. The grizzly bear occasionally edges it out on average. And also that the 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 uh, the height or length of a Siberian tiger is between 178 to 208 centimeters, and that a grizzly bear, um, a large coastal grizzly bear, may be up to three meters tall on its hind legs. Jesus Christ! Wow. Yeah, but it's, it's about the average and a half. length. <laughs> the average length is 198. So that means that they are about the same weight and the same height. But you're also... So, it, if if there is anything that I want to be taken away from this conversation, it is that it should not be a foregone conclusion that the tiger loses. That's kind of the point I'm making. I'm not confident that the tiger would win, but I don't think it's safe to assume that it definitely loses. If it was a polar bear, I think it's safe to say it loses. Uh, I, I would a... still say by by looking at them and <laughs> by kind of sizing up the way that their bodies are built and the behavior that these animals act in in terms of predation, um, I, I think that in a one-on-one -on -one fight, the bear would win. I don't think that I could say one way or another. Um, I think that it's honest. I think that it's very debatable. Um, and if I, I had a gun to my head, I would bet the bear, but I, I I don't know. I guess that's what I'm saying. Is I think I think you guys are underestimating tigers. I would I want to go with the tiger. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of rooting for the tiger at this point, but um. Because he's an underdog. I could be convinced. Well, I don't. Know. I don't, I don't I even know that it is an underdog. I feel like the, the, I feel like it's just a matter of I don't think. People appreciate just how big tigers are. They're huge. Like, yeah, they're like bigger when than I, lions. Yeah, when I see, like, bear claws and things of that nature and all the yeah. muscle that's, like, I yeah. I just think it. I think it's... Let's see what tiger claws look tank. like, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it could, it's more durable than a bear is in terms of its build and its structure than a, than a tiger is. It's going to be more built for chasing after these are, that are running these, from it it's what do you what what kind of animals do you think that tigers hunt rags animals that don't run away from them when they, that, when they try that, to kill them that's what i said right so so right so you're admitting that like they're, if they're the chasing. bear had to retreat the tiger the tiger's gonna catch him no, I, don't, I don't think the bear would retreat i think it would kill the tiger i don't think that i think the tiger would be extremely hesitant to one-on-one -on -one the bear anyway and i think a bear would be sure, but the question would, is like if they have to fight each other who's gonna come out on top yeah I, I think it'll be the bear i think that it's up for debate i think there's plenty of facts to support that <laughs> When we had like an expert in the field to give their uh Well, somebody who is an expert on tigers and bears specifically. <laughs> well or like the go... bear guy that went into the wilderness to hug bears and never came back and then they found his fucking mangled body because bears <laughs> fucking eat. Jesus. Yeah, and you know what? The tiger people tend to survive, Fringy, so there you go. The, ti the tiger <laughs> wonder... people do not tend to survive. That's not And true. I wonder how much like I, I'm not sure, but I would imagine that a bear has a lot because of the environment that they live in, in terms of climate in particular, um, uh, wait, that a bear careful. has... To say? Um, I'll try to be careful, but um, I, I would imagine <laughs> that they have a lot of uh, the thick skin and fat that helps to insulate Man. and protect them. I wonder if Siberian tigers have thick skin and fat to insulate them from the oh, very Siberian warm... Tigers? Yes, I was very specific about Siberian tigers. Uh, I s let's see, maybe uh, um, they I live in Russia. But they live in Russia. I still <laughs> like... think Grizz I still think grizzly bears would be just bigger and tougher and stronger and I, just you more... keep saying that but like i keep yeah. telling you that the average weight and height is like pretty I, similar weight and height is not what i'm just referring so to i guess the problem is that what you're referring to is what you see whereas i'm just lying like a like that. a whale weighs a lot but it's just gonna lay there well, right <laughs> so there's there's differences in terms of yes weight but it's just yeah. it's the build and your how it, tigers move faster yeah, it's, it's anatomy yeah but i don't think that speed is gonna be much of a factor in this I think at all. it does. If you land the first hit, oh, 
That, Wait, are you suggesting that really the, the tiger hit it and run and then let it bleed out a bit, or...? Oh, no, 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 I, I mean, don't... like, the tiger... The tiger pounces and lands like a really good hit. I that, think you have to... It has to get... The bear. I don't know if it could do that to a bear in a hit. Well, why do we assume that the bear could do it to a tiger in a hit? Why do we I assume think... that? Well, I, I think a bear would be stronger? I don't know that we can assume that, considering how big the, um, how big, uh, Siberian tigers are. Yeah, like, apparently Siberian we'll tigers, tigers kill brown less bears. Fat, no hibernation. Well, I'm Classic sure they do carry assertion. less Listen, fat. Listen, you fucking but... piece of shit. Like, <laughs> how, like, well, it's not a blind assertion. I'm looking at them. I'm looking up some numbers on them. I'm trying to take into some things into consideration. I'm not a fucking expert here. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it's right. It's just, it's just... Let 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 me see. Could maybe maybe there's like actually a Google. Could have tiger... Google the fight. Like yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm about to do. Could Google the fight. Be a yeah. bear. Tiger. Siberian tiger so, versus the grizzly uh, oh bear. Oh my! Oh wow! There is Siberian tiger versus grizzly bear. <laughs> oh wow! What's the result? So this is what it says: um, Siberian tiger is a far better hunter than the North American grizzly bear. Both the grizzly bear and Siberian tiger uh, poor swipes are equally powerful, but the tiger is more technical than the grizzly. The Siberian tiger canine teeth are longer and thicker than a grizzly bear, but a grizzly bear is slightly heavier, longer, and taller. Um, so... Yeah. Like Interesting to think about. It's debatable. That's, that's... I think that that is inarguable at this point. It'd be interesting to know stuff like know. ferocity levels, like I wonder which one out does well, that. Well, from what, they, from what that one said... Um, ferocity, 10. Probably for both. Well, I think I think I think grizzly bear has more of a willingness to fight than a, a tiger. Me. Like a tiger would want to. I think so. No, yeah, no, I, I, think I would. So. Tigers I think have so. better self-preservation. Yeah, they're more ambushy, and they have especially yeah. predators are going to be. Predators are generally going to be very skittish about what they attack, because a predator has to be on the move, and it has to like if if a if a deer gets hurt. It's a deer, right? It could just it, its food isn't hard to get, right? But if if a tiger or a lion or something, if they get fucked up, then that's that's disastrous because they have to go out and do the hunting of their food. So a a, a predator is going to be a lot more picky and choosy and careful about its targets they because animals, yeah, because yeah. if it gets hurt. It, it, then it, it fucked. Like, if it gets a, a wound on its leg or something, it's, mm. it's, it's fucked. It's screwed. It's going to starve to death because it can't hunt now. It's really um, interesting. There, there are people in chat who are aggressively asserting that one would win over the other, and there's both. Yeah. Really interesting. <laughs> we might have found the TLJ of animal fights. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's good. I see that, <laughs> that, that, that a few people are saying the thing is, is that like the tiger needs to succeed at first, um, and then, but and if not, then it's going to be a lot. Like it starts to stack against the tiger. Yeah, because I've um, got because I'm just looking through comparisons of both, and each has strength, and where I think the biggest strengths that would come from that would benefit from a one v one like this, I I would give it to the bear. I I think it might uh, just its depend on strength it. and its. Uh, I guess I just I guess I guess what I'm finding difficult is like every time I keep saying I think like there's so many factors at play that put them on something of a level playing field that it's debatable and then we just go oh yeah no but the the bear will win. <laughs> All I yeah, want you to say to is that it's debatable, which I, it I, is. Sure, I mean we're debating it now, but I think that the bear would win. What I am saying is that I don't think that it, that you can comfortably say one way or the other. I feel pretty comfortable. I don't know why, d given all of the information that's just been I, outlined. I, but... Oh, I I still think the bear would win. I still think that the um I think that the the attributes that would matter the most in one v one, strength and almost a, more importantly. Why do we assume that ambush the... wouldn't help you? Why does I the don't think that it could one -on -one? because I think that the bear is super resilient. Do we need to be more specific about the fight? Is it going to be like in a Final Destination Arena thing? 
I I want us to be in a, a, yeah in an arena where the two enemies don't know where each other. Because if it were in a jungle and they just both dropped in, maybe that changes. Yeah. Who wins? Well, I, don't know. I, I, I guess definitely give the like, tiger an advantage. I I I would say that I think what I'm starting to feel is like if it, if it was two of them in like a dome like a you know like in a in a wrestling ring then the bear's probably gonna have more of a chance of winning but if we put him in a jungle the tiger's got a better chance of winning hence why i think it's debatable who would I mean, win well the tiger would i would the tiger like verticality better you know i would imagine that if it has stuff that it can hide in and things like that that's going to help out the tiger a lot conversely if they're in a you know like on a level playing field fighting with each other it's like the bear you know, it's just like, it's, you know, direct brute force at that point. People say straw poll. Straw yeah, poll only tells me what the audience thinks would win. Yeah, which I'm Grizzlies, not, I want to know what Because Grizzlies will think. climb trees. I want to know what a Siberian tiger thinks. Yeah. And I do grizzly. think that Siberian tigers are, are pretty neat animals, though. I oh, do yeah. really like grizzly bears, but tigers, they're, uh, they're cool. I'd love to hug one without it killing me. Oh, I'd yeah. like to hug one, but I don't want to die, so... Yeah, the, the yeah. cub versions of, like, some of the most adorable creatures on the planet. Oh, I know! Wow. You just, like, I want to keep one, and then it grows up and eats you, and you're like... <laughs> like, oh man, really? Okay. I should have probably given it away after about three months. Mm -hmm. And I wonder uh, how much of it comes down to, like, the non-physical... In terms of if... Cause, because one is just a hardcore predator, and the other isn't to my knowledge uh, i think bears are omnivorous and they don't like they'll do fish and plants yeah, and stuff like that they don't do carnivores yeah so i wonder if that plays a big part in it and it's almost like saying who would win like a, a gazelle or a i don't know a yeah. whatever like it, it, if that would have a if a, a it factor could also into it. Uh, be one of those things where it's like mole versus rags and both have a knife and it's like i guess it could be either at certain points depending on how everything goes uh i would be curious yeah. to see if the modifier that the the lion recently ate one of the the bear's cubs i wonder if that would like no oh, the emotional yeah yeah, yeah i wonder yeah. if that would make a difference like in a significant wrote, way yeah i i didn't know who wrote this fight exactly mm -hmm. we we should just ask kang <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah he knows win. all he um, would predetermine who would win tigers are a natural predator of bears is that true well i think it was said that tigers can kill certain types of bears but the problem I'm, is when yeah. we're talking about grizzly bears that's like we're getting big and but i'm if it was a polar bear there's no contest the polar bear wins every fight every time yeah. out of a um, out of curiosity not, for myself and for others what um, is it about the polar bear that gives it such the edge they're the biggest they they're are huge. the biggest by far they're massive is they're there anything huge. else like claws or teeth or anything uh well, everything so they're that big, the size highly will... aggressive yeah um, super territorial extremely yep. strong massive yeah and they're Great extremely insulated so there is a I might be doing this That's wrong, but fat. would you say there's a psycho psychological element to the benefit of a polar versus grizzly in terms of it's like it's way more willing to? Uh, yes, yes, I would say that's a I part of so. it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Whereas, which which I think would, I'd almost say, like, if you, because if a tiger was to kill a bear, which maybe they do, I'm, I'm not sure, I would imagine that a tiger would be pretty desperate to attack a bear as opposed to other things it could be attacking. Yeah, some people say brown bears are what they attack what? and that brown bears are very different from grizzly bears, but I'm very uneducated on this. And they're not as mean. They are. They're friendlier. <laughs> there was a movie called Brown Bear, right? And he was, he was chill. I think. Brother, Brother Bear? Oh, Brother Bear, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's Oh, yeah, that's, that was a movie. When did that come out? Brother. Uh, like 2003, that was 2006. Four. No, 2003. Oh, wow. The, the sequel oh, no, was in I was 2006. Right. Yeah. The sequel was in 2006. The first one was in 2003. Is, oh, like um, one of the last is the polar bear uh, the top of the food chain if everything were put onto a yes. level playing field sort of thing? Obviously, yes. it wouldn't be fair to include oh, fucking aquatic bear. shit. But well, the polar bear. if we're talking about that particular biome, it is absolutely at the top. Like Neat. the Arctic biome, it's at the top. But then if you were to, like, I'm not sure. Like if it was a grizzly, if it was a polar bear versus a crocodile, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Like mm. what that looks like, you know, uh, a saltwater crocodile specifically, the ones that are like five meters long. Um, I, I'm not, I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, because they they're both they both swim and all that sort of thing. They're both but pretty. The, the crocodile's got just like a rock hard exterior. That's that's like the and the strongest. I bet they're both any animal yeah. in the world. Have you seen yeah, that, that video of the crocky in the uh, turtle? The what? Sorry, uh, it's just like. Do you seen the video of the crocodile eating the turtle? Jeez, I no, I haven't. <laughs> It just it just yeah. puts it just puts in its mouth and it's is cracking its shell like a Damn. nut. Yeah, so it's they using are using its huge jaws to crack through, man. Bite. Oh. Strongest bite in the animal kingdom. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I I I'm not sure about. I saw some people saying, "Oh, the polar bear, obviously." Again, I want you guys to consider, like, whether or not you're just assuming that the bear will well, win because it's a bear. Like I said, the, there's surely a possibility that if the tiger lands just the right swipe and just the right way yep. to start the fight, it could, uh... Yep. You know, I, I'm that's, assuming we all concede all it's possible for either party to win. It's not an impossibility. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. It is entirely possible, and I don't even think it's, like, a rare possibility, right? Like, if the stars align, I don't even think it's that. I think it's, um, I think it's serious contest. Yeah, I'd uh, I'd pay five bucks to watch. I'd feel I I'd feel guilty it. as fuck. I feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it would be. If we could do a yeah, simulation, be I'd be fine with it. If we, yeah, that'd be. Because man, like like uh, like Alfred in Batman and Robin. Alfred? I created a simu oh. simu simulation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, that man was busy when he was uh, at his older age, getting shit, getting shit done. <laughs> All yeah, right. I decided to make something in your size. How do you know my? It's fine. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, how did? Yeah, how did you know your niece's fucking measurements? You dirty old bastard. Hey man, he's be making a Batman suit. You're allowed at that point because it's so cool. And died of McGregor syndrome. Leave me alone. Also, yeah. So I've unlocked everything in this game. I think now, except just buying all the stuff, which means all we're gonna do is just play some random campaign missions while I've got my bonuses on. It'll be great. I saw I saw somebody saying that it's 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 like no contest with a polar bear and a crocodile. I guess I'm just not convinced. Like I don't polar know. bears yeah, are super I... badass and all that, but like, man, I don't know. Saltwater crocodiles. They're like. They're like five meters tall. Is it a matter of if the crocodile gets that one bite in in that one particular way, it's over sort of thing? Well, I think it is. That's the issue. The one bite is like that. That uh, that that crocodile's got you. They got you at that point. Like humans can develop strategies to beat saltwater crocodiles, like by poking them in the eye. That that actually works. But like, I don't know if a polar bear will recognize that that's what it should do. Yeah, because they're not the uh, these are not two critters that are going to be familiar with each other. Absolutely, um, yeah. So I, so I almost feel like, uh, hmm, I don't know. I just, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, because they're they're in such different locations. A polar bear is. I feel like it would be like the crocodile relies a lot on its as many you know predators do rely a lot on their environment to camouflage and stealth it yeah. as it ambushes prey mm. and i don't think that would work nearly as well in an arctic scenario if we took temperature out of the equation entirely and if this was in the arctic then i think it would i don't think that would work nearly as well but if we reversed it and said what if the polar bear was in uh, a, a swamp, swamp or yeah. something like that yeah well a i feel like the polar bear's in a bit of trouble if it's in the swamp yeah yeah, um, I think this is one of those things where I don't think these animals would fuck with each other unless they were desperate. No, no, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't see, the, I think that's a big thing with a lot of animals is like, they're not going to pick these crazy fights. Yeah, predators not are not, dying. they're going to take the easy meals that they can, because yeah. they cannot, a, a, a tiger or a yeah. lion or, yeah, bobcat, these, these critters cannot afford to get hurt. They're not going to cook a gourmet bobcat. meal, they'll just put something in the microwave. You know who Bob not Cat. to fuck with though? Yeah, the honey badger. Yeah, I, yeah honey, pretty, oh, uh, honey badger vicious, beats everything. They? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I like the idea. I like how like mong mongoose, you know, kick the shit out of uh snakes. Cobras, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're all ricky ticky tavy. That's, that's just really <laughs> funny. Like that cobras, like they're not afraid of anything except for fucking mong <laughs> mongoose. Mongoose. <laughs> mong <laughs> mong 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 Mongoose. What, is it, what right. about a grizzly versus a xenomorph? I feel like the xenomorphs oh, are dominant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 
Yeah, I feel like the Xenomorph is gonna kill anything on Earth. Not to mention, yeah, like, even if it does lose, it kills them with its blood. Like, it's... Yeah, any mm. animal is gonna... So, most most animals are melee killers. They don't have projectiles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, that's where it's gonna... That's where it's gonna get. And, like, if we're putting it in any kind of natural environment where there's a space to surprise attack, oh, that Xenomorph is gonna fuck you up. It, I guess it depends on like how much. What does a xenomorph smell like? And if it does smell, how uh, how well would another animal be able to notice that and adapt to it? I wonder if that's um, an element of fairness in terms of like, should it be that we give that grizzly the benefit of knowing the scent of the xenomorph ahead of time? I but, think we should. I think we have to. I think yeah, but so if we if even, even make and, this and... marginally fair, we have to give the grizzly bear all of the possible advantages it could get to even begin to make it fair. And I think even then, it would just, even if it was just a 1v1 cage it's... match. The thing that makes the alien so hard bear. to beat for the bear as well, for loads of things, is the, the tail attack. It just yeah. fires yeah. that thing like a spear like a, into you. Yeah, it's it's like a spear, and that's... We, we had to do things like, what about uh, what about 78 snapping turtles versus, uh, <laughs> the I don't know, like, a, like an orca <laughs> or something. It's just the weird stuff. I can hold versus an orca. Nice. <laughs> Animal fights. We'll have to. We said we'd do a tournament for like video game characters. We should do one for Animal Kingdom, and we can't look at Google. We have to basically just argue. Oh my God. And then people argue vote. the point. Yeah. Wow. No googling, even though everyone like knows exactly what the answer is. We're like, no. But won't people just vote for their own bias? Oh, that was the thing we were trying yeah, to figure probably. out. How would we do this? Because um, maybe maybe you have uh, any ideas for this? As do you like the idea that you put some video games characters against each other, and then they're like, you know what, we'll mm. put. Um, just to take, we'll take Galactus from whatever Marvel game, and then we'll put him against Mario, and everyone votes for Mario because they like him more. So we'd be like, um, I don't <laughs> think Mario's gonna win. <laughs> maybe what we could do is we could get some trusted friends of EFAP or some regulars, and they make a a list of matchups that are, you know, like they're not randomized, you know, but people specifically think of pairings for us to discuss. So what if we got, you know, like, Das and Goger and Southpaw and, um, you know, all kinds of other people, and we sort of, like, Theo, he could he could probably come up with a great list of potential fights that we could do. I wonder if it presents a problem if, say, for example, um, Dante was in there, and, like, I'm not familiar enough with his games to be able to argue whether or not he would win, sort of things like that. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I think there would be enough of, um... Between us? You know, we had enough like to where we could skip if we didn't know mm -hmm. and they did it wouldn't even have to be versus uh like a like a versus sort of thing it could be um you one that i a friend of mine when we worked together we talk if you were isaac so you're isaac clark on the ishimura would mm -hmm. you rather have um tech powers or biotic powers to survive when you say biotic and powers what do you mean like mass effect so that would be like a ma like because we were both familiar with Mass Effect, so uh, okay. kind of equivalent like, to telekinesis. Okay. Yeah, like like uh, lifting people up and pushing them. So it, you know, it... I guess I need questions like, what's my recharge on that? Can I expend all of my biotics? And um, you know, with the I forget what it's called in the game, but he has like a form of a telekinesis, right? He but does. it's tech. He yeah. has a stasis, yeah. That is science fiction tech. So, I mean, if I... Well, I mean, in that case, I want the science fiction tech because it means I have bullets and that. If we were going to say that... Because st stasis is also a biotic power. Um, it is in so Mass Effect, yeah, but if I have it as a tech thing in, in uh, this game, then I'm no. just going to take that. No, it's like not allowed to. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, I fucked up in my game. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> because... Because then we get to the well. What if you were trapped on the Ishimura? Remember, you had to you had to repair the Ishimura and escape. So you're gonna want tech. It's not savvy? just the Xenomorphs. You know how much does you needing tech abilities to repair the Ishimura and that sort of thing? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Factor into it. So that's it. Things can like I that learn? Those. That's the thing. If there were like books on the station, can I learn how to become an engineer? Yeah. Who knows. If because if so, that that changes things. My answer, anyway. Oh yeah, kinesis is what it's called in uh, Dead Space, right? 
Stasis is the one where he is slows him down. Stasis, stasis is oh. a slow down, and then Kinesis is where he moves stuff. Right. Um. Yeah, and you know, you could probably do that, that bluish glow over it. You could probably do with this with all kinds of things, but then it'd get real nerdy, like all. All comic book movie villains, which one is the, the top dog? And I feel like there's probably so, going to be an obvious answer straight away, but still. I have no idea which one's supposed to be in canon the toughest. I feel like you get to We probably stick to the movies. Nonsense power creep kinds of things. You know, like putting Whiplash against Ironmonger. Be like, hmm. That's an about... interesting one. Yeah. Probably Slipknot Whiplash. Galactus. Slipknot versus Galactus. <laughs> yeah, when you, yeah, you, you think it's yeah when he, you know, Galactus is really shooting. powerful, but then you but realize Slipknot, he can Slipknot climb can anything, climb anything including Galactus. So there is, yeah, he can climb anything. We're so. already picturing it. He's like trying yeah. to grab him while he's swinging around him, climbing all over him. <laughs> he's just climbing, climbing up like, all the time. Yeah, and Galactus like get off, stop, stop it. it, it's mad. He stop can it. climb anything. Is Dead Space 3 worth playing? Yes, it is. Dead Space is, uh, 3 is not a bad game. We'll it do, is definitely worth playing through. We'll do a co-op playthrough of that eventually, one day. We'll Absolutely, do Resident Evil 6 as well. Dead Space, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the only, I, I'm, it's the only one I haven't played because of the... Um... Microtransactions? The, well, the, well, yeah, the acquisition from, from EA and... Uh, you know, I just it looked like they really depleted the horror element of the... Uh, not yeah. as no, it's definitely definitely not as scary as the other two. Gameplay wise, it's still pretty good. Um, there, there's a, there's there's a lot of good stuff in Dead Space Three, but Kara, but but I I don't think that I, I don't recall the writing being particularly good, it's serviceable mm. from memory. Though it's been a while since I played it, uh, the story is don't even bother. The environments are pretty great. Uh, I think that of the three games the potential for dead space 3 could have put it above the other two if it was done well uh conceptually but the gameplay is still pretty darn solid the pc version runs well and controls well and there's a lot of gameplay uh in mechanical options that you get in terms of customizing your equipment and things and the different kinds of guns you could get um but yeah there's, there's a lot to like about it but it's definitely the weak uh of the three I still well, think I go. like the first one the most. It's just so such atmosphere. It I just I love it. <laughs> Imagine you mix and match enemies as well as like characters to fight in this leaderboard, and you're like, okay, Mario versus, and then creatures from Dead Space. <laughs> and he's like, ah! <laughs> you have to jump on them and stuff to squish them. Not you have to, would he have to jump on their limbs? Um. Well, I was thinking he might need the just the the flower power, right? And you can just set them on fire. Probably yeah, that's true. You can set them out of it. But here's the thing: uh, there are flamethrowers in Dead Space that you can use, and they're they're all right. Um, they're they're, they're yeah. good for you know tapping to you know conserve ammo. Well, but that's the I thing wonder is how infinite, much right? you'd have to. You can huh? fire those uh, flower power balls forever. As as long, no, as long as he doesn't get hurt, because then he'll just if he gets hurt once, then he he depowers into Super Mario. So well, he's got to really be careful. Yeah, I, I assumed we were saying, assuming he doesn't get hit by anything. There's yeah, no, um, I think so. Yeah, I yeah. think it goes on and cool. on, or until he fin. Uh, yeah, and if he finishes the level, he still carries it on. So yeah. that's uh, true as well. But I wonder how much flames would do against a necromorph. Like if if you just started throwing fire, I feel like it's the. It has to be the intensity because if a flamethrower just isn't intense enough. It's just now you have a flaming necromorph that's running at you and it doesn't care about the pain and it just wants to kill you and now it's also on fire. How long can it keep going at you until the fire disables it? Have you watched the um have you watched the anime? No, the I know about Mario? it. For, uh, oh, Dead Space. Um Yeah. I have faint memories of it, but I remember very I watched, little about it. Was it the anime that was between Dead Space one and two? Is that when it came out? I watched something that it came up between then. The Ishimura, I think it was the. At yeah, least the I one I saw, I think, was the prequel to Dead yeah, Space. Yeah, it was. It's the pre. Yeah, there's the prequel which show what happened to. The, uh, mm -hmm. Ishimura. Did you ever unlock the foam finger gun of Dead Space? Yes, I did. I have all of the achievements for Dead Space One and Two. I played mm. the crap load out of those games. I was damn good at them too. But yeah, I love Dead Space One and Two. 
Three's alright, but man, I played the fuck out of the first two. I was very much in love with Dead Space 1 when it came out. I was... Like, this game is so fucking good. cool. Do you remember the, yeah, um... Yeah, it's freaky. It's freaky, man. Remember the dismemberment demo? That's what it was called. Um, that's what got it, at least with my group of friends, it was, uh... For the, Dead Space 2? Dead Space 1, like the, on mm. 360, it was just like, the dismemberment demo, and you start, and there's just like this alert, and someone on the issue mirror is just like, You've gotta take off their limbs! You're just like, oh my god. <laughs> wow. It's like emergency and stuff, but yeah, and then it's just a really cool, um, sort of environment and atmosphere, and even the weaponry, feeling like, engineering sort of stuff, and then the enemies are so... Gory and horrifying. Um, that's basically a cool, cool ask, universe. Kyle asked a good question. What's more dangerous, the Flood or the Necromorphs? With my limited Ooh. understanding of Halo, um, are we, wait, are we including all Necromorph types and then all Flood types, right? I assume that it's a, it's a nature of both of them to change their forms based on what they infest. I, I would if... say the Flood because they just don't stop coming and they... I was gonna argue, is it a problem that we have to consider their origin points and then is it is it the hive mind or something in Halo that like you consider where they come from and then what their power levels are and stuff? Um obviously the I'm marker In terms of fighting them, the the actual combat against them. I think that the flood would be deadlier to fight against, like on the ground on an infantry level. Hmm. Um I, I think the necromorphs you can kill with more ease, or at least with less difficulty, is probably the better way to put it than the flood. Is that a in terms of? Because how many bullets you reckon it takes, or for some other reason? Um, part of it is bullets. Uh, another part is you don't necessarily have. In terms of, with the part of this will depend on the armaments that you have, but flood are. The, especially when you factor in infection forms and how many of them there are, I think there would just be too many to deal with. Maybe that's the namesake. Necromorphs seem to be less of them, uh, whereas the the just the infection forms of the flood, which don't require hosts, those would be a significant problem in terms of how much like sheer ammunition expenditure and. Is how many of them there are? Um, I would, for instance, I would rather fight necromorphs than fight the flood. Mm -hmm. um, however, the flood, where they are more, they, there's a lot of spores and that sort of thing to them. The yeah. necromorphs, because of the markers, have a psychological element to them, which it might not be something that you could even fight at all, um, because when it comes to the the necromorphs, you have a a, a somehow no. I think it's I think it's uh, I think it's from the markers itself. It's proximity to markers, not the the necromorphs themselves, but this 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 uh, psychological, neurological, paranoia, suicidal tendency sort of mental disorder that you get from it. Um, and and I think that the flood are more able to intelligently go about their efforts. I, I I think the necromorphs are more like what happens happens kind of thing. Um, where they, but I think they have plans like at the end of Dead Space 3 there's like there's definitely a plan that they have but I think that Gravemind is more sapient in a sense so it can coordinate their efforts better than the, uh, than the necromorphs can. Um, but I don't know that's a toughie. They're both really really they're both really bad space baddies. Yeah, and you don't want to fight either sure. of them, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah I wouldn't meet, I'd like to meet any of them in Dark Alleyway. Do you remember the, yeah. the ones that are like, they're like kind of like chicken things? They run real fast in Dead Space, um, and they hide behind corners and stuff. I forget what they're called. Oh, yeah, those ones. Yeah, the Chargers. Yeah. I think they are called Chargers. Um, but They scream. <laughs> yeah, uh... I feel like the leaping capabilities of the Flood are already... Like, the Chargers aren't really that bad at all. They're definitely scary. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean them but for once my... Once you know how they... It would be yeah, so weird they're... to fight that in real life, but I think you could probably sort them out. Oh, yeah, I don't think those would be among the more deadlier kinds, because they're more ambushy and their well, tactics of course, are very predictable. Most deadly is probably going to be that uh, the Invincible dude, right? 
I think I don't think he was a natural necromorph. I think that he was if I if I remember it, that was a human creation based on experiments. Where um and I think flood forms arise I, I can't remember. A lot of this might come down to the sort of the, the nitty-gritty of how they get to new forms and um mm -hmm. how autonomous they are in their methods. But yeah, I'm not sure. And and plus, I'd have to go back and reacquaint myself with how like the, the necromorph moons work, um, and, and stuff like that. I'm I'm just not sure. Um, definitely, definitely a toss up. I I just know that on a on a ground level, I would rather fight necromorphs. I think I think necromorphs would be more manageable than. It does uh, feel a little bit intuitive almost to argue that it would be the the flood of more dangerous if they've. Stand, like in their iterations are most often against like, space is marines the, is the question who would i rather fight the flood or which, which are which are deadlier the flood or necromorphs the flood and i think that the flood are the deadlier ones i think um, the flood are the deadlier ones just by virtue of the fact that they're like spread as a parasitic organism and like even one spore can create an entire outbreak whereas with necromorphs it's the markers are like the big part yeah, they if so if we if we have it in the sense of if there is a marker nearby, um, that definitely shakes things up. But the flood don't require that marker, no. and the marker as well. The flood, as far as I know, are purely a, a they're purely biological, whereas yeah. the flood have a mental aspect of their their weaponness. They they emit a signal. Well, that it's the uh, it's the oh sorry you meant you meant backwards. It's the necromorphs that are. Uh... Well, the flood are controlled by the grave mind, which is intelligent and can like yeah. Make but the flood decisions. can make plan, or but the necromorphs can make plans as well. Yeah. Though yeah, I think so that I the grave so. mind is more intelligent and capable of exercising more like cohesive and concise plans. I like I would, would I I imagine the I think the grave mind would is smarter than the necromorph consciousness to whatever degree it exists. But I do think I think it does the problem exist. is we don't fully understand like the brethren moon thing. Um, yeah, maybe right before you unmuted, context. I was saying I needed to, the moons might play mm -hmm. a big deal. I don't know what they do exactly off of memory and what they're, and plus I think I think the moon is just an, and in a way I think grave mind is the same way, but like a grave mind is an emergent property of a sufficient mass of the flood. Yeah. So the flood would, I think they would both probably, gain power where they just sort of get just become progressively more and more and more powerful you just can't let them get the foothold but just in terms of fighting oh. them i'd rather fight necromorphs and one of my thing was i think the infection forms of the flood are a huge determinant in that mm -hmm. in how vicious and numerous they are well i guess um when we have plus our lore explanation the only way to beat the the flood is to kill yourself so, <laughs> like, that's, uh... Well, or... remember, that's how the aliens tried to kill the, uh, the necromorphs they as well. They, they, they yes. froze them. They froze everything on the planet. Um, so... Oh, so in that sense, they're similar. It's just, um... Yeah, they, they are similar, yeah. But I know if I, if I had a, if I had an infected, a flood-infected human or an elite barge in my door as com as compared to a necromorph mm. i that's tough one-on-one -on -one, i one versus one i think it's tough um i'm not sure i think the problem is that i'm afraid of being infected by the flood whereas i'm not afraid of being infected i'm afraid of being killed by the necromorph yeah um uh... and if i kill the mech if i kill the necromorph the threat is over but if i just shoot the flood until it's dead i've still got the problem with spores and stuff yeah that's the thing it's i think i would i i think i'd like take my chances with the necromorph it's kind of the whole thing the flood are unstoppable unless you've got like giant cruisers that can burn them or alternatively, when everything's dead and they can't eat anything. Whereas with Necromorphs, you just dis disassemble them and, and they're dead. You you've dealt with that problem. Um, there is As also yeah, no assuming the people who are alive to fight them aren't yeah. infected by the mark. That's the thing. It's yeah. uh, the markers play a huge role in it because the thing I don't know how you fight a marker. 
If you're a person and you go uh, to fight you the Necromorphs, it, yeah. yeah, you'd have to find a way to destroy a marker. And... Yeah. That's it's yeah. Definitely sort of different things. I think the, the Necromorphs might have the edge in terms of being defensive because of the marker, the, the worlds that the markers are on. But in terms of galactic conquest, I feel that maybe the, I think the Flood kind of have it. I Especially because I think it, yeah. they're more organized with a grave mind who knows, oh yes, ships and interstellar travel and things of that nature. Who wins in a fight between one floody boy and one necky boy? Um, That's tough. I don't know. Yeah. Because hmm. Flood, because Flood, even individual... Flood can shoot guns, though. That's the yeah, thing. that's what I was about Flood to say. Exactly, I was about to say. A Flood can, it retains certain intelligence from its host, so it can fire weapons. Mm -hmm. And Necromorphs seem to be, they're much more bestial. Um, I'm going to try and stab you. I'm going to run at you and try and stab you. Uh, so it depends. Um, if the Flood doesn't have guns, they're still strong. Uh, so I'm not sure on that one. It's difficult to say. I think it could go either way. Mm -hmm. Well then, I have no idea where we were in the super chest to get to where we are now. But I feel like we've we've discovered a lot about who would win in many yeah. different fights. It's been very educational. Uh, anyone remember the oh, gigantic? Absolutely. This is a waste of time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop responding to the sick offense. True. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone remember the gigantic black bear at the end of Fox and the Hound? That thing was massive. Loved that fight. Thoughts? That's a good movie. Oh. I like it a lot, but I haven't seen it in ages. I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah, I haven't seen it in Yeah, a long my time. memory's yeah. very thin on that one. Um, hi, Rags. Hello. Hi, Frog Daddy G. Yo. Hi, Az. <laughs> hi. Hi, Mola. Hello. And hi, chat. Wow. And hi, that one dude who bumped into me yesterday, uh, I guess. And hi, German. Oh, oh Mel, he's not here to be disrespected. It's okay. DS2 hot tub stream now. He's gonna do it. You gotta reach a certain, you know, amount of followers. That's how it works. You need a hot tub to just keep yourself calm as you're playing that game. Oh, hey, just look. Relax, you. Perfect uh, super chat. Anyone play the Sub Subnautica games? I know someone here who does. Yep. Uh, what's, um. <laughs> what's the quick review of them? They're great. The great Subnautica one's a uh, little bit more sandboxy, so you can really kind of get lost in it. Um, Subnautica uh, Below Zero is a little bit more linear, but it's uh, still tons and tons of fun. And I actually do a Subnautica Sunday stream on a, on a Sunday, believe it or not. Mm. You go around discovering crazy things in your little ice water world, right? Yeah. My little iced underwater world doing some weird shit. Yes. Um, everything that happens is written here. Don't read it or anything so that you know what not to do. This show is stupid. Yeah, um, they did a devs rags. He was like, I've got all of this stuff in the, in my hand of everything you guys are going to say. And they look at it and they see that it's stuff they've said already. And I was just like, read ahead and then counter it. Just yeah. don't do what it says. Then what? I guess you create a divergence in the fucking whatever. <laughs> it's just it's just annoying. Whenever characters have that opportunity, they never take it. There's a whole show about this. It really fucking annoyed me. It's um I don't know, man. It's just like it's right there. Oh, it says you're about to walk over there. It's like I guess I won't. And then he shouts at you because you're ruining it. I don't see why not. If you had X number of versions of yourself all go to the same store, look at the same jacket, and all of you are going to make the same choice, or not, um, a friend told me that you're always going to make the same choice because the environment is always the same. It's going to dictate the decision you make. Input determines output. Thoughts? So, um, I, I suppose you, you would get that impression, especially when understanding what it means to be in a deterministic universe. Like, how is it that you would make any other choice? Wasn't it always going to be this one? Um, Maybe. Uh, I think there's... I think there's some aspects of, like, quantum physics and how particles behave, where there, there's some there's some tism about them in mm -hmm. terms of and how it could mess with determinism, though I don't, I don't know enough to well, know uh, enough. The but... quantum, 
quantum sort of is just like different to the way that we understand the universe to work beyond quantum right is that yeah the, the newtonian physics isn't yeah it can't predict everything in that sense and there yeah. are there are levels of the universe and places and quote-unquote times where it just isn't applicable that so is fascinating so i don't know <laughs> um i that's, that's the thing so I, I just don't know i don't know yeah um well, so um, to, to maybe help give an answer they're looking for, um, because I'm assuming this relates to Loki, I don't get how Loki can be born a girl. I don't understand how that could possibly happen. If everything, How does that happen? It, and it's just like, it just did. And you're like, okay. How does... So Kang must have determined that then. I guess that they would argue everything that could ever happen in any way, shape, or form, in any way, order, has is on the table. Then there are like 10 billion branches per, like, millisecond. Basically, yeah. As far and as only I know, one woman, Loki. <laughs> yeah, which is weird, right? Yeah, I I don't think that the world is actually deterministic, um, though it, it is to a degree, but it isn't really truly deterministic. I think quantum part. I I just stuff I've heard is quantum particles and like when you get down to really really teeny tiny stuff and how they behave on their own own weird freaky level. It, it just goes it, you can't just rewind and everything would just be exactly as it is as far as I know but I'm not going to worry about it too much yeah you don't um, need to worry about it neither should you anyway. don't worry do good things yeah do better do better, do better. Do better. you've got to do better senator yeah <laughs> no, you, you don't understand. I I am a black man wearing stars and stripes. What don't I understand? Then you need someone to be like, that, that wasn't anything. <laughs> I don't even know why you yeah, said that. I, I just don't know what you mean. Um, ah, Chuckles. Like some of the Harlem Globetrotters. I don't, I don't well, what don't they understand? They, I don't know. I'll tell you what, they, they understand how oh, to play Potter a Creed. game of basketball. Yeah. You should be president. He understands it everything. Get him in there. I am a real ah, Chuckles, Brody nice. But weird. Nice work, boy. Yo, maniacal laugh still gives me chills, mate. I love that reveal in Bioshock. It's awesome. It's um, you've already got all the information you need, but when when Atlas is getting all like excited because he's he's won, he's like, nice work, boy. Yo. And it's it's great. Um, it's a great way to make uh, a narrative out of a game, in the sense of like you don't even think about it in the sense of oh you're playing a video game. These are your objectives. You do them. Of course you do. I mean this guy's telling you to do it. Yeah, you get the heads guy. up display. Yeah, that's what you do to progress. It's a, I I'm playing a video game, and then they kind of use that aspect of it being a video game to um, add something to the narrative, which I. I definitely really super appreciate. I thought that yeah, there's cool. there's something to talk about there thematically. Like video games were almost like automatons in terms of pick up gun and you can shoot it, and you're like, I will. Yeah, yeah. That cops the line kind of does that, where it's like, yeah, you meant to kill those guys. They shoot. They're the bad guys. Kill them. Would you kindly like, wait? What the hell are we doing here? Like, <laughs> like what is the mission? That's why it's just when you replay the game and he's like, go to Andrew Ryan's office and kill that son of a bitch. You're just like, that's totally normal that he would say that at this point in the game, but he puts what you kindly before it after you've heard anything and you're like, oh man, you are a manipulative bastard. Good old Frank Fontaine and Atlas. I swear to God, like, I haven't played Bioshock 2 in a while now, but I just remember still my disappointment with Sophia Lamb. And like, this is not the same. They're trying to recapture it and it's not working. Thank um, goodness they made a lot of gameplay improvements. Absolutely. And I love being back in Rapture, you know. Oh yeah, they they really they were able to successfully nail the atmosphere a second time. I think it was Rapture's interesting great. ideas in there. I like Big Sisters as an idea. I'm not sure if it lines up narratively that much or anything, but they were creepy and interesting. Yeah. Uh Having not seen Loki, whenever you say Kang, I keep having images of Krang from TMNT pop in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was better than this guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll, I'll, I think that would have been a great reveal, honestly. 
We just got Benny from Total Recall instead. I mean, maybe he will be... Benny from The Mummy. I remember Benny from The Mummy. Good times. I always felt bad that he died. Even though he's kind of evil throughout the whole film, it just feels more... He's super opportunistic and he probably could have been a good man. The right things had happened, maybe. you know. But he died for his own greed. That's what gets you. That's what gets you. He did sell out the heroes quite a bit in that film, though, so... Yeah, he was kind of a dick. I look forward to watching that for you fat movies whenever we get around to it, because it's a neat movie from what I remember. They uh, just get better and better as it goes along, huh? Oh, yeah. Mummy 2 is oh, even definitely. better. Mummy 3, top dog. They stopped at 3 because they were like, we've peaked. We're not getting better than this. Um, random question. Just got Buffy box set. Heard first season sucks. Do I endure it or skip it? You endure it. First season? Like man. It's, um, it's... It's not going to piss anyone off that season. You'll watch it and you'll be amused by how, you know, this is some mid to late 90s replacement shoestring budget TV content. And, you know, they're, they're trying their best. The characters are all in the right place. It's just the, the plot lines are pretty funny. Uh, and just, again, low budget. It's hard for them to pull off what they're trying to tell you is happening. You sort of just have to go, ah, okay, yeah, I get it. Um... There's some stuff in season one I like, and it's definitely not something that'll piss you off. Go for it, and it'll get you way more invested in the characters when you get to the later stuff, because you'll have seen where they all started. Um, Loki episode six, the 40 minute end credit scene. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> I think, um, I've seen that consistently said already. Oh boy. This is part, because obviously I'll watch it with you, Rags, at some point, probably, just to get you caught up, but um, this is a bit... You, you you last saw them seeing the building, right? They take fucking ages to walk to it, and when they finally get there, they go to open the door, and then they're like, no. She's like, I need a moment before we do that. And he's like, oh. Uh, okay. And they're just awkwardly like, looking around. Doing some kind of like, random joke sort of dialogue, and you're just sitting there like, what the fuck is happening? Get on with it. Get in the fucking building. Just like, no, no, no. I'm gonna sit here for a minute. And then they walk through each room incredibly slowly. And you realize like a third of the episode's gone by and nothing's happened yet. And you're just like, that's quite amazing. Quite amazing how you managed to drag your finale out. Yeah, because they clearly nothing didn't actually happens in it. They didn't have six episodes worth of content, so No. They had they to They barely had two. Yeah, I mean, you know, if we're being completely honest, uh, it is a weird season they when you have look had back. any. True. Yeah, they should have just saved the money and just put a, a notice on the screen saying, Hey, just go watch the next movie. It's got Kang in it, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, they should have just released Loki as a trailer uh, for whatever movie Kang's going to be in. At least it wouldn't have done as much damage to Loki's character if it was just uh, cut to be him going, Oh my god. And then Kang going, Ooh. Uh, this episode was uh, so. Uh, uh, this episode was so academic. Now that oh, is a reference to uh, yeah, good old. Which, by the way, um, uh, there was different people like commenting on how. So I guess you guys have never heard academic used in the way of saying like it's purely academic to discuss something, meaning mm. it's foregone, like it's it's done. There's nothing interesting to come out of it. No, I've, um, yeah, I've, ne I've never heard that used that way. So. Um, there are contexts in which I've heard purely academic, um, it, it's been, but it's so uncommon compared to saying, like, it would be academic in terms of, to me, evoking the environment of, like, study. Like and a school of interest. science or a study. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so the problem here is, like, when you've got a word that can represent two opposite ideas and you have a sentence that doesn't make it clear, I don't really, like, to me, you still need to redraft that shit. Um, yeah, like, like. Like if you you said oh that's that's Jim he's an academic, you know that that's not a no one uses that as an insult. It's like no he's he's a learned man he's he's smart he has degrees he's gone to school he really knows a lot about a subject he's a scientist a researcher. That's the that's the by and far the the primary kind of use that it gets. And it was all very strange because um in context you're saying like it would be very academic to compare female Loki to the new Doctor Who if you were to do. Um, just on the fact that they're female, not when making actual points. And like most of his video, he was not making actual points. He was mostly gunning for, um, hey, 
they both do the, like the the doctor and loki both do this thing that plenty of characters have done in their entire existences and you just be like yeah that's not really they both come from planets that have um developed cities on them and like yep i guess so like asgard and gallifrey gosh they're just so just so darn similar it's, um so i feel like you would have but yeah um it's worth mentioning i suppose uh Oh yeah, check out Southpaw's video on the Mitchells vs. the Machines. It's absolutely incredible. Now, I don't know if he's referring to the video or the movie or both, but there you go. If you're curious about Mitchells and the Machines, Southpaw's got a video on it. I feel like Jaws is close to a 10. Can't think of too many flaws with the writing other than how oxygen tanks react to bullets. Um, but at least it's a setup in the movie. Uh... How do oxygen tanks typically react to bullets? Do you know this, Rags? Uh, they just go poof, and because all that pressure is being released, they don't ex they they explode in the sense of a sudden rapidly. breach in the <clears throat> container causes all that pressure to release all at once in an uncontrolled manner. However, there's not a fiery explosion that sets everything around it alight. You can't like you can't even shoot gas cans. That gas cans don't explode when you shoot them. They leak out the hole you just put in the gas can. Um, it would have to create a sufficiently large enough spark or something. That's so what maybe, happened maybe in Army of the Dead. Round or, yeah, a lot of things happened in Army of the Dead. <laughs> um, few of them made sense, but oh, that'll be worth yeah. asking um, as when he's uh, if he's back. What do you think of Army of the Dead? Because I am curious to find people who like that movie. Oh, I. Uh, I know they exist. They're out there somewhere. They've gotta. God exists. This this man keeps getting work. They'll be so excited for the anime series that's coming out and the prequel movie. There's an anime series for Army of the Dead. It's come. Yeah, eventually. I'm genuinely not sure how he how he fucked that up. Ragtag group of mercenaries in a zombie infested Vegas. How do you fuck that up? So easy. Such a just this it practically. Step writes one: itself. Have the film being focused. Whoa, Rex. Whoa. Can we slow down okay. on these steps? I'm already lost. Ah. Hey, Az, what did you think of Army of the Dead? Oh, I can't be bothered to see that nonsense. Oh, you haven't even seen it? Damn. No. Uh, well, it's not very don't. good. I'd recommend against it. <laughs> I think, I, yeah, because uh, Drinker didn't like it either, right? I'm trying to remember who's covered it. If I can get away with not watching a piece of shit, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Oh, there you go. Batwoman Season 3, yeah. you going to avoid it? <laughs> Well, I'm I'm in too I'm in too deep with my. Uh, you gotta my see audience. it through. You gotta know how it ends. Oh, I don't want to see it through. If my audience <laughs> just went, "Hey, Az, take your sabbatical," I'll be like, "Fucking thanks, guy." All I want is but, for Jacob um, to return in the season three finale. Mm -hmm. And you mean you mean the, the series finale? <laughs> Probably yeah, but just I need him like you know the. Villain. Oh yeah, he left. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. It's genuinely like he gone. <laughs> He gone. He gone away. Dude, a, a portion of why I genuinely enjoy watching the show is now going to be removed. It's like, hmm. I well, enjoy now watching him. we got we got Ryan, and we have like some not as funny version of uh, Kate and uh, No Jacob. <laughs> no, what? you know what's happening next season? Uh oh. Is this? Do the you find out in season two or? <laughs> Well, it's on. It, it was reported uh, in uh, the casting because it's already, you know, um, basically being recorded now. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's uh, fucking nuts. But if by you want, I mean, if you if you don't want to know, I won't say. But next well, I mean, season's just gonna make a mockery of everything of Ryan's character. Wow. Uh -oh. Even even though she's a mockery of a character, it's it's. <laughs> Uh, it's it, mock it's reception. It's mockception. It's it's not a spoiler because you won't give a fuck anyway. No, no, um, no, 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 no spoilers. <laughs> well, okay, wait. Okay. I'm okay with okay. you telling us if it's found out from third party. If it's in the episodes of season two, we probably want to wait for it. But is yeah. it? Have you found uh, out? No, it's, it's it's from uh, it's from um, newspaper reports after the show is finished. I'm okay with that. If you okay. guys are okay with that, yeah, I'm, okay with I'm cool with that. that. All right, go. So, <laughs> What's the thing? Uh, season three. Um. Well, actually, there is a last second reveal in the last episode. Oh, well, boy. you know what? Hang on to this stuff. 
and uh, we can okay. save it all for our uh, a big round table. Nice little teaser. Okay. We we are still we are getting through our Batwoman. We'll get there. I just yeah, I just remember that she does, one of the characters says something, which is why yeah okay no I'm I'm gonna be stum. All right, all right, still good. I'll grab it, baby. It's funny how the Lego Marvel games that I've been playing replay replaying have a better story than Phase Four so far. Feels good watching the MCU kill itself. Seriously, this is one great. of those situations where it's like, oh, you know, this thing has a better story than that. And it's like, we're at the fucking bottom of the barrel. You'd, you'd think most things really do have a better story than this. Like, fuck, when you put them all together, man, it's insane. Phase 4 is off to a great start. Phase 4 is going to be hit. And this is, I can't wait for Eternals. That's the one, I think, like... I think it's going to be a clusterfuck. It's gonna be so weird because I wonder if I, I do wonder if I'll watch the film and be able to remember any of the main characters' names when it ends. I mean, one of those ones where they're gonna have to really try to characterize. Because how many of them are there of the Eternals? Ten, I think. Jeez. Ten, yeah. Well, um, been I'm sure there'll be more important coming. ones, you know. Yeah, probably there'll be important ones and then not important ones. Now, now you say that, but. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure. I I'm guess assuming just, Angelina Jolie is probably going to be the important one, right? Yeah, I assume she's no, the important well, one. No, it, it, when it's meant to be, um, it was meant to be Rob Stark. Richard Madden, right? Uh, okay. uh, Richard Madden, who plays Icarus. He's meant to be the leader of the Eternals. But uh, the director that they got has apparently said that she wants um, the Asian lass to now be the Gemma lead. Chan? Yeah, right. so she's yeah. going to be the, the lead of the Eternals. Oh, so you're saying uh, that we don't know who's going to be important at this point? Yeah, it's it's all over the place as to who's going to be important, who's not going to be important. Um, I guess that's weird, because I distinctly remember her being the last one to be cast, but she's the main character of the story. Yeah, they wanted now to get it right. Yeah. They wanted to get just the right person. That's, uh, well, well, I remember it was like they, they brought out their big cast, and then later on, they were like, oh, and, and, and Gemma Chan, because she was in Captain Marvel, so... But she was blue, so she can, you know, it's not as big a deal, I guess. Um, I guess I just find well, it Well, at this point, Fringy, you... it's just alternate dimension, you know? It's fine, it's in the multiverse. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I mean, I guess that's the thing is now, look at it, I'm like, well, it probably can't be... It can't. How the fuck could it be worse than Loki? <laughs> like, there's well, no way. I'm curious, is it going to play in from Loki? Like, is it going to be some kind of connective I... tissue? No, because I think this was meant to come out well before Loki, initially. Um, oh. This hmm. movie was meant to come out last year. Um, it was meant to be the second one after, like, so the Black Widow and then, then that. And then all the Disney Plus shows were, like, kind of after that. So I'm guessing that it won't. That it, it's, it's going to be its own thing. Like, they just happen to be... They're woken up now, I guess. For whatever reason. Yeah. Well, they're acting for whatever now. reason, yeah. That's oh, gonna be so exciting. And imagine you get to the, you get that right after Shang Chi, the film that everyone's super excited about. Well, it's, you know, it's gonna be probably have cool fight scenes. If it doesn't have cool fight <sighs> scenes, I'm gonna feel bad for you because you say that every time we mention Shang Chi. <laughs> like, if it doesn't end up yeah, having that, like I don't know. I feel like it's gonna have cool like martial arts fight scenes. Like that's that's its stick. Well, at least you'll get to see your favorite abomination. It's gonna have oh yeah, my favorite on the wire. <laughs> it's gonna have wire-based uh, martial arts scenes. Oh. Well, Can we not just have people like fighting each other normally. <laughs> Is that I mean, not allowed? You know, I, uh, that can still work out. It, it really depends on how they do it. I don't know. Uh, we'll have on to the see. Choreography, I guess. But I don't know. Like, can we just? Yeah. And then No Way Home. That's gonna be. Oh man, there's so wow. much, so much yeah, loops to go was... over. That, so much the conversation on No Way Home is probably going to be going for a long time, considering all the moving parts. And it's probably going to be quite a a point for the MCU story in terms of what happens next, where everyone's at. Because so many people are going to well, be there. Well, it's interesting you say that, because I'm pretty sure that there was an interview with Zendaya where she said that she, along with the rest of the cast, don't know if they're coming back for another one. Like, it's up in the air at the moment. 
Well, the Whether contract runs out after man. this next one. Yeah, that's it? right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, or, or, I think I thought there were two more. I thought the agreement after No Way Home was that there are two more, which I'm guessing two more movies that Spider-Man's in. So I'm guessing that means he'll appear in Doctor Strange, maybe. You think the last and, one will be Home Sweet Home? Well, no. But this is the last Spider-Man movie right now that is like agreed upon. You have to that manage, was... imagine that there's going to be more though. Such a fucking source of money. Well, yeah, I guess it's just Sony and Marvel need to cut a deal, which they probably will, because I imagine Sony wants to keep that money trend going. Choo choo. Yeah. Especially now that they're making all their little spin-off movies and shows like Venom sure and Mo a... Morbius, right? And Craven and a Spider Woman movie and Silk, an Amazon TV show. And uh, the sequel to uh, Spider-Verse. You know it's funny? There was what? a point what? relatively recently where people were like, oh, I'm so done with superhero content. Finally, we're well, probably entering the end of it. It's like, it's probably the beginning. No, this is <laughs> the beginning. It's going to be everywhere constantly. Everyone's bringing out ten shows and five movies. Wow, yeah. Like, Yay! Like, I mean, like, there's going to be... there's. I'm pretty sure that there's going to be six Marvel shows that came out this year by the end of it. And I think Are you going to watch uh, What If? No. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll get the cliff notes from Free. I don't think I'm watching that. Well, I don't, I don't know if I want to <laughs> go through all that on my, <laughs> my own. <laughs> if it's, if, I if, I can, if we can treat it as non-canon and there's no stories being built off it, well, I'm probably sure I can just ignore it. It is non canon, it's an anthology, different universe. Yeah, or I don't trust that they can tell good stories. If I don't need <laughs> it to fucking understand what comes later, then fuck it. Yeah, sure. But we still gotta watch everything else, Miss Marvel. Well, that's the thing, I gotta, I gotta see Shang-Chi, probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And Eternals. Yay. And then all the stuff that's coming out next year Iron Heart. <laughs> that's, uh, that's animated, right? Or is it? No, that's. No. That's, uh, that's like part of the MCU. Like a whole ass movie like, they're doing for Ironheart? TV, sh TV show. A TV show for the okay. Ironheart. And, then um, there's uh, She-Hulk. God, I'm gonna yeah. have to watch that. Oh. Moon Knight. And there's uh, Ms. Marvel. <laughs> there's well, Hawkeye. you know what? I sit here and I'm like, well, if I look at the mo if I look at the stuff that's coming out right now, it's like, which one's got the most chance of being shit? It's like, All of them. Well, the problem is, like, I look at something like Miss Marvel, it's like, I don't know, I feel like this probably has the best chance to not be the worst fucking thing. Because, like, it's its own thing. Like, it's a brand new thing. So you'd have no characters to assassinate. Um, no, Miss like, Marvel's not a new character. No, I mean, like, she's... She's never Rush. been in anything in the MCU. Oh, you mean... Yet. Oh, like, you mean a debut for the, um... Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. So okay, like, yeah, 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 okay. So, you have no character to assassinate. Well... That's not true. <laughs> Sylvie was introduced to Loki and got assassinated at the end of Loki. Not so. to mention yeah. that dead characters can get assassinated. We know this is true that's as well. That's true. But, but remember, like, that stuff has to do with Captain Marvel. So how does she get assassinated, you know? Like, who even, who even is Captain Marvel? Like, <laughs> who even is she? <laughs> how do you assassinate Captain Marvel? You know, you, we, we sound like generals in a war room discussing the potential ways that our army is going to be obliterated by this other force. Which of them poses the greatest threat? Yes, they could they could storm this beach with their tanks, but their air force could come in from these carriers and destroy our ground forces here. Yes, but they might come from the sea to the north and destroy... That's what it is. You wouldn't expect the southern armies to pose a threat, would you? And it's like, do not underestimate the southern armies. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just can have to see. Can you plank wood? You bet your ass you can. Assassinate plank of wood, Kill yeah. anything. Maybe... This is MCU, baby. They'll destroy anything. I was gonna say, no, everything's off the table. You might catch us saying in a, a however long, wow, they ruined Captain Marvel. That might be possible, yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow. Maybe she'll, like, betray the crew or something. You guys are bad, too. Or, or, oh, not the crew, the fucking, whatever. The scrolls. Krill? Scrolls. Crow? Yeah. Scroll. Lights, <laughs> scroll. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Maybe scroll. they'll ruin them so much they'll go all the way around the horn and they'll be good. 
They'll just keep going mm -hmm. and keep They keep going accidentally writing they're... characters like Walker, and we're like, this is actually getting interesting again. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> think he's a villain, but he's not. <laughs> right, we're taking him away. I'm looking forward we to We almost forward. want to, right? You almost want to be like, okay, 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 we're having him because I, we do not trust you to take him forward. We'll do it now. Thank you for making him. Yeah, yeah, I know you did it totally on purpose, yeah. So, please leave him alone because you're probably going to make him kill people, innocent people at some point and be like, no, that's just what he does. Well, he's the US agent now, so he's mm -hmm. under the control of uh, Madame Hydra. That's the thing, I, I do not trust them to make him do things that are in line with who he is. I just, I just don't fucking think they will. Dude, all the people who write all this bullshit, they're probably like, oh, Walker, US agent. Oh, he's such a piece of shit. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> we'll, we'll write for him, sure. We'll get him some stories. Looks like he's trying to help shit. people. What has he ever accomplished except for getting a Medal of Honor? <laughs> Three times. <laughs> Three times, yeah. They did not think that through. Yeah, it's just like, look at this loot. I, I don't know if they were trying to play up I don't know if they this, this sort of attitude was patriotism bad. So the more accolades they gave him as a soldier, uh, the more they thought they were sticking it to people. But it just made him like, oh, this guy's really, really devoted to his country. He's uh, he's a really great soldier. He's a perfect uh, <laughs> example of somebody who should be taking over from I mean, Steve Rogers. And it's like it's hard to say that. It any particular medal defines any particular trait, but having three medals of honor, I'd be like, this guy's probably incredible. That's like three VCs, isn't it? It's it is the highest honor yeah. in the US military. Yeah, so it's, it's like fucking hard to get them. Dropped. Yeah, yeah. Well, most a good chunk of them are post. Uh, you gotta die or posthumously not gotta die, but awarded. Like, awarded. Yeah. Ooh. I was I was messing up the word posthumously, yeah, something like that. Once you're not a human anymore, posthumous, and then they give posthumous. it to you. Posthumous. 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 Post hummus. Yes, yeah. Um, we will give you your award after your have eaten the hummus, which is a beautiful chickpea blend. Yeah, man. Beyond frustrating that I'm supposed to like I love Sam and Bucky, and they abandon when him they in their first his mission. Damn arm to I'm, 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 I was talking about like he saves their lives and then they ditch him. Yeah, that was cool. Really I mean, did not like, sit well with me. You mean the people who um, gave up the shield because I can't we killed an enemy I'm, combatant I'm right after he tried to kill you. You have to give us the shield now. I don't know what we expected you to do with that shield. I love that. Yeah, give us this. the shield. It's like, hey, buddy. And what was the first thing you said? Are you guys okay? Do you need like medical yeah, it, attention? That scene Why is the fucked. hell would you write that? That's if you the whole scene make is a bad guy. They treat it like he's holding a detonator. They're like you got to drop yeah. that. Like, yeah, like, like they, they can get it later. It? Like he'll go back to base and he'll yeah. like it. Fucking, I hate what that scene so much. <laughs> they just fucking attack the shit out of him. Yeah, and then they break his goddamn and arm. This is the yeah. we, we talked about it on the stream we did, but that is the time he needs he needs a fucking hand. He needs help. He's just yeah. gone through something so traumatic. He's watched his friend and our die. Two, our two leading villains <laughs> instead what they yeah. do. He's like, oh, that that show ruins so yeah, many really characters. I think my favorite part is how Walker says you don't want to do this, to which Bucky says, "Yeah, we do." And yeah, it's we like, do. Oh, you just you just want to steal a shield. That's it. That's all <laughs> like, it's ever no, about. No, they want the no. shield. No, it's not just that. They want to take the shield and they want to hurt him. Yeah. And, well, they well, they do. fucking they hate him. They fuck hate arm. him from the get go. Yeah. They want to hurt him for taking the shield that. Uh, that he gave up. gave up. It's immensely fucked and too because is... Bucky watches his in in inauguration, for lack of a better term, and he says that he was inspired by Cap. He's like the most normal person ever, and it's exactly what Cap wanted. It's like the perfect guy to take up a shield, but they're both like, hmm, I don't like you. And then he shakes Me. his head. Me. Well, Falcon shades Steve in it, doesn't he? Steve didn't do <sighs> what he was when he's giving the shield to a black man. Oh, dude, <laughs> I would pay good money to watch Steve come back and just fucking it's shit all over, shit all over yeah. Falcon, Bucky, and Isaiah. Fuck them all. They have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Fuck you, you didn't exist until this show. <laughs> you, Go away. Yeah. He's like, are you a scroll? <laughs> just, like, pokes him. It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Oh, so uh, so bad, but yeah, what we're dealing with. Not being profiled in the in the project. Rogers Excuse me, is this no man scene. bothering you, Mr. White Man? Well, I always no. found that scene really awkward because the two of them were arguing in the middle of the street. It's like yeah. cars move here. Like this is this is where cars go. Not Clearly, people. this white man was just trying to cross the street until he was accosted <laughs> by this Avenger. Yeah. <laughs> this, this hero who, I didn't uh, know that he was an Avenger. What the hell? Who's on, been probably been on the face of every publication for the last six months for saving the world. And he was probably yeah. paid for appearances, but he's, you know, he's very No, poor. he wasn't. He's got no money. <laughs> he's got no money. Even though Scarlett Johansson no has... How many? How much money? She's got all Enough the money. money to buy for all of this equipment. <laughs> yeah, I think we even said that when we watched it. It's like, that's, oh wait, no, that's that's it. By the way, that's it right there. The plot required that Falcon was poor. The plot required yeah. that Scarlett Johansson was rich. It has nothing to yeah. do with cause and effect. It's just that we need them to be in these positions. Shut up. Yeah, it's just crap. It's so crap. But it makes them more like relatable. Itop says, as he watches Falcon, it, it, it's like, I have money problems, and then nothing until the rest of the season's over. Like, that's all it takes. I swear to god, I almost want to make, like, just just give me ten million dollars. Alright, I know that's, just that's small a, to you, make Disney. make a superhero show that is just a superhero trying to pay rent, that's the job. <laughs> well, I would want to go further. It's like, we get him to just, he goes to an alleyway, the woman's like, oh, help me! And then he punches the guy, and he's like, ah, oh, my fist, oh god, that really hurts. And then the, 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 the guy's like, oh, I'm leaving. And he's like, and the woman's like, I would like to pay you with sex. And he's like, I would never do that because that is inappropriate. <laughs> then he goes home and he's like, oof. And he takes off his glove and he's like, my hand's got a bruise on it now. I, I need to put a plaster on it. Oh, no, I don't have any because I can't afford them. Mm. Oh, oh, I'm hungry tonight. Oh. Goes to, but, but goes to work and his, his friend's like, you, you shit at your job. And he's like, I'm not shit at my job. You guys are just mean to me a lot. I feel like Hightop would be like, oh my god, this is so good, because he goes through this real life so struggles. <laughs> and they then... even said to, to Falcon, one of them said to him, don't, don't you get paid by the Avengers or something? <laughs> Wait a went, minute. That's but... not how it works. Yeah, no, that like, is yes, exactly it how it fucking works. <laughs> how could it, it work has, any yeah. other way? It wouldn't make sense. Something I just re you just up there for free food and board. Or something. <laughs> something I just realized that you pointed out there, more of like high top, not adhering to his own standards. Wasn't the big thing that he praised about Superman and Lois was that it was like unrealistic in how good Superman was, and that was a good thing. He said, "Yeah, he said something like, yeah, he was weird because um, he simultaneously said like the Snyder Cut is awesome because it lets." You know, Zack Snyder take Superman the direction that he wants to. And then he said, it sucks that we're in a world right now where everyone thinks Superman should be much more dark and dour and realistic. And he shows all clips from Snyder stuff. And he's like, I love that yeah. this show exists where it's like not doing that. And it's like, I, but are you against it or not? I just, I never know. Well, I guess that's the thing is like, I, I don't mind the idea of a depressed Superman as in like, not, not angsty depressed, but like legitimately depressed. Disenfranchised, like just, something like that. He hates living, or something. He's just like, I really don't like being alive. It's not, it's not, it's not Damn. pleasant <laughs> to, to exist. But he feels like he must exist because you know it's like gotta oh, help, people, help people. Yeah. And so maybe the whole point of the show is him trying to figure out how he can, how he can, you know, make himself happy while still trying to make the world a better place. What is the balance? That could be something. Um, hello boys. Watched Old Boy for the first time. Man, what a movie. Uh, what about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have any favorite foreign films? Uh, yes. Masquerade? Yes. Uh, Masquerade, um, War of the Arrows. I like that one quite a bit. Uh, great chase sequence at the end. Uh, I really like it a lot. Have you guys um, seen Wreck or Record, I guess? You should probably I've heard it. it's really good, but I haven't seen it. It's, um, the, I, I'm pretty sure I saw that film in the perfect scenario. I didn't quite know what the fuck was going on, but it, it starts out and there's just this, um, this news reporter team and they're like, this is the f local fireman. And they do their fireman stuff and they're just going around like mm -hmm. a fire truck. And it's like, yeah, it's slow. Like, oh, we got a job. And I'm like, oh, cool. We're going to come along and just see how it goes. 
and they end up at an apartment complex where there's a zombie infestation, but you don't know that. Like, it's, it, the, you, can, you can pretty much pick it up relatively quickly if you look for the signs and stuff. But it's all mm. done with a handheld camera because that's the news report sort of atmosphere. And I remember being so fucking, like, gripped by the way that they did everything in that film. They did an American remake and I hated it. Um, yeah, I heard the remake is bad, yeah. I love uh, the, yeah, the Korean version of Old Boy is amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. Battle Royale. From, uh, Battle Royale oh, yeah. cool. uh, Hard Boiled. Uh, Chow Yun Fat. That's some, that's some great. Um... I, I gotta say, I, I love me Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and uh, House and Flying Daggers, and Hero. Yeah, yeah. Hero was alright, yeah. Um, <laughs> let me see, there's gotta be other one. Um, I, I like this movie count. called The Lives of Others. It's a German movie. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I remember thinking it was really good. Oh, The Hunt. That's one of like, the best oh, the hunt. Oh, oh, definitely. Not to be confused favorite. with The Hunt 2020. <laughs> The we want, uh, yeah. Oh, right, that's not out yet. Yeah, that's right. The the hunt is very good. The hunt's terrible. Don't see that. Yeah. Um. I hope that wasn't too confusing for you. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. Uh, I'm trying to think of. Um. I don't watch that many. Uh. But I've definitely seen some good fun. There's been a lot of fun. Um, Ip Man? Is that a foreign one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that one's really good. Um, huh. Hmm. I, I'm, I'm trying to th search my mind. Well, I mean, it gives you a pretty good selection, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Not all of you have seen all of them. Otherwise, you're a liar. Ants on fire. Yeah. Can't we killed that. Captain Alex. <laughs> oh, a classic. <laughs> um, Y'all's take on the Wolfenstein series. I like Hit the New Miss. Order. New Order's great. Play the New Order. Um, New Colossus, fucking skip it. That's not worth your time. Wolfenstein's alright. Uh, the Young Blood, that's alright. That is the controversial opinion. I yeah, guess, right. yeah, I guess it's super controversial that that game's oh, alright. That's the one with the two sisters, yeah. That's the one. That everyone loves. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Rags, it's mechanically it's sound, right? Is the is the take? I, I think it's mechanics are totally sound. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but the protagonists are fucking insufferable, <laughs> and the story is retarded. <laughs> um, which of course, is going to color a lot of the rest of the game because the protagonists are, well, the protagonists and they won't shut up. Um, but yeah, I, environmentally, I think it's really excellent. I love the environments in it. Um, I've never found the experience and leveling up system to in any way really impede my progress. Um, it's definitely, yeah, I, I never had an issue with any of that. I never had an issue with using proper weapons against enemy armor types. I'm just because I'm old because I'm like older than seven and I understand how game mechanics work. Uh, never had an issue with any of that stuff. Uh, I thought it played pretty well and I enjoyed it. But, no, yeah. right. Speaking of annoying talking protagonists, right? Do you remember Amnesia Reboot? Remember that game? I do. How could I forget? I, uh, it's such a foul memory at this point. Like, I hate <laughs> Rebirth. I hate Rebirth. Fuck so that game much. so much. <laughs> I hate it. Um, um, yeah, Amnesia yeah, Reboot. What a... Maybe the big... Is it the biggest video game disappointment that you've ever had? Well, so, yeah, this is the thing. It would be like, well, what about Last of Us 2 and uh, Cyberpunk? It's like, I wasn't as invested in those two IPs as I was in the development team yeah. that is Frictional Games. I never in a fucking billion years would think they'd release one of what I think is the worst horror games ever. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> really cool. Um, it's not but, even well, supposed to be possible. <laughs> like, yeah, even Cyberpunk, I was like, I don't really care about the Cyberpunk setting myself, uh, but the company's really good. They make good stuff. I've loved their games in the past. Uh, this is setting up to be a really big thing. Surely this will be an amazing game. They know it's riding on it. That turned out how it turned out. Mm. Um, so I said, okay, and I moved on. And then there was Last of Us 2. I never, never cared about The Last of Us 1 all that much, so I didn't care about the sequel. 
Um, that would but, be man, the one that would be in the running, but yeah, it can't compare to my investment in... I value my experiences with Amnesia and Soma to death. Like, they are incredibly yeah. good things to me. And so, to tell me the people who made those two made that is like... I don't agree. <laughs> like, I disagree. I don't agree. <laughs> I reject so, do you guys hate Reboot? I reject so your hypothesis. Probably not by yeah. next game. I'm... I'm curious about Frictional's next game, but almost in a meta sense. Of, I don't even... Are they going to fuck it up as much? Well, that's the thing. Why was I buying their games before? It's like, well, because they're an incredibly special development team. Now, I don't know yeah, that. I, experiences. Now, yeah. I, yeah, like, buying their game, why would I buy that over any other horror development team's game? I'd yeah, have to be convinced by trailers now. List. Yeah, if, if I just want to get spookied, then I could go yeah. to better places. Because it was that with Soma and with Amnesia, it wasn't just about being scared. It was the story and the presentation of it all. And it was the cleverness of the dialogue and the details and the mechanics that I really loved. They really made interesting and unique experiences. They made the the horror experience, I think. And no, they didn't. Rebirth it's was not shit. a horror game. It's not even yeah, a horror Rebirth game. Rebirth was crap. And um, it, it really does blow your mind um, how, how bad it was. Yeah, and I, like, I played. Disappointed you more Mass Effect Three or Rebirth? Rebirth disappointed me more. Mass Effect Three, I really liked uh, for the most part. Um, it was at least fun to play, and there were some really good, really really good moments in Mass Effect Three. But Rebirth was just like nothing about it was good. Yeah, I, uh, again, there, we've there got was... a five-hour yeah. discussion on that. If people want more specific, yeah, check it out. We've got an EFAP talking about Amnesia Rebirth. Um, it's a doozy. We yeah, don't like that game. It sucks. I played the original Amnesia because of weird of, of weird of mouth. A lot of people did for the same reason. It just got around. Yeah. It's like this is the game to play for horror. Soma, I, I was like, I will keep an eye on whatever they make next, and I was blown away, happy with that. So they were just in the good books, you know, whatever they bring out, and <laughs> they're not in and that book anymore. <laughs> you blew it. You had it all, and you blew it. They really did. Um, again, I have to stress, because like, as I'm assuming you have no context for this, they have a mechanic in the game where it will <laughs> ran Yeah, I, as you're walking around in the world, it will randomly uh, sort of shine bright lights and spooky images at you while going back. <laughs> now, okay. and it happens at some points, it will literally happen once per like 20 seconds, and you just keep walking around, that keeps happening. Now, of course, you may be aware of this phenomenon. It's known as a jump scare. Mm, people, people, yeah. people have very critical things to say about jump scares, especially when used in that way. The devs mm. obviously got a bit of pushback on that. They were like, "What the fuck is this?" And the response was, "They are not jump scares. They are fear flashes." Oh. <laughs> fear flashes. Okay. And ironically, as a way to defend themselves against that was, accusations, against... that was unironic. They weren't. They they said it as a as a defense. <laughs> okay. Fear Talk about okay. disrespecting the fucking. We're not. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Like, come on. Fear flashes. Uh, that's not fear, fear, fear flash. flash. Actually, totally different from what you think it is. <laughs> like a, it's just like a total flash of your fear. I'll just throw that game onto the pile of references when people say, "Of course, I'll pre-order from this company. They're great. They could make a bad game." Yeah, we really Stop never seen that about company. That was, yeah. dude. That was the year for that, right? Like, it was um, Naughty Dog, Frictional, and CD Projekt Red. Red. All three of them failed us miserably. What could possibly go wrong? Fun this is why you make people money. earn their money. You don't give it to them and hope that they earn your money after you gave them your money. I feel like with Cy Cyberpunk, though, the warning signs were there and, like, they were ignored. Well, you could say that for um, Last of Us, too. Uh, you definitely could for that as well. I guess the problem is that, like, there was apparent, like, a hype sort of thing happening with with city project red specifically by certain youtubers um that developed almost like a cult of personality around them and so when it's like hey wait the review copies are only on pc you can't play it on consoles what the fuck's that about mm. nobody really said anything or like um mm. oh the early review sets like buggy as fuck what the hell is that about mm. um yeah i don't know i feel like the warning signs were there for that one um we should have caught it.
Well, I think I think a lot of us kind of realized soon um, that, that game was. Yeah, I didn't fast. play it until I like knew I had to play it for the EFAP. Yeah, yeah we were saying. It was, I haven't, I haven't knew played it, would it be, since. It would be interesting to discuss. It's a, it's a brand new mainstream game from a company that everyone loves, and it's it's a possibly rocky release. So we'll all give it a go. And have a chat about it because ultimately it doesn't matter what the game is. If if I told all of you like you got to play the next fucking Mario game, and let's just say it's as easy as playing it on PC, or whatever. Like yeah, okay. I mean okay. You know, sacrifice a couple of hours of a day, and then we can have a big topic about it. And we can spear off into other topics about design. It'd be easy. And this game, hmm. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't. I I haven't touched it since we we did our refap. I and I'm really not interested in playing it. Well, presumably, I give I it a go. Good. Back to it event. Yeah, I'm assuming um, once enough time passes that it will be in a good shape. Good, yeah. Maybe, but like, I, I don't like the dialogue or anything. They were talking like either. fucking idiots. I just hope that, I don't know, it could get polished up. Because I didn't hate playing it. It was fine to play. It was fine. It was, it was fine. Kind of, yeah. Um. So maybe if, you know, a year down the road or whatever, it's really great. Or maybe if they ever launch a big DLC for it. Which is, I imagine they'll probably do. It's got a big enough install base. Yeah. I figure that maybe when they release their big DLC, whatever it is, because that's I that's probably going to be their big, you know, oomph kind of moment where we got to get people back is with that first big DLC. Because yeah. Because Witcher 3's DLC were fucking stellar. Because what and you want so, is people saying, oh, no, 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 you need to come back. Like, Cyberpunk is not the game it was on release. Yeah, mm -hmm. the DLC, it, it's almost like a rebrand in a way, where it's something, they gotta do something, because it's in people's hands, and they've got it on, they've got it installed on computers and consoles and things, so hopefully, hopefully something can happen, because I want it to be good, you know, I always want more good games, but I just, I still know. I, right now I'm questioning, and I shouldn't have to, but I'm questioning, does CD Projekt Red have the capability and the talent to make that game good or was it doomed from the start Wait, well is, was cyberpunk even the thing that they ever wanted to do well really? w what is clear is that that game had significant development issues yes um, the game that came out was not the game that they were working on in like 2013 and the, the seemingly the lie commonly agreed upon was that that game only started being developed in like 2016 that is not true they started developing it when that fucking trailer got released like 10 years ago. It got restarted. That's what happened. They Probably because they had a scope that was impossible. Yeah, I feel like they started with an idea that was very doable, but Probably, over time, yeah. enough, everybody was adding ingredients. Well, when everybody tells you how awesome you are, you know? Yeah, we're going to do this, and we're going to add this, and we're going to have this too, and we're going to have three branching this, and we're going to have this, and this, and this, and this. Yeah, like, oh talk my about, fucking a, talk about shit. a No Man's Sky we... situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, I'm um, saying that this is like a massive, feels... this is the biggest company in fucking Poland. Isn't that yeah, the, it feels the, confused. The person that sort of exemplifies that the most is uh, Peter Molyneux, right? The guy who, like, yeah, I, oh, yeah. promised the <laughs> shit for... Yeah, I an acorn and watched the tree grow. Yeah, the hype. He was, Lionhead. Yeah, he's the guy who Lionhead would often shooters, yeah. say like, "Oh, this hey, is what's going to happen." he made one Fable. good Fable game. Well, so <laughs> one. <laughs> the, the thing about that though is that, and I could be correct on this, I'm not sure, but even Fable One, would that be a game where he he'd made false promises? Because that's like his thing. He right? did. He said, uh, yeah. "He said you that you plant, plant the tree. acorn and watch the yeah. tree grow." That's just not in the game. Yeah, that, so, like, I, I did people, enjoy the first Fable, but two and three, fucking, I hated. People tend to say that the three, game is good, shit. but it's still. Yeah, like, what you typically hear is that I haven't played Fable, but I think I played a bit of Fable too. but what I often hear is that Fable was not what was promised, but it was a good game. Um, I'm not sure yeah. that, that is so much the case for the ones that come afterwards. I'd be curious to play it again, because I haven't played it in many, many, many years, because it was OG Xbox game. I would yes. be curious to play it again for some nostalgia, because that's one of those games that... I would play with a friend where we'd pass the controller back and forth and try to do mm. crazy challenges, and mm. it was, it was fun. The graphics were, you know, like, they had this the glowiness really to them. Cool and, in that game. Oh yeah, like Danny Elfman, I think, did the soundtrack for it, and it was good. There was there was some good stuff in there, and um, well, they're they're doing uh, a new fable now. Uh, yeah. The guys who make the um, the Forza Horizon games. Oh, that should translate well. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's called, it's called Fable Cart. 
Invisible cards. Invisible cards. <laughs> card. um, we had connection I, to I'm that, curious. by the way, with, with carting, just in general. I don't know if any of you guys ever played Mortal Kombat um, Armageddon. They had a fucking go-kart mode I... in it. It was like... Fuck, I don't remember that. It was relatively developed. Like, it actually... Like, someone no. took the time to what? work on it. So, Cyberpunk was relatively developed. <laughs> <laughs> relatively developed. That should but, be a new way to describe a game. It was just funny because it's no, like, it's you developed. play this fighter game. It's like, would you like to play the go-kart mode? You're like, what? No. Uh, okay? Um, because Mortal Kombat Deception had a fucking chess mode. It was like, yeah, alright. Mortal Kombat Deception chess. <laughs> I yeah. can imagine a battle chess being quite good fun. Well, it was. This, this yeah, is the thing. I, I don't want to. I don't want to shit on it because the ch the way the chess thing would work is the you know, the, they changed it all up. I call it chess. It really wasn't like chess at all. There was a couple of things you could see were, were like chess, but the idea is that you have your characters um, try and take the pieces on the board and say your best pieces. It could be like the bishop. I think they're called champions. They're not your main piece. Lose them at mm -hmm. the king to die. You have two champions, and they're the whoever you choose to play your champion. They will have full health. So say a scorpion, you have a hundred percent. And if you go against a pawn, a pawn will have like forty percent health. So that's like the way that it works. If you attack a pawn with a champion, it's much more likely that the champion's going to win. But you still have to actually do the fighting game portion. It's like you know what? There's an idea there. It's not bad. There's other stuff too. You could cast spells and everything. Oh, and puzzle combat. Yeah, they had a Tetris. Man. Does that what I mean? You, you, you like, my fucking, heart. yeah, they, they, I remember liking Mortal Kombat Deception just for how cute all the effort was in terms of, they had like a full campaign as well. Just. That's the one that had like 50 billion characters, right? Armageddon's the one that did that. Um, no. and that had a full campaign, yeah. But, uh, and that's the thing, I don't mind a really cringy campaign and, you know, lots of blah blah blah, I just, I'll appreciate if the game functions, okay? You kind of Which fucked is that up. That Mortal Kombat <laughs> struggled with lately on PC. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't follow through on that one. Mortal Kombat 11 was a pretty bad port too. Like it was locked at 30 FPS for the fatalities and stuff. No, not just the fatalities, but in gameplay, like with those fatal blows, really distracting. Yeah. The menu was 30 FPS. <laughs> like what the hell? Armageddon had no fatalities, really. That's not really no. That doesn't sound that right doesn't to me. I don't know that there's been a Mortal Kombat game that didn't have fatalities. That sounds weird, right? Yeah. But, um, I don't remember. I don't remember Armageddon well enough. I remember Deadly Alliance and Deception well, but and Shaolin Monks. Get over here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was Shaolin Monks, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. They're fucking. There's um. You fight. I can't remember who it is. It could be. I'm gonna be making up half of this and not the other half. Okay. So, but it gets the point across. You play as uh, Kung Lao and sh uh, why am I fucking Liu Kang and Kung Lao, and uh, you just go through like a Mortal Kombat world, and you eventually fight like all the standard bosses. And I'm pretty sure at one point you fight Reptile, and in his ending cutscene, you like kick him into a fucking lava pit or whatever else. He's fucking dying with his arms up, and then he turns to a thumbs up right before it goes down. It's a fucking T2 reference. It's like what the hell is this doing here? <laughs> it's such a rat. It's just like yeah, we like T2. It's like yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do too. Well, yeah. Um, I can't remember if it was actually Reptile or it was someone else, but yeah, I don't know. That's, you know it was, oh, it was, it was Scorpion? It could have been Scorpion, yeah. The, the, obviously, you know it was a good choice, because I still remember them doing it, so. Impactful, that's what that is. And the Terminator is the character in Mortal Kombat 11. True. Yeah. Um, so... Maybe it worked buttering up the people that they wanted to butter up. I would say so. Also, Loki episode 1 was so bad, I dropped the show. I don't know how much pain I can go through, and Wonder Woman 84 <laughs> sucks ass. Ain't no defending this horse shit. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Fucking... And yet. <laughs> and yet, people will try. Uh, also, also, Vinland Saga season 2 got an announcement. When are you massives gonna watch it? Hmm? I... I don't really know anything about Vinland Saga, I'm afraid. Well, that must be about the Vikings, right? So, is it, um, anime? Well, Vinland it... was the name that they gave to America. Neat. When they found it. Because Christopher Columbus did not discover America, he rediscovered America. 
Uh, they do give reviews to people who specialize on it. That's why Greg Miller gave Uncharted 3 a 10, despite saying Uncharted 2 yeah. was better, which got a 10. Yeah, he gave Uncharted 3 a 10. It's unreal. Like, Uncharted 3 is not a 10 out of 10 game. That game is flawed. That game is significantly flawed. Yeah, before you... Um, yeah, it's like movies. Don't be given 10 out of 10s willy-nilly. That is a that is quite the accolade to have under your belt. That's You want to be very careful with what you give that. You don't want to devalue 10 yeah. out of 10. Right, I, I will guess not give Black Widow a ten out of ten. Then, <laughs> oh. I know. See, this is this is as he's he's got a lot of integrity. He won't give Black Widow a ten out of ten. <laughs> man I'm, cannot I'm like be nine point nine five. Oh shit! That, it's got a yeah. There was a little CGI that looked a little meh, so nine point nine. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It's the bit where you CGI the woman's head on top of the man's body. There's only the two or three shots that you had to see that, so it's fine. I think it's like one. <laughs> this, I think there was two wide shots that I remember where I was just like, no. I know there was it. one. One was very stark to me. It was the one in, in the office there with yeah. uh, Bad McEvil d dude. And yeah. um, there was <laughs> the, yeah. the body was just clearly CGI. And I, I was very confused as to why they had to CGI it. Still well, because like it wasn't going to match the rest of the movie it. otherwise. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> the thing olga can't like be a stunt man like this just i don't know what the fuck were they thinking anyway uh i like how she's older than like scarlett johansson is playing a character who's meant to be much younger yeah <laughs> it's kind of amusing why would you just you don't care about them being russian anyway like look at the rest of the cast yeah, she's, amusing, 41 in, she's 41 in real life yeah, and Scarlett Johansson's like 36. 35, 36, yeah. And Scarlett's about 15 to 20 years older than her in the show. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because okay. she's like a grown-ass adult when she kills her as a kid or whatever, so... Mm hmm. Ah. Hmm. Interesting timeline. Uh... Yeah, about the whole but, giving 10s, um, by the way, I just find it amusing. Hang approved. Hmm? Hang approved. Kang approved, that's right. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Kang approved. I was thinking Hang approved. I was like, the fuck? <laughs> also, yeah, so about the 10 out of 10 thing. It sounds like you'd suggest that giving 10 out of 10 to someone like Loki would just be an absolute no-go, right? I would be a little... I would be disappointed. Lucky we don't Loki know anybody who's done that. Yeah, you, you can't... If you gave Loki a 10 out of 10, you're just disqualified from ever having your opinion considered when it comes to discussing shows. I don't know how much of a br absolute brainlet Damn. seal you have to be to give Loki a 10 out of 10. I just... it, I I don't know. I just don't... I don't understand. I just don't understand. I don't um, get it. I opened this... um. I opened this thing on Boba Fett and... He's stuck in it forever. I can't help him. I can't even like killing oh, him doesn't God. even get him out of it. He just respawns inside it. I just saw that clip on Twitter. Look at the visual effects in this show. Oh, the flash. Yeah. Is this from the latest season. I think I. I don't know. Like, <laughs> oh my no, God! Look at it. No, no, no! Dude, those buildings. Yeah, they look oh, no, so Oh no, it's the latest fake. season! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Well, no. that's, that no. makes sense, Evolves right? Because it says backwards, yeah. It looks so bad. Oh my god. I'd be so embarrassed. I- yeah! I know, right? Like, this is- it's... Being part of this. It looks so bad. Why do people tell me that this show is good? <laughs> like, I, I don't, I see, I don't it, buy it. I see a lot of people saying, like, well, no, no, the first two seasons or whatever, but, um... Hmm. But what about that clip that we saw from the video? Wasn't that from, like, earlier on? Uh, well, th th I mean, Madvocate, the guy we covered, apparently he thinks the first two seasons are shit, so... They pro- I- they probably are, then. He seems yeah, like a guy I'm... that I can trust. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he, he wouldn't give Loki a 10 out of 10. He would- yeah, he wouldn't give Loki a 10. <laughs> I can't believe this fucking CGI. I know. It's wow. 
Uh, the, the scene where he's running and it's a profile shot, it looks so bad. Dude, you know for a fact the one artist that worked on all of that, when he handed it in, yeah. he was like looking at the floor and they were like, well, um, <laughs> what? And he's like, yes, yeah, done. You told me to get it done in two days. It's done. It's that scene think... from Batman where he goes to the plastic surgeon. He's just like, you, you'll have to see what I have to work with here. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Uh... I think my favorite part about this show in this scene is like it's Vancouver. I can see that you you guys don't do a good job of hiding that. It's Vancouver. Do you but hate, like, do you hate Vancouver? Hmm? No, I actually really like Vancouver. But like, holy crap, like it's Vancouver? so obvious. Have you been there? I think I would like Vancouver. Oh, is that how it works, Raj? You can't think that a place seems cool before you've been there. No, I was actually really curious what it is that you liked about Vancouver. I really like the Pacific Northwest as a region. Um, I really like that region. It has all of the cool things I like. Mountains, uh, forest, pine trees, um, little woodland critters. It's like, it's a, it's a, it's a neat, and it rains a lot too. I, I really like the Pacific you Northwest. Like a lot of rain, a lot of precipitation. I, well, I do like rain as somebody who lives in a place that is not rainy at all. Oh. I, I I don't want it to get hot. That's all. Do you like the Atlantic Southeast? Uh, no, because it's tropical, and I'm not as interested in tropical regions. You're a traitor to your race. I don't. <laughs> why Why would you say that? I don't know. That's something people say. <laughs> Some people, yeah, they do say that. You're in there. Um, I like the desert. I'm pretty uh, sure. Deserts can be okay. I would, yeah. I would hang out with the desert for a bit. You know, have a beer. He's probably chill. With the desert. Um, yeah. And in chat, yeah, I do. I would like Washington State a lot. Like, that seems like a, a neat place to be. I know that everybody likes to shit on Seattle, but, like, I'm pretty confident that that's, like, a good city. Like, that's, that's the approach. You know, in the same way that people shit on, like, um... Fuck. San Francisco probably is, like, it just depends on where you live, I would imagine. Um... Like, not if- well, no, the problem is that, like, what people believe San Francisco to be is not what it is. It's just suburban, like, sprawl, which is not what people want to see. Alright then. Well, I re people are saying that it is shit. I, I have no idea. Like, the problem is I don't, I don't know what it would actually be like. I know it's incredibly expensive to live in these places. Um... Perhaps even excessively expensive, uh, given what you're getting. But, uh... I think, um, something that's interesting is that in America, there's, like, this massive disparity in terms of, uh, the cost. Like, if you want to live in San Francisco, like, what is the average cost of a house? Like, two million dollars? But if you want to live in, like, fucking Ohio, you can get, you can get, like, a mansion for a quarter of the cost. Location, location, location. Well, oh, yeah. it's I, cheap I guess. Around here. I guess so, but it's well. I guess that's the thing is in Australia, it's not cheap to live anywhere. Everywhere is expensive. Um, yeah. It doesn't even matter if you live in like, if you live in one of the smallest cities. It's like Newcastle is expensive as fuck for a city that's only got like three hundred thousand people in it. Um, you just don't have options in America. There's like tons of options. Yeah, a lot of options here. If you don't like a place, just move. The land of mm -hmm. opportunity. Well, yeah. <laughs> the opportunity to move. Um, it's a sad state of affairs when the only thing Marvel I've enjoyed in the last five plus years was Deadpool and Korg reacting to a movie trailer. Have you guys seen that? Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's neat. It's, it's I've pretty not neat. seen it yet. It is, um, I saw one of the first comments I saw about it was like, Jesus Christ, Disney owns everything. And I was like, yeah, pretty, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. It's not Fox anymore, it's 20th Century Studios. <laughs> what a great name. <laughs> 20th Century Studios. Man. Uh, don't worry, yeah. Oh, God. Why did they even buy Fox? IPs. All of the IP. Well, the, fucking, who knows what they're going to do with the X-Men, man. The well, people. yeah, it's only a matter of time until they get around to them. I see, I see plenty of people in chat talking about like how their place is nice. My, my 
assumption would be that like most places are actually nice to live and that there are a lot of places that are underappreciated um like there are probably a lot of nice cities in like middle america that are like good to live in but the problem is that people want to live in the exciting places like people want to live in la and new york like no people don't want to live in like oklahoma city or boise whatever it's called like people just don't want to live in these places for for seemingly no reason at all other than it's not the biggest most exciting place in the world yeah if i don't look out my door and see a massive urban set of skyscrapers then it's just not worth being there nothing's yeah. happening like, then. you gotta be you gotta be in the place where stuff's happening like well it's just um i, I think uh i have becoming more and more okay with the idea of like not living in the city um like living in a smaller place that's uh becoming more and more i just like the idea of a lot of space where you can get like a big doggo and uh and and like a a, a sort of reasonably biggish area where you can take your doggo on walks and stuff yeah get fresh air <clears throat> that sounds cool mm -hmm. what is with all Controlling evil forces in media. Wrinkle in time, the it, TVA, Kang. This was TVA and Kang one of the same, right? Um, yeah, but, I guess. Yeah, Kang, um, well, he kind of, yeah, he... He created them TVA. to fix the timeline. So... I don't, I'm not convinced it was ever broken to fix. Well... So, you know, like... Did he have to do it personally at first? We, so when he started, and he was like, "All right, this this timeline bad, this timeline good, this timeline bad," blah, blah blah. Then he saw, you know, some guy eats a sandwich wrong. Did he go there himself to prune it himself with grenades he made or whatever? Uh, yeah. Where did he get this power from? This like just uh, a lot of questions. No, no, that was answered, Rags. He got his powers <laughs> from being. A 31st century person. Yeah, well, Rags hasn't seen it yet, but yeah, his he basically oh. gives you the exposition dump for the truth, and it's basically one-to-one -one with episode one. It's not that, yeah. like, it's not meaningfully different in terms of what the actual truth is. Just we needed more episodes, or a, a, well, a big bat or well, something. Well, we need a season two hook, mainly. I'm, I'm looking forward to, apparently Stitch changed his mind again, the... I'm still wrong about Loki, but after this episode where they explicitly say they have now got free will in the world, I'm curious if he's finally gonna give up the Loki shit. I don't know. Loki sucks. <laughs> it's really bad. Hey, it's fine. It's just a, a creator's opinion, okay, Vreen? Okay. Gotta be more open about this. You gotta try and... So you're focusing on, like, the plot and stuff, you're kind of missing out on the heart. The heart, yeah, it's the yeah. emotions, the feelings. That's what you need to no. really no. Be. No. <laughs> no. 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 Yeah, no. Well, that's, look that's at look fun. at this toxic brooder right here. Just knowing <laughs> it. Unacceptable. Uh that's probably half the problem is the fucking fifis. It's all fifis and no substance. Like I mean <sighs> Emotions got to resonate, and, and emotions got to uh, be realistic for us to appreciate it. Loki just suddenly going, hey, I want to suck your face, uh, Lady Loki. Can I please? That's not emotion. That, you know, it's, it's, there's been nothing that's, that's happened between them that's, uh, you have shows that go four fucking seasons before the main protagonist go, do you know what, let's, let's fuck. Absolutely. Let's do it. Um, Let's just fucking I've seen do it. people defend it online by being like, yeah, well, it makes oh, sense. No. Loki would fall in love with himself. Rex, he's so ego driven and so narcissistic. It's like, I thought that was like a meme defense. It's literally a different fucking person, okay? Can we stop pretending yeah, like Loki and Sylvie mm. are one and the same, really? If you think, it's like, no, they're not. I, I find them both like, frustrated for different reasons. Um,. And so, yeah, you actually do have to still work to make them fall in love. You can't just go, Loki goes, well, I know that you're an alternate version of me, so I'm just automatically in love with you. And why would that be something worth praising, by the way? Mm. It's just yeah. terrible no matter how you slice it. It's yeah. cringy as hell. Um, I just want to make sure you're okay. Who is this? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> 
<laughs> Give me back Loki. Yeah. That's, that's probably the, one of the saddest things we've ever talked about. Is like we don't get to have they brought him back, but the, we don't get to have the Loki we actually know. We have this weird dude. Mm -hmm. it's like, it's, oh, it's, it's not even a weird dude. It's just some pathetic mopey cry baby. Just can't stop fucking crying. Has got no independent drive of his it, of himself. He's just waiting for. Uh, somebody to point him in a direction, whether it be Sylvie or the TV or whatever. He's, he's, he's got no agency at all, this character. None. Oh no, don't fall down the phone. I, I, I'm sorry. I got a jetpack and I still failed. I know. <laughs> don't tell anyone, okay? Um. So yeah, this Loki is pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Yeah. Yeah, he sucks. Um, oh yeah, and Joel. Can't believe I forgot Joel. They were talking about great controlling evil forces oh. in media. Joel is, of course, one of the or, yes, Joel. horrifying evil people. Yeah. Evils. Oh, that's a, quite a callback. You were there for that, right? As the guy we covered who said that Joel caused all death, <laughs> basically. <laughs> like, he's, yeah. He's... Yeah. Good old Just Joel's Right. Fault. I wonder, is Just Right still around? Is he still doing stuff? I haven't checked up on him in a while. I hope he's alright. Making Put videos. In the end. Let's take a look. That's his newest ideas. Uh, I keep returning to Hollow Knight. That's a video game. Wow. I think he's done video games before. I'm not sure. Uh, well, as I scroll through this list, I can't see one for months on a video game. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I could have sworn uh, I thought he'd done a video game before. I can't see it here on this big old... Well, yeah, he hasn't. question. Can you see anything <laughs> to do with Attack on Titan? Um, uh, no. No, he definitely Did didn't. Did he delete it? He must have deleted it. I, I, that was one that, I was, it was so unfortunate because I just, I don't watch Attack on Titan, but that would have been probably the perfect EFAP video. Um, not that we can never find it again, because, again, we'd still all need to see the show, but, um, yeah, his, his, he got a very bad response to that video, and so, he was like, ah. Um, but is the, sh I think he said he wanted to make a video in that video, uh, once the show was over, or... I don't know if it was the end of the season or whatever. I don't follow it, so I don't know. But, um... Yeah, so there's nothing else? Just the Hollow Knight video, is it? Yeah. Oh. I need to finish... I need to actually properly play that game. Dude. I only ever hear good things. What, the Last of Us Part 2? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. Hollow Knight. <laughs> oh, Hollow Knight, okay. Yeah. A little bit different from Last of Us 2. <laughs> yeah! Last I, zone out, I is... zone out for two seconds, and I come back, and I hear somebody... Going well, I'm not sure where you got that from, because it's not what I said. Well, the, Joel, the, the Joel talk. The Joel talk. Oh, right, uh, yeah. yeah. You see, and then when you were just like, yeah, I need to go play that, finish that game, I'm like, what? I heard such good things about The Last of Us from... No. Not many people. Although he did give us such beauties as uh, Fat Geralt. Yes. So. <laughs> Fat Geralt. Gone but not yeah. forgotten. A legend. Yeah. And that was one hell of a punch, which I can't <laughs> stop laughing at. That was an unreal punch. <laughs> <laughs> you can just Chad imagine Neil Cutland being like, oh my god, he's going to punch. He's going to punch them and everyone's going to be like, oh no, this is so bad. And everyone's just killing themselves. Cheering. Laughing. Making memes. the only... Yeah. I love how the only reason Ellie survived was because that guy was an idiot. Yeah, wait, how did she survive again? Wait, 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 are you she, talking about uh, when she got trapped by the thing? Uh, yeah. yeah. How she? How she? How she beat them again? I I forget. She told one that he was like, he couldn't like get it up or something, so he comes. Oh, that up he to looks her and... like he pissed himself, right? Yeah, something like that, and so she. Oh grabbed, yeah, she and then he, yeah, 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 that's yeah. right. Oh yeah, because there's a zombie really that's getting close to her as well, right? Because there's a there's a zombie there's nearby. A yeah, I think there's a couple that were just sort of chilling by. God, that fucking game. And then I think my favorite part was how Ellie said, "Hey, fat Geralt, tell me where they are," and then she kills him after he helps her. <laughs> oh well. Like, what the hell? <laughs> he was bitten anyway, wasn't he? Or was no, he, he wasn't. No, no, he'd he'd been shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he said, oh, "Hey." 
you let me live and I'll tell you. And then she's like, no, I'll kill you. Instead. She lied to Fat Geralt. Is there any greater sin? I don't think so. Yeah, he, his dying breath was, um... Oh, and she didn't even put him out of his misery nicely. She shot him through the neck, so he suffocated to death. That was cruel. Mm. I like how the only reason she lost the fight with What's-Her-Face was because she got stabbed by that bark. It's like, what the hell are the yeah. odds of this that you got stabbed? Also, you're dead. Like, you're just Oh, that was so dead. fucking lame. You just walk past- it's like a bus or something, you walk past it and it's like, Oh, you got hit by a trap, you've been stabbed, and you've lost all your gear. You're like, okay, yeah. I guess. <laughs> I feel responsible for this. Oh, I love that game. Yeah, everyone did, it was great. Yeah, it was so much fun. Um, My Struggle by Handsome Guy. Yeah, he, he, should, he should come out with that book. Maybe they'll translate it. Get it around the world. He gets to go on the talk show to talk about what Wonder Woman did to him. <laughs> it's, 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 it should happen. Cancel. When it, gets, when it gets translated into the German. Yeah, I mean, that's the important version, I'd say. I'm yeah. Make sure you get around. Uh, the does... surviving World War One veteran feels open to talking about how she killed all of his friends <laughs> in the last moment of the war. L well, Lois Lane's got that copy of the Daily Planet in a war, hasn't she? Where she's like... I spent the night with Superman, and handsome guy's got a daily planet on his wall, or it's just like, Wonder One... Woman rape, mate. <laughs> My story, yeah. It's just that blunt, it's not like... <laughs> Wonder Woman, question mark? <laughs> What's so wonderful a, about Wonder sad Woman? Sad face on the front, just like... Sad face. His head, sad face. <laughs> sad emoji, just to make yeah. sure it's, uh... You know, you don't want to be too, too dark, you know, put an emoji on there. No. Uh, does that mean that Kang killed Epstein? Yes, it does. He yes. decided that. He was interested in the, the whole thing, and he's like, that's it. We're having this happen. Well, hold on. Are we now... Oh, no. Where are we in the... Where, 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 where are we in the timeline? No, because it affects all the... Oh, I don't... It affects anything. everything. Everything that's ever happened up to the end of time was something that Kang mm -hmm. had organized, so... Yeah, yeah the everything. end of time, whatever that means. But the end of time was <laughs> actually... That um just that, that <laughs> meeting in his office in a Loki episode 6. Yes, which by the way, that smoke monster, that's a god dog. It's like, wow, what a leap uh, you just made. I, I don't <laughs> I just I don't believe anything you tell me anymore. It's amazing yeah. that she turned out to be right. And then you have she Kang being right like, I, I organized it so that you would think that and come here. And it's like, motherfucker, why don't you just go and talk to them? Yeah, what <laughs> Why do you need all this rigmarole? Knew, no, because he knew they wouldn't be. He knew that they were filming a TV show. Ah. And uh, he he needed. He knew they had no plot or story, or character development. He threw uh, in, but they uh, needed to waste six episodes. He threw in Richard E. Grant Loki to try and you know make it more exciting. Yeah. If the Dawn didn't sexually harass Captain Marvel, would he have been melted? Well. I mean, yeah. yeah. Normally, yes. yeah, yeah, but like, he would have been melted had he not suffered the injuries at her hand, so... Um, yeah, it's kind is, of a is, rough is that break. The, um, That's the, the deleted biker. scene, but still. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. The legendary character. The best character in the MCU at this point, I'd say. I'm gonna break say your so. hand, and then I'm gonna steal your body. <laughs> and, yeah. as, there were many YouTubers we covered saying that that was not only, like, the moral okay. thing to do, but that he should go to jail and bullshit like that. Wow. Insane oh, God, people. What was that video? I can't remember what... Fuck. Didn't, um, didn't Legal Eagle basically, like, try to he commit did, to the yeah. idea that he'd committed assault by touching the fucking map? Pretty much. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. the problem is that, like, you could argue that. Well, so on, well he could. The problem it depends on your jurisdiction. But, yeah. But if you if that went to any fucking court, any normal. jury watching the clip would be like, "Are you insane? Like, how the <laughs> how would anyone think this?" And it's like, well, you know what, Captain Marvel, she felt like she was in danger. It's like, good luck arguing that. Well, when... yeah, that's the big issue. <laughs> Captain Marvel's gonna struggle to argue that she genuine. Yeah, because that's a big part of assault is like yeah. a, an yeah. earnest fear for your safety. But Captain Marvel has no earnest fear for her safety. She's super strong. She's the best. Yeah, she's ever. Nobody's today, believing man. that she was scared by the dawn touching her mat. <laughs> scared <laughs> by the dawn. And then you got the dawn. Come on, Can Bree, you point to me... the woman who hurt you? And then he points to Captain Marvel. <laughs> he lifts his shaking hand up and yeah, slowly points yep. a finger. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That flat ass. That flat ass. And she's like, this is ridiculous. And he goes, uh, 
Please. <laughs> Please don't hurt me anymore. <laughs> You've already broken one of my wrists. <laughs> Uh, Mola, do you plan I, on doing? I, I haven't seen that film, but I have seen the other video again. It's another one of those. <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen the film, have watched your video on it, however. Well, I mean, I try to cover them as honestly as possible. You would have gotten all the plot points. I didn't. Man, no stone was left yeah, yeah, I believe so. That was an adventure making that video. Do you remember that, Mola? I, <laughs> like, I was describing every single event to you that was. <laughs> yeah. Well, after seeing Black Widow and hearing people say, well, it was better than Captain Marvel. And I don't. I, yeah, I will I, never I, see I don't know if that's I true. Black Widow again in my life. <laughs> I don't know that it is better than Captain Marvel. I don't that's know about that of... either. I think we'll probably yeah. talk about that on Saturday because that's a that's a subject. That is quite the subject. I think mm. it's one of those things where it's just like, of course it can't be as bad as Captain Marvel, right? It's like, hmm, 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 like mm. right, right, like yeah. right. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, the plot armor in that film is fucking nuts. Mauler, do you plan on doing a breakdown of Zack Snyder's Justice League like TLJ and TFA? I would rather kill myself than going through fucking all of that film slowly. That's not... You got my take on it, okay? <laughs> it's, it's all there. It's dead. It's right, dead, it's okay. Dead. <laughs> I, uh... Yeah, I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't enjoy that, uh, making that, I don't think. Um, Hitler wanted a better future for Germany. Hashtag grape party logic. Okay. Come back from vacation to find I was hacked shit waiting for me. Now to confuse my friends with this tismy alien. Also, hi, Rex. <laughs> <Hi. laughs> <laughs> fucking... It was for Tia, just drawing an alien. I love the... <laughs> it's, it's like Marge so Simpson great. alien. <laughs> it's a really good meme. It's a really good meme. Uh, you recently did a super chat catch-up where you talked about your annoyance with race slash sexual obsessed activism. I really appreciate that you guys oppose that crap, but that your content doesn't focus on complaining about it. Um... Yeah, we're, uh, so the way that we try and identify it is when we think it's to blame for bad writing, as in, like, a particular event happens that's uh, incongruent with whatever else, and we could be like, was this incompetence? Was this mandated? Was this their attempt? They did it because they wanted blah blah blah. For example, like, when you get confirmation, like, why wasn't Doctor Strange at the end of WandaVision when we were like, where the fuck is he this whole time? Like, he should have been here by now. And you find out it's because he's he's a white man that we need him to not turn up. It's like, okay, so yeah, <laughs> like, what are we supposed to do with this? It's like so that's bad, it's a very bad practice. You shouldn't be doing it. Um, it's also this little thing called racist, but I guess we <laughs> we don't really well racist that. and sexist. So it's yeah, you hit well, both. Well, but those are the people who believe that you can't be racist towards white people. So, uh, you're not going to get anywhere with that. Well, they can them. they can have their definition. We'll keep ours. Well, it feels like, again, the political zeitgeist is now moving to, like, class and stuff. So, race is becoming less relevant, and then it will become more relevant again. It's relevant, and so on and so forth. Well, the, the thing is, fucking Marvel are ten years behind anything. Probably more that's than that. That's true. Marvel. Well, I think that's the thing, because Marvel's still kind of in that, like, girl boss era when, like, people don't care about that anymore. Women. Dude, it's all about class. Women yeah. can be in films, too. Girls it's like, it <laughs> yes, they can. You know? I'm so fucking proud of you, Marvel. Give them a hundred years either. and they might have a gay. <laughs> oh, no. Gosh, no. Terrifying. That woman's got that covered. <laughs> that was like, pick any character, they're probably gay. Uh, well, that pretty much is Batwoman, yeah. Yeah. It's weird, though, because Batwoman has, has uh, gay characters which are actively gay, and none of the supposed heterosexual characters are actively heterosexual. Well, if you remember, we had in season one, we had the two heterosexual relationships with Sophie and um, and Jacob. Those two had their, but uh, one of them remember died. Remember when Sophie them had a husband? Nobody yeah. <laughs> remembers that oh, shit anymore. Oh, she said uh, that was due to a lot of booze in in season two. God bless her. Oh yeah, because she, she said it was like a compensation husband or some bullshit, right? 
Mm. And the, f the show didn't care about him whatsoever. It doesn't matter that he loved mm. her. Fuck that. No. Like, God, you're so terrible. It's so wrong. I'd even actually forgotten that she was with him in season one. Yeah, most people do, I'm not I think. Even joking. I'm not even joking either. Yeah, she was I married. <laughs> she was about married. That relationship. Not <clears throat> anymore. Yeah, and what happens to that? She was actually gay, and uh, Jacob's wife died. Um, was was murdered by his daughter. Oh God, I remember that plot. That's what led into the oh, stupid yeah. flower I shit. That she... Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Oh my God, there's so this move, this show just moves so fast. That's what I mean. It's, it would be quite a journey to go and rewatch like the Batwoman coverage, you know? It'd just be like, oh my what? God, remember this? Remember when everything was like this? I'm never watching those fucking TV shows. <laughs> not on pain of death, man. Well, yeah, because I don't think I'd want to right now because I'm not having as much fun anymore with this show. Oh, um, the next one is, what do you guys think of the Tomorrow War? <laughs> uh, it's really, it's honestly one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, it is one of the it's worst one of the most nonsensical ever movies ever. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 silly. I enjoyed uh, parts of it, but honestly, whenever there wasn't, like, aliens attacking things, things blowing up, time travel happening, I was like, come on. Like, I I'm not going to take you seriously at this point as a story. Like, Yeah, let's, they let's tried not. to spend a lot of time getting... They tried to... They spent a lot of time trying. They're like, this well, is going to make sense. If you pay attention to this exposition, it's like, no, stop it. It's, mm. It wasn't Chris Pratt's fault. He was fine. Mr. Sure. Simmons was fine. Yeah, you know, in Yvonne terms, Strahowski or whatever her name is, she was fine. Strahowski too. was fine. Oh, God damn. <laughs> just just say, um, never mind. <laughs> and um, yeah, the, it was. It made no sense. And then they <laughs> said, "Hey, this oh, film makes no sense. Let's go here instead." Mm -hmm. uh, ha, ha, ha. Was, yeah, it's just kind of crazy and, that they and made they that had movie. Well, they had like revelations as if, oh my god, we've just come up with a 4,000 IQ idea, and it's like the first thing that you would think of. <laughs> I mean, yeah, absolutely. And this is the thing in terms of premise, when you say to somebody, we're gonna have, we're gonna pull people from the past to fight in the future, you, you, you just immediately like, so by telling me that that is a possibility, I'm already coming up with better solutions now because I know what you're capable of. You can't have that premise. Like, I don't know how to contrive that premise, because it means that you can, you can time travel. But why wouldn't you say to the per- you know, why- you, when they came back, when you're chatting to them, why wouldn't you say, okay, so when did the aliens land on Earth? <laughs> uh, we never saw them land. Oh. Okay, so where did the outbreak begin from the alien? Where, you know, you can probably extrapolate, okay, it happened in, in, in Serbia. Siberia. Well, Siberia, sorry. Yeah, it's just, it is completely different. Siberia. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we here in middle, middle fucking Europe? Middle East. Oh, uh, this guy, this is ridiculous. In Eastern Europe. Um, yeah, they go to Siberia, and then I'm like, oh, look. It's here right now, the spaceship. All, it was here all along. Man, the spaceship was that's, inside of you all along. That's Aww. why you never saw it crash, because it, it was here. We can just end this right now without sending millions of people to the future to die. <laughs> wow. Also, we're not going to tell you what the enemies look like, and we're not going to give you gear that can kill them. <laughs> what the it's, fuck was... No, it's all just going to be terrible. What was the logic for that? They said, like, if you knew what they were, you wouldn't go or something? But you've been conscripted, so... Uh, I can't yeah, remember yeah. what the fucking reasoning for that was. Yeah, you didn't sign up, you were conscripted as you were, You'd be too afraid, you'd be too scared to fight them. It's like, yeah, they're spooky, but I'd rather be afraid to... now and well, get over it. Than... Really, you're, it's, but yeah. you're telling like a chef. A chef who would be frightened to fight a fucking another human being. Like grease fire. <laughs> The, yeah, the, you're gonna be scared to to fight another person, a, a, an alien. Surely you'll be less scared way. once they teach you how to kill them. Yeah, they, they look scary, but actually they've got some really big weak points on them here. Here, yeah. Um, here, what we might actually do is give you some practice targets to shoot at that oh, are that mildly one. similar in aesthetic similar. to uh, the, uh, the to the things that you fight, so that they won't just you know completely shock you and <clears throat> scare you and surprise you. The um mean. 
the well, outfits the they all have when they go to the future too. They're not kitted out. They're just random. Like some people have more armor than others. Some people like have different weapon. And you just, it's, it's just well, they'd be like, like, here, take this bulletproof vest to fight these aliens. I'm like, but do they shoot bullets? No. <laughs> You'll be dead, Eddie. They well, they shoot those. They, they shoot the bone you things, have a but vest, then subproof vest would be better. I guess a bulletproof vest would work, but those <laughs> things would go into like. Well, if you remember, the people who were hit by them got like impaled into concrete walls and shit. Like, it, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, well, it wouldn't matter because they weren't fucking told about that shit anyway. They were just like, it wouldn't matter because there was only five hundred thousand humans left anyway. So which, even if the went high, we've decided to just you know move on now. <laughs> we've had enough. Well, remember, you. the future people can go back to the past. People. So. I know it'll be awkward for some people in terms of, oh my god, there's my childhood self, but maybe send all of the living humans back with all the no, knowledge and tech? You couldn't, you couldn't uh, go back to Why? when you existed, you would cause a paradox. That's... but they've got That's, so many paradoxes already. By the way, already. Aziz's explanation <laughs> is, the is the same as the movies. Yes. They just say it would cause a paradox and that's that. You can't... Like, it's so not... it's just not fair. It's, it's like... You know, the, the the amount of paradoxes they've caused throughout the fucking storyline already, and then they just randomly pull that card on you? Like, we can't do that oh, thing. Time travel. Oh, okay. Where did, where did they invent time travel? Well, the second that they come back to tell everybody about the aliens, they will no longer be coming back to tell them about the aliens in terms of the same exact way. Everything will change. So they cause a paradox instantly if they want to go with that route, in terms of coexisting the timeline in the future and the past, which they argue is exactly what is happening. It's like they're both just running. But... You know... <laughs> fucking movie. I just said that they should all just go to the past. And yeah. just live there. Well, you see, Rags, that would be a paradox. Oh. Yeah. Right, no. that would be a paradox. Because that's what that means. But... Uh... The fact that they all teleported in like a hundred feet above, them, <laughs> more than a hundred feet. Hey, above that the was ground. the machine malfunctioning. That was so lucky <laughs> that, that so Chris Pratt survived. When fell into the pool when he, he still was, should have died. He was the dad of scientist lady as well. I love how they screwed up so badly that they lost like ninety percent of their forces in a minute. It didn't even matter. <laughs> yeah. The fucking aliens tear through them instantly. The only thing that gave them a chance yeah. was the uh, like air attack and shit. Well, then yeah, some, the bullets would randomly be more effective, though. Sometimes the bullets do shit all, and then sometimes, sometimes... they would randomly just, like, shoot off their heads. Yeah, and then other times the heads would just be sparking or whatever, and it's like, it's not doing anything. Maybe you're losing because you're just the most idiotic people who have ever lived. <laughs> maybe maybe the aliens should win. I Fuck always it. feel as well, maybe, maybe this is an incorrect assumption, but when there's an organic enemy that literally can die by being shot, I just feel like America's gonna fucking destroy them. It's like, the, the, they'll it's not only... This is like the thing we dream about happening. It kind of, yeah, and, and you'd think that when, when America is set to finding the best weapons to kill these things, it's like, oh, they're gonna come up with all kinds of things that'll just dominate these creatures. It's like, no, you lost. It's like, oh. They, tanks, air support, <laughs> they had everything, and these are just creatures that are running along the ground, and yeah, sure, they can... Yeah, they can Bread pack the a punch, but, yeah. tough, but... But you can just shoot them and that should sort that out. Look, yeah, look how scared they were of the fucking napalm. When they fucking just dropped the napalm in the, to clear the streets out. Yep. We've got, a, we've got a big infestation here. Okay, we're just gonna drop a ton of napalm on that. I'll fuck him up. Okay, why haven't you, why you been doing that for the last 30 years, you fucking asshole? <laughs> and yeah. I guess they're infinitely spawning. What was the logic for how many there were? Queen. Queen was like laying them out, uh, in the ship or something, is it? Queen to like Bishop Four. Well, checkmate. The amount of men they lost trying to capture that fucking queen too. Remember? Oh, that was the part where they're like, "Let's tell someone." It's like, no, I can't trust politicians. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you go hiking, you should always tell someone that you've gone, just in case you're you don't come back or Unless... you hurt yourself. People know to look for you. No, you shouldn't, because the politicians. Unless you know, they're a politician, oh. rags. Don't tell them. That's oh, true. That's all Politicians all definitely don't care about their own interests. I forgot. Literally, this this alien. I don't even know what the logic there could possibly be. It's like, oh, they might 
not destroy not the alien threat yeah. from and it's like what well, we'll have like an alien thing on our hands where they try and collect the specimens or whatever and it's just like isn't that better than you guys fumbling around and releasing them plus the the aliens are already collected as specimens as it is like the state of the world has not changed except now we're all aware of it why do they plant explosives as a backup plan instead of just running with that first why did, when they found the spaceship didn't they just say hey now that we've got the spaceship and we've seen the entrance and this is the only way in and we've really got these things locked down now for the next 20 or 30 years why don't we get the authorities to fuck them up uh, you know can't trust properly. politicians can't trust politicians got me yeah just, you got me oh it works you got you got me you got me good uh loki would not be considered good if it didn't have marvel characters in it change my mind uh, by the general uh, public, I guess I, they're saying? I think, yeah, if this was an original IP with characters people had no one heard of, I think people were saying this is a pathetic Doctor Who ripoff with no heart or soul. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure because I think people can really be tricked by the fucking budget. Like, it's just... Look yeah. at it. Look at that shit. And Owen Wilson, look if you replaced shot. Loki with some other charismatic lead... I feel like there'd be plenty of people who are like, I love this sh People like Batwoman. There's a fucking subreddit of people saying Batwoman is good. <laughs> That's fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> it's an exhibit yeah. of charisma in this show. Well, if you did, though. If you did have... Like, if you were, if you take out the fact that they're Marvel characters and then you put in some random actors, but they're also, like... Just enough to make the average person go, I like this guy. And, uh... Oh. Yeah, maybe I will. I think it really. I think in this day and age, I think it really depends on who the fucking main characters are. Oh, I mean, it's... I mean, I would say that we can we can clearly see that a charismatic actor seemingly can absolutely carry a horrifically bad script. Definitely, right? Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> Even uh... though we should be saying what he's saying is really dumb, but how he says it is great. <laughs> I believe this man when he says this. Yeah. <laughs> when he says this would create a paradox, I believe him somehow. <laughs> Doesn't need to be proven. He said it. He's got good hair and a nice smile, so yeah. I believe him. Yeah, don't ask me how. But I, I just I, I have a feeling. I like like Finn did in uh Rise of Skywalker, remember he had a feeling? Yeah, he, he did. He he does have a feeling, yeah. Was it Eight. Could have been. Not gonna. Not gonna say it was impossible to be that. Uh, was it uh, the feeling that he should report Rose Tico for sexual harassment? Well, you'll get around to it at some point, hopefully. It's gonna be twenty ten years down the line. He's eventually gonna cancel her when she gets to like a really high up position. Be like, you know what I, she did. I, I, got a, I got a question for you. Because uh, I was speaking to to Gary about this. I think yesterday, maybe. Uh, who possibly is going to give a fuck about episode 10? Um, they'll oh, have to start from Wars. scratch um, again. So, if the trailer, like, they're going to have to bait again. It's going to be like, this is going to be about Luke Skywalker's other son. You didn't know him. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? It's going to be... Yeah, and you'll see... Wife. You'll see Star Destroyers. You'll see some guy in a cloak. You know, with a red lightsaber. Like, it'll have to be that again. Because... There's no way they're selling another trilogy on the fuck. They're not even returning, right? Like, Oscar Isaac's done with Star Wars. Seems so. like he's done, yeah. And they they seem like they're done. John the, Boyega ain't coming back. Is, he's yeah. definitely not coming back. After the whole racist <laughs> thing, like, that's not happening. That was a uh, fucking huge mistake on their part, but hey. Daisy Ridley will return. Yeah, she, there's a good chance she would. I could see that. Um... But Why? there's no fucking way. Well, because it's a shit ton of money, and I, I don't know. It'll depend yeah, on where she is in her career. Money and they probably made sure to keep her happy. So yeah, because to clarify, maybe that sounded really harsh. So Oscar Isaac does movies all the time. He's in all kinds of everything. He wanted to do Star Wars because he really well, liked he's in it. Marvel like, now, passionately. Um, money more. <laughs> he, yeah, he he was really passionate about Star Wars. He wanted to be involved, and after all that, he's like, yeah, I'm uh, I'm okay actually. You know what? This wasn't. Yeah, okay, anyway, <laughs> bye. Uh, obviously, uh, John Boyega's, I'm not even sure in time, like, I think he would consider it insulting to go back to Star Wars at this point, like, after everything that's happened, so. Uh, but Daisy, 
unless she manages to get more and more roles where she doesn't need Star Wars in any way, shape, or form, I could see her being like, yeah, I'll come back as Rey to do whatever. Um, Oscar Isaac will never yeah. struggle to get scripts, I guess is what I'm saying. I think Daisy Ridley uh, he's might. Well, yeah, he's a really good actor, Oscar Isaac. Yeah. Well, he's just getting lots of stuff. Like he's a Moon Knight now, so he's he's set for a Dune. little while with Marvel. Oh, of Dune, course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Didn't yeah, Isaac say I'll probably come back if I need to buy a house? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he yeah, said yeah. Like I need that. another house. I'll come back or something. Yeah, man, the shade. Absolutely. Oh, that's yeah. great. That's, that's a great fucking line. That's a great line. And that's the thing. Um, nobody really wants involved anymore. <laughs> They're not going to be able to sell an episode 10 on do you want to see what happened to the sequel trilogy characters in their later years? It's like, no. I don't give a fuck. So it'll yeah, have to be a brand, brand new story. Tomorrow. But they can't do a brand new story because they don't have the confidence to do that. So they'll have to be banking on stuff that we like. So it'll be Jedi robes. And it'll music. be like the old Republic, possibly. Yeah, if They're it's an coming for that eventually. If it's an episode ten, as in it has to take place after episode oh, right. nine, then I would yeah, just assume. Yeah, the question. Fuck, I would. Our question should have been: Is it the Maybe... flood, or the necromorphs, or Disney? Ooh. I wouldn't be surprised if they fucking brought the emperor back. To be honest with you, <laughs> like he wasn't. Why not? Hey, Why not... the fuck I... not? You got to vaporize him three times. Third time's a charm. Uh, Rule of threes. Uh, so yeah, um, people might be invested no. in seeing an episode 10 if they get fucking tricked again. Um, but we'll see. Maybe Disney will decide that an episode 10 is just not worth the gamble, and that they'll go with the t mm. like safer choices, whatever they may be. I don't even know. Side story and offshoot movies until like five, six, ten years have passed, well, yeah, and I mean, then they'll officially have episode. You might, they might not even do episode ten. It'll just be Star Wars episode. They might just say, "Fuck it, Star Wars episode one." Episode point five of New Republic. Well, the old so movie. that's the other concern. Would they remake them? I agree, they could. I they would could be like, let's, uh, let's, reset this. let's remake. Let's not even, no, no, not a remake. They're just gonna say it's called episode one now, and we're doing our own thing. Go okay, episode one. Well, that's a possibility. Well, I think that they could remake it as well, and it would be horrifying. Could it? Wow, well, it'd be that South Park episode where it's saving Private Ryan with walkie talkies for guns. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, just terrible ideas. Because, yeah, the, I feel like it's already, it's just everyone knows now. That we're all keeping eyes on Disney's newest I whatever with any of these IPs, not because we're interested in their stories, but we're like, what are you gonna do now? What what else are you gonna destroy? Well, yeah, because seems like right now it's TV shows is their focus for Star Wars, but they'll get back to movies eventually. I mean, Rogue Squadron that's coming out. Patty Jenkins. Yes. She, uh, that's the thing. She <laughs> gets more stuff. Oh, she did well, Wonder Woman, and she gets more shit. Well, yeah, I mean, Rags. She's got th her next three films are lined up. Three. Yeah, and we could do this with so all she, the TV show people. Yeah. Yeah. They all fail upwards. Because which is bizarre to me that. because '84 it had like the worst response out well, of all these films. The problem is probably that a lot of this stuff was planned before oh. that happened. True, but like if you remember what happened with D and D's uh, Star Wars trilogy, that crashed and burned after I'm pretty sure it's got to be at least tied in some way to Game of Thrones. The response to that, maybe, yeah. Of course, it could be something completely different, and I'm talking about my ass, but I imagine no, that that I was. I think there's a pretty hefty correlation, probably. Because, from what I could tell, right, it, it, that could be another explanation for why they wanted to ditch Game of Thrones. It's like, you guys can have a Star Wars trilogy. Be like, oh, fuck yeah. Fuck this medieval shit, we're out. And then they pissed everyone <laughs> off so much. <laughs> like... Deuces! Yeah, that's uh, regrettable, but... Man... Yeah... Jeez. Um, Wednesday, EFAP, you spoil me. Rags, go on sit show. Yeah, whenever uh, they want to have me, I will be on. I think I think Mahler and I will be on sometime, whenever they find something or whenever they want. I'm trying we're, to drag Fringy as well, I don't know, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 
Surely if a movie had heart, everyone involved would work hard to make it the best it could be, which would include making sure the story you've written doesn't imply horrible things about characters by accident. Well, That's the a thing. A lot of the people who work in movies don't have any control over the script. Yeah, and I don't think I, we try to avoid ever. This only ever applies to writers, because if someone said like, "Wow, you guys are shitting all over Wonder Woman eighty four. Do you know how hard the fucking I don't know, the lighting guy worked yeah. on these sets?" Yeah. I'd be like, "Yeah, that's." I'm sure the grips worked very hard. Yeah, Shame well, they, they were let down. Well, here's the thing: those guys probably have to like earn their paychecks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They have they to actually do have a good a, job. Yeah. They, if they fuck up, they're gonna lose their job. The script writer, they've got three more movies coming and no one gives a shit about writing anyway so i don't even know how you could have a bad script in fact fuck it bad scripts don't even exist well funny you say that i that would be a genuine question for people like high tops like how do you tell what is a well done script and what isn't and because if you want to define it this way then how do you ever get a bad script and in which case what's the profession Mm. What what do you learn? Why do you listen to what anybody has to say about this craft? You know the fact you've already got to figure it out. You exist. It has to have heart, which circles back to this super chat and what um, a advocate was saying. Right? It's like this sounds like the film that finally would qualify as bad from High Top from his rules. It's like we watched her rape a guy. Surely that's ruining the heart of the film. Surely. And he's like no, because that's not what the intention of the creator was. It's like dude. Even though. She you know, it's like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, where have you been? <laughs> like, what? That doesn't... Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think most would agree. It's like, High Top doesn't go by any particular standard. It's more so just, uh, did he like it? And he really liked Wonder Woman 84. Uh, yeah, why? he did. Yeah, why is a great question. <laughs> you could watch that. A lot. I think we weren't the only people who made the response to that video, neither uh, Mad Vigor. There was a couple people who were like, this was, this was an interesting choice. He should change his name to Y Top. Nice. Ayo. Well, in Got the him. thumbnail for um, Mavica's video, he called him Lobar Films, I think. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. I like that. Lobar Ooh. Films. Damn. I like it. You got play. Hi, Rags. Hello. I asked you about pooping <laughs> last EFAP, and I add this. If you have a big bathroom with a toilet separated from the rest via door, would that door need to be closed, or is it in the bathroom door enough? Or is it being in the bathroom? As long enough? as the bathroom is closed, you're good. Yeah, I guess what they're asking you there is like a clear. cubicle, right? That's kind of like what they're saying. Yeah, if bathrooms are almost Whoa. always really like, like they're their own thing. You know when the bathroom ends and when the rest of the room begins. In fact, it might be like a code sort mm. of thing for uh, that there's either a certain if, the, if you don't have a door, and these will almost exclusively be at like rest stops and maybe recreation areas or visitor centers, things of that nature, where it's just there, it go like it goes around a corner or something like that. Um, that that's one thing, but when it comes to homes, then um, they will have there's clearly going to be a door almost all the time, and as long as the bathroom's area, bathroom area is closed, you're all good, you're set. Close mm. that door. Don't leave it open. Absolutely. That door is the pathway for all that bathroom stank and nonsense to get into the rest of your house. And you don't want that. You don't want that. Could y'all do it? A... Get... Don't invite it back in. Could y'all do a like 10 minute per video series that recaps y'all's opinions on a given movie, such as the worst parts that make it bad? Hashtag long man good. <laughs> um, so like the I guess the idea there was like we just do a ten minute discussion per movie we ever see and then release that as a separate thing so people can go back to it or whatever. Um, not impossible, but I doubt we would uh, have that running alongside everything else. Um, but don't worry, we we often reference all kinds of movies all the time, and you'll get a quick impression of whether or not it's despised or loved. Um, Ari, the last EFAP. I wanted to thank y'all for the time and effort y'all put in to make free content for us. Thank you all for all that you do. Oh, that's nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we, um, was it was a, a bonus 10 hour EFAP, I guess, this week, too. Um, there's so much shit we gotta talk about. You know? That Loki and Black Widow, they're not gonna shit on themselves. Well, 
Hey yo. I guess you could kind of describe what they are as that. Though. Like sorry, I can. Um, I. Season 5, Episode 3, The Last Family Was Real Because They Were Not On Self-Contained Adventures and The Other Didn't Jump Uni- I have I think this is about Rick and Morty? I think so. The Last Family like Was it. Real Because They Were Not On Self-Contained Adventures and The Others Didn't Jump Un- Unverse? Imdiat? As a real Rick would have. I don't know what I'm meant to do with that. <laughs> is that supposed to be immediately? I agree. Yeah. No, I absolutely agree. Not sure. Someone should make a rap song about that. Mm-hmm. Hey! Because I want to. Because I want to. Um, okay. Also, thank you guys for everything you do. You all brought me so much joy in the past two years. Give it the hard work, you beautiful massives. Well, well. We absolutely will keep going. As long as they keep making stuff, we'll be here. Oh my! Somebody has uh, donated a, 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 with, with a hot dog. Ooh. Oh! I, I didn't know I was a donation. <laughs> what? So I'm sure it was meant specifically for us, so enjoy that. Oh my there oh, you go, good. sir. I hope you haven't waited too long for that. <clears throat> uh, well, at least now we know why Doctor Strange <laughs> saw... Up, so yeah. <laughs> God, yeah. Well, it's... <laughs> hopefully they're aware <laughs> when they sent that in the first 30 minutes, they were like, well... <laughs> I'll come back He's in 10 hours. It. He's gonna say it. Uh, that was a good one. Chat approves of that hot dog. Mm. Thank you, chat. At least now we know why Doctor Strange saw only one stupid way to win. The only one, the, the one that called the shots, Benny from Total Recall, was insane. Yeah, uh, how do you reconcile any of that shit? Like there are. Make any fucking sense, Because and the thing is, Doctor Strange is gonna have to direct, directly address this in his movies. So, God, I worry for him. Because I like him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's fucked. He's absolutely fucked. He's Gosh. gonna get dragged around the multiverse by See, some I, fucking woman. There are many characters I feel this way about, right? But, like, Doctor Strange, his characteristic is, like, hyper-intelligence. So you can't be making him do stupid shit, alright? Oh, what? You mean, like, um, Starks and Banners and then a 19-year-old girl and Wakanda <sighs> just... Been why didn't you think about reversing the polarity? I when I complained about that, um, I can't remember. I think it was could have been my Infinity War video. I'm not even sure I remember anymore. I remember people being like, "Oh, so the, when the black person is intelligent, it's a problem." It's just no, like it's when a 19 year old you're girl, just convincing regardless smart of color, think smart people look stupid. It's just amazing yeah. to you don't even want to bother try to understand whatsoever like what the point is. You it's it's literally like. Um, the intelligence equivalent of, like, you don't want to power creep. You want intelligent people to be intelligent and stupid people to be stupid and, and everyone to be where they are. You don't want constant new characters being like, I'm the smartest one now, I'm smarter than your smartest one. You're like, oh. Okay. That's what they're doing, because that's what they're doing with the power creep. The power creep's off the chart now. Yeah, um, and it's, it's a really shitty way of trying to get you, your viewers, like, oh shit, Captain Marvel's stronger than Iron Man, Cap, Thor, and Hulk put together. Nice. Yeah, yeah no, that'll I... do it. It's like, oh, Shuri? She's more intelligent than fucking Tony Stark and Bruce Banner put together. Or I'll something? buy her... Yeah. ...bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing. Um, if Doctor Strange is, like, outsmarted by many different characters, I'm just gonna be like, no, please, no. Hey, if it, if it can happen to Loki, I mean, everyone's on the table. That's the thing. Loki's supposed to be a smart dude as well. You're right. Very. Super smart, super clever. It's probably bad that I it's almost sneaky. didn't associate him with intelligence anymore thanks to this fucking show. Yeah, anymore he's not. Fuck that. I associate him with crying now. Yeah, he's a very, he's a sentimental man, you know. We just wanted to see the Do emotional you remember, side of There's him. a fucking quote from Ragnarok that I love when um, he betrays Thor one of the last times he does near the end. And um, Thor realizes, he turns around and he sees him, and he goes, Never one for sentiment, were you? And then Loki goes, Better to watch it burn. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's, that's Loki. And you fucking, yeah. I don't know what he is in this fucking show. Self-awareness at least, at the very least. And it's cool as well, because that was a callback. to He stabbed Thor and said sentiment in response to him saying we could work together to save New oh, York. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, no. 
he's now one of the most the sentimental night. people in the fucking MCU. That's quick. So much so he falls in love with the first woman he meets. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and, I, and, I, and he loves okay. Owen Wilson, man. He's he's got a bromance going there. Friends, that we. How about instead of a colleague, how about a friend? Oh, gosh. <laughs> how about a friend? Oh. Perhaps we could kiss later. The, yeah. There's already an article that says they were queer coded. Guarantee it. <laughs> okay, probably. <laughs> As if, that's so normal. That was just like, why is that even content to talk? Oh, like, yes. oh, they they're queer coded. Like, okay. Queer coded. Let's have a look. <laughs> Loki has always been Marvel's most queer character. Why Loki's sexuality is crucial to understanding his character. My crucial. God. Oh. Crucial. Like if someone ever says understanding Rag's sexuality is crucial to understanding him as a person, I just want to slap that person and say, fuck off, you don't know me. Yeah. Well, yeah. what an indictment against me as a person. That's that's all you're based around. That's it. That's your only defining character. Who do you fuck, Rags? How am I supposed to know anything about you otherwise? Yeah. You know, apart from getting to know you. Nah, that's, nah, 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 nah. It's boring. Like, loves fears. Um, boring. <laughs> the book name "Graped by Wonder: The Handsome Man Story." Graped, Graped by, by Wonder. wonder. <laughs> great me wonder, great, great me wonder. Free fab one thirty eight. Super chat won't send on my side. Sending now. The mutant baby fetus monster whatever thing would have been far more terrifying had it uh, mirrored a scene in the opening where Rose chases Ethan around the house in a peekaboo esque style game where she's giggling as a baby would and Ethan is being playful. It would have been messed with Ethan's head into thinking the monster was potentially Rose. An overall would have been better addition to the. So I almost want to stop you because I'm just like Resident Evil Eight needs immense work to just r fix everything story-wise like not that i don't appreciate this idea and i'm pretty sure that's what they were going for right that ethan would think the spooky baby monster was like tied to his daughter in some way um <clears throat> it would have been a better addition than a random scary chase scene also would have given ethan more connection to his daughter other than she's my child again i'm pretty sure that's what they were trying to do um because it's supposed to be like mia's body on the table right yeah. And that she's had like a. The, you, you listen to her, like, there's like audio files of, on the radio or whatever, her, her like implying that she's trying to get rid of the baby or something. And I think that's what leads up to the sequence. <sighs> but yeah. Um, writing wise, I'm resonating with like, Squealing in a corridor. Yeah. Um, and I think it's, you know, it works as like a horse, a horse sequence, but uh, yeah, if you wanted to make it tie into the storyline better, then there's a lot of stuff we'd have to do. I'd like to thanks to think Skull Scorch's comments on catch up streams was just a big brain move to encourage spite super chats like this one. Um, he's the one who's like, yeah, the, the the one who's not a fan of super chat catch up. Um, do, do you know? Uh, yeah, as we we actually got um, a comment on one of our catch ups saying, um, "Can you stop responding to every sycophantic message you receive?" Oh. <laughs> he's just kind of like, oh. hmm. Doesn't seem very fair, it's, but yeah. It's the super chat, though, so I gotta give them their due because they said the thing. Well, uh, they got quite upset. And uh, one of them said, I need to stop doing these streams and start doing what made me famous. Well, <laughs> 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 uh, so I mean, that's subject to debate, you know? You, know yeah. you, you catch more bees with honey. <laughs> You gotta... we're very frustrated individuals, all right? You just gotta accept that they have an opinion, and you know what? We read it out and we responded, and that's all we can do. They love you in a specific way, and that's lovely. Um, I want to join in on one of these episodes one day. I'm assuming they mean in the stream or something. And, uh, you know? Who knows? The future is unclear now, thanks to Kang having been... 
beaten the fuck out. Yeah. That's you right. have free will though to make that decision. Have you? Not? Or maybe Kang had of he maybe he decreed that you would, and now that there's free will, maybe now that won't happen. So who knows? Mm. Maybe maybe uh, Doctor Loki, whatever his name is, maybe he maybe he doomed you. Damn. Doctor Loki. Doctor Loki Doom. Oh. Maybe Loki Dr. and Doom. Mobius will have a kid and it's Doctor Doom. Doctor Dookie. M G. Because I've always felt Doctor Victor Von Doom is very queer coded. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. <laughs> yeah, I Are think you? so. Yeah. He kind of looks like somebody that's just walked out of Club Fifty Six or whatever. Doctor Dookie. Doctor Dookie. I stay. They do a lovely Manhattan in there. Man, we're gonna have to run in fear when they get Doctor Doom in, but all for the wrong reasons. Well, I've uh, already seen articles explaining why the Fantastic Four won't be um, as they are in the comics. I, I think it's safe to assume nothing is gonna be as it is in the comics anymore. Like more so than ever. It's just there's not much point in even knowing what the comics are now because it's it almost makes it worse for you because. You will know what the name of the thing is, and then you will see what they did. Instead of being, oh yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, instead of knowing nothing about it, you'll now know <laughs> why they. Because obviously, Taskmaster is just the next in a line of <laughs> things that happen. Um, electrocute or grape? Either way, she gives them the shocker. <laughs> oh, my goodness! Ah, uh, you gotta love Diana, Princess. Diana Arithmetic. Oh, yes. Where did you learn to grape? On a farm? I mean... You just made me spit my drink out all over the place. Good a place as any to learn <laughs> about that. Um, there's, drink, there's drink absolutely everywhere over my desk now. <laughs> Where did you learn to grape? On a farm? Fucking... And out it goes. Why do they keep becoming an Ewok to get... Up there, stop it, be Lando. Oh shit, I'm missing the Star Wars. <laughs> I've done my bit on my video game. I just completed another. I just completed another part of my relic quest chain in Final Fantasy XIV. So I now have uh, a slightly stronger weapon with a new sparkly effect on it. Ah. Get in there. Gorgeous. Mm -mm. Gorgeous. If you're serious, I thought what the next quest is gonna be, so I just like fuck this. <laughs> if you're serious about doing a character versus battle discussion, then get Seth the programmer on. Having someone who takes it seriously would be hilarious. Oh, we probably wouldn't, you know, probably wouldn't go too serious, you know. I could, I could envision the problem being that we're stuck forever between something like Mario and Luigi. So, Who fucking wins. You gotta get the answer. Luigi can jump higher. But Mario seems That's a bit more burly, you know? And you have to account for Lu Luigi seems sinister sometimes. Like, you'd be much more willing to, you know, get stuck in. Luigi! <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the faces he makes in, like, Mario Kart and stuff? They do. No, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't tend to, but... Uh... It's, there's these little, like... Memes where they'll have like a camera angle of he's thrown like a shell and someone's car is flipping out of control. It'll just show him in the background glaring at them. <laughs> like... Oh, yeah, yeah, I have. He's like the death stare at them, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't want to fuck, fuck with yeah, Luigi no, but... on the no, track. No, he will fuck a bitch up. He will fuck. That guy has got fucking hookers in, in garbage disposal units. Absolutely, somewhere. yeah. Why have I got a flashing light right now when I've collected all the things? Go away. Um. Oh, this one just says as stop. I'm afraid you ended up with another like six hours of as. So you're gonna have to deal with it. You know. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't stop. Sorry. Hashtag Imperial Germany did nothing wrong. Why? Well, I mean, <laughs> I ain't confirming nothing like that. Who who would who would know? Confirm. Uh, 
Uh, hey Morley, if you can emulate it, try out Ultimate Spider-Man on GameCube. It's a lot like Spider-Man 2's gameplay with great swinging mechanics and an open-world sandbox. I had no luck with both the Spider-Man games on GameCube. They were emulating like poo-poo. Um, like super glitchy and uh, and really bad FPS. It's really weird with Dolphin. It's such a like mixed bag. Sometimes they run perfectly, like better than the original. Sometimes they run like poo. I used to love playing Batman and Robin on the PS1. It was it was glitchy as fuck, but you just go like go around Gotham seeing any Batmobile. Did um, going and stopping crimes and shit. Did Arnold Schwarzenegger voice it? Uh, I I think they took sound clips from the movie. Well, that's good enough. Uh, imagine watching All Quiet on the Western Front and then watching Wonder Woman. Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, okay. I haven't seen the movie, but I've read the book. Oh, dude, it's... Oh, oh man. Brutal. Mm -hmm. uh, so, or Gallipoli. Go watch Gallipoli and then that. Steve Rogers is different because he had an established morality before his superpowers. He tried to let... He tried to let... He tried to join the U.S. Army five times. Yeah, I, I would say he's meaningfully different in that he's, like, trying to sign up for the war. He's trying to say enlist. Oh, that's probably it, yeah. Um, yeah, he didn't He didn't qualify because of... Um, it, was it just the body size or whatever? Or did he also have, like, he had trouble breathing? He had, I like, asthma yeah. and, and flat feet and all this kind of stuff. He had, like, had then, quite a few things, I think, wrong with him. And then Erskine sorted him out. And then... Um, Arnim Zola sorted out Bucky. And then... Some random scientist sorted out Isaiah, and then someone in Russia <laughs> sorted out Alexei. Alexei and then yeah. another random doctor sorted out Freckle Jesus. So, <laughs> you're just gonna, yeah, it's going to keep on coming. Give me more of them super soldiers. And a posse. It was all the posse. We're all yeah, the all of them. Soldiers. And then Zemo, the Chad, smashing them all on the floor. Oh, boy. Good boy. <laughs> Please kill more super soldiers. It's just a series of. I, I mean, I love, I love the end of Civil War with with Zemo and Black Panther. That exchange is so good. Yeah, man. Yeah, damn, that was some, some good shit. Living are not done with you yet. <laughs> so good. And see, that line was awesome, and then it was haunting because of Phase Four. But then yeah, it worked out. We're okay. We're alive. As long as we don't see Zemo again now, until everyone at Marvel's been fired. And then they hire, um, I don't know, literally random people. Would, we would get way better stuff, <laughs> just random people off the street, and we will get way yeah. better content. Well, I think we, uh, you know, I, I, I can say, with no modesty, I'm pretty sure we wrote a better... Oh yeah, we Black Widow with... film last night, didn't we? Then, then the Black Widow film. We made a pretty damn good Black Widow film, I thought. Yeah, we'll probably um, mess around with some of that on Saturday. But we were we were just like just coming up with random ideas for what you could have made the fucking film about. And the obvious choice that everyone knows, especially with the de aging technology, just make. And you wouldn't even need to really, really do it that hard. But the the story for Hawkeye and Black Widow. That's just that's the one everyone yeah. wanted to see. Instead, you did what you did. Yes, they did. Um, Steve Rogers. Oh wait, uh, I feel bad for most of the soldiers on all sides of World War One. Shame. Also for the Bionicle EFAP movies. That's such a fucking. <laughs> you just move from that subject over to Bionicle. Uh, how many Lord of the Rings? All bad. Were... Bionicle, good. <laughs> yes. Um, how many Lord of the Rings references do you ha think you'd have in a Bionicle e fat movies? I do not know. I, I, I'm so. I don't know if I ever saw a Bionicle movie myself. Um, but yeah, you know, people do get excited at the prospect of an e fat Bionicle arc. So maybe one day. I, I haven't. What I still haven't managed to watch the um. The uh, the meme yet? The Lord of the Rings meme that I did the recording for. Oh yeah. So, it's a good one. one of Goga's ones, I'm assuming. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's He's yeah, quite that's the dumb. memer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, 
You can play as both Spider-Man and Venom with different abilities. The story's good and the challenges and time trials make it quite visceral, IMO. That's about the Spider-Man GameCube game, I think. And yeah, I remember enjoying because a lot of people would just categorically say Spider-Man 2 video game was better than one on GameCube, but I remember liking one. Like, it wasn't so much better than it meant the first one was shit or anything. Um, I liked playing as the Green Goblin throughout the whole campaign because he was OP as fuck. You, um... There is Goga. I just remember you could play as Green Goblin fighting Vulture, and as Spider-Man, Vulture was like kind of like harder to take out, but as Green Goblin, you just fire all your missiles and you dies. Ow! <laughs> it's just it's just the way the world works, you know. It's not very cricket. Um, as isn't losing this debate the same way Fringy didn't lose the Emu War. <laughs> Well, Fringy, I don't, I don't get the reference. Suddenly, well, uh, Fringy, did you do you feel you lost the Emu War? Well, I mean, I didn't lose the war. I guess we lost as a nation, but I didn't lose it. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I have no reason to feel bad about it. Um, also, I saw Black Widow, and it was bad, but it had some great ass shots. Hi, Rags. Um, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was surprisingly a lot of them. Actually, I was like, oh wow, okay. So right. Rags will yeah, be. You can't, you can't give uh, Scarlet a swan song without having a good look at that rumpy dumpy. Yeah, but then they'll, they'll they'll say that they totally didn't do that. It was just it was it was a, they needed the shot. They needed it. You have to know where her ass is to know if she's in danger or not. You know. So it wasn't that ass was for all the lesbicans out there. Lobotacons. The <laughs> all the Decepticons out there. <laughs> Uh, more and friends, whoever is still here. So you were. I'm here. So you were offered to forget having watched a movie, played a game, etc. Which would you choose and why? Example: forget it because it was bad, or get the chance to experience it for the first time again. Oh, what's your the ring? Lord of the Rings is a, the trilogy for Lord of the Rings. That would be a big one, actually. Yeah. Um, the one thing I would regret if I wipe my memory of Lord of the Rings is my understanding of it. I like all of the experience I've had with it over the years, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, if I could, once I re-watch the film, I get to reclaim that, mm. you know, that would be a big deal. But yeah, I wouldn't want to get rid of my knowledge, but just for the sake of being able to experience that film fresh, um, I would. It, it would be that for me. That would be the film that I feel like I'd get the most out of. If and I, I feel like that's again. the category I'd go with as well. The the other category of forgetting something because you thought it was so bad, I don't think I would ever need that. In in some way, yeah. it's good that I've seen it so I know to avoid it, whatever that thing is. Yeah, films don't scar me like that. <laughs> At least I haven't seen one yet. <laughs> Not yet. Um, Dark Souls is another At one this for me. rate, it'll be any day now, but until then, <laughs> we'll see. Uh... Dark Souls is the gaming one for me. I, I do often wish I could replay that game for the first time fresh again, because I had shit tons of fun my first time around uh, figuring everything out. Probably Buffy and Angel. I wouldn't mind seeing them for the first time again with my own recommendation on it, so that I'd be like, yeah, okay, I'll check it out. But that would be the same with Lord of the Rings, where I'd be like, I want my years of having talked about it back afterwards. What about you guys? That's so hard. It's a real hard question. I probably never want to see the Matrix sequels and just leave the Matrix as a standalone film. That makes sense. I definitely want to wipe my memory of The Last Jedi. <laughs> and I never want to hear about it ever in my life. What if you wiped that, but you couldn't wipe Rise of Skywalker and TFA, so... Well, I, ha I haven't seen Rise of Skywalker, so I... Ah. I can, ah, I'm okay with keeping TFA, because I didn't I didn't find it, like, horrendously offensive or anything. It just kind of rehashed a new hope. Um, so I could sort of pretend that they actually decided to go somewhere with these plot threads in it, and it turned up brilliantly, but I'll never know. But never mind, that's okay, that's cool. Um, ooh, I want to pick a film that I really like so I can experience it again. Oh man, it's so hard. I, I, I you know, I'm actually going to say The Matrix again because <clears throat> I, um, I was one of these very fortunate people to see The Matrix without having a clue what the premise was. 
Um, so uh, I just went there with no, uh, hadn't seen a, 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 a you know, trailer for it. I hadn't seen any synopsis for it. Um, and so I just, I just got told, hey, you know, have you seen The Matrix? I said, no. And they're like, oh, dude, you got to come to the cinema and, and see it. And I was like, what's it about? And they just went, no, 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 no. I'm not going to tell you. So I went to the cinema and I just thought it was about, you know, this dude who's uh, just kind of like on the run from the feds or whatever, because he's a bit of a hacker, a little bit way. I thought, oh, OK, so they're doing a bit of a better Johnny Mnemonic sort of thing here. And then, you know, boom. Yeah, it goes. Uh, it just goes and you're just like, holy shit. And then it's uh, yeah, it's, it's just awesome from there on in and uh, the Matrix is one I of those movies like everybody likes it as far as I know. I don't think I've met anyone who doesn't like I'm sure somebody in the chat goes. There's, there's always gonna be someone who didn't but it's just like it's just one of those movies where <laughs> most people say yeah. like, yeah, I like the Matrix. I just haven't yeah, I haven't met anyone that said that they haven't. Um, but it was great. It was like such a good feeling to not have, uh, you know, the plot ruined or whatever, or the, the, the twist I should really, you know, ruined or whatever. And so you just experienced it um, completely fresh. That was a nice, a nice feeling. It made mm -hmm. me feel good. Doug Walker didn't like The Matrix? Really? The first? Apparently. Someone said that in chat. I don't well, know. Well, he didn't true. like Van Helsing either. He's weird. <laughs> he's, he's a demon person, okay? You. Range. The only reason he wouldn't like that. Um, what about you, Fringy? Um, I think it was a game I'd like to experience Super Mario Galaxy for the first time again. But, uh, it seems like it'd be a lot of fun. Um, film. Saving Private Ryan, probably. Um... It is tough because there are a lot of potential options. Like, I probably really enjoy Star Wars if I could rewatch it again. With no yeah, memory. that's true. Um, or like Raiders of the Lost Ark or something. Oh like that. yeah, man. That'd be cool. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's gonna do a I'd... game. It might be odd as it is. It might be like Fallout Three, maybe Fallout New Vegas. No, I Just can to... see. Oh, definitely see yeah. that. Definitely discovering right. all of that again every place is a new place again um just going through you don't know what to you don't know what to plan for really you don't know mm. uh, you know the best stuff necessarily you don't have all the strategies memorized so you're just going in fresh playing again if um, i was to say game i'd say witcher 3. yeah that's a good one. Oh, i guess <laughs> one of the first ones that comes to mind i've said it with dark souls probably would be sober i would like my mind yeah. Uh, wiped of that. Do it again. Yeah. yeah. This cabbage thing is great. Um, this is so much. This looks like so much fun. Wait, what looks like fun? This, this Jabba barge. Oh yeah, it's fucking legendary Lego level. You know, this, I feel like I'm in the movie. I know somebody who you can watch Boba Fett not him. die, but he don't die. No, yeah, oh yeah, he's... not die. Yeah, yeah, not die. <laughs> Hot toys are pumping out Mandalorian figures. Well, wasn't that a thing they they fucked up when they first released Mandalorian's show that they didn't merchandise any of it, like they forgot to or some shit, or at least with Baby Yoda, they didn't foresee. Well. They did, yeah, they didn't foresee the popularity of Baby Yoda, and so they were like woefully underprepared. Which baffles they had me, by merch, the way. But they just woefully underprepared for the for how much merch and quantity of merch. And then when it turned into an absolute phenomena, uh, oh boy, they could not. Do you know how many? Oh god, I don't think about no shit. I can't tell you, but I know <laughs> I know how many um, Baby Yoda one one in one scales they sold. Is it, and, uh, is it a number that is, a, like, staggering, I'm guessing? Well, I mean, for, for, for a one-in-one -one figure, you have to take that into consideration. And the cost of it is... Um, just so I can get a, a cost for you. So you sort of know the, the kind of market that you're really appealing to. Um, I'm going to have to put Grogu, aren't I? Not Baby Yoda. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the life-size one-in-one is... 
probably about 400 it's 400 dollars delivered i would say 400 dollars delivered 300 pounds delivered Man, just fucking buy a furby <laughs> you'll be fine and uh yeah i i know how many of those just one reseller sold just one reseller sold and it's um it's absolutely crazy yeah i mean people went nuts for baby yoda i hate him <laughs> <laughs> I I get I think I hate him. I'm not sure. What's uh? Because because I guess I hate how nothing the Mandalorian is. What's is there it? to like? Well, that's what I mean. Obviously that. I just meant like, what is it to hate? And it's like outside of the baby murder, I guess. <laughs> I don't, you know, outside of the genocide, uh, it's like yeah, I don't know. It's it's kind of a death, the nothing character. Um. Yeah, but I like it was just. But I just like I liked Grogu. They were just you know. A little bit of annoyance, a little bit funny. I guess it, it reminds me of how annoying yeah. I find it that after two seasons I know fuck all about um, Din Djarin. Our protagonist? Yeah. Yeah. Din Djarin, yeah. And genuinely, it yeah, seems like season one was more concerned with trying to characterize him than season two was. Because uh, season one, did, like, episode one, was like, he fucking hates droids, he's got a past that involves a family getting killed, and... And the Mandalorians did. These blah, blah, are all blah. horrifically poorly developed and resolved, but at least they were there. Yeah, there's there's an effort it seemed to me, but in season two they were just like, nah, we got to show you some awesome okay, stuff yeah. like Ahsoka. Well, and... in season one as well, he took his helmet off to eat when he was in the village, and he kind of when had he was that, watching all these uh... kids play right in front of him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, this is like pseudo. He almost, yeah, he almost let her that one, one yeah. chick take his helmet off in episode four. And that's that's when Cara Dune appeared in that episode, and then people like Cara Dune. Yeah, they did. Um, and I was I, I was fine with it. I like the character, I guess. Well, it's just um, nothing really. Yeah, just, there's just nothing there. Nothing it's like all these characters. It seems there's just that's the thing because it was awesome seeing um Carl Weathers in there, but I mean he's kind of yeah. I I, I hesitate just... to say he's a nothing character. He's more of a, he's more contradictive than nothing. Like he. Yeah, he's like most characters where he's just an idiot. They're all everyone in the show's an idiot. There's I wish... not one smart character in this show. When you have all these assets, can you please get a writer? <laughs> I beg you. Um, but hey, you know, Mad Lauren season three, Book of Boba Fett, Ahsoka TV show, all gonna be fucking awesome. And maybe I guess all those will pour out when we have a break from fucking Marvel. Like ruining everything. Back over to Star mm. Wars. Because Book of Boba Fett's not even that far away, right? No, it's super close. Uh, it's coming out this year. I thought it was December. Is it December this wow. year? I mean, that's closer than anything oh, else geez. they've got coming out at the moment. That's the thing. That's way too close for me. It's like we've got so much stuff to do. Well, the fuck down. Why can't these shows be as good as Batwoman? I don't know. It's, uh -huh. just, it's just something they're not grasping. Not, not enough of, of an agenda. <laughs> we need uh, more yeah. agenda. We need more. We need more lesbians. You know, oh. Degree Scott is not in Batwoman anymore. Maybe they can get him in the uh, Marvel, or the Star Wars shows. You know, get him. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. He could, he'd be a great Imperial officer. <laughs> I was he'd picturing be a bounty hunter who carries a single <laughs> powerful pistol. I like they do the Tatooine Mad Eagle or something. Matter needs to talk to like the local officials, and it's like, oh, we don't just have officials now. We have these guys that the. the 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 frules or something and he's like yeah, I'm, I'm the leader of a uh, we were hired to mop up this place <laughs> we're working in conjunction with the local enforcement i've never been the same since my daughter was kidnapped seriously it disappeared after inexplicable events and <laughs> some guy with a animal it's some guy with a bantha suit on as he went around he tried to stop crime but i don't know he disappeared really <laughs> bantha <strange>. suit <laughs> bantha man bantha man bantha man jacob jacob just bantha fucking man. hates bantha man he's like oh, <laughs> piece of shit vigilante taking the law into his own hands well and then bantha man turns out to be a lesbian <laughs> yeah. It's actually Bantha Woman. Bantha Woman. What a, what a heifer. Um, so, did the TVA just feed the 14 million possible futures to Doctor Strange and Infinity War? 
I guess if no one was actually making the decisions the whole time, Endgame's plot holes are magically explained. All the MCU's plot holes are explained. Yeah, Kang. it makes you wonder Kang. what Doctor Strange was actually seeing with the TVA now and taking He was on a call with Kang, and he was like, what's the idea here? And Kang's like, you're gonna lose. And he's like, come on, Kang. That sounds like be... his radio show. Yeah, I'm <laughs> checking out the Kang. multiverse is you, you lose every time, but it tells you what, you're making a movie, it's Excuse been me. pretty popular last 10 years, so I don't want to fuck it up for you. Your universe can win. I was like, cheers. Doctor is like, oh my god, you're such a legend. He's like, yep. I know. Yeah. I'm going to get stabbed in a couple of years' time. It's going to be awesome. That death scene sucked, by the way. Of course it, it did. The whole fucking thing sucked. <laughs> of course, there's nothing good about it. I, yeah. I would have been way happier to see... Richard E. Grant Loki do the stabbing, okay? That would have been way better. Well, I th I, I think that uh, they thought they were going to make the Richard E. Grant Loki a bit of a laughing stock. Because, you know, he's got the, like, OG Loki outfit on, which is, like, more of, like, a jester's... Yeah. Court jester's type of outfit. And I thought, ha! You know, and Richard E. Grant's, what, 65, maybe? Mm-hmm. Uh, something like that. So I thought, oh, he's going to look ridiculous on this old man, and he's going to be, like screaming around and he turns he turns out to be the one absolutely gleaming light in this pit of piss that's loki with his uh pulling up the um illusionary asgard and fucking loving it and then laughing in the face of death afterwards it's just like holy shit this it really guy does. this guy is more loki than fucking loki any loki that we've seen yeah, it really does accentuate it as well, being surrounded by so much garbage. Just watch that scene, you're like, oh man, this is, I don't know. This is an, this is an actor who's Feeling fine. something here, hmm. Yeah, yeah, he's, a, he's, a, he's acting! <laughs> he's acting! But yeah, but it's great, because the guy was like, no, I'm, I'm stuck here, I'm settling for my lot. You know, I, I want to hide, I just want to exist as Loki, I don't care that the boy... Is uh, you know, holds dominion over me. I don't care as long as I just get to live. And then at the end, he's just like, Who wants to live when you can fucking be a Loki? And he's just, you know, ripping up Asgard from the ground and building it. And this dog's just like, what? What is going on? And he's just loving it. He's just like screaming and ah, ah his face. Know, you remember, he Brilliant. popped up in um. In Game of Thrones, and obviously Rise of Skywalker, he's like he just gets thrown into stuff, and it's I can't believe I'm saying this, but like Loki actually took advantage of having him there for the brief time that they did, instead mm -hmm. of just having him walk around and be like, "I'm Richard E. Grant." But Bye. he's in an episode, and he has about five minutes of screen time tops. And yet, in that five minutes of screen time, he had more development than any fucking character did in that. And then he was eaten um, by a smoke monster. Yeah, eaten by a smoke monster. But you actually had a feeling. <laughs> that little, little spark in the cold, dead heart. Yeah, and it's just like, I remember these things. I remember these feeling businesses. You know what this has? Was... Heart. Dun dun dun. That was the. That was the. Uh, I mean, that writer did have some writing credits to their name, at least. So we did get a writer that actually had a body of work. Um, Crazy. Yeah, and what it is, it's kind of proving to be that way nowadays. Um. One day, Helga and I will settle down on a farm and raise little Hans right. If only this war would end. Oh dear God, what is half-naked, super-human Israeli woman doing here murdering my friends? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it was Ares. I did. will get I will get revenge on those Jews. Mark my words. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. The wife said he's yours and he believed her. What's that a reference to? What were we talking about hours ago? <laughs> hmm. Say that again? His wife? Wife said he's yours and he believed her. Hmm. Wife said he's yours. Chat, is that... I do not know. It was around... We were still talking about Wonder Woman, I guess. 
Come on, we got loads of brains in chat. I require someone to rem remember this. Um. The as kid thing? Oh, Max Lord's kid. The wife said he's yours and you believed it. I I understand now. Oh, oh Max Lord. Okay. A midweek EFAP? You can't do this to me more. I had to. Oh, but we can. I had to, but the thing is, Kang isn't dead in our universe, so... I gotta do this shit where or he melts me. Or maybe this is part of his plan. Right, who knows? <laughs> Um, imagine being a medic in German army, you kept your men alive for three years through some of the worst combat imaginable, then out of nowhere Wonder Woman bashes your brains in and kills all of your brothers in arms. <laughs> so it is a bizarre scenario. You, you, you do wonder what their perspective on all of it is. Just, this fucking crazy woman came out of the shadows and just beat us all. Um. Come on, as stop. Wow. As I, I approve that you can keep going, right? Hey! I'll- I'll stick to my guns, man. If I think- if I feel a certain way, I'll feel a certain way, man. Because As would ride a car, but never an Asian? I reckon As would ride an Asian. <laughs> I love bossy Asians. Exactly. Uh, this is all okay. Kang's fault? And everything's Kang's <laughs> fault. That's what I mean. It absolves everybody's responsibility now, too. That's another bonus. So, that's so Loki, now and, <laughs> Loki and Sylvia, they just develop free will in the middle of the conversation? <laughs> well, so this is the thing. There's no... Whoa. I'm guessing you don't feel any different than because you would never have known anyway. If you know what I mean. Like, as far as I can tell, I, I am operating without someone fucking killing me the second I don't do something they don't want because I get reset back anyway, right? So if they disappeared one day, I wouldn't really feel the difference. Yeah, but why would did he? I guess he. Yeah, but I was wondering what was the, like why? <laughs> Wait, that's a lot of questions. I'm just trying because to avoid he, he my had confusion. The, he had the the everything written out, but when they got to his office, he had part of the conversation that they have in the office written out. But then he's like stopped, and then he went. Now there's nothing written. Yeah, Everything so... from this point on was his free will. It's your choice. Why would he have a portal to his castle? Well, because he wanted them to have this choice, but he didn't oh. want to write how they would, ch what they would choose. So he wanted to potentially. He wanted to potentially die. So the, oh this... yeah, he he wanted he wanted to die. If he wanted that, why would he battle them? He didn't. This is the thing. We'll watch the episode oh, yeah. and then we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. talk about it. Don't worry, bro. <laughs> Don't worry, Rags, there's no excitement, and there's no oh. fighting, and there's no action. Yeah, he, he didn't but fight them, they fight each other and it's retarded, but we'll we'll see, we'll see it, you'll you'll love it. There is a heck of a lot of sitting and talking, though, if you're into that. Lots of walking, too. No. Walking and talking and sitting no, and talking, lots that. of that. No alligator, no Richard E. Grant, nope. No, they're dead. Well, Richard E. Grant's dead. Mm-hmm. Well, his character's dead. He's not reached Lee Grant. He's alive, people. <laughs> Hope so. Yeah. At the same time, I'm like, you may as well just bring him back, right? They fucking broke the multiverse, whatever. He could be back. It's um, too late. He's he's out of time, though. He isn't in the multiverse. He's out of time. Well, wherever he came from, surely that, that same splinter could happen again or whatever, right? Is that I like place how you think no, anything that place you say could outside of the multiverse, mean anything in this it? universe? It don't no. matter. Is whenever they kill <laughs> Kang, oh, all the magic of people who were yeah. eating all those multiverse things. No, they go back to being their own multiverse. It oh, wasn't no, actually yeah. reset. Oh, that'd be great. Everything that the yeah, the, the it, cloud ate, it's all everything's fine now. Uh. Yes. So all of those multiverses, they they get to happen now. And we Crazy. get this wonderful libertarian timeline multiverse where just <laughs> everything is. You're free to be your own multiverse. Hooray! Yeah, Them um, Loki, boy Loki, girl Loki, alligator Loki, you're all in the multiverse. They know those all those infinity stones that they joke about at the TVA in the first episode. Uh-huh. They they could prove to be real fucking important. <laughs> they could. Yeah, what if Owen Wilson goes and they're paperweight them someplace? They're a paperweight. Look, Derek's got one on his desk. Oh, it's so funny. Such clever writers. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I 
It's like a wink, a wonder wink. Oh, reference. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh wonder yeah. Rape. Wonder, 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 wonder raping. Yo, I wonder, wonder, what's in a wonder wink? <laughs> As wanted clarification about Pedro's Asian son to suss out if he was adopted or not, because none can love the adopted as much as Pedro oh. loves his son. Well, that's a throwback. <laughs> that is, that, when did when what? That was the arrival debate episode, wasn't it? Oh man, that was that. That's taken. That's that's old school. Old school meme. The adopted. That's an old school meme. And, and and I was about to say an enemy force of EFAB. Oh, Wait, we're aligned on... with the adopted, right? We're okay with them. I can't remember. <laughs> It was, it was, that on, it was um, everybody else who was opposed to it, right? Like, was it CJ stream or it was whose stream was that? Um, for which thing? It, it, it's where the 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 Goliath stream. That was whose Jay. channel was that on? That that was Jay. Was that from? Did, is that where we got that? It was it was reference. That was that was a part of it too. I think orphans and Goliath. There's some in this connections there. It's hard to remember. You'd have to check the wiki. When they when they said that the enemy was called Eliath, it's like nah. it's good that they didn't yeah, infringe on our too. copyright by using Goliath. Yeah, I thought it too. <laughs> um, wait, are you guys saying that having the mum in the story, even by word of mouth, would not be better emotional weight to the kid and Max's relationship? Uh, I don't think we said that. No, it's neutral. I guess it would Sorry, depend on. I'm, I'm, I missed that. Missed that. What's that? So they're asking us if we think the story wouldn't be improved by having the mother of the child in in the story for Wonder Woman eighty four. Um, no, not necessarily. I don't, yeah, totally I don't. Neutral. It potentially it could add a lot to the story, but at way. the same time, yeah, because it was it was really about their two relate their, their relationship as far as I was concerned. The thing is, talking about improving Wonder Woman eighty four, it's like I feel like we would go from the ground up and we'd change a lot. I'd be happy to keep Maxwell Lord. Um, and his yes. son, I, and, and maybe other wife, maybe not, but I, I feel like if we're talking about repairs, we should probably focus on, uh... <laughs> I think, what like, was our conclusion other, that Wonder Woman everything. was, like, one of the worst parts of that film? Like, we wanted her gone, she was ruining it. Every time it showed her, we'd be like, ugh. Yeah. Let's go back to Max. Definitely a movie that is ruined by its protagonist con constantly getting in the way. Yes. Well, the, the, the whole film is just shocking. <laughs> Hey, look, okay. You just hate it because you hate magic wish stones. Yeah, I, as. And yet yeah. you'll accept the... You'll accept a Kryptonian baby, but you won't accept magical wish stones. <laughs> Fuck you. Or an, or an Asian child. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's it's, half it's, Asian, look, half Chilean. It's, 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 I, I kind of got this horrible feeling that the whole premise from Paddy Jenkins was just... Hey... Everyone likes the 80s at the minute. Let's just call this Wonder Woman pick a year in the 1980s. Well, everyone read and into then, it because they were like, yeah, well, you, you mm. like thought it was going to have some sort of meaning. Body. Yeah. But why the fuck would you choose 84 if you weren't trying to evoke a certain thing with that? It's just, Patty Jenkins is like, huh? <laughs> this is just the 80s. What? How do you think it's can't read? Have you seen the script she writes? And then have a have a. A, a scene set in an arcade oh. with arcade games that didn't come out till 1987. I remember. I can't remember who pointed that out first when I when I saw it. I was like, "Oh shit! They should have had an arcade expert. You're gonna have an yeah. arcade." Remember, Kang made a mistake. It, yeah, <laughs> Kang did not. He he preordained it. It was just like this is how it should yeah, be. Yeah, Kang wanted it that way. We're doing you the youth and fro dilemma, except with Kang. Which one's that? Uh, God and good? Is it, oh. is, you know, is, is, um, are things good because God says they are, or does, you know, are, are, are things good independent of God and he just does good things? So are things when good did... independent of Kang or not? <laughs> when was the, uh, it, the Reagan election? Was it, um, 82? No, 80 and 80, 84. Okay. So it could have been Wonder Woman 1980 and. Yeah. Instead of Reagan getting into power, Maxwell Lord does. And well, there's if it was in '84, this... it could be him getting into power in uh, Reagan's second term. But I get, I get, I get. The yeah, idea. yeah, yeah. Uh, and or yeah, and and it's not how it should be. You know, Reagan should have a second term, and and uh, she realizes there's something wrong, and there's you know lots of higgledy piggledy stuff because. 
But it's just, I don't know, but they, if you're going to have a, a year, you make it specific to the year. Make make it, you know, relevant to what's going on, because that's what I believe we all thought was going to happen. Yeah, I guess we all thought it was going to have something to do with 1984, but, you know. <laughs> Why would we think that? It's like, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's the most un-80s, 80s movie ever. Well, and it's, it's, yeah. it's in that selection where you just, like, they do it because, unfortunately, the 80s, the 90s, even the noughties now, it's like, it's it's an aesthetic to be um, productified. There's better words than that. I'm just tired. Um, <laughs> this is yeah, like, I'm please, what, you know, buy our thing because you like that era. Like, and then they don't even, like, do anything fucking with it. Cruella yeah, when, when they're going around this. exploring the 80s and everything, they play, like, opera music. That was weird, yeah. Weird movie, man. Very few people liked that one. It was a, like, a what are you doing kind of movie. And there's, and there's shit, that's why. Who, who's it? Sorry, is it Rags? Did you say, don't let Paddy Jenkins write? No, that could, that's a lot of people. <laughs> Don't let a lot of me. people, right? <laughs> yeah, I think mean, it's a lot of people it, who say but that. But it was her and Jeff Johns, and Jeff Johns can write. Jeff Johns is a good can writer. A comics, yeah. I... He, is, he is, but okay. my God, this this was... Uh, you know, it just kind of felt as if they said, go on, Paddy, you go for it, girl. It did. That was the idea, right? She was given, like, full freedom this time because she wasn't with the first film, and that's... That this was the commonly agreed upon thing. I don't know if you still feel this way, as but people were like, the only reason the third act sucked in Wonder Woman and everything else was great was because it wasn't the ending Patty wanted. It was the ending the studio wanted. And yeah, then, I heard that. Yeah, and see, I, th <laughs> as you as you probably already guessed, we think the whole film is pretty poorly written, yeah. and that it's more of an excuse for just the big battle at the end was that probably is the worst part of the film still. Um, it's fucking insane for loads of different reasons. But Ares is... It ain't, like, on the same level as 1984, that's the thing. Yeah, so this is the thing, right? You're like, oh, so maybe it was that the studio made a bad film worse to us, but then again, if she's gotten full control and she ends up with something worse than the first Wonder Woman, well, now what? Yeah. Uh, it was you the get lighting Wonder guy, it's his fault. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I don't know, it's interesting to think about. Um... Very interesting. Love you guys. Oh, that's that's nice. My goodness gracious. Yeah. I think we're just friends. <laughs> Off from us. <laughs> uh, Love you guys. Off from us. Oh, that's usually apart from metal. Is usually what gets thrown in there. He's not here, so it's not as effective now. Oh. Uh, she's killed. Eric Maria, remark remark essentially. All is not quiet on the Western Front anymore. Oh. Um, if Wonder Woman turned herself invisible, she would probably lose herself. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> she's not bright? Maybe, yeah. yeah. I, I could, I could I'd that. Much like Wonder Woman is thickies, thicko. Which is annoying, too, by the way. She should be a really smart character. She's been around she should, for fucking well, ages. She typically is. Smart, yeah. She typically is smart. In the comics and stuff, but so she should be know. the one giving people advice and understanding stuff better yep. than most because of all the history it she's is, got. It's it's that's why I find it weird when people are like, ah, oh, uh, what's the name? Gadot. She's like great Wonder Woman. It's like why do people say that? I don't get it. She's hot. I don't understand why people. Yeah, but like yeah, she's, she's not hot. anything like her though. <laughs> yeah, I never want her winking at the camera. <laughs> One day, right? When they reboot it 50 years from now and she's in the end credits thing doing a wink. That'll be shit. I'll hate it. <laughs> uh, George Bush will be released into the atmosphere, ensuring complete global <laughs> penetration. <laughs> what? <laughs> George Bush will be released. George Bush. Not even not his brother Jeb. Right. See, that's just that's that's just yeah. discrimination. <laughs> Jeb, Jeb can't even be released it. into the atmosphere. Oh, I feel like the world would Jeb. increase happiness if we get Jeb in the atmosphere. Should do it. Uh, chats for chat gods, kick for J, kick for the J throne. Also high rags. Hello there. What if someone wished to be teleported to another world, like inside a video game or book or something? How could they renounce their wish? Because we don't think about it. I guess they would teleport them out. Back into Earth. Well, I mean. 
Well, they wouldn't Never be around to hear her say renounce it. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, but Kang would. <laughs> the, Kang um, would show up. So, the so weird... you were supposed to renounce your wish. He's if you don't renounce DC your wish, I'll melt well. you. Yeah. The weird thing is, that was, I do um... DC as well on the on the weekend between nine and five. The weird, yeah, so just yeah, to definitely. be clear, Kang's idea to preserve the timeline was to kidnap a whole bunch of variants and wipe their memory and create a special zone in space-time where they have a bureaucracy based on Earth 1950s aesthetics <laughs> and use paper. So that they I gotta go show you this episode so that you to... get to have all of your references ready to destroy. You have to wait until a week and a half, Rags, before we can take down Loki. I'm so sorry. We'll get there, though. Don't, don't apologize. <laughs> I'll cherish every day between now and then. Um... But yeah, it, uh, regarding the, um... The way that the rules work and everything, like, obviously it was kind of addressed with, um... Madvocate trying to respond to it, but... Uh, so, at first it's you have to touch him. Then it's he can do it from TV because the president describes the way that the TV transmits it as it's almost like you're touching people or something like that. So it's like, oh, okay. And then by the time you hit the end of the show, he's just in a beam of light doing it. Do you remember that? It's like, I don't know what the fuck is happening anymore. Um, yeah, why are, you in a, why are you in a beam of light, dude? But yeah, you can't possibly get all the wishes renounced. What if someone wished to be dead? How do you re how do you get them to renounce that? <laughs> like, go to the afterlife? <laughs> like, can you, can you? And he's like, no. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm happy I, here. I, could you please bring his <laughs> man back for us? Dang, it seems like people, you know, they really took advantage of the wish opportunity and we're gonna have to get you to mop it up. It wouldn't make any sense because I bet you tens of thousands of people's wishes would were, I wish so-and-so so -so was dead. Oh, and the film wants to sell you that it's like, she tells everybody it's kind of, it's 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 beautiful to accept the fact that things are the way that they are Your instead of- has leukemia, yeah. that's beautiful. And you remember yeah. that you have all those shots of all the people <laughs> smiling, and it's like, oh, this is, yeah. Bruce, you, know you, you, you have all those billions, but it, you'll be fine, you don't need your parents. Ugh. It's it really it's like a little glimpse into the mind of the writer. Mm -hmm. I guess Patty really thinks that humans are just shitty people. <laughs> they don't deserve any better. <laughs> Fuck you. Have like you all seen, of their have wishes you seen are just this bad. Plot they give us. I mean, come on. <laughs> they think we're all pigs. Have you seen? Yeah, heard the way that they speak. You know, oh, look the actors on Twitter. The way they speak about people and fucking hell, we're like like sheep to them. Like pets. I can see why they think familiar. that most people are sheep. Yeah, so <laughs> maybe they have a point with some period. people. I don't know. Remember, as Loki is uh, doing well, people are loving it. You know. Oh yeah, it's it's um fucking hell. Because they, re they they release numbers for that because that was actually worth releasing the numbers for. I'm assuming is that how that works? Yeah. Well, the, they released. For the first episode. Okay. We ha I don't think we've had anything since, but there's like a site which is able to kind of track now. Mm -hmm. So we, we might be able to get some approximations on the, um, on the figures for them. But, um, yeah, it did better than One Division, and I think it's been the most successful show yet for. Yeah. That's, that's what, right. would the, what would you guys have guessed out of the three shows would be the most successful one, and why? Likely because the most subscribers on Disney Plus. That's not. Um, I mean, just in terms of concept. Yeah, yeah, no. So I'm, I'm saying, which one do you think Loki was going to be the most successful based on trailers? Let's say. Probably I think Loki. Loki. Based on yeah. trailers, I thought One Division. It's funny. I was going to say Falcon the Winter Soldier. Um, wow. Really? So my rationale is more so that WandaVision looks a little kooky and strange and not mm. the usual Marvel mm -hmm. thing. Loki is like, what the fuck is this? Like, we're in, are we in space? It's dealing with some kind of, like, it's a little confusing. Where is, who is this one? He was, oh, so he's from Avengers 20. And I feel like the normal person might just be like, this looks weird. Not that they wouldn't watch it, just they're like, huh. Falcon the Winter Soldier is like, it to me, came across as like, this is your Marvel content, you're getting characters you know, and they're gonna be battling some bad guys, and 
doing some stuff along the way, and it's it's taken over after your good old Steve Rogers. Gonna see what's happening with his friends afterwards. I just figured that would be the one that most people would be like, yeah, I can watch this. This will make sense. Or that they just wanted Bucky to get his top off. Well, yeah, of course. Um, but uh, did you think Loki would be the most successful because it just seemed like the most out there sort of thing and just like interesting? Um, I I feel like enough people remember, Lo not specifically, yeah. but they remember. Oh, Loki, he was that fun villain. Hmm. Um, yeah. and I think people really like you know the actor and that's my thinking. Tom the concept of the time Loki. travel cop idea. I think people really really would like that. I and knew fuck Falcon all about it. Thor. I just knew Loki was plucked into some kind of weird time and space thing. I, I didn't know it was going to be like... Well, it's funny because a lot of people do describe it as like, oh, it's a fun little, you know, Owen Wilson and Loki traveling through time. And it's like, that really only happens the one episode. It's like Mando yeah. and the bounty hunter thing. It's going to be a bounty hunter show. It's like, no, it's going to be shit with a baby. I mean, yeah, he, he does bounty hunting. He doesn't really do bounty hunting yeah, ever. He... Not anymore, it's not. What's going to happen for Mando Season 3? Yeah, it never really Maybe was Maybe he'll all. finally have a bounty. <laughs> like, the, to do something <laughs> yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah, he'll go to the thing, pick up a bounty, and pick up a bounty. And then, uh... Yeah, be crazy. Make some money, buy a new ship. Yeah, I, um... Fresh posts. I would have thought WandaVision was the most risky. Um, yeah. In terms of getting people to watch it, just from the... Some, some people could genuinely think, like, is this literally a fucking sitcom? With those two? Okay. And after watching MCU movies, I could see people being like, I don't know if I want to watch that. Yeah. Then again, I have no idea what just normie sludge people yeah, like. Yeah, uh, sludge it's people. It's like music. <laughs> most, it's like, I hear most songs on the radio today, and it's just generic, bland crap. And I just, I guess people really love it. But I just don't, I just don't get it. I don't get mm -hmm. how people can love this just stuff. I just don't understand. Already too old I now. I get it. I don't know. Stand, you're, you're, just, your noises. I just don't want generic pop music from generic pop person man who has a tattoo on their face or whatever and they're quirky as part Damaged. of the thing. I just don't... I just don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um... As the Should presence of that Asian yeah. boy is suspicious. Well, maybe As thought he was going to be the villain. <laughs> like, they're clearly they've Children coded. are always the villain. They they've, just don't know it. They've like, villain coded when you've got him. A, when you got yeah, no, I've more villain coded Maxwell Lord because if Maxwell Lord's meant to be the villain of the piece and they were setting him up to be the villain of the piece and he was meant to be this like, you know, we heard all the things. You know, he's going to be like an allegory for Trump. And all that fucking stupid stuff, and he was really in like a you know an allegory for capitalism excess. He was the only character in the film. All, all that kind of... <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, but he's the villain because he's the villain, right? And uh, so you know when you see a villain, then you kind of expect villainous tropes. He's the tragic hero to go alongside. Well, he kind of turned out to be. That. I think so. Yeah, Wonder was... Woman is just tragically our hero. I, well, I felt like it was more his movie than hers. I. I was kind of, you know, more invested in knowing how his story was going to go. She was just this annoying person who kept showing up. Yeah, I'm like, fuck off. I want to see what happens to Maxwell Lord. I want to see what he's done doing. Because it's like, like, oh, it's dumb. People oh, compared it to, um, people compared it to Liar Liar, right? Like, it's, um, you get this. Liar Liar is like a gazillion times oh, better than this. That or Bruce Almighty, sorry. I think it was Bruce Almighty, where it's just, you watch a man with so much power, and what does he do with it, and what does he deal? how does he deal with the repercussions? It's just like, yeah, that's a more interesting story than Wonder Woman going, how do we stop him? I wish to write. <laughs> you have to give me the rock. But let's be honest, you, you wouldn't... If, if this wasn't a Wonder Woman film, you, I doubt you'd hardly find this character particularly interesting. Who, Maxwell Lord? Yeah. If it, no, no, yeah, I would. I, I would. If it yeah. wasn't a Wonder yeah. Woman movie... Yeah, if this was uh, some DC, just a DC, or just some, this is not DC. even DC. I want to watch a movie that is called Maxwell Lord. That's well, how much I like him. <laughs> no, no, this is 2020. You got to call it Lord. Lord. Yeah, that's right. You're right. Lord, a DC yeah. story. Yeah. Max Lord. Or just, yeah. And he dances DC. down the Joker Lord, stairs. A DC story. Because he story. is fulfilling wishes. It's his first day with wishes, and he's happy, and, he, and the existential dread hasn't set in, so he dances <laughs> down the Joker stairs. Yeah. Well, we know what the Joker wished for. Do we? 
Yeah. What was that? All his fucking shitty tattoos to be removed. And he got his wish in the Snyder Cut. Yeah, because at the mm. end of the Snyder Cut, he's got no shitty tattoos. <laughs> also, I think uh, we're probably capped out at around there. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm dead. We have... <laughs> what's funny is we've got another long fab prepared for Saturday, and so I'm going to collect up these super chats that we've not managed to, to, to finish off. Oh, we will boy. in the future. Um... But it's been it's been a, a heck of a lot of fun. And b b before we do any kind of heading out, hey Az, do you wanna do you wanna tell the audience what you're up to these days and where to find you and what's what's happening? In about five minutes, you'll find me in bed. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> oh my goodness! Snoozing, snoozing, I hope. I don't know. I might try and feel the electricity. I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah, you can you can find me on Heel versus Baby Face on YouTube. And because I've been banned from Twitter now <laughs> for, for quoting Game of Thrones, uh, you can find me on Instagram at uh, heel underscore versus underscore baby. Well, wow, even Twitter hates Game of Thrones now. Jeez. Yeah, I yeah. know. What happened with them? Um, didn't didn't Jeremy and Gary both do it as well? What happened? Did they both get unbanned? Well, uh, Gary had uh, he still had a lifeline, a seven day lifeline, so he's now used up his lifeline. Oh, okay. So if, if Gary messes up again, he's gone for good. And uh, Jeremy eventually got banned for that. For the, he got banned, unbanned, and then banned again for that tweet. <laughs> for reference, so if anyone doesn't know, um, Valamogul is, is the thing they say all the time in Game of Thrones. It means all men must die. Um, and so saying all men must die as a quote for Game of Thrones can get you fucking banned on Twitter because it's a. Uh, it's I thought hate. that was like Hollywood's slogan. <laughs> <laughs> all white all men, men must die. die yeah. But that was um, part of the joke. That was part of the joke, and then Twitter, Twitter just like, I can't believe. Well, no, I didn't say that. Was it like, violence against hate. whatever promoting violence? Yeah, yeah, promoting violence against a group of people. You know, in some ways, it, I'm actually like, at least they actually did it for guys for once. You know, that's a plus. Yeah, that's kind of mm. nice. But um, it's unfortunate they decided to in enforce their rules at that point. <laughs> it's like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, you run, you run a whole bunch of shows, they can catch you on, um, I know you do yeah. your Sunday one, I know you do your, uh, your Hot Toys one, I know you're on Friday Night Tights, that's with, with Gary, I know you run Real BBC uh, on Tuesdays. Real BBC on Tuesdays, yeah, 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 I'm a busy boy, yeah. You are indeed. And I did an eight hour EFAT, nine hour EFAT tonight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Chris. Yeah, it was only a short one. Oh, yeah, tomorrow I'm on Quarter Black's channel at 9pm UK time. And we're going to be discussing Dread from 2012, which is fucking awesome. I like that movie. Mr. I like it. I he really yeah, deserves I another time playing Dread. More time playing Dread. Let him. He just deserves everything. Because he just... Uh, everything he's in, he just steals, if you ask me. Yeah, he, he um, puts so much effort in. And he's the one actor in the history of the world that sacrificed Big Seed for the character. Yes. He doesn't get. You see a, a a back of the head shadowed shot at the beginning of the movie as he puts the helmet on, and that is it. Yeah, the helmet is on, ladies and gentlemen. It is on, and it doesn't get removed. He doesn't deserve uh, the God boys. Bless. He's better than that. That's the shame. He's carrying the boys, as far as I'm concerned. It's Carl Urban's charisma. Uh, along well, with and, uh, what happened to Lander. um? What happened to the the other uh, fucking Mickey Armlander? Oh, no, it's it's five o'clock in the morning nearly. My brain's <laughs> dead. Um, goddamn the the fucking Simon Pegg character. Um, oh, he's where the fuck was he in season two? No, there's no room. You didn't have he? a story for him. No, I think Nothing? he mentioned his dad okay. once in a throwaway line. So there was that. But yeah, uh, that was no, no, no. Sorry, no. I mean, I mean that was the that's when. Sorry, when the boys' comic was written, it was written with Simon Pegg as that character. Was he, so you're asking where was anyway. Huey the whole time? Yeah, where was that's it, Huey? Where the fuck was Huey? He was just like not doing anything. Dude, his his arc in season two is fucking it's all over the place. They had no idea what they were doing with him. Which is funny because um, season one is mm -hmm. way more straightforward with everybody. There's, it's very clear what what everyone's journeys are. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, Friday e uh, for e Fab, yeah, Friday Friday <laughs> night tights, Sunday Subnautica Sunday. Uh, and there might be a mall of them. There might, might not. Maybe, might not. Maybe. No, no. But there might be a mall of them. There might be a mall. 
Yeah, all right. Well, and as for the for the rest of us, um, we, you, well, you'll see us on Saturday when we're talking about Black Widow extensively about how horribly bad it is. We're going to take a while. Quite a movie. Yeah, it's going to be. Oh, guys. Oh, I, I, I just want to thank chat. Thanks, chat, for being chat. I do love you. Absolutely, yeah. They help make you what friends. it is. Uh, exactly. As for any... Oh, yeah, of course, the following Saturday then will be Loki, and we're going to have, uh, hopefully... As back with Mr. Drinker and Mr. <laughs> they don't want me back for that. <laughs> oh, they do. They, they, I like the idea that you think they're mad at you. Do you know how many times we pissed them off? Like quite a bit. No, no, no. Every I'm pl I'm playing with I'm playing with the chat. I'm playing. I've been playing with the chat. They've we've been we've having some fun tonight. We've we've told them things that they will never forgive us for. As, how do you yes. think? How do you think they felt when we told them the Winter Soldier's bad? How do you think? How do you think they felt? Uh, I think, well, I mean, I, I don't know how they felt, but when I heard you say that Falcon, Falcon and Winter Soldier or Captain America and Winter Soldier? Both. <laughs> well, when when you said Captain America and Winter Soldier's crap, they went, whatever. They, they and uh, when you said when you said Falcon and the Winter Soldier shit, they went, you got that. You got that right, it is. Oh, yeah. They're on board with that one. I think everyone is. Yeah. They're on board with that for sure. Um, was there... it, is, it, made, it made us the angriest of the three. Yeah. It still Ooh. fucking annoys me thinking about it. I, I hate that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's an asshole of a show. Something about it, man. It, oh, even like... Loki. I think we were just numbed for Loki. We were just like, yeah, this is going to be dumb. It's all stupid. It's all shit. I, Fuck it. I agree, but I never fucking expect them to steal free will from the entire MCU or that make all choices meaningless down to a guy called Kang. <laughs> Why the fuck did they do this? They... And I and I had a huge debate with somebody, and they were just like, "No, we've got free will," and I'm like, "We don't." Not in any meaningful way, as far as I'm concerned. Kang decided which of the billions of choices everyone makes, which ones he liked the most. No, nope. that's it. I know. Um. And yeah. Thank you for having me on. Oh, I, thank you, thanks so much for for hanging out. Whenever someone oh, wants yeah. to get Not past like a. Not everyone makes it a long time. Yeah, and um. What, a, what an adventure it's been. We went through like a thousand topics in just nine hours. That's why it was fun. Remember when we were talking together? about the crazy house? Remember when we were talking about that... How could I forget, Mahler? The grammar song and Jinx the Reload reacts. Oh, it was a good time. Jinx Reloaded? Yeah, that's what his channel was called, I think. Jinx Reloaded. Oh Something goodness. like that? Jinx Re... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, and now he's getting um, 2,000 views per video. Yeah, and I have no fucking... Uh, you know what? Hey, man, he's... we are, He just turned oh, no. into Monday, Matt. No, um, I, no, on these... Tra if, sorry, that's the fib. If you go to his channel, he's pushing himself on another channel. Oh. Uh, and so I went to the other channel, and he's getting about 200 to 400 views. <laughs> Hey! Well, you know what? Those are the true fans, the OGs, the ones that really respected his reaction content. <laughs> yeah, out of the 1.68 million. Yeah, they they were the Those ones were that... Those were the real... Yeah. They knew the something... Real ones. They knew something was important there. They were like, yeah. yeah. And that's with about... I think he had about 24,000 subs. Well. Good for him. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for hanging out for us. <laughs> Good with for us. him. <laughs> so long. Uh, Freaky Rex, there. was there anything... Really playing that game. Was there anything you guys wanted to say before we, uh... Before we, I, I, I never remember if there's something you guys want to announce ever. I'm just like... Oh, I've talked else? enough. Mm -hmm. Where are you, Freaky? Videos out no, I got nothing. Yeah. Just... Nah. Nothing really at the moment. Alright, well... See. As I said, I'm gonna collect these all up, put them in our, our backlog. As I said? Yes. As I said. As mm. I said. Oh. That should be your second channel, as I said. Well, my second channel is called Hot Toys, and it's opening up very soon. Has it got ass in it? Fringy, what's your second? Yeah. What, what's your cha second channel name? Tell the people. I know, yes. I know. It was, I, yeah. It was this is <laughs> that you stole from. It's okay. That's it's it's yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. You're a kind, you're a kind, forgiving soul. Yeah, well, yeah. Stole that reveal from you because I know time. I've been, I've been on it. Yeah. I'm a true Ringy fan. I thought everyone else was. Yeah, I'm, a, yeah. I'm like the, I'm like the, uh, like the Jinx fans. 
<laughs> the true Jinx fan. The Jinx is it is. Um. Alrighty. Well, right yeah. Are. Thanks. Thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. It's been a it's been a fun old time. It won't even be that long before you see us again. Like I said, Saturday. And um, right, it's true. Thanks so much for uh, the the super chats and well the interaction. We've had a lot of fun. But that's that for EFAP on this Wednesday. Uh, good night, all. Yeah. Good night, everybody. We will see you soonish in a couple days, three days. Bye. -bye. I'll see you in a couple Friday, of weeks. Saturday. About a week and a half. Hmm.